We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products so watch this space. On our shows we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting because our motto is because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose craft shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda.
Hello there and welcome to a brand new day here at Chanda. So good to have your company. We've got a fabulous day ahead of us and we've got a fabulous friend joining us. And we haven't seen Frenchie for such a long time. How are you doing, Frenchie? Good, thanks. All good. Good, good, good. Now, of course, this time of year, you're thinking about your gifts. You're thinking about buying something that some, somebody's going to use practically. Things for yourself as well. So instantly we think of Frenchie with all those fabulous things that he brings to share with us. And we've got new things for you this year as well. Um, so we've got these fabulous wooden pop-ups. And these are baskets that you may be able to fold completely flat to store away. But you can see with these, they are absolutely incredible. Ten beautiful designs, all with their own little personalities, but they are practical too. French is going to take us through them in just a few moments, but the details are there on your screen. You have got a 50% saving. Well, actually, it's more than 50% saving. You're saving more than you're spending on these. And of course, it's because of our Black Tag um, event. And I have to say, these are absolutely beautiful. I love the cats. I mean, they're so, so solid, these. You've got that gorgeous detail on there, and the quality shines through, as you can see, with regards to these. But as I they say they fold flat. Now the details on your screen, you can choose any one of those for $9.95, but of course you've got 10 choices, so it could be that you're wanting to go for more of these, maybe for yourself, maybe for gifts. And of course, because they're all on the same item number, there is no additional post and packing. So 10 different options you can see on your screen there, you can go through those, but Frenchie's going to show us just how practical these are. And this is the key thing with regard to these, Frenchie. They're, they're practical, they're beautiful as well. I have to say the quality of the, the, the wood that you've got with these. And they're bamboo. Yeah, 100% bamboo really well made the thing is we all use cutting boards okay we all use bowls True, and we yeah. all use placemats we do, do. this is one that does it all okay so how does it work okay so when it's flat you, as I say you can use it as a cutting board as a placemat all you do is you lift it from the top turn it 90 degrees oh, wow. push down to the little pin swing around the base and there's your bowl Oh, when you're looking crazy. for a bowl, you can't get enough of them. <laughs> and when you're done with a the bowl, there's nowhere to put them. <laughs> That's true. And when you're finished with the bowl, it's very easy. You just do the reverse and it stores flat again. That's amazing. <laughs> As I say, it's all made from bamboo, from okay. a bamboo farm, not a bamboo forest. Right. Right? And they're beautifully packaged as a Christmas gift idea. And but under £10. It's great that for the person amazing. who's difficult to buy for. Yeah. Right? So you've got lots of different styles. As you just pointed out, the little pussycat there, he's perfect. Oh, right? friendship. And, uh, he's very good friends <laughs> with the owl. The owl's a real hoot. Right. <laughs> what you've got to watch out for is those two are going to run off to sea together okay. and probably end up in their land where the piggy wig stood. <laughs> there he is there. And then the next one we have is Cyril the Squirrel. Oh, right. Cyril the Squirrel. Yeah. And you may have noticed so far, but my jokes are a little bit on the rough side. Right. Oh. Uh, I tell you what, you can actually get up to a dozen and a half eggs in the chicken. So wow. Bake, because you don't want to have eggs out all the time, but now you've got a bowl for the eggs that folds flat and can be used as a cutting board placement, anything like that. Absolutely cracking. Right. Oh. Then uh, a great place to put your phone and your keys is in the elephant because, of course, he never forgets. And notice his <laughs> trunk's turned up, so he's in a happy mood. There's, there's the dragon there. Uh, he's hot stuff. Very popular in Wales, that one. Oh, yeah. And then there's the bunny rabbit there, oh. or the hare. Right. And, of course, the one with the most appeal Ooh. would be the apple. Right. <laughs> you can also use it, as I say, as a trivet for a hot pot. You can put it underneath an existing bowl. So the times where you need a bowl, you know where your spare is. It's under an existing bowl somewhere. And it's just a matter of lifting up, push down to the pin, swing around the base, and there you go. These and are brilliant. Remember, you're only paying one PNP price if you multi-buy. So if you've got several in mind for people, brilliant. And you get all those difficult people to buy for done easily. Well, this is it. The thing that I love, around Christmas time especially, I'm not very good at packing, um, kind of wrapping, should I say. So yeah. having something that's packaged so beautifully. Yeah. And also the thickness of this. So if you are wanting to, to ship it to somebody or post it to somebody, then it's a nice, yeah, easy one. They're, they're about 250, 300 grams. So they're, okay. not, they're only a few pounds to post. So. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Love it. And of course, you've got all those choices. Ten different choices. Which ones are you going to go for? We are very busy for these. Lots of you making your choices of these. Many of you are going for multiples of these. Now, which one is the most popular at the moment? Um, the, the what, sorry? Oh, the kitty. I thought you said chicken then, but they didn't sound like chicken. <laughs> and that's because she said the kitty. So the cat is in the lead at the moment. So, yeah, don't blame you. The bunny is not far behind. I was looking at the bunny and thinking, perfect, when you come around to Easter and you're doing things like your Easter um, egg hunt, absolutely perfect. Um, again, the chicken one, I love the idea of the chicken one, keeping your eggs at room temperature, maybe outside of the fridge. Cyril the squirrel. I mean, who could not love a squirrel? I mean, absolutely beautiful. Doesn't matter which one you are going for. You know you are buying 
in quality with regards to these. They're um, pretty lightweight, as Frenchie said to there, but I think it's the key thing is that it's not just that basket. I never thought of the fact that you could use it as a chopping board, that you could use it as a trivet that's going to fit in your drawer. So as when you do need to bring it out, you can do. But if you do want to leave it out as a permanent fixture, fixture perhaps like with your eggs, then it is something that is going to look absolutely beautiful. The cat there, I mean, you could actually put balls of yarn in there, use it as a yarn keeper, maybe if you're knitting or crocheting. Um, and again, you can see here all those different characters, your apple, your squirrel, your bunny, the dragon, you've got your elephant there as well. It's good to see Frenchie back. And it's good to know that he's still got his sense of humour with all those corny jokes. I've got to say they are corny. We are busy, busy, busy for these, but it's not the only item that um, we have got here, Frenchie, with, um, Frenchie's here with. You can see, obviously, we've got the pile of poncho in front of us here as well. And we've got a fabulous deal. This has always been a popular one at Christmas time. And we have got a black tag event for you where you have got a wonderful saving. As you can see on your screen, you are saving over 30%, which pretty means if you choose in three, then one of those is coming to you as a bonus in more so. And you've got your choice. You decide. We are not saying to you, you're going to have these ones. You're going to have that one. You are deciding. So if you want to have all the same, all camouflage or animal print, when you go pastel tones, it is entirely up to you. But safe in the knowledge that you are saving over 30%. And this is a brilliantly popular product every single time we see Frenchie here with it. Details on the screen there, 924-693. But enough about me telling you what you've got with the Paolo Poncho. Here's the expert. Hey, we've got the Polo Pancho. Now, this is a New Zealand idea. It's been around for over 20 years. Um, it was invented by a motorcyclist who went skiing one day and found out it's so useful. All right, so what, all you do with it, it's made out of thermal fleece, which is really soft, really warm. You roll it down once, twice from the top, put it on over your head like you would a jumper. Now, bear in mind, you're not getting one, you're not getting two, you're getting three in this deal. It's three. So what's that? Six and a half pounds each, roughly. Brilliant deal for Christmas, over the top of the head, right? And there's the warmth down the chest, the warmth down the back. If you put a, po a coat on now, I'll just put my coat on and show you what it looks like under a coat, right? It looks like a polar neck, but you've got all the freedom of movement. I play golf. It's great for fishermen too, because when you're casting using your arms, right, that works perfectly. All right, so that's how it looks underneath a coat, perfect. Now, if you get out and about and you're getting cold ears, you bring it up to the chin, over the back of the head, and there's the ears warm and toasty. And that won't fall down when you're out walking the dog, something like that. Over the nose, the breathing warms the chest. Now here's the thing, they're absolutely brilliant with hats or helmets for cycling, horse riding, motorcycling, because if you've got a fitted riding hat, you can fit that on now, right? Do up the strap, your nose, your chin, your ears are warm while out riding on a cold day. Motorcycling, horse riding, anywhere where you wear a hard hat, they're absolutely brilliant. Now you change the style, I bring it up again, right, and now you've got a full balaclava. Open the face if you wish. You can get that on underneath the hood of the coat. You might have an adjustable helmet or a not so tight fitting helmet. That'll go on in that situation as well. Perfect. Right, and when you've warmed up, right, when you're going into a shop, this is another thing brilliant about this product. We all have to wear face masks now. Well, if you're wearing a polo pancho and you need to wear a mask, just bring it up over the nose like that and you've got your mask on. And then when you're popping back out of the shop, you've got your mask off, brilliant. All right, and you can slip that off, roll it up, it'll go into a coat pocket, small bag, rather than carrying around a bulky jumper. Now the same thing makes over 20 different hats. I'm just gonna do a zany one here. This one's called the helicopter. Skiing hats, uh, more dressy hats. There you go, that one's called the helicopter. You have to be a bit mad to wear it like that. <laughs> it does come with a booklet of instructions. What I love to say, every time with the instructions there's a little flag of the united kingdom there they're actually made in the uk how brilliant is that we got a product you're getting for just over six and a half pounds they're made in the uk support uk industry brilliant and what a fantastic deal uh, we haven't got huge stocks of some of the colors but they're fabulous um, we've got one on this mannequin head here i'm just going to bring this lady girl across and show you that one there is called the cossack beret now, that's a polo pancho as well. If you were to go on the high street and buy a hat like that, right, made in England out of thermal fleece, you're looking at around 15 pounds. A scarf made of thermal fleece is another 10 pounds. 
Here, they're just over six and a half pounds each. Absolutely brilliant. That's why we've sold hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these over the years. That's why it's still going 20 years later after it was invented in New Zealand. They still make them in New Zealand for the Southern Hemisphere, but they now make them here for the Northern Hemisphere. Just over the head like that, brilliant. Love Fishing, it. golfing, anything like that, fantastic. So practical, French. And uh, there you go. You saw all those different applications. And the thing that I love is you've actually got your little kind of guide when you receive this, so you know all those different um, kind of styles. You will experiment. You'll come up with some of your own. But the key thing is the softness that you have got from this thermal fleece is incredible. Eleven different styles there to start with. But I know you will find many more of these. But it's not necessarily about the style. It's about the practicalities, the warmth, the comfort, the way that you are kind of buying these, whether it's for yourself or as a gift. There's a little bit of thought that's gone into this. You're thinking about somebody's lifestyle. You're thinking about their well-being and keeping them warm and toasty. Well, you can do that definitely with your Paolo Poncho. And the deal we have got is phenomenal. As Frenchie quite rightly said there, we've got a brilliant saving. You've got three of these coming to you. Your choices. Now, you could go for the black. You could go for the navy. You've got the red. You've got that gorgeous purple with regards to that. You've got the blue. You've also got that kind of berry tone with these. All of the colours are mentioned on the, uh, the website. Camouflage, an amazing one. The gorgeous look there at the animal print as you saw that that cost that hat very stylish the green as well you've got your brown there your chocolate brown there that beautiful hot pink love that very very stylish it is so so soft then you've got your baby tones you've got your baby pink there that gorgeous baby blue and then of course you've got that gorgeous snowy white there as well things that strikes me with this i think it's the first time that i've done the palo poncho show with um um, um, Frenchie. It's all right. I just, it's, for some reason, I just thought of our Paula. Paula, Paula? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> it's very early. But it's the finish with these. Now, you know, I know my sewing and I know my finish detail. And with these, right the way down, this is the telltale. Oh, actually, I'm picking the wrong one there, really, to show you. Can't see. Let me bring the pink one in. This is the telltale sign going right the way in there with that stitching, giving you that neat edge. That's where you would get the kind of uh, the telltale signs that if it wasn't made, to extreme high standards and that's what you are getting with these and you are getting three of them for less than 20 pounds this is a stocking filler price isn't it but it's a practical item whether you're getting it for somebody else whether you're buying it for yourself and when you see the different ways that you can wear this i'm sure you'll be choosing a couple maybe as gifts but maybe one for yourself as well and who can blame you they're incredible here's a few ideas of how you can wear yours <laughs> stars just from one one scarf it's amazing now we've got some amazing reviews with regards to this one now the details on your screen are brand new details because this is a specially put together bundle for our black tag event in fact if you look on the website you will be able to get hold of two of these don't order this please please do not order this because you're only getting two for your 19.99 but you can see five star reviews time and time again great to have two on a pick and mix and a good price even more so when you're getting three of those very good service good price the quality, the service, brilliant idea there. You can see there, um, brilliant. They were both for Christmas presents and very well received. Something different and practical and very warm. So versatile. You can do so many stars with the Pancho. And this is the key thing. This is something that will be coming out year after year after year. And as, of course, as Frenchie said there, now when we're going into faces, we have to cover our faces. Then, of course, you have got the practicalities of this as well. Choice is yours. Three, whether you go three for the same color, 
together, whether you're going to mix those up, it is entirely up to you. But what you can be is safe in the knowledge that you have got more than a 30% saving with regards to this one. You are saving £10. Works out at, was it, did we say £6.50? Something like that for all, um, for each of those when you are putting them together at £19.97. Um, pence. Never has there been a better time to get hold of these. Not necessarily just for Christmas, but think about the new year. Think about things like we'll have Father's Day, we'll have birthdays. These are the kind of thing that if you get those neutral colours, maybe your navies, you, you, you kind of your black tones, your red tones, whichever, they can go in your, what I call you, you kind of your present drawer. So when you need to give a gift to somebody, you have got something already there, knowing that you've only paid, what was that Molly, six pounds and six pounds and sixty five pence. There's not many gifts that you can buy for that never price. done in over 20 years on television. That is phenomenal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, Frenchie is here not just with the Pile of Honcho, but, of course, the wrench. Another fabulous gift. And this is another one that's always popular this time of the year. Yeah, uh, I've, I was just saying earlier before the show, I started selling the original um, one that's similar, the Hawks Big Wrench, uh, big pardon, the Super Wrench, in New Zealand in 1993. So that's 27, 28 years, something stupid like that. 27 years, yeah. That's the, uh, the original one. This is the Hawksbeak. We've modified the original and made it better. I'll show you why in a bit. But um, it's another New Zealand idea. I brought it out from New Zealand over 20 years ago. There's no winding of screws. There's no squeezing of handles. You just hook that jaw open and it forms the shape around the work. Now, I've done that with one hand. You notice that the top jaw's on the flat and the bottom jaw's inside the corner. You're not working on the corners so you don't round the corners off. And everything it turns as fast as a socket ratchet. Now, if you want to go the other way, you just give it a twist and you turn it over and away you go. And with every left-handed one today, as a special for the Black Tag event, you're getting a right-handed one free. Bargain. Absolute bargain. <laughs> isn't it? On top of that, with every metric one, you get an Imperial one free, no so it's way. a heck of a deal. Frenchie really. is spoiling us. <laughs> Indeed. And it had to be easy to use because we sell them in Australia. <laughs> That's a shocking joke. Um, anyway, that was six sides on the flats. That's a four-sided fitting there. You can see I've dropped straight onto the flats of the four-sided fitting. And the only other different size you get with flats is an eight-sided fitting. And there's your eight-sided fitting there. Drop straight onto the flats of the eight-sided fitting too. Then, of course, you'll get a round fitting. Well, that's the beauty of it is it, I'm, I'm working on this post here now. Again, full length of the handle. You don't need to wind screws or squeeze handles together, so you always get the full length of the handle for reach. Fast as a socket ratchet on a pipe. Right? And then you've got a rounded off nut. Drop straight on and turns there as well. Any shape, any size, just hook it open and away you go. Now, the best way to show you how good it is is to compare it to the tools you're using. And that's always good for a bit of a laugh. <laughs> this one, um, in New Zealand we call it a sailing wrench because they tend to open up there, round off the nut, slip off, whack your knuckles, then it goes sailing. Right? <laughs> the next one, your pipe wrench, well, they call it a pipe wrench, but I struggle to see how it works myself. You've got two hands to adjust them. The other problem is you get a pipe up against the wall and where's your handle? Now the handle's in the way. Right? So now you either got to get one of those houses that revolve around the plumbing. <laughs> They're quite expensive these days, eh? Right? <laughs> either that or you kick a hole in the wall, which is going to make you a bit more of a job. This one comes in at right angles and turns that fast as a socket ratchet as well. Invented by a Kiwi farmer. They're not all out chasing sheep around, eh? Some of them are clever. Only some of them, mind you. Yeah. The next one, you may have noticed that my Kiwi Twang's coming back. It's funny, every time I start doing this wrench, I'll get my tweet Kiwi Twang back. Right. These ones are commonly known as slip joint pliers. And any, any of these tools where you've got to squeeze the handle, think about it, right? If you squeeze too hard, they can slip and you whack your knuckles, that hurts. If you don't squeeze hard enough, you're back to chewing up the nut. Finally, the vice grips, mole grips, whatever you want to call them. Right? You've got to wind that screw there and squeeze the handle. And then if you get that wrong, you've got to readjust it, wind it a bit more, and squeeze the handle again. Right? And then when you squeeze the handle, it can trap on your hand. That really hurts. Right? Now, with the hawk's beak, you don't even need to see what you're doing. You just hook it open, pull back, it's on there. Now, if I put some pressure on there now, right, you see which ones. It's hard to see there, but you'll see that the, the vice grips there are slipping. Yeah. When a tool slips, you damage the work, the tool, and yourself. And just to prove that point, right, there's hardly a mark where the wrench was, but there's quite a rip where the um, vice grips were. So no slipping, no ripping. Right, now the little one, that's a fantastic tool for when you're dying of thirst and some rotten soles flog the handle off the tap. 
If you're proper thirsty, it'll take the top off a beer bottle. It's a bit early in the morning, I know. <laughs> but uh, it's, that's popular where I come from, anyway. If you snap the head off a bolt, you're pulling the studs out of a chainsaw, motor mower, anything like that. They're a fabulous little stud extractor, too. Brilliant there. You might be just uh, wanting to take a Jubilee clip off, hose clamp, anything we want to call these. Slung a clam in uh, Amsterdam, right? Put a screwdriver in Holland, I should say. Put a screwdriver in there, slips out, goes straight in your finger. Right? Ow! Yeah. Right? This one gives you the leverage to sort it out. A lot of people spend a lot of money to pay other people to do the work because they don't want to hurt themselves. This is one of those tools that can get you out of trouble once. And if it does that, rather than pay someone else to do it, it's paid for itself. They're guaranteed for life. Now, that's really important. I'll explain that in a sec. But the little one is, is part of the deal today. Um, that one would normally be £15 on its own, right? But that's part of the deal today. The next size up, right, that is fantastic for rounded off sump plugs, things like that, um, battery terminals. If, you, if I just drop it onto that stud there, again, it locks straight on and turns. Any shape like that. Uh, or here's one for you. Now, this shackle has had the toggle cut off. It was owned by a guy who had a boat, and he didn't want someone flogging his trailer while he was out to sea, so he did that deliberately. Problem is, he, got, he couldn't get the trailer off, the, off one day. He came and saw me at a boat, so I said, have you got anything that'll get it off? So he grabbed this off me, and he came back and he bought a set of the wrenches because that got him out of trouble. He said, I spent half an hour trying to sort that problem out. Fantastic tool. That one's normally $19.95. That's part of the deal today. The next size up is also part of the deal today. We have a unique guarantee. Just to give you an idea of the value of that, uh, we've been guaranteeing our wrenches for over 20 years, right? And if it fails, we get... We generally get your replacement out to you within 72 hours. We're based in Portland and Dorset. We've been there for over 20 years. If you've got one of these with a lifetime guarantee, you can spend 50 pounds on one tool. Lifetime guarantee tools cost a lot more usually. But if you put a bar on the, on the handle of that one and extend the handle, right, you can negate the warranty. But with ours, it says on our warranty, do not extend the handle more than three times the handle length. So now, you can extend the handle. The reason why it's important with the hawk's beak is now you don't need to touch the tool. So it's not only giving you the leverage, it's giving you the reach. Absolutely brilliant. So, and the final one is that big um, 10 inch. Right? Now that goes right up to 35 mil. Now, one thing I've done for years, I've done more pull-ups than any man alive. I'm just gonna shoot over to the pull-up bar now. Right? This is gonna show you that the tool works. Right? I'm over 16 stone. Obviously, every inch is solid muscle. <laughs> well, it's all bought and paid for anyway. That's left-handed without looking on a round solid steel bar. Remember, with every left-handed one, you get a right-handed one free. Instantly, it locks. This is live television, folks. If I come off this bar, you're going to get a heck of a good laugh. Right? Instantly, it locks. It does not fail. That's not bad for before 8 o'clock in the morning. Right? <laughs> now, that's impressive. But I'm from New Zealand. We've got to push the boat out, right? So instead of doing it off two, check this out off just one. That's going on the same bar without looking, right? That's not the big one either. That's the eight inch, right? Is it going to be all right? I don't know. Instantly it locks. Does not fail. Fabulous. As I say, that <laughs> instantly locks. And if we could get a quick, I don't know how close up we can get on that tool now. If you hold it right. nice and still for us, Frenchie, we'll be able to get the camera to you. Just bear with us just a few moments. And I'm here bearing. you go. I'm bearing. Overbearing? Or... There you go. <laughs> there, you, there you go. You can see there's not a mark on those knurlings. I just hung 16 stone of uncontrollable beefcake right, off that wrench and it's in perfect condition. Even that spring has been tested to do three and a half million actions. That's a thousand times a week for 67 years. That is that amazing. That should just about see out. Now, there's one more tool I'd like to compare well, it to. Well, before you show us that one, Frenchie, because I think, uh, are we going to show you this one? Oh. One more. Sorry, yeah. you, no, that's fine. Carry on. It's all right. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um, this one here, a lot of people, it, it, it was called a master wrench. This has been around for about 50 years, right? Problem with it is one blade's thin, one blade's wide, slides straight over the head. When you've got something awkward that's not only rounded off, it's worn down. This is simulating that, the coach bolt head. It could be the nut holding the blade on the lawnmower, whatever the job is. Right? That'll lock onto the last little bit and still get the job done. They're unlike any other adjustable you've ever seen. They're guaranteed for life 
and you're getting four tools guaranteed for life for that fabulous offer. Again, this is the best price I've seen it for. I don't think it's ever been as low as this. Look at, look at the prices normally, okay? $39.95 for the, the 10 inch. As I say, you can spend 50 pounds for that one if it had a lifetime guarantee on its own. $29.95, $19.95, $14.95. If you bought them individually, you could pay that much. That comes to £104.80. Um, um, some exhibitions we go to, you buy one and you get one free, two for 40, two for 30. Or some great show offers, you get it as low as £50. Nothing beats the price here. That is a phenomenal deal. And at this black tag, um, black tag event, I don't think it'll ever be repeated. So this is the time to get it. And Definitely. on top of that, we've got an even bigger one. Well, before we get into that, Frenchie, can I just share some testimonials with people? Yeah, Because sure, we've yeah, got yeah. some amazing. We'll be back with you in just a second, no if worries, that's yeah. okay. Look at these testimonials. We have got so many of you taking advantage of the deal previously. Never before the deal that we've got on the screen. Don't forget, Frenchie's only shown you four of those pieces that you are getting with this. They can brilliantly package absolutely perfect as gift and I have personally bought these and given them as gifts and they've been very well received by the recipient shows exactly as it's shown on TV they worked perfectly excellent set of tools to replace some I'd lost after lending to a friend funny looking at some of those ones French um, oh, <laughs> Frenchie was working with there yeah, um, the first to say that <laughs> <laughs> just reminding me of things that we found in the garage when my dad passed away very old tools which are brilliant as antiques but not necessarily practical worked really great on hard to access fittings found them especially useful installing a hot water cylinder T very tricky area to get to in an air in but as you can see there so many many reviews there but as I mentioned you are getting those four fabulous wrenches but you are getting more than that um, Frenchie you're about to show us that larger wrench that you've got there yeah, um, as I say for uh, over 20 years and hundreds of thousands <laughs> of sets sold um, of that set of wrenches right we've uh, went to a bigger one now this is our big one at the moment it's um this to give you an idea of size your 10 inch in the box set of four goes up to 35 millimeter right whereas the um, bigger one here goes right up to 60 millimeter so that's over two inch it's got a massive overbite with the top jaw that makes it incredibly easy to use you just hook that jaw open and away you go now if you extend the handle of that one by three times you're looking at a four and a half five foot about a meter and a half bar that you're allowed to put on that it's still guaranteed for life but look at that price. These are normally 40 pounds, 50 pounds on their own, depending on where you go. Here, 15.95. It's a bargain, it's a steal. Yeah, I tell you what, for all you folks who already have the, the, the set of four, perfect to get that as a gift for the person who's got the set of four and loves them. You know, Brilliant tool. Now, we've, we've sold out of those before. They are a fantastic, great price. I don't know how long they're going to last, but don't miss out on that one. Yeah, you've got it's saying their monthly mega deal with regard to this one, but you're looking at fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Thing that struck me, I don't know if I'd know what to do with it when I got it home, but it's the quality. That is the key thing with this one, as you can see there. Details on your screen, two four eight zero zero six. So it's fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence. You can see on the screen there, it's a weighty product because of the post and packing on there. So I would encourage you to consider becoming a freedom member rather than paying your five for your post and packing. Just pay that little bit extra, become a freedom member, and that means that when you're going for the additional item like the wrench set then you're not paying any additional posts and packing because it's all part of your freedom membership and of course with our black tag event we've got so many different things that you are going to be wanting to take advantage of then that makes sense to be a freedom member the wrench set we are busy for the wrench set as well don't forget it comes with that guarantee and you can see you are going to get all of those there in their box perfect to give as a gift for a phenomenal price now the details popping up on your screen there 31 pounds and 95 pence as you saw from French there if you're an exhibition which sadly we haven't got those exhibitions this year you could be potentially paying 50 pounds which is a fabulous offer price but here we are beating that with that saving of 18 pounds if you wanted to go for both of those together incidentally you can actually get them for less than what you'd normally be paying for those four together so if you're going for all of them together it comes to 47 pounds and 19 pence what a phenomenal deal and that is the key thing and of course if you're shopping for Christmas in that basket starts 
creeping towards £60, you can spread the cost as well, turn it into a flexi order. And that's what many of you are doing. Many of you are taking advantage of not only the wrenches, the fabulous Polo Panchos as well, um, but also those baskets. Can I tell you about these? These have been so, so popular. First time that we've seen these here from Frenchie, and these are amazing, quality through and through. And we are talking bamboo, and they are brilliant. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love the look um, of, of wooden bamboo anyway, but you can see there they're going to look stylish in any home. You've got that gorgeous etching, as you can see, within there. But you've got practical abilities with regards to these because they do fold flat. Now, you've got 10 different choices with regards to your designs. The cat has been a very popular one, but it's been overtaken by a rabbit. Can you believe it? A bunny rabbit has gone into the lead. But what about the chicken? I mean, this is a brilliant one that's going to look wonderful on your work surface at home. Um, and again, I know lots of people collect kind of piggy ornaments and different things, uh, things that are pig related so you've got your pig there as well and um, of course you've got your dog as well which I think is brilliant you could be putting doggy treats in there maybe um, things like the, the lead and stuff like that so you've got somewhere to base it Frenchie was saying that the dragon pre um, is very very popular within Wales of course national emblem there and then of course the elephant another very very popular style as you can see there but it doesn't stop there don't forget we've got your owl as well we're going to see these all um, with Frenchie in a few moments love that beautiful I love the way that the eyes are come together with that one then the bunny rabbit this is the one that's proven to be the most popular now i think it looks perfect as an easter egg basket and then finally how can we forget cyril the squirrel there just nine pounds and 95 pence whichever of these you are going for you've got a huge 50 percent saving you're saving more than you're spending to be honest and the details are there on your screen but as i say they are practical Frenchie, these are going to be brilliant in our home Oh, beautiful thing. They, and you know what? They've been around for like 60-odd years. Really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. But they used to be made of hardwoods and apples and, okay. and that sort of thing. And I've, I've seen that those ones, the hardwood ones, sell for 30 to 40 pounds each. Okay. You know? They were beautiful, but it's a lot of money. Yes. Right? What they've discovered, though, is if you cross-laminate bamboo, mm -hmm. and as I said earlier, they're from a bamboo farm, not a bamboo forest, you've got a perfect <coughs> thing for the job. Um, and they're also treated so you can use them as a trivet for a hot pot, um, anything like that, you put anything hot on there. You can use it as a cutting board, a bread board, a placemat. But when you're looking for a bowl, all you do is you lift it up from the top, swing it 90 degrees, push down to the little pin, and there's a bowl for any occasion. When you're looking for a bowl, you can't get enough of them. When you're done with the bowl, there's nowhere to put them. Right. And when you finish with this one, you just twist it back at the base. If you want to clean it, then you might have got a bit of grubby in there. Right? You can use them as planters as well. You know, oh. Swing it like so, drop it upside down into a bowl of soapy <coughs> water. Because it's flexible, wow. see if that was a hardwood, it could be a bit brittle. And if you did that, you might break it. Right? Take a bit of care, obviously. Don't leave it soaking in water, because no wood likes to be soaking in water. But douse that in water like so, and then give it a rub with a scouring pad if you need to. And then away you go again. Keep Beautiful. away from the dishwasher, though. Yeah, don't put it in the dishwasher. Yeah. Right, don't like dishwasher. Yeah. No. <laughs> now we've got loads of different styles here that are incredibly popular. Um, the, this one has the most appeal. It's it's the apple. <laughs> right? And then of course you've got the pussy cat. Now he's perfect. I can't get the roll of the tongue around perfect. But anyway, um, he's very good friends with the owl. Right, and the owl's a real hoot. But be careful with these two, because if you put them together, they're liable to run off to sea together and end up in the land where the piggy wig stood. There he is there. <laughs> Beautiful. And then uh, the next one to show you, the dragon. Very, very popular there. It's beautiful style, that. Like, it makes a nice banana boat there. Eh? And then the next one I'm going to show you is the elephant. This is a fabulous place to put your phone or your keys, because he never forgets. And his <laughs> trunk's up, so he's happy. Oh. Remember, they all fold flat. This one folds flat exactly the same way as the apple folds flat. That works exactly the same way. Just swing it like so, push down to the pin, swing it at the base, and there's your bowl. And to drop it back, you just do the reverse. Quick, simple. What a fantastic Christmas gift idea for that person who's impossible to buy for. Because you know the one. You've got them in the family. They've got everything. Well, it's highly likely they haven't seen one of these. So I'll tell you what, a great gift idea for them. Then you've got uh, the chicken, right, the chook. You can get up to about a dozen half eggs in there. You can get over a thousand eggs in there as long as it's fish eggs, yeah? Or <laughs> frog spawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A dozen half eggs in the chicken, absolutely cracking. So now you can put all your eggs in one basket. Oh, hey. I did warn you before we started that my jokes are a little bit on the rough side. There you go. <laughs> and then finally, Cyril the Squirrel, a fantastic place to put your Christmas nuts in. Look at that. Amazing. Very cool.
love it and they are all proving to be very very popular French I'm so glad that you bought these because I think you are ticking a lot of Christmas gift boxes oh, for people we go, oh, I've sold them for a couple of years now yeah. they never made it to ideal world because I was always too busy doing yeah. shows yeah. with them yeah. right but um, uh, now they're easy. a fantastic gift idea yeah. and of course they come boxed as well so they're perfect if you want to wrap them if you want to post them then you can do obviously you've got your weight to consider but we're talking probably a couple of pounds maybe to post these um, they could even be a, a class as a, a a large letter looking at the width of these are not very deep, deep at all but what a fabulous gift but it's the practicalities as Frenchie said there if you're wanting to show something off whether you're wanting to display something Christmas baubles you could be using with these are practical abilities there of things like your apples your bananas all these different fruit elements that many of us have around at this time of year then you could actually be putting them into these fabulous um, fabulous baskets love the dragon there as well I know lots of people kind of a, a gothic style um, of, of fashions and things like that people do like the the dragon so it's not just as we said mentioned for Wales there um, but I really do love these and it's the practical abilities and the fact I mean let's look at that price you are saving 10 pounds on these less than a tenner phenomenal value for money so it's something that's definitely worth popping into your basket if you excuse the pun see then I'll let um, Frenchie have all the jokes that's my own one there pop them into your own <laughs> basket and of oh was that could... a joke oh yeah. sorry oh, I missed that one Frenchie <laughs> and of course that's without me even mention our flexi basket because that's what you've got with these and of course they could be going into your flexi basket maybe alongside your Paolo Poncho now of course this is another one that's proven to be very very popular and I'm not surprised to be honest you can see here we have got an amazing deal with regards to these um, of course French is going to take us through these as well but going to bring the details up on the screen that price you would usually be paying 19 pounds and 97 pence you would be getting hold of two of those check it out on the website we have got the deal there where you can take advantage of them and get two but please do not do that take advantage of that saving it's not a 20% saving you are saving a 30 over 30% 30 with regards to these ones and that's why it's proving to be so popular and you are deciding now you can go for them individually why you would want to pay 9.99 for one of them when you can actually pay six pounds and 67 pence was it I think for each of those if you are going for them uh, sorry 65 if you are going for three within the pick and mix and you could have three repeats of the same color or mix them up it's entirely up to you but how do you use it that is the key thing well if you've not seen it before you watch this it's amazing over to you Frenchie in over 20 years of selling these on shopping channels this is the best price three for under 20 pounds six pounds 65 each fabulous remember they're made in the UK something made in the UK at a phenomenal price that's why they're proving really really popular remember you do get your instruction leaflet showing you how to do it um, you can also go on to those sites that have um, demos on them and put in Polo Pancho demo and you'll get to see a demo there but very easy to use start with it inside out right they're fully machine washable they're color fast I know people who've had the same Polo Pancho for over 10 years you roll it down once twice put it on over the head as you would a jumper I think I've gone back into my Kiwi accent again. <laughs> I think it's to do with the fact that it's a New Zealand idea. Then it's still made in the UK, though. Right. What, hold it like so. Put it on over the head as you would a jumper. Now, that way the chest is nice and warm, the back's nice and warm, but your arms are free. Put a coat on, it looks just like a polar neck, but you've got the freedom of movement. You, if you've ever walked around like this, it's because an extra layer here would be perfect, right? When you're getting colder again, you feel it on the ears. It feels like your ears are going to crystallize and drop off. So bring it up to the chin. Off. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> up to the chin, over the back of the head, and there's the ears warm and toasty. Now, you might be out walking the dog. You might be bouncing around doing whatever. It doesn't fall down. Your ears are warm and toasty. It's supposed to have gone down to minus two last night in some places. It's getting into that crazy, freezing cold time of year. January, February, fabulous. If it gets colder, go over the nose. Now, this is also brilliant if you're going into a shop, of course, because there's your face covering, there's your mask, right? And if it gets colder, you go up again, and there's your full balaclava. Don't go into a shop like that, okay? Open the face if you wish, right? And then hit, put the helmet on. If it's not a fitted hat or helmet, you can put it on like so, and that's brilliant, right? If you are wearing a riding hat that's fitted to you and you don't want to put a scarf underneath it, you can go to there and put the riding hat on now, they are absolutely brilliant anywhere where you wear a hat or a helmet because it works around the, the hat or the helmet. Right, so if you're wearing it with a hard hat, something like that, you can have it full balaclava and still get the helmet on over the top of that. Right, brilliant. 
And then, uh, as I say, they're fantastic under the coat. If it warms up and you're wearing a jumper, you've got to take your coat off, take the jumper off, find somewhere to put the jumper. With this, you can just slip that off without taking the coat off, roll it up, it'll go into a coat pocket, small bag, rather than carrying around a bulky jumper. Now, I'm going to make a different hat this time. There's actually over 20 different hats you can make out of this. I've got some dotted around me, but with this, you just take the top tail through the hole, thermal fleece is machine washable, colour fast, and did I say they're made in the United Kingdom? Look at that. There's the flag there. Over the top of the head. That was almost an Aussie twang to me accent there. I think I'm going all over the place. You're so talented. I I've been here in the UK for over 20 years. My accent's gone mad. Right. Over the top of the head, pull it tight. And there you have the chic, and that looks pretty cool, going down the slopes on a ski slope, anything like that, right? <laughs> but your ears are warm, the back of the neck's warm. I get a sore neck from when I used to play rugby many moons ago, right? And that is absolutely brilliant, right? And again, it slips off. If you went out onto the high street and bought, say, a Cossack beret, I'll bring this one over, right? There's the Cossack beret. If you were to, that's made out of a polo pancho as well. If you were to buy a hat like that on the high street, made of thermal fleece, Made in the UK, you probably wouldn't get a lot of change out of 15 pounds. Right? Here, they're working out to six pounds 65 each. Three for 19.97. It's an absolute steal. Absolute bargain, and you've got so much choice. I mean, you've seen there just how incredible it is, so easy to work with. I love the idea that you're going to be able to wash these, and they, this is the kind of fabric, the quality that you've got here is that as soon as you wash it, it looks as if you've only had it a day. Amazing. Now, let's start off with those colours. So you've got your practical, and perhaps if you're buying for somebody else and you don't know what colour to go for, then the black, um, of course, that's going to go with pretty much everything. If you don't want to go for that black tone, then, of course, you can go for your navy, also a very popular one. Red, I mean, think about the coat, potentially. Perhaps somebody's going in a black coat and having that nice red colour. And again, this is the thing, that the price that we've got here, you could go for different colours to work with your wardrobe on different days. The gorgeous purple there, I love that chocolate box purple. The royal blue, that's another one that is a very popular one, as is that gorgeous berry tone. We're calling this, calling this one plum if you're looking for this one online. Then, of course, your camouflage, always a popular style. So, of course, that's a lovely one to go for. Um, maybe you're buying for a, a guy perhaps maybe uh, the camouflage is a good one to go for that beret that we saw didn't it look amazing within that tiger print as you can see there and then of course you've got that green so maybe if you've got something like a wax jacket that might be a nice one to go with again the chocolate would be perfect to go with a wax jacket but again it's practical it's warm you can roll this up put it into a pocket put it into your handbag put it into the glove box of the car then that gorgeous hot pink it's not too shocking a pink though we're calling that one cerise which is a really nice pink like that one then of course you've got your baby tone so you've got your baby pink You've got that gorgeously soft baby blue and then, of course, your cream as well. So, of course, those lighter tones. I mean, it can get chilly in the springtime as well, so don't necessarily think about those strong colours for winter. Think about thinking ahead for those lighter tones perhaps for in the springtime. But, of course, as you heard from Frenchie there, you've got over 20 different designs that you are going to be able to find with these ones. Um, lots of sources out there on the internet, but you will get your little um, sheet here that will give you 11 basic designs. You can go off and do your own research as Frenchie said go and look on the internet you will find loads and loads of different ways for you to wear these and I'm sure you will come up with some of your own as well but the key thing is take advantage of that price while we have the deal it's our black tag event now the price on your screen 19 pounds and 97 pence you would usually only get two of these um, for 19.97 you'd normally be paying the tenner for one of them but here you are paying six pounds and 65 pence equivalent when you spread three of those over 19 pounds and 97 pence which is why it's proven to be be so popular and of course you can get hold of them for your gifts for next year not just about Christmas it's about those gifts throughout the year of course talking of gifts sometimes it's a gift that the, what do you buy somebody who has everything maybe somebody who's into DIY anybody that's got home to be honest needs a set of the hawk beak re beach rent try again hawk beak wrenches it was all going so well and with this one you're getting your set of four they come beautifully boxed so perfect to give as a gift and I can say from personal experience these are definitely something worth going for can I just quickly grab them just to show you because you are getting all four of these for the price on your screen now French is going to take us through these again but when you are buying these whether they're for yourself whether they are as a gift for somebody you can buy with confidence because they come with that lifetime guarantee and of course you are getting all of these you'd normally 
you paying £15 for that one on its own right? At next exhibition, you'd be paying at least £50, and this is the best price that we've got you here with that 20% discount because we are looking at Black Tag events. So um, at 020337 if you're wanting to get hold of these. But Frenchie, every knee, every home needs to have one of these sets. You've got your 10 inch there, you've got your 8 inch, you've also got your 6 inch there, and of course you have got your little tiddly one there with your 4 inch there. But they are so practical. Everybody needs a set of these, Frenchie. Um, wrenches, yeah. The, the thing is, you only have to use a tool like this once rather mm -hmm. than pay someone else to do a job. Good point. And it's paid for itself. I mean, and it's so easy to use. I mean, all you do is hook that top drawer open, slip it over, and it forms the shape around the work. Right? When it comes to fittings with sides, right, the most common fitting you come across is a six sided nut, hexagon shape. Right? Um, it'll either be metric, it might be an old one, it might be imperial. AF, Whitworth, American Standard Fine, British Standard Fine. There's so many different types of nut and bolt, right? This is on a spring, so it forms the shape. When the top jaw is on the flat, the bottom jaw is inside the corner, so you don't round the corners off. Metric Imperial AF, Whitworth, anything, right? So that's one. That's the six-sided fitting. There's the four-sided fitting. Again, fast as a socket ratchet there, right? You go from the four-sided fitting to the eight-sided fitting. There's the eight-sided fitting. And that's basically it, anything with flaps. If it's soft, right, all you do is use a bit of protection, a bit of um, leather, a bit of cloth, a bit of tape. Because it doesn't slip, it won't rip it up the way the bigger teeth tools tend to. And then for the next thing you might come across is a rounded off nut. Right? Now that's often caused by this one here. Right? Problem with this one is it's on a screw there, and you can see that it wears out on this joint here. So when you put that onto the work and wind the screw up, it forces open, rounds off the nut, slips off, you have mashed your knuckles. Crikey, that hurts. In New Zealand, we call that a sailing wrench, because after you've done your knuckles, then off she goes. Right, you, I've gone back to my Kiwi accent again. Cool. Right? <laughs> Pipe up against the wall, the handle's in the way. So now you either got to get one of those houses that revolve around the plumbing, expensive, or you kick a hole in the wall. With the hawk speak, seriously now, one hand. So often with tools, you lose a hand because you're holding two bits together. This comes in with one hand, full length of the handle for each, and it'll do jobs no other tool will do. And um, brilliant on plumbing jobs, it could be electrical conduit, it could be a, a mechanical job. Any job you come across. Now the next one to compare it to is the slip joint pliers. The, there's a lot of tools out there where you have to squeeze the handle. Now think about it, if you squeeze too hard, they'll slip and you whack your knuckles. If you don't squeeze hard enough, you're chewing up the work. Right? The hawk speaks only got one handle. There's nothing to squeeze. You just hook it open. It's sprung loaded, so it locks on, turns out fast as a soccer ratchet. Remember they're guaranteed for life? Well, that spring's been tested to do three and a half million actions. It's only a thousand times a week for 67 years. The next one to compare it to is the vice grips. For this one, you've got to wind the screw, squeeze the handle, rewise the screw. Are you awake yet? Good morning. Right? Squeeze the handle. <laughs> and, and now with this one, when you squeeze your hand, it can trap on your hand right there. By crikey, that hurts, right? And then it's stuck on your hand, right? With this one, you don't even need to see, right? Just hook it open, pull back, it's on there. If I put some pressure on there, it's probably hard for you to see, but I'll try and show you. This one, the one in this hand, that's the one that's slipping. Now, when a tool slips, you damage the work, you damage the tool, and you damage yourself. The more pressure you put on the hawk's beak, the more it locks on. That's why they've been so incredibly popular. That's why we've got five-star reviews with it. They're absolutely brilliant. Now, I've just quickly run through what each tool will do for you. The little one. Now that's normally 15 pounds on its own. Remember, they're lifetime guaranteed tools. If this one was guaranteed for life, you could spend on that one tool on its own 50 pounds. 50 pounds for one tool. Look at that price. You're getting the whole set of four hawk's beak wrenches for just over 30 pounds. It's the best price I've seen. Right, so for this one, you snap the head off a bolt, right, that'll lock onto the last little bit, still get the job done. That'll also take the top off, it's good for teeth extract, no, don't do that. Um, it's great <laughs> for taking the top off a beer bottle, right? Um, these things, hose clamps, right? You put a screwdriver in there, it can slip out and go straight in your finger. Oh, crikey, it's all about pain. Well, this one's taking the pain away. A lot of people pay a lot of money to get someone else to do the job because they don't want to fork out the big money. This one is also brilliant for when the handle's missing off the tap. You might want to... Um, take a fitting out that is um, recessed, awkward. Well, it'll turn all of these screwdriver bits right, into ratcheting right angled screwdrivers. If you add it all up, it's also a stud extractor as I said a few minutes ago. A stud extractor can cost you over 30 quid. If you add it up, that one can actually replace about 100 pounds of tools. It's normally 15 pounds on its own. 
That one's part of the deal. This one's also part of the deal. That's normally 19.95 on its own, right? The next size up, that one's normally uh, 29.95. That's part of the deal, right? On our lifetime guarantee, it says, do not extend the handle more than three times the handle length. Think about that. It's a tool that's it's the only one I've ever heard that does it. It's an adjustable tool with a lifetime guarantee, even if you put a bar on the handle three times the handle length. That is amazing. I've never seen that with any other adjustable. Right. So that, the reason why that's important, it's also the only adjustable that when you've extended the handle, you don't need to touch the tool. So when you can't reach, or when you haven't got the leverage to get the job done, I'm not as strong as I was 20 years ago. Fantastic. But now what I'm going to do is hang myself. It's early in the morning. I've had enough of you lot. I'm going to hang myself. Seriously? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Right. With every left-handed one, remember you get a right-handed one free today. With every <laughs> metric one, you get an, an imperial one free. It's awesome. Instantly it locks, does not let go. Now, that's 16 stone of man flesh. Right, if I was to do that off just the 10 inch one tool, that would be impressive. But a big fat kiwi hanging just off the 8 inch is probably pushing it a bit. But this is live television. It's early in the morning, but it's live, right? So here we go. That's the 8 inch going onto the round bar. Instantly it locks, it does not fail. I can't cheat doing that. The tool works. When you finish, you just twist it and off it comes. Now I'm going to shoot over here and we're going to try and get a, a close up of that. All right, so we could get a closer to this because this is the one I've just hung myself off. All right, so and this is where gonna... the telltale sign would be, isn't it? It's the, where you've got the grooves, where you've got yeah, that grip. Th these knurlings are shallow depth case hardened. They're extremely hard to an, a shallow. There you go, very to a shallow depth. See that? They, there's not a mark on them. They're perfect. I've just hung, hung 16 stone of fat get off there. Right, brilliant. Right. And again, all sprung loaded, everything works perfectly. That is why we at Hawkspeak Rents 8 inch, that is a brilliant tool for any of those jobs. Now come back over there. Look at that. Um, all the, the tool is, all the parts are individually plated before assembly so you don't get corrosive breakdown. Um, as I say, that spring's tested to do three and a half million actions. It's a thousand times a week for 67 years. It should just about see you out, right? So you don't just get that one. That's normally $29.95 on its own. You don't just get that one. You get the one that's normally $19.95. You get the one that's normally $14.95. Now just getting those three for that brilliant price, you'd be absolutely amazed. Because as I said, you can spend 50 pounds on one tool with a lifetime guarantee. But you're getting four of those tools, all four of them, for $31.95. It's a steal. It's a bargain. You should, you should get a couple of sets for everyone. Eh? And it's Christmas. Splash out. Right, now we're going to go straight on to the big wrench, get that out of the way. Yeah, the just big to give one. you a time check, Fence, you've got about three minutes left. Okay, right, that's a fantastic tool, right, for all your bigger jobs, okay. The, the, the 10 inch goes up to an inch and a quarter, this goes up to two inch. So um, all the people who've got bigger jobs to do, absolutely fantastic. A brilliant price on that, fifteen ninety five. what a steal. Right. Have we got time to shoot to the bowl quick, quickly? Um, we've got about two and a half minutes. Can I just quickly just do a review, Frenchy bowl yeah, yeah. moves, if you want to do a quick move? So yes, details on your screen. If you want to go for that larger wrench, £15.95. pence. Don't forget, add in that additional set and you will still be saving. So if you go for the four um, at the bottom, you're still going to be saving the price that you would normally pay for the four by themselves. Don't forget your Palo Poncho is incredibly busy with regards to these. You're getting that 30, well more than a 30% saving of these. You are saving with with regards to these, £10, you're getting three for 19 97 You would usually be getting two for that price, and you'd normally be paying 9 99 individually. Check out on the website. You will find all those details. But please do not ch um, check them out with those prices. Take advantage of the black tag event that you've got there. Up to 70% off during that event, and you are saving 30% with these. Now, if you're buying them as a gift, whichever those colour go for, you are going to get those guides there of how you can work with these. And, of course, there's a wealth of information on the internet as well but of course brand new items we've only got a minute and a half left of the show but the baskets are proven to be incredibly popular well they're you. fantastic i mean you can use it as a cutting board you can use it as a placemat and when you uh, when you want a bowl you just turn it 90 degrees push down to a pin down to the pin swing around at the base and there's a bowl for any occasion all made out of cross laminated bamboo from a farm not a forest so they're sustainable 100 percent bamboo when you want to clean it turn it upside down drop it into soapy water very easy to clean fantastic 
fantastic item. And remember, we've got so many different styles. There's a pussycat. He's perfect. He's good mates with the owl. He's a real hoot. Those two are going to run off to sea together and end up in the land where the piggy wig stood. But don't miss out on that. There's so many different styles. There's the elephant. Don't miss out on the chicken. He, the chicken, right, he's cracking. Right? And then the apple, he has the most appeal. Oh, I love it. Ten designs to choose from as you saw them all on your screen there. So whichever you're going to go for, treat yourself to one as well because the same item number, you can go for all ten of those and just pay one post and packing if you're wanting to. Nine ninety nine for each one of those beautifully packaged they come in a box perfect to wrap and give as a gift now of course a french is going to be back with us a little bit later on at 11 o'clock so please do join him i think he's going to be here with alex so she'll look forward to the hour as well i know so the details on your screen for those fabulous wooden pop-ups do not miss out on anything we've had an incredibly busy show frenchy thank you for your enthusiasm thank I'm you worn, i'm worn out just watching you <laughs> <laughs> try my shoes <laughs> <laughs> so come back join frenchy at 11 o'clock i will see you a little bit later on as well but Alex is coming up next. See you in a bit. So, of course, it's 8 o'clock. Time to have a look at our Heartfelt Creations one day special. Then we're back with Clarity. Looking forward to that. Uh, and then we've got Black Tag Deals with Cricket later too. Hi there. I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Ho Chanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection, and this was down to Josie, using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda.
Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning, and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hello and good morning and uh, good morning Nikki. I feel like good it's morning. been like months. It, ha it does seem like months but I don't like think it has been months. Is it not? I just it's been probably like weeks. Weeks, maybe weeks. weeks. Nikki. Hello. <laughs> We've got our screens here. Um, now do you know what? The one day special has been so busy and we always say this and we do forewarn you that we have repeats through the night. And during the night, you've also been very busy. You've also not been sleeping. But anyway, the one day special has now gone. It has gone. So that's why when we say you need to be quick if you really want this, because here, here is evidence that it's sold out. And so we have got a Wild Stocks Last. It's on screen for you. So basically, the only difference is that you're not getting the um, card bases, but you are getting all of these absolutely beautiful ornate dies, lovely sort of gateway dies, and you're getting the beautiful stamp set. Um, so Nikki, what do you like about these then? What I love about them is you've got four die sets that all coordinate together. Yep. So they mix and match together. So you haven't, you've got the ability to go to your dies mm -hmm. and just create without really having to think about it. Yeah, lovely stuff. Look, let, let me show you the actual dies themselves because they're always sort of um, bigger than the packaging, but look so ornate, so beautiful. Take a little look here. Ah, beautiful. I do love the packaging as well, don't you? It's something that Heartfelt are really brilliant about. And uh, do you know, when I buy anything, yeah. I always look at the packaging first. Yeah, well, I know that. Like I know we shouldn't. Judging a book by its cover type Ex thing. Exactly, yeah. but this book and this cover it's just the way they put it together isn't absolutely. it absolutely you've got the pink dyes as well which um so you know they're heartfelt straight indeed. away indeed and then of course we have got these stamps uh, always talking about how good the um um the red rubber is how deeply etched how you get such a fantastic um, print from it when you stamp it it's also pre-mounted but i think what you really want to see of course is some samples let's have a look here i mean gosh i mean wedding invitations there's so many things you could do with these beautiful dies they're very elegant aren't they nikki they are yeah and you, the thing is as well you can use any collection you like and you can get use the same dies but a completely different look so a christmas one here yeah and Beautiful. then coordinate it with some other dies that you've got in your crafty stash. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. You can, I think it, what Heartfelt do is they bring us new products every month, but they they kind of work alongside everything they do, else that they? they've brought out. Absolutely beautiful. Look at these. Look at these. And of course. They're fabulous with the flowers. Can you hear all right, Nikki? Yes, I can. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, yes, they are. Yeah, just think about all those flowers that you've got at home, um, all those dyes that you've got. We've got some on the show today. Think about all the collections that you've got. They are going... I mean, this is using the Fashionista collection. Mm -hmm. Look at that. But I've used the Gateway dyes to create that. 
Look at that. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I mean, oh, using that beautiful dazzling dahlia that we launched last month. Well, it's be I haven't seen that. Yeah, we Lucky launched those last month. They yeah. are absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this one. And this one was, I, I, it was a Christmas one, but then yeah. I kind of thought to myself, but it could be an engagement. It could be a wedding card. Yeah. But based around Christmas. So using your silver and white cardstock. And then obviously that, that front one was from the orchid collection that we launched probably about three years ago yeah it's absolutely stunning right then so it is a while stocks last as i said the one day special did sell out uh, you've got a 39 pound saving that's a big old saving there don't you think that's so good nikki Price, isn't, it? isn't it absolutely amazing price and yeah. even better we have got a freedom discount it's 67 pounds and 46 pence so then you're getting a 45 pounds and 49 pence saving oh what did i say sorry 40 46 pounds and 49 pence really need the glasses um right then uh, and it's on flexi by two payments of 33 pounds and 73 pence 433864 is the item number um then we have got our classic rose um set of stamps we have got dies they are under a separate item number but i what are your favorite flowers nikki they have to be, I have, I'm going to be honest, yeah. they are peonies, peonies, but roses are my second favourite. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I'm very classic. I'm at, like, if I get bought anything, I'm roses, champagne, chocolates, I'm there. You're there, you're yeah. done. But you can create absolutely realistic flowers using these stamps and dies. Absolutely beautiful. And these gorgeous stamps, let me show you again, you can see how deeply etched the red rubber is. Um, is just 10.99 for these stamps. Look at that, and they're sizable stamps, don't you think? They are, yeah. And you've got four stamps in there, but as you can see, you've actually got more than one petal on each, on it. So one petal layer yeah. on each stamp. So you're actually getting a lot more value for money, I think. Excellent. Look at that, 10.99. 435950 is the item number. And then, as I said, we've got dies that will go with it. Um, have a little look. Uh, you've also got the um, foliage as well. So you've, yes, you so you've got your foliage, off. you've got your, your rose leaves in there as well. So that is um, a, a, a great thing to have. What I was going to say is, people say to me, can I use the dies on their own? Can I use the stamps on their own? Yeah. Well, of course you can, but they coordinate beautifully together. One great thing about using the dies is you can use your f art foam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're using your art foam, you just need your die to go with that and you can create um, foam flowers. Excellent. There you go. There are the dies. Uh, £15.99. pence. Item number is 955356. And then um, another Another, another item that I know you can't rave enough about really I can't and I would love to be able to show you if we have a few minutes left at the end of the show how this works alongside those stamps and dies yeah because we've got our flower shaping molds uh, just makes life a lot easier and you get a really lovely realistic finish uh, look at that isn't that pretty? It takes all the hard work and time out of making your roses. Yeah, it does. I love how you've done this sample. It's all frosted. It's, uh, that one actually isn't mine. I'd love oh, to take credit for it, but that is actually one of the design team that's done that. Oh, the design but team. But again, great. Christmas, wedding anniversary, birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so stunning. Um, so this is how the mould... Well, Nikki will show us later how it works, but um, it's quite self-explanatory. So you've got the innie and the outie, and you squish squish those um, together uh, right 17 pounds and 49 pence item number is nine zero eight three one zero um, now are you seeing all these black tags around because we have launched our black tag event some items will go all the way up to 70 percent off but you're seeing the black tags there <laughs> i like that charlotte's giving me sound effects about whoop, whoop, uh, in my ears but uh, you're seeing all the black tags uh, with the percentages off that we've got for you 17 pounds and 49 pence as i said for that flower mold 908310 here's the website so you can check out online and of course we've We've got your essentials. We've got your daubers if you need storage. Now, I know a lot of people like to get um, a, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, a, what am I trying to say? 
like to get a storage system for every single one. Yes, that's somewhere what I'm to, to say. store your stamps and dies. Yeah, yeah, that's what we like. Lovely stuff. Uh, okay, here's the storage binder. Here it is. Uh, wonderful designs. Have a little look there. Very nice. Twelve ninety nine for each of those. Good reviews as well. Good reviews. Lovely stuff. All right, then over to you, then Nikki. Right. So yes, unfortunately. The one day special sold out last night. Yeah. However, the dies work absolutely fantastic on their own. You do not need the card blanks for it. That was just something that you can create and make um, your gateway cards. But using your dies, you can still create your cards, your decorative sort of like your um, different shaped cards. Whoops. So <laughs> what I've done is I've taken my card blank. I've got my spine going down this way. I will show you in another demo that you can have it tentfold as well. And I'm using the Elegant Swirl Gateway Die, which has four dies in total. So the four dies that you are going to get is your outer edge. So this is the die that you will use to create your card blank. Then you've got your decorative part. Now, if you look at it, it has got a cutting edge going all the way around the edge, but not on the inside, which means that I don't need to put that around it to create a decorative die. I just need that one. If I want to cut an aperture out of there, I will then plop this one in place, and that will cut that center out, and it will actually give me a nice piece there as well. And then you've got your decorative center. Now, when I look at this one, that the actual die cutting lines there's a break in it which means that I would if I want to cut that out separately I would use this die with it and that will cut that out so what I'll do is I'll go through step by step and show you how each die works so first of all we want to create our card base so I'm going to take that outer edge I'm going to pop it on my card blank and because obviously um, I'm doubling it up, what I would suggest is go for slightly thinner. So don't go for 300 GSM. I think this is about 220. So in total, I've got 440, haven't I? I'm going through 440. That's a lot. Which is a lot of cardstock. But that's just testament to the dies as well. Yes, exactly. And it just means that you might have to pop it through your, your die cutting machine just a few times to make sure. It die cuts through. So when I've laid that down, I've cut it, um, sorry, I've laid it just across my spine of my card blank. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to pop that through the die cutting machine and drop my glue gun in oh, the careful. process. It's not on, is it? It is, yeah. Oh, I'll pick it up in a second. As long as it's all so right. I'm going to take it through once and then I'm going to bring it back once more. And that should be enough. It all depends on your die cutting machine. And then when I come over here, I now have a decorative gateway card blank. It's beautiful. That opens up just like that. But obviously, you've then got that straight edge. So what you need to do then is you need to cut out another maybe patterned paper or colored paper, depending on what you're doing. Now, I'm going to make a Christmas card with it. So I've already gone ahead and I think this was the Snowy Pines collection that we launched a few months back. See, so I've cut that, that out. Don't forget your glue gun because I'm worried because it's on your bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to set the studio on light. So then I'm going to, and that is actually the wrong die that I've used. I do apologise. Right, I'm going to cut it out again. It's fine. It's fine. So We've, we've got this, yes. Right, so I'm going to have to start again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. So this is actually from the Ornate Flourish Gateway die set. Ah, I see. Okay, they are very, very similar, and it's early in the morning for me. So <laughs> that's my excuse. So I'm just going to pop that through again. I really do apologise for that. Don't worry. So it's just the card blank that I wanted to change. Okay, 
So I'll just pop that through my machine. I love I love okay. cards that have a, a little bit of a different shape, you know, because we sometimes we get a bit stuck just doing, you know, your A4 in half cards where it's really nice to have a decorative edge. It is. And the thing is as well, with Heartfelt bringing all these beautiful decorative dies out, oh, that isn't very straight, but that'll be fine, um, is the fact that, I don't know about you, but I get in the craft room and I have all these ideas and uh -huh. then I start thinking, right, I want to do this, I want to do that, but then I kind of think, oh, no, it'll be easier to do a square card. Yeah. So um, it's nice when you've got these decorative dies that you can use. So I've done that correctly now, I hope. No, I haven't. I've used the wrong one again. I'll tell you what. Do you want me to show some samples or doesn't anything? doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. Would you like to come back? Shall and then I? I will get it right this time. We've got some fabulous samples. I wonder if our Webster, who's on an eight-day run, by the way, but he's doing fine. Uh, <laughs> if we, Because uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes we don't get to see the ones properly at the front. Um, so I thought, yeah, <laughs> Charlotte said, you tell him. Um, but have a little look at these. Aren't they so pretty? What, which one are we looking at? This one. Up, up, up. It opens out like this. Isn't that, look at all the detail in there. Isn't that fabulous? Isn't this so sweet? Look at the little bag. That's fantastic. Oh, that's a nice idea. A little flower girl bag. Oh, yeah, that was Charlotte's idea. I can't take, I can't take credit for this. Um, then down here, just give us a thumbs up when you're ready, yeah, Nikki. I'm but I'll... ready to be honest. Yeah. Um, Mother's Day card. Is Mother's Day in March? Is it? Yes, March. I know that, in fact, to, to be honest, yeah. though, even though March feels like a really long time away, it'll be here before we know it. So uh, if you would like now, this is not the one day special that sold out overnight. We have got a while stocks last. The only thing that's missing are the card blanks. But you've got all of these wonderful decorative dies and you have got the flowers uh, of the stamps, I should say. No, they're not flowers. I'm talking rubbish. They're this one. Hang on. The thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was looking at the uh, flowers over there. Uh, so here are the sentiment stamps. Lovely jubbly. I haven't looked at what we've seen, what they've said. Let me have a little look. So it says on here, thank you for your kindness, which is really pretty, and thinking of you. Hang on, let's turn this around so you can see them on the back. And then I'll turn that round. And there you go. Uh, now, with the wild stocks last, we are all we're already approaching 20% of the stock gone. <coughs> Uh, £74.95, mm. but it is on a freedom discount. £67.46, 433864. Mm. Over to you, Nikki. I'm going to start again. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How would you like to make a card using your elegant gateways and <clears throat> dies? I've actually created a card blank using my elegant swirl die set. So I've used my outer edge to create the outer edge. And then I'm going to cut another one out with the outer edge of that same die with um, some Christmas paper. So this is from the Snowy Pine collection. And I'm just going to take that through once. Mm -hmm. And then that will go on the front of my card base that I've just made. So there is my card and as you can see it's got that straight edge down there. But when I pop this on it's going to cover that straight edge up so it looks like the actual card goes all the way round. Yeah, it like does, that. doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll glue that down first. What collection is that that you've got? So there? this is from I oh, I should know it. It is the oh, Snowy worry, Pine not. collection. Because I haven't it seen it. just because I haven't so, seen it. So. We launched this back in July. So it's ah. the Snowy Pine. And this is what I love about the, this collection of dies as well. We'll coordinate with any collection that you have in your crafty stash. Even if you don't have any heartfelt collections, you could still use other papers. Oh, of course. You could use your your miri card with it your white card stock or your colored card stock and create really absolutely stunning cards so that's the front of my card now the next part is i want to create I'll take my red card stock now 
So what I want to create now is a decorative part. So I'm going to go back to my dies. Mm -hmm. So in that die set, you are getting four. So I'm going to take this one. And I can see that it's got the cutting edge going all the way around, which means I don't need the outer edge. So I'll pop that to one side. I'll pop that archway to one side. And I'm going to now cut this out of red cardstock. Now, what I'm wondering is, and what I have to think about is, do I want an aperture in the centre? And I'm looking and I'm thinking, yes. So I'm going to pop that down, and then I'm going to take this die which will cut out an aperture and it will also give me a nice um, another die cut as well which you'll see when I cut it out so we'll just tape that down I'm making sure it's straight and even all around the edge mm -hmm. like that just about straight I think and then this is quite a thickish cardstock, so I'm going to take it through and then I'm going to bring it back. And then I'm going to turn it on my plate, try not to move it around. So I'm going to turn it, it's at like 90 degrees, isn't uh -huh. it? And then Just pop about it through points, isn't it? again. And what I would say is, because they are really quite a good sized die, I think they're, they're, they're made for five by seven cards, so I would say use one of your A4 if you have an A4 die cutting machine, because that gives you the ability to move it around and get the best cut that you can get. And this is just going to fall out now. So that has cut those out, so it's given you that nice archway there with yep. that little um, decorative holes around it but it's also given me now an aperture in my decorative die so if I didn't do that and I just cut it out let me just find one if I just cut it out without that aperture in that's what it would have given me okay so so many possibilities and um, and different ways that you can use these dies. So this is my decorative part and as you can see I always say pop it through once or twice more than you actually think you might need because that will make it so much easier. I think those swirls are worth keeping, these. don't you think? They are. Yeah, look at these look. They're really pretty. Like the waist is really pretty. No way no waste in heartfelt. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a new slogan. So, there's my decorative part. If I can just take that one out. You always get one that does not want to come out. There we go. And then I'm going to put that around the edge of my card. Just going to... Oh, a little bit too much glue. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just around that inner edge. If you want it all to lay down, you could just add a little bit more glue. Or what you could do is just tap some glue on your glass mat and just using your fingertip, just go around. And that will ensure that all those pieces are actually glued down. I'm actually one for not doing that so much. I do like to have a bit of movement in my cards. Mm -hmm. Just trying to take that bit out, there we go. But I will just add that little bit there. And then that is going to go down there. So it's given me that really nice edge as well. So it sits just inside that decorative paper that I've just cut out. And just go down and flatten that. And that will stick down. And then the next part is... I want to create a front of my card. So I'm now going to go with that decorative die there. And I'm wondering now what colour to cut that out in. Ooh. Now, because I've got some red here, I actually think that would look good in red. And I've already cut it out. So if I was going to do it from scratch and put it on a piece of cardstock, mm -hmm. I would do it like this, then add 
where's that other die oh there it is in my hands <laughs> then add that die there and I'd cut it out like that and that would give me two pieces but because I've already cut some out in red and I've got this what I would cook what most people would say it's waste but you could stamp a sentiment or something on there I'm gonna pop that in there but I'm gonna when I put the tape down I'm actually going to tape it because there's not a lot around the edge to tape I'm actually going to Are tape you risking that. it? Oh, you're not no, risking not, it. No, <laughs> I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to tape it onto the the actual cutting mat itself. Yeah. If it will stick, and it won't stick for some reason. It's sticking to your fingers. Stick it everywhere but onto the mat. So just popping that. Just a couple of pieces yep. just to hold that down. You all set for Christmas, Nikki? Um... I've Have you got your decorations present. up yet? Decorations are going up tomorrow. Ah, nice. I normally do it the first weekend in December, but as everyone else is yeah, getting right. theirs up, I thought I would go with the trend. And then I've just taken that through quite a few times, because yeah. I think this is about 260 GSM, so I want to make sure that that cuts out beautifully. Now look at that. And then look at just always. give it a tap. Nice. And that has given me beautiful arch decorative um, die, die cut should I say. Yep. And then just take your poker tool, just make sure you've got all those pieces out. Oh, it's got hearts in it. Or it's beautiful, heart. isn't it? Yeah. When you actually look at it, I just pop it on there, look. You could actually fussy cut some of this off. Yep. Make a completely that looks different like a ball pattern. Ball. You know that ra that shape Ooh. that you just pointed out, yeah. like the main bit. Yeah, there. Yeah, I can see it. That looks like a ball. It ball. does. Like that look. But you've got a heart in there as well. Look. Yeah. Just there. So yeah, so you can fussy cut them out as well. And then what I want is I want a blank piece of gold. So I'm going to take that outer edge there. And I don't actually particularly want the outer edge, and I've still got some red pieces of card in there, so if it doesn't quite cut those little holes out, I'm not too fussed, because I actually want the inner. So just take that down on my gold card stock, uh -huh. and just pop that through. So I'll take it through once, and I'm going to bring it back just through once more, just to make sure that's cut out. And there I have my gold card blank. And then, oh, look, that's how good it's cut out, look, because it left it in. <laughs> it left good. it in there, look at that, look. And it has actually cut those holes as well. So that was good. That's why I always say clean your die, because sometimes if you don't get all the little bits out of it, when you go to use it the next time, it doesn't cut out yeah. all those details. So the next part I will want to add my decorative die to okay but I'm not going to on that one because I already have one done but I have it done and I've die cut the pattern out mm -hmm. in some of the patterned paper but I'm kind oh. of thinking the red would look better so and the only reason I'm using this one is because I've got my foam tape on the back fair enough but I'm going to as I lay this down just lay it to one side slightly. Bit of a drop shadow. And I will get a drop shadow on yeah. there and s get the beauty of that decorative paper as well. So once I've sat it down, I will then decide where I'm going to have my drop shadow. I think I'll have it there. So just sit off that bottom a little bit. And that's really pretty. Isn't that Very gorgeous. Expensive. Really expensive looking. It is, isn't it? Then I will pop that on to the front of my card. There, like that. And then you will add your sentiment. Now I don't have a sentiment on me, so it would be a Christmas sentiment. I'd probably pop that there. Yep. So we'll pretend that's got a Christmas sentiment on it. But then I've got a red bow that I would put here, 
just there and then some of those gorgeous red roses so I think I'd probably put I'm gonna put I'll tell you what I'm so you can actually see yeah I'm going to pop that on and I'm gonna lift that up slightly so we'll pretend it says Merry Christmas mm -hmm. and then I've got those gorgeous roses that I've created and I'm gonna pop one just there is that from the stamp set we've got on the show? This is from the stamp set, yes. So I've used the stamps and the dies and the mould to create these. And then one there and another one just next to that one. And there you have a decorative shaped Christmas card. Beautiful, look at this. We got there eventually. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Like I said, very expensive looking. It is, isn't it? And yeah. it's something different as well. You wouldn't particularly, I don't think, walk into a card shop mm -hmm. and actually see a card this shape. That would cost a lot. If you go and into a certain well-known card shop, but that's, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, definitely, definitely over a fiver. Um, thank you very much, Nikki. Thank you. Right. Now, if you're just joining us and you're thinking, where's the one-day special? It went overnight. As I always say, we do have repeats overnight and people do get up in the middle of the night and shop. I know because my other half does that and goodness knows what he orders. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, what we've got is a while stocks last. Uh, hilarious. He's at home today as well. I hope he's not watching. Uh, what we've got is while stocks last. So the only thing that's missing from the original one day special is the card blanks. Uh, so what you've got though is you've still got all of those fabulous dies. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. We've got swirls. We've got flourishes. Uh, we've got the lattice. Uh, and we've also got the um, stamps. Again, just to show you um, the sizes of these dies. Have a little look. They are really beautiful. They're really sizable. Um, you know, all sorts of different occasions for these. Look at that. Oh, that, that says thinking of you. It's actually in the die. That's very nice indeed. And then we've also got the set of stamps. Let me show you. There you go. With the sentiments. Look at that. Look, they're so deeply etched, aren't they? Right, samples. Let's, can we show this side now? I'm being very demanding, aren't I? <laughs> Charlotte says it's okay. Oh, Webster says it's usual. True. Uh, but have a little look because the design team and, of course, Nikki herself do some fantastic pieces of artwork. They are absolutely gorgeous. What, which one opens up? This one. Oh, the top shelf. Hang on. Oh, look. Not this one. This one. Okay. There you go. Look at that. There's be they're beautiful. Yeah, Webster's saying yes, they're the birds. You look at the front of that, that was basically what I used yeah. to create that the card that I've just created. That's beautiful. And then we've got this here. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. And then we've got this one as well. Look at that. So full. Oh, this one. Let's open this one. I like the scenes, actually. Mm. That's beautiful. As I say, you can use any collection with yeah. it. And just using those decorative dies to kind of enhance the paper pad, mm -hmm. I think it's worked really, really well. I agree. Uh, so for your Wild Stocks Last, it's £74.95, a £39 saving, but you get an even bigger discount of £46.49 saving if you're a Freedom member. Uh, and it is on Flexi. If you're a Freedom member, it's two payments of £33.73. 433864 is the item number. Okie dokie. Then we've got our uh, stamps, the roses, the classic rose. And um, look at those. Isn't that stunning? Look, that's so beautiful. Now we're half the stock gone of these fabulous stamps. There they are. Again, deeply etched red rubber. It's just 1099 435950 is your item number. Now, if you're basically if you don't want to fussy cut, we've got the dies to match, but they are under a different item number. Half the stock has gone here as well. That means you're both buying them together. I don't know why they haven't been put together, to be honest, but never mind. Never mind. Here we are. Here are the dies. Um, I mean, you can buy them on their own. Just have them as the dies. Uh, £15.99, £4 saving, 955356. Then we have got the shaping mould. This one, also half the stock gone. Have you gone bosh, bosh, bosh? You must have been. 
there you go so you can see it's nice and easy how it fits together like so and you just squish those fibers 17 pounds and 49 pence item number is 908310 we've got some samples here that are again really really pretty i i have to say i love that you frosted them with a bit of glitter it is lovely isn't it yeah it yes. just finishes them off it does yeah. as i say that i didn't actually do that one yeah but i love the way there's no christmas paper on there there's mm -hmm. no christmas flowers you've got your red roses that she's like you said um frosted up mm. with some glitter and then put a merry christmas stamp on yeah it's really wonderful isn't it um there you have it uh, 17 pounds and 49 pence for the mold uh, 908310 then we've got as i said the storage folder we are over half the stock gone why can i uh, there you go it's got a magnetic clasp look so it's really nice and professional and you say, you say this all the time, don't you, Nikki, that, that a lot of people will buy one per collection. Well, yes. Um, each storage binder actually holds seven stamp sets. Ah, good to know. So if you've got some stamp sets and then you've got a decorative die set in your... It will hold all of those, all, all those um, stamps and dies. Mm. And if you purchase the magnetic storage um, or what they call panels, sorry, yeah. um, as well, you can pop your dies on there and your stamps on there. Yeah. And it will hold them. Excellent. There you go. Just twelve ninety nine. Item number is 374418. Lovely jubbly. Now, the magnetic storage panels, you can find those on the website. Along with the daubers, we've got a flower shaping tool set, which has got lots of different heads, if you will. Um, and there's some amazing reviews. We've got foam paper, if you like your flowers to have a little bit of texture. There's the magnetic storage. Lovely, $12.99. Uh, brilliant reviews that you can see. You can shop by brand to see what else we've got on the website for heartfelt creations. Uh, so do take a little look there. I know it's early in the morning, but if you fancy sending in any pictures of any of your um, collections that you've been playing with, then please do send your pictures to studio at tachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Back to you, Nikki. Right, so I just showed you how to make um, the decorative card blank using um, one of the outer edges of the dies, and it was side. So I used the side. I'm now going to show you two different ways to make a tent card. Now, making your tent card means that it's going to go the other way, so it's going to open like that. So if you are new to crafting and you're thinking to yourself, what on earth does Nikki mean by tent fold? It means your actual fold on your card would open basically like a tent look. Okay? Yeah. And that's why we call it a tent card. Cool. However, to make a tent card with one of these dies, and I'm going to use the lattice swirl gateway, you would need a larger paper than to make a tent fold than an A, um, what is it, A4, A4, because right. it would, you fold it in half to give you your fold and it gives you an A5, so you would probably want to go for a bigger piece of cardstock. But if you don't have a bigger piece of cardstock, you would die cut two. So I'm going to die cut it through because I know it will die cut through here. So I'm going to die cut two of my outer edges of the lattice swirl gateway mm -hmm. die set. What sort of GSM is that then? So it works out. I think this is about 220. Okay. So I'm actually going through. 440 aren't I yeah so it's going through the same as if I did it the tenth fold way but as I say with an A4 sheet it isn't quite big enough mm -hmm. but that has just cut through both of those sheets okay Perfect. so that was using my outer edge of the lattice swirl gateway and then as I say there's various different ways you can do this the way I'm going to do it is I am actually going to, I would normally do this using a, um, a bone folder uh -huh. and a score, scoreboard maybe, but I don't have mine on me, 
So I'm folding about three quarters of the way. Is it? I don't know. What would you class that as? A quarter? Or maybe a third? About a quarter or a third okay. at the top yeah. to give me a nice fold. And that's actually folded nicely. Then I'm going to take them back to back and I'm going to add glue just to that top part of the fold. And this as well is a, a way of saving your bigger card stock. So when I make these I, and I'm cutting it out of one piece of card, I tend to use my A3 which then I have a lot of waste on it, and then mm -hmm. I end up with a drawer full of a lot of which is a shame, really, cuts, isn't it? which is yeah. a shame. But yeah. doing it this way, you can pop that down like that. Make sure that glue's all dried, and just make sure you have just. So I move that slightly. You just need to make sure that that mirrors up to the bottom part of your sure that's stuck and then when I open my card blank I have a temp fold yay card. excellent okay so the next part is I want to die cut out using my outer edge again so I'm going to do a backing for it so I've already die cut mine out and I've used some gold mirror card and that will go straight on to the front of my card. Again, using that lattice swirl gateway. Go all the way around the edge. Yep. Just a little swirl bit in the middle. And that will go over my white card stock. So now it, it's actually nicely reinforced my card blank as well. So if you do tend to go for a thinner card, when you pop that next layer on, thickens it up. So that is my gold on the front. Yep. Okay, you can ink around the edges if you want to, to cover that up. And then I'm going to use my decorative part of that die. Now, if we just go over to Alex, if we can, yeah, sure. there what is like? a basket on the front this there one made with this beautiful. very die. <clears throat> and this is another way of using this die. Did you make this? I didn't, actually. Oh. It's, it's absolutely lovely. There is a name on the bottom, this I think. Is, 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 is. Oh, there's stuff in there. <laughs> um, there is... Mm. Shalina. Thank you. I'm, I knew I was <laughs> going to pronounce it wrong. So, yes, yeah. so Shalina from the design teams actually created this and I love this idea. I'm thinking wedding favours. I'm yeah. thinking little Christmas presents. But you can make that box the same width, but if you make it deeper... Uh-huh. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can make it bigger because you can still use that same die. I But see. you could use a square box. Yeah, yeah. You could make a long box. And, oh, there's so many possibilities with it just using this die. It's really pretty. So Isn't nice. That lovely. Very clever design team. Very clever. Uh, so, this hour's gone quick. Going back to the demo, take a look at your die because you need to kind of get used to all your dies. You're getting four die sets. So, yeah. Obviously, and you're getting a lot of dies in each die set. Always check, yes, that ha all the die cutting edge goes all the way around the edge, which means that I don't need my outer edge to cut this out. So I'm going to pop that through my die cutting machine. Just make sure that's taped down well. Right, before I do that, I'll tell you what, we'll use this part as well. So you've got the next part, which says the it cuts out thinking of you. Yeah. Now, if I did this, it would still cut this part out because there's a cutting edge around this part. Right. And it would leave me the aperture the same. But if I want to cut out that sentiment, I can pop that in at the same time. Uh-huh. And that will cut it out the thinking of you ah. so i'm going to pop this through my machine now again 220 gsm which isn't too bad and i know it's going to cut out beautifully but i still am going to make sure i put it through at least twice it's got a so lot of I'm pressure points gently yeah exactly just want to make sure so there's a little bit of the lattice work there so what i'm going to do so i'm turned it again 
to get that pressure from my die cutting machine over all that lattice area and then bring it through again. Now again, I know my machine, so I know that when I take that out, it is literally going to fall out. You may need to put yours through a little bit more. You uh -huh. may need a shim. You may need to put a piece of paper or cardstock in there as well. But look at that. There's my thinking of you. I'll just lay that on there so you can take a look while I'm... Oh, just pop the little letters out. And you could use these letters as well separately mm. as well. And there's the thinking of you. And there's my decorative die and it is just literally all around you. <laughs> it's everywhere oh, can you imagine what my craft room floor looks <laughs> like just oh that's so decorative that through. That. and then just those last few just make sure i run my finger down and just pop work my way down so i don't miss any there's nothing worse than finishing off a card than realising you've lost, left a little bit in. Yeah. Probably most it people would wouldn't me. notice it, but mm. I would notice yeah. it eventually and then it would bug me. Yeah, I'm the same, Nikki. <laughs> it's just one of those crafty things I think us crafters do. Take them all out. Is that the lattice one? This, Yes, this is yeah. the lattice swirl. Mm, it's lovely. So as you can see, that's how Shalina, that's the die that Shalina used to create her sort of like a box bag. And then I'm going to bring that down. You can ink this if you want to. I think you could even stencil it as well. Oh, I think it'd nice make idea. a great stencil. Yeah. But I'm going to pop that on my card like that. Now, can you see where I've glued that? And I tend to find that with a lot of Miri card. When I glue it, it kind of bows a little bit. Right. So what I would do if I was at home is I would put something heavy on it, a heavy book oh, or something, just to, just to flatten it down, just for a few minutes, and it just kind of lays it flat. Mm. I think some people um, will just run the cardstock through the, the die Or the die cutting well. machine. Yeah. With the Miri card, I don't like to actually do that because it marks the Miri card oh, a little point, bit. Though. Good point. I mean, I suppose you could put some paper or something over it. Yeah. So just add a bit of glue, dob in quite a few little areas, making sure all of those are going to lay flat. Those little bits down the bottom. Just pop that in there. And again, that fits just inside that outer edge, so you've got that really nice gold coming through. And then you've got your thinking for you. If you wanted to use it, Mm -hmm. You can pop that in there, and I think I will because I quite like that because nice I think it looks a little plastic. bit too much gold in there. So I'm going to glue that in, but you could cut this out again using the thinking of you in a different colour. Yeah, and use that inside it. You could cut a photograph. A photograph would look amazing. Yeah, it's a nice size for that, isn't it? I actually did a um, a wedding card using this one, did and. You? Um, use an um, engagement photograph of the couple in there and then because I'm gonna uh, I'm thinking Christmas I don't know why because we're all I'm in using, Christmas mood. <laughs> it's nearly Christmas so I'm going to make this into a Christmas card just to show you you know any occasion and I'm just in the Christmas mood today because I think it's probably because I'm going to be putting the Christmas decorations up tomorrow. Nice. So this is one of the elements from the um, Snowy Pine collection. Yep. <coughs> Excuse you need me. a drink of water. Are you all right? And thank you. And then just pop that there. You can add some glue. I'm sorry, glitter. Uh-huh. Add a sentiment, a Christmas sentiment. And... There you go. Ah, oh, it's really <coughs> crazy. Oh, don't worry. It happens to all of us, don't you worry? Um, that is gorgeous. Uh, now, with the thinking of you, you could paper piece that those back in, should you wish to. Colour. Yeah, different colour would look yeah. absolutely beautiful. I love that. It's really, really pretty. Thank you very Thank much, you. Nikki. Uh, now, if you are just joining us, this is a Wild Stocks Last. Um, the one-day special sold out overnight. We are a quarter of the stock already, over a quarter of the stock already, of your Wild Stocks Last gone. I mean, just look at all the um, intricacy and the detail. It's absolutely stunning. 
beautiful. Uh, look at that with these samples. Aren't they gorgeous? And adding any roses and all sorts. Now let's, I've got some more samples behind here. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at that. And all of that detail. This is one of my favourites I'm about to bring up because that, to <coughs> me, definitely says wedding. Doo -doo. Marvellous. And then we've got this one here. Isn't that gorgeous as well? Very, very nice. Uh, and then we've got another one here. Uh, let's open this up. Look, you can even, do you know what? I think these would be quite nice in journals and things like that. These are all of these lovely pages. That would be wonderful. Right then, so for your wild stocks last, £67.46. That's your freedom uh, discount or your freedom payment. Item number is, um, is 433864. So those are for your, all your beautiful dyes. Now, and stamps, of course. Uh, we have got some more for you, which is the classic rose stamp set that's 1099 435950 and just to mention the die set um, because if you're not into fussy cutting then this is perfect they go with the stamps 15 pounds and 99 pence 955356 all righty again you can call us 01733602000 just for a second then i stopped and went am i just giving out my mobile number <laughs> you know when you have a weird thought uh, no, don't stay tuned for my mobile number website. Right then, um, I'm going to hand over to you, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, would you like to know how to make a rose with I your flower shaping mould? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've got my flower shaping mould and I've already die cut out my roses and I've coloured them. And I've coloured them green on there and then put a nice red edge on there. So what you'll find with this particular mould, because Hartfeld do obviously have lots of different moulds, this one is a bit like a jigsaw puzzle because they all have a certain way that they're going to sit inside, cool. which is really nice. So that one goes in there. And so all you need to do is just go around and get those in the right place. Yep. I'm doing it image faced downwards because I'm going to make a rose if we have time I should say that and that one's not in the right place this is actually probably the most time consuming bit just popping them in but when you see what you can create mm. go in there pop that one in there and down there you could actually as well if you want to put more than one layer in so can you imagine how many you're going to be able to yeah. make in one pass Beautiful. then I've got my leaf and I'm going to pop that when I get the right <laughs> oh dear it's early there there it is it's going to sit just there and then I'm going to spritz it with water now this is just plain water what I always say is try and get the finest mist spray that you can get because you don't want to absolutely soak it yeah and i'm going to pop the lid on does it just help to break the fibers it does yeah. yeah so then i'm taking my large thick plate out of my die cutting machine you do need a die cutting machine with a um wide mouth. a wide mouth mm -hmm. so then i'm taking my two clear plates yep. and a pop one on the bottom then my mold and then my next layer okay give it a little bit of force just pop that through now that's going through really absolutely perfectly but if you find it goes through a little bit too loose mm -hmm. all you need to do is just put a card or paper shim in there and i'm going to take my flowers now this is where the magic is mm -hmm. normally i would take my flower shaping tool i would take my mat and I would create all my dimension and embossing effect on my roses doing that by hand but using your mold and also think about all the other flowers that you've got that Absolutely. would fit in there as well look at that look at the detail in there already to create your rose that's brilliant that is because then they look so look, realistic don't they haven't even used my flower shaping tool yet yeah you still need your flower shaping tool 
but this kind of gives you the starting point to create your rose and then you've got your leaf as well look yeah that's beautiful look at that. look and at it the just, detail in there yeah it just takes the hassle out doesn't it it does yeah saving us time and that's what i like excellent there we go details are on screen then um for the flower shape flower shaping mould, that's it, <laughs> 17 pounds and 49 pence, you've got a £4.50 saving, 908310. Uh, and then just to finish off then, we'll come back to our wild stocks last. Um, oh yes, there is extended delivery, apologies, I should have said that, uh, a 4th of December, because obviously it's, it's coming from the States, isn't it, um, Nikki? Yes, it is. It's coming from the States. Uh, there you go. Details are on screen. £74.95. Um, and you've also got a freedom discount. £67.46. 433864 is your item number. Again, you can give us a call 01733602000 or go to our website at hachanda.com. Thank you very much, Nikki. Thank you. It's been great. It's it, been a lovely you, morning. Has. Yeah, Thank make you. sure you're joining Nikki at uh, 12 o'clock this afternoon. She'll be with Hayley, who's coming up next. I think we've got a clarity show coming up next. We do indeed. And our Barbara will be joining us after the break. So maybe grab yourself a quick cup of tea or coffee. I'm certainly going to go and do that, and I'll see you in an hour's time. But here's Hayley. We have, because we are, um, we have launched last night our Black Tag event. So this is our Clarity Black Tag Mixed Media event, followed by Deals with Cricket, and then Who's Hot? Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now, and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Hachanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Hachanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda.
Did you know you can watch Ochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Well, hello there and welcome. My goodness, we are in for a busy hour. We have got 50% savings throughout this hour and this is part of our amazing Black Tag event that you saw. And we're looking at brand new products as well. Very excited to be bringing these to you. Designed by Barbara. We've got some elements from Tina as well featuring during this show. So I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look. I know we've been busy for these already. And mentioning the lovely Barbara there, it'd be rude not to introduce her. Good morning, Barbara. How are you doing? Good morning, Hayley. Lovely to have your company. How are you? I'm all the better for seeing deals like this. I'm not going to lie. These are amazing deals. How have you managed to bring these to us? Well, it is that time of year, isn't it? Black Friday and what have you. So we thought we'd push the boat out on this one. I love it. Now we're looking at the first set. Now we've got lots of encouraging people to jump ahead. But here we've got a set of three stamps um, set. Stamp sets, should I say, giving you 19 stamps in total. You've got your masks as well, those fabulous famous masks that we see from Clarity, giving us the opportunity to create so many different diverse styles with these. I've got the boards here, Barbara. So while I'm showing the boards, do you want to talk around what these mandalas are and then we'll show some finished samples afterwards? Good idea. Okay. Very good idea, Hayley. So the boards showing you, this is literally how they stamp out. The first thing that strikes me is these are really good sized stamps, Barbara. Yes, so now this is a mandala that we drew in the Shack Shack, so many hundreds of uh, our good friends will have drawn this one ring at a time. We started in the centre and we started building our, wow. our mandala. So many people will be very familiar with this because we drew it together. And what we've done is we've also added assets. So if you look at this set, you'll see this is what I'm going to go to for the first demo as a warm-up, pattern building, which is what we're well known for in the industry with our transparent stamps um, but when you go to the second set of stamps this is where it gets interesting now I had the idea because the whole the whole thing was um, you see when we drew the um, when we drew the mandalas we drew them uh, a ring at a time and so we've made the stamps into separate frames which oh, makes it I so see. useful and then, of course, we've got the four centerpieces, the seasons. And combined with the masks, this opens up so many possibilities. Right, here we go again. So you'll see here, we split up all these stamps, the separate stamps. So those rings, that large outer frame, these all actually build together to make the mask uh, to make the main stamp, but it would be almost impossible to to mask off those rings. So we decided to just create individual stamps because we can. Oh, and you'll see here, for example, it's all about mixing and matching and layering. It's so 
Yeah, well, you'll see all the stamps, all the spring, summer, autumn and winter. Yeah, here we go, you see. So you can decoupage them, you can layer them up, you can miss a ring. This is the whole idea now. It's so gorgeous. Here we go, we can turn them into baubles just by using the centerpiece and the first ring. And this, lots of people will be very familiar with these uh, with these designs because we drew them all together, which is great, isn't it? And I love this because that's showing that pattern building element that you've got. But of course, if you want it plain and simple, just want to come in with one of the larger designs to create a now statement. That's the, yeah. See, now that's the large, that's the finished piece in its entirety, white embossed on blue. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. We are very, very busy for these. Just to let you know, we have got queues on the phones. They are building, a building, building, building. You are loving these. And you can see there you've got a fabulous saving with these already. What was that update? Sorry again, Kim. 10% of the stock has gone already. We're literally four minutes into the hour. Busy on the phone lines, busy on the website. You've got 50% saving with these ones. You can see there you are saving actually more than you're spending. You're saving £30, giving you that wonderful price of £29.97. This is a phenomenal deal, and we all love our mandalas. And I love the practical abilities that you've got with these to mix and match and pattern build. We'll see lots of that from Barbara yeah. as the hour progresses. So 267476. I'm just going to give you a couple of other little bundles perhaps to peruse before we get to Barbara, but I shan't keep you too long, I promise, because I know we want to see those demos. But have a look at these. These are brilliant. Building up your background is key, and this is something that Barbara helps us with so much. Sorry about that, just trying to get rid of that glare. As you saw, that again you have got another 50 percent saving with these barbara i love these the, these are going to be very very useful well you know i started playing with these and i was blown away by it yeah the girls at work designed these they're so clever and uh, and what you'll find is um that they when you mount them on an acrylic block you get a really beautiful, neat background. If you put them on a piece of acetate so they're bendy, you can just add little flashes of pattern to your work. So this is like the quintessential mixed media kind of uh, thing. You know, if you want to get a bit more grungy, arty, these are definitely well worth it. And you know what's interesting as well, what I figured out is that you, like that one there you're looking at now, that stripy one, yes. if you turn it at 90 degrees and go again, you can get the most gorgeous cross hatching. No, I mean when you stamp it, so you stamp it horizontal, then you stamp it again vertical. You can get so many different patterns when you overlay them as well. It's really clever. Very clever idea. You are getting all of these 12 of those fabulous bubbles and lines backgrounds. They are stamping out beautiful and we are looking at clarity stamps. So of course you're looking at quality, you're looking at that, uh, that years and years, truly years. I'm not going to mention the years, Barbara. Uh, but £19.98 are going to get you these. And of course Barbara and her team know their stuff when it comes to stamps. And again, we are going to see these in action. Details there, 392 Seven four two incredible quality two A five plates there, but giving you twelve stamps in total. Very very useful. Looking forward to seeing those ones in action as well. And again, ten percent of the stock has gone. Have you noticed a bit of a theme going on? We haven't even got to ten past the hour, and uh, ten percent of both of those bundles gone. Next one is something else that is incredibly useful and very versatile. Using yeah. lots of those techniques that you will have come across using your stamps are your stencils. Now, not only have you got your stencils, you've got your inners and your outers. You're going to get your mask alongside this but have a look at that price my goodness you have got a 15 pound saving you're getting your six stencils they're seven by seven so perfect for your card making perfect for your mixed media and perfect to work with any of those little mandalas that we've been looking at I'm guessing with Barbara and uh, other bits and pieces That's you'll have. Right. They're sized to fit in within each other as well. So what the ladies at work did was they took, for example, the square and then the triangle fits within the square, the circle fits within the square. So you can make the most fantastic overlay patterns. And also those winter, the winter, spring, summer the, from the mandalas, oh, they yes. sit in the circle too beautifully. So, so it's very, very, um, yeah, these, these are really, something that you need in your mixed media arsenal. They're great for backgrounds. There you go, see? So there, that's just just literally brushed lightly over the background and just moved across the circle and the square. 
loving uh, these, loving these. Um, we've seen yeah, a little nice. hint, a little hint there from the wee folk as well. If you do like your wee folk, um, guys, do jump ahead. I'm not going to have the opportunity to show them we, um, to you before we get to demonstration. But we've got the fabulous little Christmas um, wee folk, and we've got some wonderful um, stamps, amazing deals again, 50% saving with those, and also with the the mini um, gel presses as well. So do take a little look at those. So there's loads and loads of bargains to be had during this hour, and I think Barbara is quite right. We all need these in our stash because these look amazing you're loving these 20 percent of the stock has gone so if you're wanting yours there you go the details are on your screen there 031511 please do pop those into your basket but the key thing in this hour is not safe in your basket you need to be checking your baskets out and we're as busy as we are you have to be quick because of course stock could become vulnerable in the blink of an eye and that's why checking out your basket is so key especially if you're adding things like these into there oh my goodness Tina's Mandals, I mean, with these, Barbara, these are incredible. Yeah. And again, I mean, Tina is so talented when it comes to those mandalas. Well, there you go. Now, she illustrated these for herself, too. And uh, and these are the, the spiritual mandalas, we call them. Emotion, strength, meditation, and so on. And these are so detailed. And they are... So what, the last time when I brought these to, to air, um, when we launched them, we, we talked about partial art. And if you just just indulge me for a moment, and I'll show you Ooh, in, a, yes. in a blink of an eye what I mean by partial art. Okay. Um, if you if you just look here, you'll see, for example, that we took our stamp board and we stamped Tina's uh, artwork like in pieces. You see, so you stamp off the edge. This is such a fantastic way to go, especially on the stamp board on the show. But you see how you just move move the the mandalas around and this one for example by Sheila, oh, you can wow. see you just add a little drop shadow, add a bit of glitter, and you don't need to use the entire piece Beautiful. to get a fantastic it's, it's using parts of those great big stamps so those combined with the new ones which have the outer frames exactly, are just delightful yeah. because you can you can mix and match it you see what i mean yeah. you put a part of tina's on mm -hmm. and then you frame it with one of mine it looks nice i love it now of course you will notice on the screen that they did pop up for a short while there you want in those stamp boards we have got those available for you lovely selection of different sizes different shapes and they're only 11.99 so definitely worth popping those and you're going to get 60 of those so the details on the screen there 971682 but of course those gorgeous stamps there from Tina working so beautifully with those brand new stamps that we saw earlier on with that wonderful saving and these have got savings of their, of their own as well my goodness these savings are phenomenal another 30 pounds saving bring that price right the way down to 29 pounds and 96 pence 263394 now that kind of 30 pounds price point is quite key within this hour because if you are going for a couple of these sets maybe adding in some of that um, additional board then you'll find your basket going through 60 pounds don't forget you can spread the cost over two payments as well so if you've seen all these savings and thinking well I want them all you can have them all and of course you can spread the cost as well Barbara I know we've got some fabulous demonstrations coming up so what's your plan what we're going to see well, I know that, that the lines are very busy. I can hear it. So what I'm <laughs> going to do is just calm us all down and go right back to basics and do a little bit of pattern building. I want to, because there's so much, I wanted to start with, with the stamps that we doodled in the Shack Shack together. And I thought I would look at the parts that we didn't doodle that Lucy uh, added uh, on here. So if okay. we look, for example, at this this image here what you'll see is this is this stamp set this is a big stamp set these are a5 these are usually 20 pounds each wow okay um yes so if we if we take take a look at this what i want to use is just these pieces here can you see this just these bits here beautiful so what look. i've done is i've mounted this one okay. here yeah but what I've done, because it's a single line stamp, this is just a little tip, right? Mm -hmm. When you're stamping single line stamps like this, yeah. you, you understand it might wobble a little bit because you haven't got anything to stabilize. So what I do is I put another stamp. See the little stamp in oh, the center? That's clever. Right? I put that up there and then it just acts as an anti-wobble device, okay? I love that. Um, I could do an anti-wobble device of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hayley, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> say, for example, let me just show you a piece of artwork that I did that I'd like to get to in the... Um, is it one o'clock we're back together again? Um, it is, yeah. we'll stop a minute and we'll be able to do this. You see this one here, again, it's on this piece and it's it's created to match one of the um one of the designs in here. It's in there. Okay, I'll show it to you. Um, but what I've done is I've put the peace and understanding at the other end. So when I when I stamp this up, I just ink this piece up and my anti wobble is the other one. When I stamp that up, then this is my anti wobble so they're both permanently mounted at the moment right so that's all we're going to use is that one and that one that's okay it. right okay so let's have a look at what we can do I, I think i want to just show you how this works right i'm going to i'm going to stand up for this so i want to get over the top of my artwork and i'm going to use just a plain black art archival ink pad and and these stamps because I, I can talk you through how this works can you see that okay we can indeed yes perfect right let me get my right glasses on for this one it oh won't take that long. sounds familiar to me as well right so what we're going to do is ink up here we go so i'm going to just so that you can see what i'm doing i'm going to ink up in the black archival and i'm going to go into the top top corner like so beautiful and then i'll turn it round, and now i'm going to ink up this piece you okay. see i'm going to add yeah. that in there so i'll ink that up again but i'm going to not ink this because otherwise i'll get a splodge in the middle okay. so i'll ink that up turn it round, hover over with a handle like so mm -hmm. until i'm happy with the position and then lower see so what i'm doing here and that one there helps me because now it's not wobbling i haven't got to worry at all about that i know Barbara, that i'll get a perfect impression could you do Get a favor her. for us because of course you won't be able to see on the screen where we've got the, the details at the bottom could you nudge your design just slightly to the left uh, yeah and maybe about an inch or two perfect you've done this before yeah. <laughs> right so now i've left enough gap at this end you see can we see this? Yeah. We can, yeah. Okay, no problem. So now I'm going to see, because I need to bring my head over to get the balance. See, I'm lining it up, hover with the handle, and I can see the stamp, and then in I go again. So now I've got all the way round. Beautiful. So I'll turn my artwork, and in I go again. So I'm going to line this up like so. You see? Ink up. The thing is that the little corners, if I just use the corners, you understand? Yeah. If I just used the corners, I could make a small box, couldn't I? You could if I just used these, I could make a medium sized box. But what I'm doing is showing you how you go all the way around. You can see this, can't you? We can. Barbara, any tips for keeping those lines nice and straight so you don't end up with a, a wobbly frame? Right. Good, good point. If I hover with the handle, what I'm doing is I'm using the edge of the card as my line up. So I look at the three little spot, the, 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 the peaks on the stamp. Okay. Yeah. And what, and then I'll just line up. I'll just, you can, don't overthink it. That's what I think. Okay. No, but you'll see that you can, you, you, no, 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 you're absolutely right, Hayley. You use the, You'll use what you've already stamped as a, so this is my guideline now. So I'm going to come along there with my eye until I'm happy, and then I'll press in. You see? Perfect. Then I'll turn it again. See, what, what's also a good idea, now I'm going to come along here. But I think for pattern building, I know this is what we used to do. You'll remember, I mean, this was what Clarity was all about, was corners, pattern building. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> And with that clear the front, front so you can see where you were going. And the thing is, I'm only I'm turning it on the on its logical side. I could turn this around and have a completely different pattern. You see, by by stamping it this way around, it would look completely different, Haley. And look, are from they this symmetrical? Side, then so the teardrops would come inwards. So are they symmetrical? So, so you could line them up on the horizontal as well. Yes. Oh. Exactly. See, so now this one's the this is the million dollar question whether it worked or not. I hope I've got it did. everything crossed. Hey. Right, you see. And then what you would do is you would just you would just trim this back. I, I started in the top right hand corner to give myself I knew 
that it would fit. That's you see, good because advice. I just took the stamps and worked it out, didn't I? Yeah. So trim the card back right. rather than trying to fit it within the parameter it might be a tip. That's right. So you do that first, then trim the card back. Then the next thing, now we've got this beautiful big stamp that we can oh, pop in the wow. middle. It will fit beautifully. Right, top tip for big stamps. You need a juicy ink pad. And okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a suggestion as well. If you've got I mean if you've got a stamp positioner, you know, happy days. If you haven't, a lot of you have got the pink excellent mat or the soft you know the craft oh, mat. Oh yes, black the Pergamano one. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If you stamp onto um, onto a soft surface, it just gives the the card a little bit more give. It just helps a little bit. I mean, that's you a know, good tip. It's not hard. It's not hard. You just got to know to press and yeah. Okay. And, so and be patient. Well, Make sure you've got plenty of ink. That's it. Then hover with the handles. Make sure it's in the right place and then press down. And then you press in the center and then you just press around the edge like so. Just, if you've got a stamp positioner, the nice thing about that is of course you can lift it up, re-ink, go again, you That's know? That's true. But I'm, I'm a big, I personally, I don't, I don't own one because we invented see-through stamps and the idea is you can see what you're doing, you know? And are you using so one I of the Mega Mounts? I am. This is a five by seven. It's a huge stamp, so I'm using a, Huge mega mat. I'm just burnishing the back to transfer any ink that's still is sticking now. And then I lift that off and I've oh, got a perfect. Oh, wow. Right. So that didn't take long, Haley, really, did it? It didn't. It's absolutely beautiful as well. And so now I've got choices. If I wanted, I could put one of our, um, those lovely uh, winter scenes or a, a spring scene in the center, because that will fit in there beautifully. That's what it was intended for. Or I can just take that, or I could put a um, piece, put a word in there, or I could just pop that little, little sign in there, whichever. So I can show you one that I did earlier. It's no different. There we are. That's it. So, so that was really what I wanted to show you. That's just using two elements on one of the three sets of stamps. There you go. And almost you know? in a heartbeat. I mean, we're only at 20 past the hour, and we're seeing there just how quickly they can come together. Now, Barbara, going to let you get ready for your next demonstration while I tell you guys just how busy we have been. Nearly 40% of the stock has gone. It's the first time that we've shown you this fabulous deal, and the fact that you've got £30 saving makes it even more attractive. I know we'd be busy at that full price, £59. 97 pence but the beauty is of course we are celebrating our black tag event so we've got savings right the way through 70 percent over the um or well, the next few days to be fair um over the weekend so this is one of the fabulous deals that we've got for you clarity have got involved and they're giving you those four seasons mandala rings as a collection of 19 stamps and three masks all coming together with that phenomenal price saving more than you're spending at 29 pounds and 97 pence but half the stock has gone i think we better go back to demo as soon as we possibly can because these are proving to be so so popular okay barbara are you ready for this <laughs> yeah yeah I, I i'm really glad to hear it because um you know uh they're so they're so clever they're so clever to use let me show you now enter the masks okay so let's say for each of the sets because i think my job is to explain when you buy these what you're actually getting so uh, in 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 addition to the three sets of stamps, right, let me just grab these to show you. I think, you know, we've got a, we've got a show at one o'clock, so I've got lovely demos lined up for that as well. But let me just explain. Say for this one, you've got this lovely big mandala, right? For the spring and summer, of course, you've got, you've got these, these ones. That Beautiful. mask here, this is so delicate. When I show you, um, let me just gently, gently, you see is, how this, this is the comes thing that off. I can't get, just... get over with these masks, is how you get the fine detail. This is something that we could not possibly achieve ourselves. Even somebody who cuts out masks of their own, yeah. to be able to do those little kind of uh, peaks. I mean, look at that. Look. Yeah. So that is that mask. That's what I'm trying to explain. That's that mask. This mask is that piece, which is great because it means that you've got the overlap. This is really thought through. Of course, all the centers are interchangeable. This one, again, this is interesting as well. So you've got that piece. This is so interesting because you've got this piece. Okay. Yeah. 
right then you've also got that piece so of the course. ring so, so you can yeah it's so clever it's so clever and i love and this one, i love the way you've actually stamped onto those masks as well so it's easy for you to kind of pair them up without any guesswork well, that's right. So you've got your indexer, haven't you? You've got your indexing sheet. And so when I when I take all this away now, you can see, let's say, here's one that I've used already, and I want to show you. Let's just say I, I've done this piece of artwork, and then I want to add colour. Now, what? how do I do that? I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks. If I wanted to mask off the centre, all I've got to do is take this mask and pop that in the middle. Right. Okay. That, that protects that. Yeah. Right. Now, let's say I want to protect the outside piece. I can take this. The first time you use it, it's a bit of a monkey because it's sticky. Okay. The second time you use it, it, it detacks a little bit. But and you see how you just the... hover it. Let me come into that camera. You these over and over, can't you, Barbara? Absolutely. So once, now I've used this, I've used this a couple of times now, so it's a little bit better. It's, 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 it's see it glides. Yes. And then you can just hold it over like so. And you press it down when you're happy with the position. Press it down in four different locations. Look, just keep pressing it in the location, and then it's done. Perfect. And then once it's in place, take a piece of copy paper, rub over like that, and you sealed it. Now I can start. Uh. To so let's just then, let me just take a brush, and if I if I now wanted to just add a little flash of colour in the centerpiece, right? Then this is how you would change the colour. I love it. Now, of course, the brushes we regularly see, they'll be on the website if you're wanting those. Also, the ink pads that Barbara brings to us. Do check out the bronze section, or you might find that they are already attached to the show. But we have got those stencil brushes at the bottom of the screen there if you're wanting those. Four of those, £19.99, 026190. And it's good to stock up on those, because so it's nice to have different ones for different colours. That's it. Now, the thing is, Hayley, I'm not, I, this is dry brushed. I didn't add anything. I just grabbed a brush oh, wow. from my, from my stash, right? Um, but uh, the brushes are just marvellous. And I've got, look, I've got one for every occasion. You know, you, you do, you tend to, you, you use all your different inks. They're a big part of my, my, my artwork, you know, and, and you can use them. For example, I'll show you now, if you come back in here, you'll see, like, I've, I've just used, I think this is like an artistry ink. It's one of these ink pads oh, yes. um, that I've just used on it, and now it's it's dried out. Um, but just a dye-based ink or any ink will do the job. But you'll see, when I lift this away, oh, you'll see the difference look. in colour. Yeah. It's not, it's not, I didn't want it to be too dark. I just wanted a, a little whisper of blue. Do you see? That is lovely. But you can see but that, how you got the It looks like it's, you can see the difference, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, okay, lovely. so it's just changing the colours. And how much you decide to change the colours is entirely up to you. So that's how you can add colour. Um, and of course you've got all the different you've got all the different rings. So that, look the at the different the rings that you've got as well. Yeah. Lo yeah. Love it. So that's one way of adding colour, Haley. Okay. Now, one of the other things that I wanted to do is show you, I, I, I really like this piece of artwork from Andy Duggan. It kind of, it was my kind of thing. And I want to show Ooh. you, um, it goes back to that parts, that partial art, you know, where we use a part of yes. a, a stamp? Yes. But I really wanted to kind of have a look at the way that the colour's been applied. So I came up, I, I, I just figured it out. Um, like a way to do it. Let's call it a way to do it. Okay. So this is the stamp. This is the same stamp that we used in the center here. Mm -hmm. It's the same large stamp. I've already stamped it out. I don't need to do that twice. Not, you know, we're running against the clock here. But now I've got that and I've stamped it into the center of uh, a piece of our stencil card. Okay, Wonderful. so just a piece of stencil card, and that's the start. Now, how to apply the colour. So I, I thought, right, the, the, for me, I thought I'd start with, with inks that most of us have already got, like just bog standard dye-based ink. Okay. And what I'm going to do is bring in my Clarity Blending Mat, and then these are artistry inks. They're little, little boxes of ink. There are four different flavours of these, four different, look, 
These are so cool. They're brilliant. And always they're on the popular. Um, and just to let you know, guys, if you're shopping for these online, I think it's the upper left-hand corner, you will see the name of the inks. And that is the lead name for the box that you're going for. So you're going to get 12 That's of these right. um, and uh, just £25.99. And, and I just love the way that these all store together so well. They're like little they're like little cupboards. I've already pulled the ones that I want to use, but because they've got little drawers in them, they're great because you can open it up. The other thing is that when you, just to show you, what I love is it tells me, look, on the side it yes. tells me it's terracotta, yeah. on the top, it's, so it's a great indexing. If you've got these on your shelf, you can see at a glance, when you, when you look at it, you can see exactly which ones you've got. Then you just need to put them in the right way and you're laughing, Barbara. Love it. There you go. Oh, oh, Details oh. on your screen. And this right. is one of the sets that you will actually collect these, so keep a note of that right. item number. And you can see there the four different options there with that lead ink there. Um, as you can see there, golden turmeric, and then of course all the other ones featuring there. It's always the top left hand yellow. This Lovely. is the colour that will tell you haystack, lime kiss, golden turmeric. I picked a selection. These these are what these are, what this is is these are the entire artistry ink selection, like um like a colouring palette. And then they're available. So what I what what I think is a good idea if you want to get into it is you've got all four of them here. You've got the entire range. There will be colours that you particularly love, like Ocean Reef, Tenacious Teal, Blue Chase. And then what you do is that like orange popsicle, you get the large ones. So you can go and you've got these on the website as well. And once you pick your favorite color that you go to again and again and again, then you say, right, I've got my palette, but this is the one that I use all the time. So I'm going to get, look, and what I love about this is these little, um, the Very little hidey clever. hole in the little, very yeah. clever design. So, so that's really why why I like these little ones, because they're like a taster set of all the entire range. Perfect. Thank you very much. So which colours are you working with? Right, so I'm working with a selection from different from the different ones because I was trying to kind of go with Andy, what he had, okay. you know, because I really like that colour, don't you? I love it, yeah. It looks Very beautiful. effective. So I thought, right, we're going to go with Fancy Fuchsia. So I'll pop a bit of Fancy Fuchsia on the blending mat. Then I'm going to go with, well, I didn't have that tealy colour. That looks like, like um, I don't know, they could be distress inks, you know, if you've got yeah. a distress ink. But... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend the, the clues in the name, blending mat. Then I've got a haystack. I've got a haystack, a yellow. And then I'm going to I'm going to add an orange popsicle. I couldn't find the little one, but that's all right. Look, same sketch. Fabulous. So you can see my different colours on here, can't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. And I've got a ball, I've got an uh, an or, or apricot nectar. So just a little selection like that. Now enter my brushes. These are the water brushes. Okay. Fab. Fab. I think you've got them on the show as well. We have indeed. Yeah, we're going to bring those details up. So I just want to show you how we're going to apply this colour. So if we look up close, you can see it just looks so arty. Look. Gorgeous. Right, real grungy. So let me show you what I figured out while I was while I was working on it. If you take, for example, a water brush, let me come in from the top so you can see what I'm doing. So I take the lid off and if I went in and painted with this, it would be really, really dark, which we can do later when we want to add a little bit of detail. But now all I'm going to do is just squeeze water onto the blue and I've allocated a, one brush for each color as well, right? So there's my blue ready to go. I'm going to start, let's go with the pink. Pink is good, right? So we'll start with the pink. Again, oh, I haven't got, have I got any water in there? Yeah, come on. Squeezy, squeezy. Here it comes. <laughs> right. These water brushes are so good. Well, you've got a fabulous set of these ones. I'm going to pop the details at the bottom of the screen. And you're getting six of these um, alongside your water um, colour pad and your petite journal as well. It's £32.97 for those. So, uh, yeah, definitely worth going for. And if you add those in alongside the Four Seasons mandalas, your basket will go through that £60 threshold. And then you can spread the cost over two payments. So it makes sense to get them that way. And what we're going to do now is just flash colour, right? So you can see all I've done is just taken a little bit of pink and just literally flicked it across. And then what I can do, if I want a, a few spritzy, um, like, splashes, I'll just put my hand out like this and I'll just flick like oh, that. okay, yeah. And then that gives me just a little flex. But, okay, but so don't we've got a little one. 
We've got a lovely, um, we can have a lovely look at those things, but we can't quite see your artwork. So is there any chance you can kind of slide everything over? Perfect. We've Sorry. got a bit of both now. That's that lovely. Better? Perfect. Right, so then you just pick up the ink. I've got a bit of scrap here just to check. And then what I'll do now is I'll just I'll just flash through like this. Look, just flash through with the blue, you see. And it's a building game. I know at the beginning you think, oh, I don't know about that. But it's like a lot of mixed media art. You start and you think, oh, are we sure about this? You know? Just and stick so with now, it. watch, if I put my hand up and I flick, I can get some really good flex going. Right. See? Love it. So you, you, that's how you build up your art. And, and if, for example, if I take, let me take, um, this was interesting because I grabbed one of my brushes and it had some mica powder on the end. Okay. And when I squeezed it onto the yellow, the yellow went all glittery. And I thought, yeah, like that, like that. I'm on that. <laughs> and so I started flicking that through as well. See, it gives it a see? total different when look the yellow with regards hit, to that. Now, see what happens when the yellow hits the blue all of a sudden, because they're dye-based inks, look, it starts to change colour. So cool. So cool. Absolutely amazing. So this is how you build up your colour and you just you 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 just keep going for it. And and the whole the whole point is as well that you can if I take that dark one, let me just show you this. Can you see the green and the blue here? Yes. Yeah. Right, blending mat. Let me show you this. If I add a bit of water to the side, I can grab the blue, but I can grab the green and I can bring it over. And what I've got now is a really lovely sea green. Do you That's, see what I'm doing? Uh, yeah, but you're not contaminating the other two colours. No, so I've still got my blue and my green, yeah. but I've got a lovely sea green now. And now I'll bring my artwork back over and now I'll just flash through with some of that sea green because that's what starts to give it a little bit more grunge. It's a darker, you see, and then you can just, you can flick it. It's had a bit of sea green through the middle and you could spritz this. I mean, you just keep going and building up your colour. Okay, so you understand how, how you get to this. Yes, um, definitely. Eventually, you can speed dry it as well. Say you wanted to, I would now dry this with a hairdryer or with a, with a heat gun, right? Speed dry it so that it's set and then put another generation of color on it. And eventually, let me just fast forward this bit. Okay. Just put this over here. Because I think we understand how, how I've arrived oh, yeah. at this art. Right. So, so this one is, I'll let that dry. And when you chop it up, that's when it starts to look amazing. Right. So let me just show you, for example, now I've cut this up and I've just, I've chopped it into oh, four I pieces. See. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So then I've taken this one and I've mounted it on, see, so now you can see all the flex. I mean, it's really nice. Oh, wow. Look. That's effective, I like that. You can see what I've done down here, true, that's true grey style, with a grey pencil when it's dry, or even with black, you can go in and you can add a drop shadow. You see? Once it's dry, then it's so easy. Now I'll go on the close up. Can you see that okay? We can, yes, yeah, just going down, just little accents there to, to show. Yeah. <laughs> You can, you, it starts to look three dimensional, which you can bring in with pencil or with, with a lead pencil and you start. So what we've got here now, we've got our, our centerpiece and we've also got two small notelets. So this again, it's that partial art idea. Very clever. And now the piece of an understanding that comes from that big set again. And do you remember I said about whole, the balance thing? Yes. So all I'm going to do now is ink this up to finish. You'll see. I'm not inking this one up. This is for the balance. I'll ink up the words. Because this would be a real monkey to stamp, Hayley, because it's such a long piece. Yeah. Right? Well, that's what I'm you saying. So it sits on the edge of the mount nicely there. Yeah. But now this one keeps it in balance. So then when I lift it, it's perfect. And it's exactly as if I'd written it, because this is my handwriting. Look. Beautiful. Absolutely incredible. So then, 
I want to thank Andy for that one. The inspiration. I was so, you know, you see certain things, they just speak to you, don't they? And I thought, I want to figure out how to do the, um, and I think I've done you proud, Andy. There you go. You have indeed. I love it. And talking about things speaking to you, Kim speaking to me in my ear and telling me that um, we've got about 20 minutes or so left. So I'm going to do a very quick recap, if that's okay, and then come back to you, Barbara. Is that all right? Fantastic. Good idea. Good Lovely. idea. Give me a chance to clear this mess up. No problem. We'll be back with you in a few moments. So, of course, that wonderful collection that we've been looking at that Barbara's been using throughout all of her demonstrations so far is this wonderful mandala collection. Beautiful collection of mandalas with the inner ring, so you can kind of pick and choose. You can multi-layer these, nest one inside of the other, and then the center point of these, you can either leave them open to add something from one, maybe one of your stamps from the rest of your collection, or maybe use those wonderful four season scenes that you've got within these. These lend themselves so well to working together, so it could be the first set of stamps that you've gone for, or it could be that you've got elements at home that are going to work alongside these. Things like the We Folk that I know that we're going to see are used um, in a little while. Sit within those mandalas, absolutely beautiful. We've got the gorgeous little wedding couple in this particular card here. It shows you that open area where you can put those ag additional little elements. Just notice the backdrop there, creating your own backgrounds with these absolutely beautiful and of course the beauty is that you are getting not only those mandalas but you are also getting those four seasons which gives you the opportunity to just use those in their own right if you're wanting to or team them up with the mandalas and of course with the four seasons you could do little sets of notelets with these making gifts with these building them up to create larger cards or building your own little scenes using those corners and of course the beauty is the elements that you've got within here you can use in loads of different ways oops today is it upside down where's the one that I was looking for. There you go. That's the one I was looking for. Showing you that you can build up those designs and use other stamps within the centre. They don't have to be from the Mandala collection, but what a beautiful frame. So 60% of the stock has gone. Of course, I stepped away from Barbara. You're not missing any demonstrations, but this is key. Get your order in to ensure you're getting hold of yours. 269 at 497. Um, half price saving with this one, well, better than half price. You're saving £30 and spending just £29.97 to get your three stamp plate and your mask collection, giving you 19 stamps and three masks in total. Say three masks, they're three mask sheets. You've got inner uh, masks within those. Something else lots of you are adding into your baskets are those gorgeous texture stamps. A third of the stock have gone of these. I think you're realizing just how useful these ones are. And as Barbara said, you've got 12 kind of building blocks to start with, but then you can kind of multi-layer these. You can twist and turn these, create your own, and I love that idea, creating that fabulous kind of check effect that Barbara was talking about by inking that one up, stamping it, rotating it 90 degrees and away you see. And I think that's something Barbara's going to be sharing with us in the next demo. So if you're wanting these, 392742, a third of the stock has gone of those and at that price, less than £20, it's hardly surprising. I mean, they are amazing. Something else you're loving as well, these stencils, my goodness. 40% of the stock has gone. I can't believe that you are able to take advantage of these for that phenomenal price. They're just £14.88. You've got a £15 saving with them. Please take advantage while you've got the chance because, again, these have so much versatility. Just a couple of finished samples because we're going to go back to Barbara. But you can see there, building up, pattern building with these, getting some absolutely incredible results. And, again, using them with your circular stamps, using them with your other stencils, other elements that you've got within your crafty stash, and you will make some absolutely phenomenal results. They're bound to be twisted and turned, aren't they? I should have checked before we started there. And, again, your squares there. I love that. It's almost like a picture frame, that one. So there you go. If you want to know, it's 031511 Such an affordable way for getting hold of some very, very useful stencils and masks there. And Barbara, we were talking about those backgrounds. I think you're going to be building up some of those uh, with the texture stamps. Yes, yeah, which, of course, they go beautifully. It all ties in with those stencils because these are these have been made to fit within the, the square stencil. And if it fits in the square stencil, it fits in all the others as well. So what you're doing now is giving your shapes texture, which is a really cool thing to do. So if we have a look, for example, at these, I just want to – let me just, by way of example, let me just take this one here – and I just want to show you what I was talking about. Um, I've got everything out of the cupboard here. But I want <laughs> to just it. explain. I'll just use a basic black ink pad to show you. If, for example, this is that. 
right? So it's a lovely watery background, of course. Let me ink it up again, but this time I can go the other way. So, for example, if I stamp that, oh, you get wow. a completely different, it looks like burlap or yeah. fabric. You see, and and that is with a lot of the stripy ones because you've got circles and you've got stripes going on here. Um, when you look at the two sets, you'll see these are more circular and these are more stripy and angular. So you'll see that there. Are, what I want to look at is this one here as a proper background. But before I do that, let me show you this one now. You'll notice that that one I I left it on a hard mount. Okay. The reason yeah. is so I want. To, a full a full thing let's say i don't want the full piece so if i mount it on acetate then what i can do is i can just just oh. use parts do you see yeah so you, you literally i learned this from leone look you just roll it you put it in in an area just a part or so that's clever it looks so cool I'm, i'll show you another trick if i get time but that's why you've got choices and i noticed yesterday when i was playing i was like oh hang on a minute i need to pull it off the acetate i need to put it on a hard mount you get a completely different effect so what I want to show you now, I'm going to go to a hard mount and I want to take one of these and put them in context for you. So I'm going to take the diagonal one now. And what I want to do is use it. Let me show you. If I show you the finished artwork, oh, how simple this is. That it's, looks so, beautiful. it's so easy. Right. Here's another one. Look, here's your Christmas cards. Cute. So we've taken a wee folk the christmas wee folk and we've put a, one of these in the background all using the same ink pad so let me just show you how to make this very simply so the first thing i'm going to use is the smallest of the um and let me put that black away before i use it okay it's the stamp board uh, you're the working with stamp boards. sorry love it's, it's the stamp board isn't it you're working with there yes Yes, yes, because the thing about the stamp board is it's superb. The clue's in the word for stamping, but also when you when you mount it on card, it just looks so classy. Look, it, it just looks is is done. And all I've done is mounted it on another piece of you know craft on craft looks good. White on white looks good. Black on black looks good. Just as an extra little layer, matting and layering. Yeah, love it. So let's take this one, for example, but I'm going to use a different color. And if I take, these are those little mini archivals, little mini archival ink pads, permanent ink pad. And what I'm going to do now is just ink up. Just let's go to this camera here. Let me just ink this up quickly on the side of the right. So I've inked that up, but I don't want to use first generation ink. So I'm going okay. to plot, yeah. plot, plot, ink, plot, plot. <laughs> Right, in the center, and it will be lighter. There oh, we are. Oh, yes. You see? So yep. it's ink, blot, plot. So it's a lot more faded than, and that's that's the first thing. Then you're going to use the same ink pad to put your design in place. Can you see this okay? Yeah, yeah, it's looking perfect. You've got it positioned beautifully. Right, so now I can use this as my composition, if you like. So I can decide where I want to put it before I before I actually lay it down. So let's say I want to I want to put it there like so. Right, so I need to season the ink pad. What you do is you, you just use it once, use it twice, and then you'll find it goes more opaque as you do that. You see? Yeah. Straight away, second generation of ink. It's funny how it works. You just need to warm up your stamp almost. So then you're just going to pop that in place like so. Oh. Right, so that's the center part. Now we're going to take the children. Same thing. We'll ink up the children. I want them to be, he's going to be there, like that. Then I'll take the little girl. These wee folk, they speak volumes, you know. They, they're just so, right, I'm going to pop her like that. Oh. Right, so you can practice over here. And then we're just going to pop her in place with her brother. There we are. You see, so now we've got that. So we've stamped our work into place. Let's have a look on this camera. Right. So the only oh, thing left so to do sweet. now is add some color. And that, that texture mount, 
that texture stamp, that will give us our grid to colour in. So all I've done is pick two colours that work nicely together. So you've got pergoliners, you've got olive greens, and then you just, and I've got I've got a light, polychromos are good. So you just go through and you decide randomly what's going to be green and what's going to be a rosy pink. I think those two colours just look right together. Gorgeous, you see? yes. And then you just go through and you add your colour. You can add a bit of depth. You can add a bit of shade, a bit of attitude at the bottom, if you like. And that is how you end up with that, which oh, mounted so. makes that. I love it. Now, yeah, it um, easy, the, easy. Wee, the wee folk, I've got those all um, as kind of printed out here just to show you. I mean, Barbara, these are so, yeah, so good cute. Idea. Um, you can see here, you can see everything that you need for Christmas here. So you've got your Christmas trees feature there that we saw Barbara working with. The little girl putting the topper on the tree there, the little star. Her little brother, maybe, or it could be nephew, um, putting little baubles in place. But then you've got things to build up your sky scenes, maybe. You've got Santa, you've also got the sleigh there, of course your reindeer and then of course all these different elements that you're going to be able to use for your Christmas cards. Don't forget some of these trees you will be able to use all year round because of course it's not just a Christmas tree with this particular one. £14.99 for this particular set 172872. Can I quickly show you the other set as well because the other set you've got your little characters that could work quite easily with your Christmas scenes but also you can use them all year round and this one again another phenomenal saving. So here you can see all your different characters there. Regularly see these lovely one there with a couple sitting on a bench there and again you've got family scenes with these little scenes that are going to be perfect for romance style um, cards love all of these and they sit beautifully within the center of those mandalas that is the key thing it's always useful to add those in to the mandalas but also those texture squares that we've seen barbara working with as well if you're wanting those the details are on your screen now we're going to go back to barbara now um, and see uh, what you've got next for us barbara how much time have we got left? Oh, I'd say about six minutes. Perfect. Right. OK, so let's have a look because I want to show you again with those texture stamps. Let me have a, let me show you this. I'm just going to throw it all out on the counter now. But let me just show you how you can take if we just like, take a look at the finished one, you'll see here that this is actually one of our pieces of designer, like designer paper. Oh, but what nice. I, what I've, I know it's really lovely. But what I've done is, if you look up close, I've used those texture stamps yes. and the big ring to... Um, to create my own designer paper off the back of the designer paper. Does that, does that, do you see what it I'm does, getting at? yeah, you kind so of added just, your own twist. Yeah, exactly. So do me a favour, Hayley, just have a quick look at the moment. Have a quick look at, um, look, well, have I've a look at this one, samples. and I'll I don't show you what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, there you go, yeah. Right, so this one by, by lovely Elaine Milner is really clean. It's using that outer, outer mandala. It's worked on, on stamp board, but it's very tidy. And then you look at mine and you'll see it's a lot grungier. It's a lot more mixed media, yes, isn't it? Yes. And I've used gel paste uh, on here. So, um, not gel paste. Uh, let me just get like my stuff. clear paste, yeah, paste, paste, isn't it? Yeah. Paste. So what I wanted to show you was how this works. If I, if I take, let me just move that out of the way. If I show you Indian summer and here we go and design a paper. So okay. if I come from on top, you can see. Okay. So what we're going to do is pick that one. I've already <clears throat> picked it. So this is Indian summer card. You can see just fantastic. Gorgeous. So what we're giving you, I designed these myself. I'm giving you the color in the background. You got it in paper and you've got it in card. Here we go. And the paper is double sided. So that comes with all of ours. I'm just picking the Indian summer to show you the, the point of it. Now, if I take this, instead of using uh, black, what I'm going to do is put Let's sort out the background first. And what I'm going to do is literally stamp. If I, if I just take a piece of the card like that, and I'm going to take this, I'm going to use a, a tea rose. Depending on what, what paper you decide to uh, modify or change into your own designer paper, you're going to pick the color that fits. So 
I found that tea rose fitted. If it's not a perfect, if it's not a perfect stamp, it makes absolutely no difference because it's all about just subtle in the background. Yes, I love that. Barbara, just give me a time check. We've got it. about three minutes left. Can you see it? Gorgeous, yes. Very effective. Yeah. So what you do is you you just stamp. It's a sh I, I might blog this one because it's really worth knowing how to do this. You see, so you stamp your your subtle ring in the background so you can see it. Then you take your your um, texture mount, okay. your texture stamps, and I've got them on on acetate so that I can bend them into place like that, you see? So you bend them in and you get your texture, whether you use the stripy one, this is a really cool one, this one. Okay. See, and then you just add it, you see, and I can make a, a cross hatch like that. So I, 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 I hope that you can see this. Yes, you can, can't we you? You can, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Right, and then when you've done that, then you take your big ring, the big ring, okay. and you stamp it over the top. And that's what gives you the background. Then when you chop it up, that's how you end up with these pieces. That is gorgeous. So it looks, see, if you do it in black, it's a bit severe. But it looks all right as a piece, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But I really like taking the tone back to the, the designer paper in the back. And I think, Barbara, with this, I mean, using those designer papers in that way that you've just shown us, it's a really way, a really fabulous way of using up any of those scraps that you've got left over from when you've been using them in your other projects. Exactly. Look, 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 look at all, all the scraps. You look see? It. Fabulous. And the back of the, this is it, the back of the designer paper is perfect for mounting your front piece on. Gorgeous. See how pretty that is. And that's the background. That looks perfect. So I love that sentiment on there as well. Barbara, we're right up to the wire, <laughs> down to the last minute of the hour, but we fitted it all in. And we're going to do it all again a little bit later on at one o'clock. Are you one up One o'clock, you and me, babe. I know, can't wait. Looking forward to it. Um, Barbara, I'm going to say goodbye See just for then. the time being while I let our lovely viewers know that, what was that update? 70%. How did we suddenly jump to 70% of the stock? My goodness. Um, we're busy on those phone lines. We are leaving you with your cues. Barbara said goodbye to us now, so we will see her a little bit later on. So again, now is the time to get your order in the system. Don't forget, not just for your season's mandalas, but also some of those other 50% off savings that we are bringing you through the hour. We're going to be back again, going through everything again at um, 1 o'clock. But why don't you make sure that you check out your basket and then you can sit back and relax and watch those demonstrations and then uh, of course you know that you've got yours and they're going to be on their way to you uh, details on your screen for that fabulous bundle check out the Tina's mandalas as well and of course those stencils and texture stamps So our black tag event continues. We've got lovely Emma here from Cricket. Looking forward to that hour. And then we're back with Frenchie. If you want to do your Christmas shopping, that is the hour to do it. And then I'll be back with a one day special later. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and Crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps.
If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a channel. Good morning. We have got a very special hour for you today. Really exciting. But before we talk about this amazing machine, I'm going to introduce Emma. Hello, Emma. <laughs> Hello. Looking lovely and Christmassy. Yes, I'm fully in the Christmas spirit today. In the Christmas spirit, <laughs> yeah. loving this. Now, of course, Emma always comes along with the lovely Cricut Maker Ultimate Cutting Machine. But what you haven't seen on this channel before is the rose so this is brand new to us this beautiful beautiful colorway machine and normally emma don't we we tend to put bundles together but we have yeah. decided at your request that you are just getting the machine if that's what you want with your discount look at that 34 pound saving you've got um not just two but three flexi by payment so if you have been wanting a fantastic cricket maker ultimate cutting machine can I pop it down? Yeah. So you can see the colour? Yes, because look at that lid. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it might not stay without the bottom, but Don't it looks Don't worry, cute. I'm going to just <laughs> tilt it slightly if I can, because I really want you to, I really want it to catch the light. So hang on, <laughs> this might come off. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That will come off, that's fine, I can tilt it. Yes, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> that is the rose, beautiful colour. 
So this is the first time we have put a saving on the maker itself alone, but it's extremely pretty. Now it does have an, an extended delivery, 10th of December, but we should get this in time for Christmas, yes, right? Yes, I think so. Excellent. Uh, you can spread the cost three ways, 115 pounds and 33 pence, 058209. This is the lowest price we've done this. And as I said, um, it's the maker on its own. Because I know a lot of people, that's just what they want. Um, and of course, you've got your map as well now it's obviously I've given you the details if you already know all about the Cricut Maker ultimate cutting machine um, so that you can get ahead at home but if anybody doesn't know can you talk us through what this fabulous machine does of course so at its most basic it's a digital cutting machine uh -huh. and the maker is our ultimate the best of the best Cricut machine yes um, because it can cut any fabric, so your cottons, right. your denims, faux fur, leather, whatever you fancy. Nice. You can also cut all of your card stocks. Uh -huh. um, you can also cut vinyl and iron on vinyl. And you can also cut thin um, wood, like balsa wood, things like that, with the knife blade attachment. So it's quite an expansive, um, exciting machine because there's so many possibilities with it. Well, we can just see actually a plethora <laughs> of all of these items that you have made. Do you want to like point to some? If yeah, you let's like? give some. Uh, summer show <laughs> um, well there's so many things things like baby grows um, yeah just come into that fabulous. how cute is that so little cute you know it's so easy to personalize for a new baby uh, paper card projects like wreaths and advent calendars yeah um, even just pop in a bit of vinyl onto a mug come into that lovely so it makes a really lovely easy and quite cheap Christmas gift for somebody or um, lovely idea. I've got cushions, Santa sacks, an advent calendar, a um, bit of everything really. <laughs> if you can think of it, you can probably make it or customise it with your Cricut machine. Marvellous. Um, now, as um, this is the machine on its own, we've got lots of other bundles. So behind me, <laughs> at the back, we've got loads of lovely bundles of vinyls. We'll, we'll see these in detail a bit later on. But as I said, I know that you want to, uh, if you're new to uh, the Cricut machine, uh, ultimate, of course, um, uh, cutting machine, then you might want to know how it works. Do get ahead because we've also got the champagne coloured machine. Uh, again, we can just show you this. Um, and also you get your two different mats. What are the two mats for? That's in both options. Yep. So you get the pink mat, which is for your fabric, and that works with the rotary blade, which comes with the machine. Yep. Um, and then, then you've this. got your blue mat, which is for your cardstocks, your iron-ons, vinyls, those kind of materials. And those work with the fine point blade, which comes in the machine as well. Excellent. Again, if you do want to get ahead and champagne is your preferred <laughs> colour, uh, then it's uh, once more, you've got that £34 saving uh, and you can spread the cost three ways. So if you know somebody who's been on and on and on and on and on and going, I really want the Cricut Maker Ultimate Cutting Machine, <laughs> Molly said me in my <laughs> ear, um, then it's well worth clubbing together. Now, if you're new to Hachanda and you've never used FlexiBuy before, the brilliant thing about it is that we, you don't have to wait until you've paid that third instalment. So for your first instalment today at £115 and some change, there it is, 33 pence, uh, once you've placed your order uh, from the 10th on the, you know, from the 10th of December, because that's when it's going to be dispatched, that will be out to you. So it should be in time for Christmas. So basically you'll get it before you've paid it off. Play before you pay is what I like to say. 091641. Now, we've got the joy coming up next. This is the first time again, I believe, that we've had the joy on its own on Hachanda. So what is the joy, Emma? Yes, so this is our newest machine. It was launched in March this year. Um, and it's the smallest, the baby of the Cricut family. Um, but there's so much you can do with it. Don't be um, fooled by its small size. You yep. can cut all your vinyls um, and your iron-ons on there. You can also cut up to 20 foot of material, uh -huh. which you can't actually do on your other machines. And it also has a special card mat that you can use, which means you can make super quick cards in a couple of which minutes. Which one's that one? Um, it doesn't come with the machine. Oh, it's I an see. Extra. Sorry, yep. I apologies. You'll um, find that on the web. But that's a special thing as well that comes okay. with joy. 
Oh, amazing. So this is your little baby. Uh, two payments. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Three payments of £60. Excellent. So you can spread that cost, make it more affordable. 155814 is the item number. Now, um, the Easy Press, I think this is another, it's got another huge saving. For anybody who doesn't know about this, what is the Easy Press? Yes. So this is our heat press. Yeah. And this is what you're going to use to apply iron-on vinyls or infusible inks onto clothing, fabrics, cushions, and rugs, whatever you fancy. Um, so it's how I've applied my vinyl onto my t-shirt. Sure. Um, but the whole plate heats up to exactly the same temperature and a temperature you choose. Um, so that means you can be really specific with what type of material you're pressing onto and what type of iron-on you're using. So you yeah. get really great results. And you're going to show us how to use this a bit later am, indeed, as yes. well. All right, so for the Easy Press, again, we've got it on another great price, and there's £30 off. Three payments of £63.33, uh, 673000. Please do go to the website because um, we've got so much for you. Like I said, if you already know how the Cricut works and you want to get it, please make sure you're checking out. But if you don't, we're going to go to Emma in just a moment and she's going to talk us through um, from the very beginning. We've got all the extra tools, all the extra blades that you might be needing. And don't forget the accessory packs. Here are the bundles for the Joy lovely special saving basically because we are in our black tag event and um, we're, we're running items up to 70% off um, here are our lovely savings on the maker vinyls there's all sorts there's the iron-ons and all sorts but again Emma's going to talk you through these do give us a call 01733602000 or have a look on the website at hachanda.com as we've just done now if you would like to maybe um, show us something that you've made if you've already got our lovely Cricut Maker Ultimate Cutting Machine, then please send your pictures to studio at tachanda.com or via Facebook and also questions. So again, I'm sort of, I know a lot of you know about the Cricut, but um, a lot of you may be new viewers. Um, there you go, details are on screen, remember. Okay, now check out your baskets because after about 10 minutes, it will chuck it out of your basket and I don't want you to miss out on this special deal. Again, I'm going to flash up that lovely rose colour which has not been seen on Hachanda before. Right then, so those are all the details out the way. Emma, I'm going to hand over to you. Where do we start? What yes. happens with the Cricut Maker? Uh, let's start with um, the Maker, and yep. we're going to do an iron-on project. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I've got this massive stocking. That is big. <laughs> what presents are you expecting? Um, a few. <laughs> um, so I thought we'd pop something onto the front of here using sure. iron-on vinyl. Um, so I've prepared my project already on mm -hmm. Cricut Design Space. That's Lovely. the software that runs all of our Cricut machines. And you can actually download that right now, sat on the sofa, either as an app or um, onto your desktop computer um, to use for free and have a play before your machine arrives. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to grab my blue mat. Um, this is a sticky mat, so this is what keeps the materials in place for cutting. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use a, a blue glitter iron on because it's Christmas so we always need a bit of glitter and I'm going to pop that down mm -hmm. face down onto the mat there right and because that's because it's going to cut into the back of this type of material just going to make sure that's nicely stuck down um, if you do want this particular vinyl uh, just while you're braying there here it is comes with some fantastic other colors details are just coming onto the screen there you go, £57.95, 267548. Now, don't want to miss anything. Um, so you've just popped that in, did yes. it grab it? Yes, it grabs it just as you press the load button. Okay. And then now I've chosen my material on the computer, so that's how it knows how to do a great cut. Right. Is you tell it what material, you, material <laughs> you're using. So there isn't any settings or anything to remember. I've told it glitter iron-on is what I'd like to cut. And now we're ready to go, so we're going to click the go button. That's going to start cutting. Um, now it's connected via Bluetooth, mm -hmm. um, so you can connect to your phone or your tablet wirelessly, and or there is a USB cable if you want to connect to your computer that way. Lovely. Um, so it's off, it's doing its thing. Now we've got a couple of people who work here who have got the Cricut Maker Ultimate Cutter Machine. Um, oh, I didn't know floor manager Molly's got one now, apparently. <laughs> okay, oh, she's got the Joy. Uh, Lottie... 
and Holly have got the maker that you're watching, but I don't think they've got the rose. I bet they love the rose. And I mean, some people actually, they buy it for enjoyment, but end up starting a little business. Yes, indeed, mm -hmm. because um, personalized stuff, for, for example, is such, like, such a big trend at the moment. Yes. And if you're able to offer that for your business, okay. with little outlay, really, you've only got to buy a couple of things to personalize and you can sell them, you can really quickly make your money back too. So nice. yeah, it doesn't have to be just a hobby machine. Yes, good stuff. What is it your, or is this going to be a surprise? I wonder. Oh, I'll make it a surprise. I'll make it a surprise. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but it's so clever the way it does it. The technology is amazing. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the company while that's cutting? Yeah. So <laughs> Cricket are an American company based in Utah. Um, and yeah, they're just mad about creating and yeah. giving people the tools to create. Um, so what they've actually done with the maker is look at industry massive machines that are like the size of this room. I wish you could see how big this room is yeah, yeah. Um, and make that onto the desktop so that everyone can use it at home it's which is, blows my mind yes. really <laughs> nice so exciting how's oh. it doing it's doing very well we're just over 60 percent done so we're yes. not far off so it literally tells you the percentage and everything yes yeah, so you know yeah. if you've got time to pop off and have a cup of tea or not nice. and leave it doing its thing maybe a little bit later we can see how you use the software as well that yeah, would be that awesome would be cool. that'd be great stuff yeah definitely because um there's loads of projects on cricket sign space there's over 150,000 images in the Whoa. library um, and you can upload your own images as well so if you're a designer uh -huh. or anything like that you've got something you'd like to upload and cut you can do that lovely now we have got as expected queues on the phone lines the fastest way to order is online at hachanda.com um, and as I said if you've got anything sat in your basket do check out you won't regret this ah what's it doing now oh it's still going <laughs> that's amazing oh we're it's almost 100%. there I think it's just cutting around the outline oh, and then clever. We're that. almost there. It's such a sleek, beautiful machine as well. Like I wouldn't yes. put this away. I'd leave it out all the time. Yes, so good looking. And remember, you've got um, you can pop your tablet or your phone in oh, there. Yes. There's actually a USB on the side, so you can charge your device too. I Very know. Very good. You've got the tools bits in there, and then I call this the snack drawer. Okay. Um, I won't open it now, but there's a little. Uh, little tray in there where I still store snacks but you're supposed to store tools <laughs> um, but that's great too so you've got everything you kind of need in this situation excellent okie dokie so oh, I think it's, it's almost done yeah it's just finishing off <laughs> um, now also you might be wanting to add some tools to your baskets uh, which really help you with the maker and yes, I know you're going to show us a couple and um, have a, again a look on the website to find the bundles that we've got available for you but this beautiful sleek rose machine first time we've seen it on her chanda right now what happens now we're going to unload the machine when it lets us there we go okay. and now we're just going to peel this away um, whilst I'm working on this bit, I've got some snowflakes to cut out of this holographic. So I'll pop that in the machine and let it do its thing. Sure. Whilst I prepare the next piece. So for your vinyl here, it's the blue mat we need. Yeah, blue. Or if you've bought an um, an extra set of mats, the green one. But blue is yeah, blue is your vinyl. Lovely. And pink is for fabric. And apologies, I, did, I missed that then. What's the green one for? Um, green is for uh, thicker materials like a thicker card, okay. things like that. And then your pink is for your fabrics. Excellent, but we, I, I'm assuming we can buy the green one separately. You can, Excellent. yeah. You can buy all of them. So, oh, can we have a look at what uh, our, our Webster, can we have a look at the computer? Oh, yeah. So I'm just picking my material. <laughs> I'm being very demanding <laughs> today. It's just nice to see how you how you yeah. how do this. So where, what are you popping? So I just typed in holographic. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and I've got, I'm using holographic sparkle iron on. So I'm going to click that one. Um, and then you can see now it knows that's what I'm cutting. It's even telling me which blade to pop in. Yeah. And it's telling me press go. You're ready to go. So Excellent. I'll let that do its thing. Lovely. Whilst we do that, let's weed this design. Oh, quick stock updates. <laughs> As expected, our new beautiful rose machine. We are approaching 20% of the stock gone already. Again, I'm just going to tilt that forward so you can see that rose colour. It's beautiful. Right, um, so what are you doing here now? This is a process we call weeding, which has nothing to do with gardening. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the process of taking away all of the iron on except for our design. So I use this weeding tool, which yep. is part of the basic tool set. <clears throat> Looks like a dentist tool. It does. Um, but it's really handy to just pick away um, and help me peel back 
all of the um, bits I don't want. So you can be quite rough with the vinyl yeah. then. I'm very rough. <laughs> I should probably be a bit more no, gentle. No, not at all. But... <laughs> yeah, it's quite. It's yeah, very forgiving and quite, it's quite a tough material, really. So, uh -huh. yeah, go for it. Um, and peel, and you can reuse these bits. You can punch them or oh, nice. cut them out and then iron them on again. So don't worry if you've got um, that, that. I've got a lot of waste here. I will save that for another project. So I'm just going in, picking away all my little bits. Yeah. It's nice seeing this appear because obviously I don't know what you've programmed in. I know. <laughs> it's a surprise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's my easy press beeping to tell me that it's uh, now up to temperature. So ah. I've just turned that on. Um, I've heated it up to 160 degrees centigrade. Okay. Um, and there is a Cricut heat guide. If you just search that in any search engine, Cricut heat guide, it comes up and it lets you tell it what type of iron on you're using and then what type of fabric you're popping it onto. Right. And then it will tell you the exact time and temperature um, for your project. So you Lovely. can just pop that in. I'm so intrigued at what this is. Um, now, <laughs> if you have got any questions that you want to ask, please, as I said, send your questions to studio at tachanda.com or via Facebook. Obviously, we understand it's a considered purchase, but once you have got this fabulous machine, you will not be able to stop making it or personalising things. Um, got a few samples back here. So you, just while you're weeding that, Emma, we'll see a nice reveal. You can obviously you can start cutting personalised cards, like so. Um, you can start making little three D projects. That's adorable, isn't it? How cute is this? Oh, nice! Um, you can personalise your cups or your phones even. Um, what about making your own Christmas decorations? That's wonderful, isn't it? That is so cool. Um, your presents, look at that again, so you can personalise your tags, marvellous. Uh, you can even pop it onto um, cups and things and plates and again personalise, there you go, sorry. A for Alex, look, even, I, I won't pick it up because I'm going to cross the line, but there you go, we have got um, the cushion as well, <laughs> sorry, the screen's in the way. How are you getting on Emma? Bear with this piece, Fab. Oh, what's and this? they'll be able to reveal it. So it's backwards at the moment, yes. so <laughs> might be tricky to read. Uh, let me pick out a few more little pieces, make no sure worries. I've got everything. Oh, I'm good timing, my snowflakes are done. Here we go, it says, oh, let me put it, <laughs> here we go. Um, it says exclusive, oh, nice, I'm doing the right, wrong way yeah. around, there we go. Yeah. Exclusive, nice list only. Oh. Oh yeah, so if you're on the naughty list, you can't have what's in this stocking. Okay. <laughs> Let's pop that on there. Um, so we've got lots of different fonts then as well that we can play yeah, with. Yeah, hundreds of fonts. Oh, excellent. And any font that's on your computer that you've downloaded or if you've made your own font, those will appear in Cricut Design Space too. Cool. So, yeah, endless possibilities um, with that. I'm going to leave my snowflakes a minute and we'll press this first. Sure. Okay, so we're moving over to the Easy Press, we are, are we? indeed. Okay. So I'm going to grab my Easy Press mat. Yes, can you tell us what the Easy Press does, what we use it for? Yes, the the mat or the, the e easy press. Oh, yeah, sorry, the mat Molly would like to know as well. Sorry. <laughs> I'll explain everything. Okay. Um, so the mat isn't just a pretty face. Uh -huh. It actually is going to push back up all of the heat into the back of your project. So you're heating right. the front and the back at the same time. It's also going to um, absorb any moisture because you don't want moisture in your project, mm -hmm. and it's going to protect your surface. Of it's going to yes. keep your surface nice and cool underneath. Nice. So quite an important part of the easy press. And then, of course, my Easy Press is what I'm going to use to heat the iron on vinyl yep. and adhere it to the fabric. So, this is way better than an iron? 100%. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, your home iron has all those tiny dots that mm. aren't emitting any heat. Yep. So, you don't know where those are going on your project. So, and it might not be till you've washed it when you realise it's peeling. Which that, is a shame. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit sad. And also, there's only one heating element in a home iron, mm -hmm. whereas this has quite a few I can't remember exactly how many are in here um, but to keep the whole plate exactly the same temperature right. instead of on your home iron only an inch square in the middle is a temperature mm -hmm. but who knows what temperature that is okay. right. <laughs> whereas we know exactly what temperature this is so that's a big difference there I've just realized I'm not lining this up properly so let's Don't do that worry. again I want it reasonably straight so it doesn't matter that you've peeled it off and put it back no on. not at all excellent keep um 
keep moving it around until you're happy. Okay. Make sure your material's nice and flat. Okay, so how does our easy press work then? So we're going to pop it down on top. We don't move it. Yeah. We just keep it still and we're going to press the green go button and it's going to count down the time. Um, and where do we find the information as to the heat settings that we need for each material? Yeah, you can search the Cricut Heat Guide yep. on your search engine okay. and that's going to come up and you just pop in. I've got an easy press, I'm pressing glitter, iron on onto felt in my case and it's mm -hmm. going to tell you the exact temperature Lovely. for that project. Okay, so what do we wait for? Like, will there be a red light? There or? will be a beep, a nice loud beep yep. to let us know, but it is counting down as well so you've got you, you'll know when it gets to zero. Yeah. Um, you just give a light, you don't need to push it down because it's got enough weight. Mm -hmm. um, you can just give a nice, I, I like to do a little lean. A little lean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go, it beeped. So lift up back into the cradle. Now the cradle, that withstands the heat, doesn't it? Yeah, completely. And if you feel underneath, it disperses the heat. So you can, I can put my hand under there and I can't feel Good. hot. Okay. And I also can't get my fingers into anything because it's protecting. Yeah. So if you've got children around or anything like that, you're not going to, you know, come into any drama. Okay, drama. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we can peel this straight away, hopefully. Might need to wait a second for it to cool. Yeah, I'm just going to wait. That's all right. A moment for that to cool. Well, I will give you the details then you can, uh, that are on screen for your Easy Press, and it does come with that base as we've seen. It is um, £189.99, uh, £30 saving. Item number is 673000. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay, at the so reveal. we're peeling away. I've missed a little bit off the bottom here, but it's not. Can even we the go one. back in? We can go back can in, yeah. It? I can do that now. That was me, too busy chatting, not paying attention. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> but it's an easy fix. So we'll peel this back. Yeah. Oh, we missed that bit too. It's okay. All we do if that happens is we'll just pop this piece of carrier plastic back over the top uh -huh. and give it another quick press. So it won't burn the one you've already done? No, not at all. Okay, good. Um, and always wait till it cools because quite often people think um, it's not done, but actually they just haven't waited for it to cool completely. Yeah. There we go. So, so I'll just go back over there. Now, just out of interest, like, does it does it switch itself off if you yes. leave it on? Oh, so after five minutes, if you haven't picked it up, it's going to beep loudly at you and say, I'm still here, I'm still on, you haven't touched me. If you do nothing, it will turn itself off. If you pick it up or press the button, it will stay on for you. Great stuff. So very handy, especially if, like me, you're a messy crafter doing 15 projects at once <laughs> and you forget what you're doing, then it's there to remind you. Okie dokie, and then we've got our lovely holographic yeah, silver Yeah, let's put vinyl. some snowflakes on, so I'll just weed these quickly. Yep. Whilst that's doing what it's doing. So again, going in with my weeding tool, and just peeling away that layer. That's done. Beeped, lovely. I'll let that sit for a minute. Okay. And we just peel away. I mean, you that's... get some really intricate designs that they make uh, the oh, ultimate... Yeah. Cuts. Way more um, intricate than this even, definitely, like t it can cut teeny tiny. I've even cut before, I haven't today, but little stars to go on my nails. Cute, yeah. <laughs> very cute. What's the proudest thing you've ever used the, um, the maker for? <gasps> maker Too ultimate. many things. Um, I was on a famous Christmas craft competition on a particular TV channel okay. with, with a person who's a craft expert and does houses <laughs> and right. I made an advent calendar and I won the competition a, ah. uh, a couple of years ago but that was that was probably my proudest make because um, it was a lovely day. I think I'd be starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> I did get to use her downstairs toilet. Oh, amazing. <laughs> did, my claim to did she have an award in there? <laughs> no but it was, you know, like it was bigger do. than my normal bathrooms. <laughs> right and just going to cut these up. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we'll place these around just to add a little bit of extra sparkle. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love this holographic. Shiny. It's yeah. just so shiny. I know that you are, you, you're like me and love glitter and all things like that. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, if you couldn't tell. Always mm -hmm. adding glitter to everything. So you know you're saying it cuts fabric? Yeah. Like, did you make your earrings? No, I didn't. Not today. those ones? No. Um, but 
Oh, it cuts all sorts. So felt, um, cotton, your thicker fabrics like um, denim, they, yeah. not, they don't need to be bonded or anything like that. Brilliant. You can just pop them on the pink mat and cut them with the rotary blade that you've okay. got there. So Excellent. pattern pieces, um, if you're a quilter and you want to cut all of your um, bits for your quilt out on there, oh, all of your hexagons. And Save you time. I'm not a quilt maker, so I won't pretend to, <laughs> no, <that's laughs> to know. <all> right. <laughs> one day I'll make one. Uh, but yeah, that will save you a lot of time, especially for your more intricate applique pieces. Excellent. Okay. Oh, well, I was going to say, you're going to lose your um, ones at the that's front. That's all right. I've got plenty more. That's good. Okay. Let's go down on those ones. Again, it's still up to temperature, is it? Yeah. We're still, because it's just going to stay at that temperature. Okay. Um, now, if you have got your easy press in your basket, check out because, like you said, you cannot recommend this enough, can you? No. Emma? <laughs> um, it's one of those things that people think at first, ah, I don't need it, and then they think, actually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Especially if you're gifting things to people or, you know, you want to wash them over and over again, you want to make sure it's adhered properly because mm. it's just a bit embarrassing, isn't it, if you're selling something or you're giving it as a gift and then they wash it and it starts yeah. to peel off. You um, don't want that. And no. especially if you're making to sell because yes. you do not want complaints that's why this seals the deal yeah this is the professional result you need um, for all of your makes definitely so I'll we'll lift that up yep this one we definitely need to wait for it to cool so while we do that I'll just pop a couple more at the top excellent um, now we have spread the cost normally we only do two flexi buy payments but on all of our lovely gadgets that we've got uh, we've done it as a, a, um, a three-way flexi buy payment on top of the discounts for our black tag deal 30 pounds off there look at that and then those well, I'm gonna just protect this part with that piece sure. of carrier yeah just because we don't want it to okay what happens if you accidentally put it direct onto the vinyl? It would be fine it will. if you were there. Unless you were there for ages, then it yeah. might start to melt. Okay, just, just <laughs> use the carrier where possible. Yeah, I would, or a piece of baking parchment oh, if you've good to know. already thrown away the car carrier. <laughs> Excellent. And again, it's so, such clever technology. It's counting itself down. Um, does it have, because obviously I'm apart from you, does it have like the little temperature gauge where you can... Yes, it does. It's literally the up and down there. Yep, so you've got the temperature button here. Yep. And then up and down. Yep. And then the timer and then up and down. So really basic, really easy to see and use literally six buttons on mm. there. Yeah, foolproof. Yes, yes. indeed. Excellent. I can't see what that's counting. Oh, we're nearly we're there. At one. There we go. So lift that off. Again, I'll wait for that to cool, so I'll start peeling away these ones down the bottom. Lovely. This is a really satisfying part, peeling I bet, it. yeah. And there we go. Mm -hmm. And just sh makes it even more shiny. It does, doesn't it? What, um, with the, not, not the carrier sheets that you, you're picking off, but with your, you know, the bits that are left over that you've weeded, what's, what would you do with those personally? Um, so the thicker ones, like the glitter, yeah. I would use a punch or scissors to okay. um, use the little scraps. Some you could pop back on the mat and cut in the machine. Yeah. Um, of course, that piece is still good oh, to yeah. go. Um, again, these ones I'd probably cut up with scissors and use for another project because we can press them straight away. Great stuff. Yeah. So you don't need to... And of course, you can be really um, careful with how you line everything up with your material on the machine so okay. that everything's really close so that you're minimising any waste. Nice. Right, there we go. I'm going to hold this up to show Yay! you because it's so big. <laughs> from a, there we go. From a plain stocking to one that's got your snowflakes, you've got your sentiment on there. This is what you can be doing. The possibilities are endless with personalising. Um, thank you so much, Emma. Okay. okay. <laughs> While you get set for a, another demo, yeah. I'm going to now give you the details. Okay. Now, this beautiful maker, the Cricut Maker Ultimate Cutting Machine, this is the first time that we have had the rose colour on her chanda. Let me just pop that down. And again, I will very carefully trying to lift. In fact, if I lift this up, there you go, that should stay together and then I can move it forward. Excellent. Um, look at that beautiful colour, isn't it? Nice. Love how that catches the light. Excellent. And then let's move this about. So what extras do we get with the maker today? So you've got the two blades. Okay. Um, you've got the pen to pop in the pen accessory port so that you can draw or write with the machine. Ah. You've got the two mats. Yeah. And then you've also got a couple of materials to get you started straight away. Ah. Uh, they're in one of the envelopes there. So you've got a bit of card, um, 
and bits and bobs oh, so that nice. you can have a yeah it's such lovely quality everything can i open this oh yeah i think okay, so let's open. <laughs> i feel like i'm about to like read the winner of something because this is such a posh <laughs> this is such a posh envelope so a little bit of material to get you started do you know what i think if you're going to start using fabrics you'll be um you'll be upcycling a lot of your clothes as well or your other halves just don't tell him um <laughs> so and also of course you'll get the plug everything else and your usb uh, but it's all about your personalization for today, you have got that £34 saving as part of our Black Tag event. This is also not just the first time we've had the rose on here, but the first time that we've had the, make the machine just on its own, which I know a lot of you have been asking for. You can then go ahead and choose other bundles yourself, you know, that you particularly want. This is the, the lowest that we've had this on its own, I believe, on Hachanda. Uh, again, you can spread the cost three ways rather than two, um, £115.33. Now, we also have the champagne colour, if that's your thing. I always think about Christmas and champagne. Um, once more, I will just tilt this forward. Um, so what are the blades that we get in here? What do they do? Yep, so the rotary blade is for your fabrics and right. then your fine point one is for most other things like cardstock yep. um, of quite a few thicknesses, your glitter cardstocks, your mirror boards, things like that um, and also your vinyl, iron on vinyl, Great. paper, all of those kind of things. Oh, amazing. Uh, again, £34 saving, 091641. Okie dokie. Now, I did promise you we've got look, we've got so many bundles. I'm just going to go through these then, Emma, because um, we've got some nice new shiny ones. Okay, so this one is set one. We have got that gorgeous set of glitter iron-ons. Yeah. Um, lovely frosty colours. Yes. Yeah, frozen colours. You know yes. where I'm going with that. <laughs> uh, then we've got the Sport Flex, which maybe we... Actually, can, can, have you got something I over haven't, there? I haven't, you know, I've, I've, Don't that's worry. the only one I haven't got something. <laughs> There's so many on today. But that's um, the perfect iron-on for stretch fabric. So, so if, if you're, you're going on to, yeah, yeah. your exercise, but even if it's just something a bit tighter or leggings or something like that, yeah. um, especially for kids if they're running around, mm -hmm. um, because your design's going to stretch with the fabric. With sport Wonderful. Flex. And it doesn't crack, does it? Because no. that's really annoying. Yeah, yeah. not at all. <laughs> Excellent. Um, then we've got the premium vinyl. What makes that premium then, Emma? Um, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I just know it's great. They're it all called is... that. Um, oh, but sorry. Did, I think so. All called that? Apologies. I think the premium, <laughs> yeah. Um, but these ones are new. So these are really cool um, effects. So you've got the threads, the holographic mm, threads. Yeah. And then next to that, you've got the rose bubbles, which is one of my new favourites. because it's, it's Once it's cut, it looks really cool on things. Nice. And then this is lovely. It's got a bit of texture to it yeah, as well. Yeah, it's textured metallic vinyl. So that kind of looks almost foiled once it's cut it's beautiful amazing right then uh 28 pounds oh, i'm gonna really have to lean forward now 28 pounds <laughs> and 98 pence in two installments and your item number is 267 i didn't quite catch that but anyway um set two here we go you have a look on the website here we've got <laughs> um the holographics the the threads yeah gold threads yeah Ooh. and then the rose uh, i think it's definitely a pink version of that lovely um, it roses it's really pretty it's literally rose roses yes yeah, they're amazing <laughs> and then we've got our glitter iron on in this time we've got purples greens and uh blues in this one uh next then what colour is this? Uh, is this, this is a, a foil. I think it's like a, ah. a chocolatey kind of, uh, or what's it? Uh, express espresso, is it? Ooh, that's oh, no, a nice it's not. Word. It's black glitter. Sorry. Yeah, that one is black. I was thinking, is it? <laughs> what's she on about? <laughs> no, don't you worry. Um, and then we've got like your, your straightforward, almost like a mirror effect. Yeah, foil. We? Yes. Um, again, details on screen. They're all under the different item numbers, but they are the same price 080405. Then set three on the top here. Uh, this is another of your Sport Flex iron on in that really nice Christmassy red. Yes. It's as red as your lovely jumper. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, then we've got the glitter iron on in gold, red, and silver. Then we've got our um, holographic. Uh, in here, those threads, and then oh, I like this one as well. Yeah, this is another. I'm going to say all of the shiny ones, <laughs> no, but right. this is new. This is um, holographic crystals, um, and they're so pretty. They are, aren't they? Uh, there you go. Uh, details seven three three seven nine six. Then moving on to this one. This is set four, where you've got now that looks more of a matte finish. Um, this one, yeah, not as shiny, kind of more. 
it's got a little Satin? bit of shine to it. Yeah, more satiny. Satiny, lovely. And then we've got the gold glitter. And wow, this one makes my eyes go funny. Mixed <laughs> mosaic. Yeah, so these actually have a clear background. Mm -hmm. um, they're wrapped around white, so it's tricky to see. So when you pop them on, all you've got are those lovely little mosaic dots. Of That's red. cool. Yeah. And I can see in here seasonal Christmas uh, colours. So I think we've got red, green, silver and gold in yes. here. Marvellous. And then next up we have got um, your foil iron on and these again I think seeing here you've got lo looks to me like there's a gold, a red and a like, pink I think. Yeah it is isn't it. Um, 580793. Okay set five we now go back over to here lot to show you, lot to show you. <laughs> Here we've got the pink sport flex, I'd like that. Uh, then we've got the everyday iron on, which is, um, you've kind of got your, your, your neutrals, would you yeah, say? Yeah, gold, white and black, I think. In yeah. the, oh, silver, gold, silver and black. So we'll yeah, a nice basic. Good stuff. Then we go back to our glitter iron on. I can see red, pink and silvery. And then we've got our, again, our vinyl. And this one is a really nice sort of um, satin effect. Seven, two, three, nine, six, eight. Then we've got set six. And in here we've got a nice holographic again, sort of the green crystals. Yeah, I think that's called something like G uh, Emerald Dew or something mad. Uh, no. <laughs> but it's a really cool, lovely, it reminds me of Wizard of Oz. Oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> now, I'm going to come back to this one because I've just been told it's uh, we've got to just fix the graphics for that one. But that's all right. We've got set seven here, again with your iron on in green, red, yeah. and blue. Maids be yeah. purple. I think it's like, yeah, it is. It is, isn't it? <laughs> lovely. Then we've got a lovely glittery black vinyl. Uh, moving on, we've got the silver glitter. Then we've got our rose holographic. And then we've got our um, holographic crystal one. Uh, that one is 502434 for your item number. And then, last but not least, we've got our. Wow, look at that one. <laughs> look at that colour. That's like neon. That's a, a your flex iron on. Um, Webster in my ear just said it's very 80s. <laughs> 80s are back in fashion, yeah. didn't you know? Then we've got our pink vinyl. Again, that's kind of got a satin effect. Yeah. Uh, we've got the vinyl that's uh, silver glitter. We've got gold glitter. And then we've got, again, sort of really bright neon -y colours of your everyday iron on here. Uh, item number is 406932. And the joy. Let's come over to the joy. For anybody just joining us, what does our joy do? So many things. Mm -hmm. um, it's super portable. It's the baby of the cricket family. I cried when I saw it first because I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Um, but it, it can cut up to 20 feet of material because um, it can cut with or without a mat. Okay. So um, that's a big difference to the other machines because mm -hmm. they all, all need a mat. Ah. Um, you've also got the option for the card mat, which I've got here, so you can cut oh, really quick um, and simple cards kind of as you're running out of the door is the idea nice this is a big difference with joy as well but it can cut um, paper um, card iron on vinyl and vinyl really beautifully excellent that's your portable one then when we can get get back to craft yes. groups 179.99 um, it is on flexi buy as ever and your item number is 155814 and then, of course, we've got the Easy Press. They do go hand in hand with your um, Cricut Maker Ultimate Cutting Machine. Um, it's got the whole base of it will heat up to the temperature that you desire. And, of course, you've got that base plate to sit it in. Um, £189.99, £30 saving as part of our Black Tag event. You can spread the cost three payments of £63.33 and, and your item number is 673000. Again, please ask any questions. As I said, I understand that they're considered purchase, but you will make somebody very happy for Christmas. Uh, just to mention that everything's on a delayed dispatch of 10th of December, but you should still get it in time for the big day. Here's the website, tachanda.com. You can also uh, shop by brand. If you want extras, we have popped them on there for you. We've got carry bags for you, uh, your equipment. We've got all the tools, like your weeding tools. We've got extra blades. Um, these are lovely little bundles for the joy. Uh, we've just obviously been... Oh, right, right. We've obviously been to the uh, vinyls, but we couldn't show you set six, but we can now. It is now active. Item number here is 073512. 
Lovely jubbly. Oh, I think we've covered everything. Now, for anybody just joining us, Emma, can we start from the beginning about our fabulous machine here? Uh, <laughs> what it does, how you work it out, how you do your cutting Yeah, and everything. of course we can. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me talk about quickly about the maker. So it's that would be good. They're all digital cutting machines. Yes. Um, so they cut whatever image font that you'd like um, that you tell it to either on an app or on the computer. Um, and then they'll cut it out on a variety of materials. So the maker could cut anything from paper, card, iron on vinyl, vinyl, any fabrics, um, as well as your thin woods uh, like balsa wood, yep. chipboard, up to 2.4 millimeters. So this really is a bit of a beast of a machine mm. in the all of the materials that it can cut Lovely. and then we've got the baby joy um, so this does lots of things um, especially your card making um, your iron on vinyls your vinyls if you're labeling things around the house I know that's a massive trend at the moment yeah labeling everything in sight <laughs> that's what I've been doing in my house uh, joy is perfect for that it can cut up to 20 feet long of material oh, without really? a mat. Yep, which is really cool. So those smart materials, um, they don't need a mat. You can just feed them in, uh, which is really cool. Yep. And then we've also got the card mat, which is um, just for Joy. Um, and I'm going to make a card with Joy right now, oh, if sure. that's OK. Yeah, yeah, use that one. Yeah. Let's go for it. Um, so I'm going to peel off the plastic from the card mat and this is sticky mat. Mm -hmm. What's different about it is you've got the two layers right. so you're able to slot a card in. So I'm going to make a white card um, this is one of the cards in, um, I think we've got some joy bundles and this, we do. these cards are in there. Um, and these are insert cards so they come with an insert piece and then the card and the envelope. So I'm going to pop the card piece in to my mat. Mm -hmm. So. The back piece goes behind so that it's protected from cutting and then stick that down nicely so now it's ready to pop in the machine. I'm going to pop that in there. Just going to tell them that I'm ready to tell the machine I'm ready to go. Right, righty ho. Um, Cricut Joy actually has two apps you can use. Oh, well, so I know. Okay. Uh, so it has Cricut Design Space, which is the same as the other machines, which yes. is for your in-depth designs. Um, you know, if you're really designing something from scratch, then it also has the Cricut Joy app, which is a really simple kind of click and go. Mm -hmm. um, this is my project. I want to do it really quickly. I want to make a label. This is what I want it to say. I'd like that design and make. Excellent. So you've got two options there. Okay, and I'm going to click insert card stock. Let's load this into the machine. There we go. And I'm just going to pop a pen in. I'm going to, well, what should we go for? Let's go for the red pen. Well, it'll really show up on camera then. Yeah. So we just take the blade out and we pop the pen in and close it up. So it's really nice and simple. Yep. And now for this one, we press go on the, on the laptop and it's going to get ready to go. I love that it counts you down. <laughs> there we go. So now it's off. You can see it's drawing part of our design and then it's going to cut part of that design. OK, so we can use the pens and yep. we can use the blades. Yep, all in the same project. So you get a bit of both. So you get a really lovely finished look. Um, you can see it that I love watching it draw. It's just, it is mesmerising, isn't it? And yeah. I'm always <laughs> baffled by and, and impressed, obviously, by technology. <laughs> yeah. This is great. So if you're someone that's not into card crafting yourself, but you still want to make your own cards, this is another way of doing it. And of course, you, you, you can literally just be sat there having a cup of tea <laughs> yeah. and thinking, right, that's my card for my mum. You <laughs> yeah. Know? yeah, exactly. So many times. I'm the worst person at being organised for people's birthdays. Uh -huh. Always on my kind of New Year's resolutions to do it better, yeah. um, but it doesn't quite work. <laughs> uh, but this means when I'm so last minute that I can make a quick card yeah. uh, really quickly and easily for people. And with um, um, the company, are they, um, you know, very accessible in, in case you've got a problem with anything? Yes, completely. And actually this week they've launched um, a UK customer care team. So okay. they are working on our hours and they're there dedicated for us in the UK, which is really exciting. Fabulous. Um, now, I've just realised I've popped the pen in when I was meant to pop the blade in. Oh, <laughs> um, I was making a nice pattern. <laughs> uh, but it's absolutely fine. Um, I'm just going to exit that. <laughs> oh, and we'll start again. Making. That's all good. Live TV. While you do that then, I'll just show you. So again, I've got some examples of what you can be making. Isn't that fab? Because you've got the designs cut there. It's really yeah. pretty. And I then love. behind it, some glitter. 
Yeah, so that's one actually made on the maker. Oh, was so it's it? A little bit bigger. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, is it this further size? down? Yeah, and you've got some on behind your joy as well. Ah, that right. That's joy the cuts. sort of size. Yeah, okay. that's right. This is lovely. Okay, um, right, we've got something else for you to have a little look at. These are the accessories for the for the Joy, your tool starter kit. It's only eleven ninety nine, but again, they're the little things that you need. Somebody might already, that you know, might already have the um, Cricut Maker, and you think, actually, this would be a good stocking stuffer. 973-823 is the item number. Okay, the next thing that we want to show you is the carry case for the Cricut Joy. Isn't that cute? £34.99. pence. They really think of everything, don't they? Uh, £295.490. We've also got some little bundles for the Joy. Okie dokie. This is the red collection. Okay. Um, you're getting vinyl, iron-on, glitter, smart vinyl, and some fine point pens. That is a really good comprehensive bundle, isn't it? Yeah, nice little bundle there. And next then, we've got the Glitz and Glam collection. £41.94. This again is for your joy. Um, you're saving £8 here. 883430 is the item number. Right then, so we've got the blade in now. Yeah. <laughs> that was my fault. This design Don't doesn't you even worry. have the pen, so... <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but now you can see we've caught up, we're back to where we were. Yep. Um, so we've started cutting. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> we're actually doing the correct thing now. Um, but you can see, yeah, it's it, it's so intricate as well. Um, and think about this even for your more advanced card making, uh -huh. for using this card mat to do, you know, your aperture cards, things yes. like that. Um, instead of dies where you're limited to the size of the die yep. and how many you can cut at once, why not use Cricut Joy to kind of expand your yeah. how you would normally cut that's your paper glass? Do you want to, while that's cutting, just again point around a few more um, fabulous yeah, samples that you've got for us? Let at me the grab back. a couple of these cards as well. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. So we can see. Um, here's one that has the pen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is actually a um, card designed by Zoe Deschanel. Right. She's um, she's got a cricket and she's got some projects on Cricut Design Space. So if you wat ever watched um, any of her programs, where she's quite crafty in them. For anybody who doesn't know who she is. Yes. Yeah, and her. Yes, yeah. yeah, she was in a program called New Girl, and she's also in Elf, the oh. Christmas film. Yes. Um, she yeah, she's got some lovely kind of Christmassy designs on there at the moment, and you'll see her smiling face on there. Um, but you've got some lovely kind of cards and yep. for quick you know cards um, this one works in a similar way to the one I'm going to make now but you actually fold back the pieces and tuck them in yep. um, to make a really intricate kind of looks really design. good I've been asked to say that apparently if she's single our director is watching <laughs> <laughs> well I think as she's also person. got a cricket machine that means we're best friends she doesn't know me but <laughs> Everyone's friends that's got a cricket. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose it's, it's a quite a nice community actually. Do oh, it's lovely. People things online and yeah, share what so they've been making. Yeah, uh, there's lots of Facebook groups. Um, yep, yeah, lots of places to share. Everyone's really helpful because there's a lot, lots of things you can make with it, of course, yes. and lots of questions people have, and people are making incredible things. So it's really lovely to see. Excellent, lovely stuff. And I know I mentioned it earlier, but we get new people tuning in all the time throughout the hour because you can really say if you want to it could just be a hobby but it could start to be a nice little business for you yes in making indeed. things and personalizing okay. Mm -hmm. ah okay um just while you're getting that on showing it um we've had a question from andrea yeah and she would like to know for the for the joy is there a subscription fee um so it's free to use the cricket design software Yep. But there is an added subscription if you want access to all of the images, projects right. and fonts. Yep. Um, it's around seven ninety nine a month, I believe. Don't quote me quite on that. Um, yep. But that gives you access to ev almost everything, hundreds and thousands of things. Or you can pay individually for things. Okay. Or there are lots of free things. But you can use the machine without paying any money at all. Nice. So. And then she's also asked, sorry, questions, questions. Yep. <laughs> um, can you do square cards on the Joy? Um, you, this is the size of the mat, so okay. if you can fit, you can definitely fit a smaller square card in there, but yep. that would be your size limit. 
for yeah. that time. But of course you can use your um, your mat that comes with the machine so you can cut your pieces and pop them onto your cards. Right. Um, but if you wanted to make really in-depth cards yourself and score them, I would go for the maker. Lovely. Let's see, let's see the reveal. Here we go. So I'm just going to fold back these pieces oh. um, to make this into a beautiful kind of 3D wreath. And then to finish it off, we'll pop the insert card behind to give a bit of glitz and glamour. Sounds good. Do you know we've only got three minutes left? Oh, perfect. This, uh, this hour has flown by. Okay, there we go. We pop our little insert card behind. So remember, these come in the pack. So you can mix and match. Uh, choose whichever one you want. And they just slot into the corner. So, so quick and easy to make a really beautiful oh, card. Oh, that's like we, we do with parchment. Nice. And I haven't quite picked out all my hanging on bits in there, but you get the idea. Yeah. And uh, let me make sure these are all folded back nicely. And there we are. What a cute card. It's so pretty. Now, can you add to a design? As yes, in, you can. If, if I wanted to put sentiment in the middle? Yes, you could. Yep, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, you can design your own, grab the design, and then we could have popped something with the pen in there, perhaps, or something to be cut out, yeah. attach it together, and then we pop it in the machine, and it would do that for us. Yeah, completely. Amazing. Okay, on, um, on the screen for you, if you want to go for our fabulous joy that Emma has just used, maybe it'll come with your mat. Uh, mat. Oh, there you go. Um, it's on screen. However, um, going back to our beautiful, I'm going to say again, this is the first time we have seen the rose-coloured um, Cricut Maker Ultimate Cutting Machine on her chanda. Uh, it does come with the mats. Just a reminder again um, what the mats are for. Yep, so these are sticky mats that we're going to use to pop our materials on for cutting. Yep. Um, so the blue one is going to hold our cardstocks, right. our iron-ons, our vinyls, and then pink is going to hold all of our fabrics. Marvellous. And like you said, you do even get um, a little envelope with some materials in. Yeah, just to means. get you started straight away. So you've got a little test piece to go, get you going. Yeah, and obviously um, full instructions for you. Um, you were saying about the US USB... Yeah. yeah, it comes with the USB, but it also cuts via Bluetooth. So you can cut from your um, phone or tablet. Yeah. Or um, if your laptop or computer's got Bluetooth, you can cut from that too or plug in the USB. Yeah. yeah. And also it's literally got a power source as well. I'm not saying you just yeah. have, to <laughs> have to run it on uh, off the computer. Um, three payments of £115.33 if you want to spread that cost as part of our Black Tag event, £34 saving, 058209. Here's the website, just to make sure you're checking out your baskets, because it is a really good deal. First time we've had not only the Rose um, machine on uh, Hachanda, but also on its own, without any additional bunyals, but we bundles, but I think I just said bunions possibly bundles um, but if you do want to add some vinyls to your basket we've got lots and lots of bundles okay and then to finish off the easy press uh, this is really busy uh, you have got that full plate of heat coming through you can set your temperature you'll find the heat guide on the web yeah. for what for the different materials that you're using um, it is three payments of £63.33, a £30 saving, 673000. Once you have got any of the machines, um, you will personalise, you'll have so much fun making all the different items. You could if you wanted to set up your own business, but they're brilliant machines. Please take advantage of our Black Tag event. Why not give someone a call and say, hey, you know, it could be your sister or brother and say, do you want to club together and get mum this, etc, etc. Right, thank you very much Emma. Uh, thank you. <laughs> we will see you at two o'clock. Yes indeed. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Right I'm going to leg it into the next studio because I'm back with Frenchie and we're talking polo ponchos. They're brilliant. It is our black tag event with what's hot not who's hot because that's what I said earlier and then we've got heartfelt creations one day special followed by clarity all about the mixed media hello I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago 
Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chander and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Yes, we have launched our Black Tag event, um, which means that we've got a discount across the board, which we like. Now, I'm going to introduce you to a fabulous gentleman called Mr. French. Hello, Frenchie. Hello, Alex. How are you? I'm good. I feel like it's been so long since we've worked it together. It has been. I mean, yeah. I, I did a virtual one during the last lockdown. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, but that's the only time I've been in this year. I know. Well, we are glad yeah. to have you back. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Good yeah. stuff. Now, really busy show at 7 o'clock. Let me tell you what we've got on the show so that you can get ahead. We've got our fantastic polo ponchos where you're basically getting three for the price of two, which is just jolly marvellous. We've got our Hawks wrenches on the show. And we've also got, standing in front of you, our wooden bowls. How do these work, Frenchie? Well, they're absolutely brilliant. They're wooden pop-ups and they're made of 100% um, bamboo. When they're flat, you can use that as a cutting board. Okay. You can use that as a pot stand, things like that, uh, for hot pots, things like that. Mm -hmm. It's not going to take up any room when it's flat. But then when you want a bowl, you just turn it 90 Cute. degrees, push down to the little pin, swing it round the base, and then you've got a bowl for any occasion. You see, when you're looking for a bowl, you can't get enough of them. Yes. And when you're done with the bowl, there's nowhere to put them. And then just do the reverse, and there you go. It's nice Perfect. storage as well. There yeah. you go. Well, when you're not doing that, you can put that under an existing bowl, something like that. What a nice yeah. idea. They this is brilliant. a great Christmas gift, isn't oh, it, all, At Christmas time, we sell gazillions of these. They're uh -huh. really popular. Now, we've got a great selection. There's 10 different choices for you. Okay. Here's the pussycat. He's perfect. Oh, and then okay. the owl is a real hoot. <laughs> Those two are, are possibly going to run off to sea together at some stage and end up in the land where the piggy wig stood. There he is. There. <laughs> the dragon is hot stuff. Yep. There he is. And the, well, this was very popular. Um, he, normally I have buns in the bunny, but you can put anything inside them. Of there course. you can see there's the fruit. And they was very popular in the first hour. Mm -hmm. The one with the most appeal would uh. be the apple. Right? <laughs> if you're looking at the best place to put your phone or your keys is inside the elephant because he never forgets. Oh. And there's his trunk pointing up to give you a happy elephant. Mm -hmm. And there we also have um, about a dozen and a half eggs you can put into the um, that's chicken. A lot. Yeah. yeah. So um, that's cracking. Hey. <laughs> uh, and now you can put all your eggs in one basket. Oh. There you go. <laughs> well, they're terrible jokes. And then the next one we have here is the puppy dog. Right? Uh -huh. Now, you can put anything in him too. Um, as you notice, my jokes are a little bit rough. And then <laughs> finally, we have Cyril the Squirrel. There he is. Great one to put the Christmas nuts display out in. Excellent. And of course, all year round. But um, these are the sorts of things that are really nice, as we said, gifts to give to people, um, especially at Christmas. Oh what's, oh, what's this one doing? Well, what I'm doing here is when you want to clean it, yeah. um, this one is very well made. It's cross laminated bamboo, and it's bamboo from a farm, not a forest, so it's sustainable. Right. So when you just drop that into warm, soapy water upside down like that, uh -huh. very easy to clean. Then turn it up the right way, and away you go. You're back to a bowl again. Just oh, like that. see, Brilliant. excellent is yeah. that. And um, they're packaged lovely. Look at the, the box it comes in. Very so wrappable. Very wrappable, um, very easy to post. Um, it's about 250, 300 grams, so it doesn't cost a lot to post that around the UK. Oh, what a fantastic gift idea for the person who's really difficult to buy for. Yes, right? what a good idea. Because we all use bowls, yeah. we all use cutting boards, and we all use pot stands. Really? And this is one that does it all. So that's like three in one almost, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. Lovely. So just think about what you're going to use yours for. Uh, you can see we've got, um, Frenchie's got some eggs in some baskets, some fruit, which is a very, very good one indeed. Popping your fruit in, keeping it out, keeping it fresh. And they're just such lovely display items. And I'm thinking even if you wanted to, you could decorate decorate them up. You could. Yeah. I mean, you, you can colour in the faces on them if mm -hmm. you wish. Yeah. Uh, anything like that. You can um, put uh, Christmas decks in. You say you can. The other thing I've done with the um, with the apple, uh, I put uh, three herbs in there. Right. Um, so you, you know, we go to a, um, a supermarket. Yeah. You can buy herbs with the roots on. As, yeah. and, and then so I've had them for three or four months where you can just snap the herbs off as you're cooking and it's in, on display all the time. See, and they look really nice. nice. Yeah. That would look really nice on the windowsill actually yeah. with your basil and your thyme and everything else like that. Um, again I've got some lovely um, uh, what I'm calling, uh, not styles, designs behind me. As you've said, you've got the cat, you've got the chicken, there's the pig. There's so many. Did you say there's ten different designs? Ten different designs, yeah. We even got a dragon here. There, there is a dragon, yeah. Oh! The Welsh dragon, very, very popular. Hot I stuff. I like that. So yeah. we're just going to come and see him now, our lovely Welsh dragon. Here he is. Um, so great stocking stuff for this one. There you go. There it is. Excellent. Now, each option is just $9.99. This is half price as part of our Black Tag event today. Just $9.99. They are getting very busy. Your wooden pop-up 
um, bowl. Email us your favourite, which one are you going to get for yourself and what you're going to fill it with. Do you know, also, not just for in the kitchen, because that's where my mind immediately goes, but what about kids' little tiny toys? You know, so it could be in the playroom, you know, they like the little brick pieces that we want to keep out. Caravans, the... boats, things like that. Oh, Brilliant. very nice idea. Very, very nice. Or even in, onto the um, dining room table, just as a centrepiece. Um, right, 995, item number is 565731. Now, one of my favourite items, just coming in is the polo poncho and I walked in this morning didn't I Frenchie and I was you wearing, were wearing mine. One. Yes, but it yes. was minus two last night so I'm not surprised it was yes. cold this morning. Right tell us about this joyous product but okay. very quickly though sorry I do need to sell this out because it's extremely busy so the blue the royal blue you liked that it's gone there we are. Um, <laughs> over to you then, Frenchie. Okay, so I can't demonstrate the Royal Blue. That's gone. That's how busy it was this morning. We've sold out of one already. We're probably going to sell out of more colours as we go. Yeah. Right. So it's um, invented in New Zealand, uh, but these ones are made in the United Kingdom, which I think is fabulous. Um, with all the times that we have, if you can buy something made here, mm -hmm. so much better. It comes with an instruction leaflet showing you how to do it. And on those websites um, where you see demos, you can see the demo if you just put in Polo Pancho demo. But it's very easy. Right? All you do is roll it down twice from the top. It's made of thermal fleece, which is really soft, really um, elastic, and very warm. So you roll it down twice, put it on over the head, as you would a jumper. Then you put a coat on over the top, and it looks like a polar neck. But now you've got the freedom of movement, and there's six ways you can wear it from here. When you're out and about, you're starting to feel the cold, like you're feeling it there. So this is giving you the warmth where you need it. But the next place you feel the cold's on the ears. It feels like they're gonna crystallize and drop off. So you just bring it up one roll to the chin. There's one roll there, over the back of the head. And there's the years warm and toasty. That's how I now, wear mine. Yeah, that's where my, this is how I wear mine playing golf. You yeah. know? Um, if you're out walking the dog, brilliant, because it won't fall down, right? And then if uh, it gets colder, you go over the nose, the breathing warms the chest area. And if it gets colder, you go up again, and now you've got a full balaclava. Warm from the top of the head right down to the belly button. Don't go into a bank like that, though, okay? Open the face <laughs> if you wish. Now, you can put the hat or helmet on over the top of that. Now, a lot of people say to me, hang on a minute, you can't do that with a horse riding hat. Well, here's what you do. If you've got a fitted hat, right, you don't go all the way up. You go to there, and then you put the hat or helmet on there. It's now not underneath the hat, mm -hmm. but your nose, your chin, your ears are nice and warm without hacking with a horse on a cold day. So horse riders love them, but it's anyone with a helmet. Motorcyclists, it's actually invented by a motorcyclist, as I say. But you might be working on a work site, up on a roof, on the side of the road. Right, that is brilliant to be worn with a hard hat. And then you can change it back down again. When you're wearing a jumper, you've got to take the coat off to get the jumper off. Yep. Find somewhere to put the jumper. Well, this you can slip off without taking the coat off. You can roll it up and it'll go into a coat pocket, small bag, rather than carrying around a bulky jumper. Now, the same thing makes over 20 different styles of hat. Um, I'm just going to show you my favourite one. Just take the tail through the hole like so. Uh, thermal fleece is fully machine washable. I know people have had the same polo pancho for over 10 years. Mm. And they use it every time it gets really cold. There you go. That's my back of the neck warm. And that's called the chic. <laughs> that's C-H-I-C, chic. And that looks pretty wild on a windy day. Right? Now, if you went into a ski shop or on the high street, and bought a thermal fleece hat, something like that, say, uh, made in the UK, mm -hmm. you wouldn't see much change out of 15 pounds normally. Mm. But I tell you what, that that works out to six pounds 65. Because remember that price at 1997, that's not for one, that's not for two, you're getting three for that price. Over 20 years, we've been selling this product on shopping channels. This is the best price we've ever done. That is why we're selling out of colours. That's why it's the perfect time, because freezing cold just before Chris Crimbo, absolutely brilliant product. Lovely stuff. Thank you so much, Frenchie. Now, we do have reviews on the website. Now, um, just to say, to in order to look at these reviews, um, it's did we say it's under a different item number? Yeah. 
It's a different pick and mix, but obviously we want you to get this pick and mix because it's the fabulous price, but we did want to read out the reviews. Look at this. This product is brilliant, exactly what it said on the TV and very warm. Um, that we've got very warm and soft, versatile in the ways it can be worn. Great to have two on a pick and mix. No, well, we've got three for you now, just to say we've got three for you, um, three for the price of two. Uh, look beautiful and flexible. Um, hope the recipients like them as much as I do. This is my second order for this item. It's fantastic. Very good service and good price. Very good, lots of colours, soft and warm. Look at all these five star reviews, it's incredible. Very pleased with my choice of colours, lovely and warm. Brilliant, they were both for Christmas presents and very well received. Something different and practical and very warm. So versatile, you can do so many styles with your polo poncho. Now, let's run through the colourways. Now, I personally, see, because I'm, I'm a bit naughty, like, if I'm going for, all, for three different colours, I'm going to keep them for myself because, as you know, I love colour and I like to coordinate with my lipstick and what I'm wearing. So, personally, I'd keep all three. You, however, might want to go, this is a brilliant Christmas present. I can divvy one up for, for um, the three kids, etc. They're brilliant. Right, so which way would we like to start? Okay, let's start over here. Uh, we have the black. Now, remember, we have already had sellout. We've got the black option, the fabulous navy. Oh, so soft. We've got the red, that beautiful purple. This is the one that I've got. This is the plum. Then we go a bit of, uh, bit of camouflage, Frenchie. Yeah, that, that program on TV, they've got a funny ca camo at the moment, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, there you go. That one's a better camo. That one is, yeah. <laughs> and then we've got like a... Um, Oh, is it like a tiger print? Yeah. Hmm. Tickets were made for bouncing. Yes, they were. Uh, then we've also got the lovely, like, racing green. We've got the brown. We've got a nice pink. Have you had an addition in the couple of years with some different colours? I don't remember some of these colours. Uh, I've had, for over 20 years, wow. we've had colours come and go, you know, yeah, and then yeah. they come back again. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So this is a nice baby pink. This is a lovely baby blue. And then we've got the white. And do we get these with them? You get the instruction sheet with it, yeah. Nice. So have a little look. You get the instruction sheet and it will tell you you've got different designs on there, which is fabulous. Um, only, as I said, £19.97. Think of those reviews it's so soft we, you could cuddle this um, 10 pound saving three for the price of two as part of our black tag event uh, 924 693 if you do want to get just one on its own you can I'd still go for the three for the price of two but anyway it's at the bottom of the screen at 999 812 245 now mr. French yeah these wrenches not just any wrench the hawk's beak wrench there you go it's invented in New Zealand. I started selling the original version of these. Yeah. Uh, it has been modified over the years. There it is there. There's the original. Uh, in 93. So that's 27 years ago. Now, when a product lasted the test of time for that long, it's because it works. Mm -hmm. It's good. Right? Um, we give these a lifetime guarantee. If ever the tool goes wrong, and we've been at the same address, Portland and Dorset now, for over 20 years. If ever it goes wrong, give us a bell and we'll replace it usually within 72 hours. Brilliant. I think last year we sold somewhere in the region of 50,000 tools. We had less than 100 back to replace. We get so few back, we just give you a new one. Right. Beauty of this, one-handed, you just hook it open, forms the shape around the work. Don't blink, you'll miss it. Absolutely brilliant. Now, if you look at that, the top jaw is on the flat and the bottom jaw is inside the corner. So you're not working on the corners, you don't round the corners off. Mm -hmm. Now, that's metric, that's imperial. The great thing about this is with every metric one, you get an imperial one free. Okay. Right? You want to go the other way, you just turn it over and away you go. Right? And then that's any six-sided fitting. The next fitting you might come across, they're out there, is a bit of square, a square fitting. Right? Um, there you go. It's the same thing again. The top jaw's on the flat, the bottom jaw's inside the corner. Easy, fast, doesn't slip, safe, does everything. There's an eight-sided nut. These aren't common, but that's an eight-sided fitting there. And again, you can drop that straight on the flats. Works there beautifully. One of the most awkward fittings you'll ever try and turn is soft, tapered, and round. Mm -hmm. You don't want to mark up the bell housing of the tap when you're changing a tap washer. Just put a bit of tape on there. Because it doesn't slip, it won't rip it up the way the bigger teeth tools. It'll turn virtually anything. Fantastically strong, brilliantly made. A rounded off nut. Uh, um, nuts like that are often rounded off like by something like this. Yeah. Right? Just, oops, wrong way, over here. Right. 
wind that screw, it make, makes that jaw moving. Now, if you can see, this is a particularly worn out one. That's what happens. They wear out on that jaw. Mm -hmm. And when it wears out on that jaw, you're now trying to turn a fitting, putting all your pressure on when it's seized up. The jaws are forcing open. It slips off. Ooh. You whack yourself in the knuckles. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> a bit more than that usually. <laughs> in New Zealand we call that a sailing wrench. After you've done your knuckles and off she goes sailing. Right. Right. With, with the hawk's beak, you just hook it open, forms a shape around the work fast as a socket ratchet. Now, drops straight onto the pipe, turns that brilliantly. I've, never, I've not found a better pipe working tool in, in my life. Mm -hmm. right. Now, the reason why it's better than your traditional pipe wrench, this one again, you need two hands to adjust it. And if you get a pipe up against the wall, you find the handle's in the way, right? So now you've got to get a revolving house or kick a hole in the wall. So often with tools, you lose a hand because you're holding two bits together. That's a one-hander that comes in and does jobs no other tool will do. Fast, easy. See, not all Kiwi farmers are out chasing sheep round. Mm -hmm. Some of them are clever. <laughs> Only some of them might. Right. These ones, slip joint pliers, unless you get a decent pair, when you put a lot of pressure on, they slip, you whack your knuckles. If you don't squeeze hard enough, you're back to chewing up the work. Right. This one, you just hook it open, forms a shape, and away you go. You make Absolutely it look so easy, but it is easy. It is so easy. And then uh, the last one to compare it to is the vice grips. Oh. Not my favourite tool. Uh -uh. You've got to wind that screw, squeeze the handle, Rewind the screw, squeeze the handle again, and if you're really unlucky when you squeeze that handle, it traps on your hand. Oh! Crikey, that hurts. <laughs> right? yeah. And you, you get it caught in there, you, it's stuck, it, it's going to hurt until you open it again, mm -hmm. and then it's going to hurt some more. With, with the hawk's beak, you don't even need to see what you're doing. Just hook it open, pull back, it's on there. Now, if I put a bit of pressure on there now, right, you'll see, oh, this one's slipping. Yes. Now, as soon as that tool slips, you damage the work, mm -hmm. you damage the tool, and you, you damage the tool, and you damage yourself when it slips off. This one doesn't slip. Ten times your turning effort goes into locking on. You just pull on the handle as you turn, and it locks. Mm -hmm. You don't need a hammer to get that off. You just twist it. This one is now welded on there. You've got to fight that darn thing to get it off. Oh. And it's chewed up the work. Right? This is far superior. Now, we've got a fantastic promotional offer. All of these tools are lifetime guarantee. That little one, if you bought that individually, you could spend fourteen ninety five on that. Mm -hmm. That's what its individual price is. Yep. Now, this is a fantastic tool tool for when you're dying of thirst and someone's flogged the handle off the tap. It'll also take the top off the beer bottle. It's almost getting beer <laughs> o'clock time. Right? And then it's also brilliant for stud extraction. You might be pulling out studs on a motor mower or a chainsaw or something like that. They also make a fantastic drive for your torque bits, your allen keys, your screwdriver bits. It turns all of these little bits into ratcheting right angled screwdrivers. Really handy there. Mm -hmm. And that, that one's included in the deal. It's, Excellent. Uh, the next size up is on its own price is 16, uh, big pardon, is 19.95. Right? That one's in the deal as well. That is brilliant. Let's say you snap the head off a bolt. Right. right? Um, you've only got the tiniest little bit left to work with. Right. Um, so I'm just going to come in with that, that wrench. Right? Even if there's only a little bit left to work with, it could be a rounded off battery terminal. Anything really awkward, they're great on every different fitting you come across. The next size up is also included. This next size up, the 8 inch, on its own price is $29.95. But if you think about it, $31.95, you don't just get that one. You don't just, this is one of the best prices I've ever seen on this product, if not the best price. Mm -hmm. um, also, you get the next size up. It actually works out to over £100 individual prices that you're getting for thirty-one ninety-five. Wow. Fabulous value. Right, so on our lifetime guarantee, we're very pr proud of this. It's the only lifetime guarantee I've ever seen that says it. It says, do not extend the handle more than three times the handle length. This one here, if it had a lifetime guarantee on it, you, you'd look at it spending around £50. Mm -hmm. That's what they cost for lifetime guarantee ones of those. But if you put an extension on the handle and break it, you can negate the warranty. With ours, you are allowed to extend the handle. Right? When you've extended the handle, you don't need to touch the tool. So that's not only giving you all the extra leverage, it's giving you all the extra reach. It could be a tracking rod underneath a Land Rover, so whatever, and any of those other big vehicles. Yep. Easily done, and then just twist. I didn't even touch the tool. You don't need to touch the tool when you've extended the handle. Fantastic. Now, I'm about to hang myself now. 
Please don't, Frenchie. <laughs> what I'm going to show you, this is live television. I'm 16 stone of uncontrollable beefcake. <laughs> Above my head is a round solid steel bar, bar right? I'm going to put that on that round bar. There's no flats, it's round, without looking. Wow. Right? With every left-handed one, you get a right-handed one free today. <laughs> Instantly they lock. Are when they're ready? on there, they don't let go. Right? The more you put pressure on, the more it locks. I can't cheat doing that. Now, with putting that much pressure on the handle, you might expect it to be stuck on there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take that off with two fingers, just a little twist, and off wow. it comes. Right? Do that again on the other side, just a little twist, and off it comes. Right? Simple, easy, and effective. Now, if that wasn't impressive, mm -hmm. if I was to hang myself off just the 10 inch, oh. that would be impressive. But a big fat kiwi hanging just off the 8 inch, no you think something's going to go. But here we go. That's gone on that round bar without looking. Instantly it locks and it does not fail. Wow! Over 20 years, all over the world, hundreds of thousands of these wrenches have been sold. Mm -hmm. We're still going because it works. If we can have a close up now, I'm going to go and see if we can get close up on the knurlings of this tool, right? We're the, just coming in, just coming yeah. in, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I'm, what I want to show you, this is the wrench that I just hung, hung 16 stone off. There's not a mark on those knurlings. No. They're shallow depth case hardened. The tool has been plated before assembly so you don't get corrosive breakdown. Right? The spring has been tested to do three and a half million actions. That's only a thousand times a week for 67 years. Absolutely brilliant. And remember, you're not just getting one you're getting the full set of lifetime guarantee tools for that unbelievably brilliant price yep. of $31.95. And, you're getting, that, and you're getting that guarantee as well, which is just amazing. Yeah, lifetime guarantee is phenomenal. Wonderful. Now, um, while I'll we're here, I'm just going to show you the big one. Frenchie, because that's under a different item number, if I may. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's £31.95, as Frenchie said. £18 saving, uh, 020337 for those four. But... Well, you've got a big boy there, haven't you? We have. Now, this was obviously brought in because people like farmers, uh, machinery operators, uh, all those people, and uh, plumbers as well, do bigger fittings than 35 mil. 35 mil is about an inch and a quarter in old money, and that's what the 10 inch hawk's beak goes up to. Yeah. And we often had people say, do you do anything bigger? Well, this big one goes up to 60 millimeter, over two inch. And they're normally 40 to 50 pounds, depending on where you go. Mm -hmm. 15.95 for that tool here is a phenomenal price. That's a black tag event price, I tell you. Now, for those people who already have the set, get them this for Christmas. They'll love you for it, right? I'm just going to hook that open. Look at that. It's so easy to use. If you extended the handle by three times the handle length on that, you probably got about a four and a half foot, one and a half meter bar on there, and it's still guaranteed for life. Amazing. Unbelievable value, uh, fantastic tool. If you've got to put the heavy weight in, mm -hmm. that's the tool to do it with. Brilliant. Good to know. Thank you so much, Frenchie. So I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be such, again, another great present. I'm t totally like my dad would be like, this is I'm going to use this. I'm going to find things to use this for. Uh, so it's fifteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Two four eight zero zero eight. That is your eighteen-inch wrench. If you have got any questions to ask Frenchie, then please do um, send your questions to studio at hachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook with your questions. Now, we have got some, oh, we have, I just saw a picture in the monitor there. Um, we have got some um, fabulous wooden bowls and they're like pop-up ones. Very, very clever. I'd not seen these before. Uh, we've got different designs that we can show you and then Frenchie will talk around them. Uh, so we've got our squirrel our bunny uh, we've got our owl he's going to tell you loads of jokes in a minute um, we've got our cat there's our chicken next then we've got the elephant uh, the um, uh, dragon next up we've got the, pup, uh, the puppy and then we have got our lovely little piglet you have a £10 saving on these £9.95 Five six five seven three one, but they're just brilliant, aren't they? Look at these different designs. They're so cute. They're so cute, aren't they? And if you wanted to, you could personalise. Um, you could personalise these. You could draw on them, write on them. Um, yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about these French? Yeah, yeah. Um, what we've got is it's when it's flat, you can use that as a cutting board. 
You can use that as a pot stand. Yeah. You can use it as a placemat, anything like that. Obviously, it doesn't take up any room. So you can put that underneath an existing bowl at home so uh -huh. it's out of the way. Nice. But when you need an extra bowl, right, uh, you just turn the handle like so, swing okay. it round in the middle. Yeah. It's all made out of bamboo from a farm, not a forest, so it's sustainable. Oh, good. Swing round the base, and there's your bowl. When you're looking for a bowl, you can't get enough of them. When you're done with the bowl, there's nowhere to put them. Right? <laughs> These have been around for many years, in fact, over 60. Um, but the first ones I saw many moons ago were made of hardwood. Mm -hmm. um, in New Zealand, it was Rimu. Um, Rimu is now ridiculously expensive because oh, really? it's a slow-growing hardwood. Oh. Um, what they discovered, though, is if you cross-laminate bamboo, this is perfect because it's actually quite flexible. When you want to clean it, turn it upside down, drop it into soapy water, very easy to clean. You can use a scouring pad on the inner face if you need to to clean yep. it, right? And then back away you go again. Don't put it in the dishwasher. It won't oh, love you for that. Thank you. <laughs> and don't leave it soaking in water. Yep. But you could, if you use it as a planter, you could get soil marks on there, but so you can clean it. Mm -hmm. right, lovely piece. It looks stunning with the different colours on the sides mm. um, and under 10 pounds. Um, a hardwood one would probably be well over 30 pounds today. Right. What a gift idea because they come beautifully packaged, right? So they're easy to um, give out as a gift, easy to post, and it's unusual. How hard is it to find something different, quirky, useful? We all use bowls, we yep. all use cutting boards, and we all use placemats. This is one that's really quirky and does it all. Now, just running through the different choices, yes, this one has the most appeal. That would be the apple. <laughs> right? And then the next one is the pussycat. He's perfect. Right? He's very good friends with the owl. There's the owl. Owl and the pussycat. Right? Um, the owl's a real hoot. You've got to be careful with putting those two together, though, because they might rend, run off and end up in the land where the piggy wig stood. Oh. There he is there. Right? And then we also have hot, hot stuff. The Welsh Dragon, look at that. Mm, I like Make, it. Makes a lovely banana boat. See, there's lots of different things you can use it for. You can use it for anything. I've got one set up here with a, a little bit of Christmas decorations and a plant in there as well. As I say, I've also put them... Um, a herb, a herb garden in there. Yep. You can get three or four herb gardens in the apple, for example, uh, and, and then you can pluck the herbs and have them growing on the windowsill. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The elephant is a great place to put your phone or your keys because uh, he never forgets. Right? And then the uh, chicken. Now you can get up to a dozen half eggs in the chicken, mm -hmm. so now you can put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the puppy dog there. Uh -huh. And then finally we've got the uh, squirrel. Cyril the squirrel, a great place to put the nuts. Now that same bowl, just to give you an idea, they all do the same thing. Yeah. That one folds flat. I've got one behind me. Oh, good stuff. Right, so there's, there's the squirrel flat, uh -huh. and it works exactly the same way. Just swing the middle around, push down in the middle, oh, you swing around in the base, yep. and there's your bowl. Just like that. We are getting very, very busy once more. Uh, so my question is, you probably think, where, where am I going to pop mine? Is it going to be in the kitchen and you're going to have your eggs in the basket? Is it going to be in the kids' rooms, you know, to keep in all the little toys and things? Like, you know, the little the little ones that are um, uh, building bricks, if you know what I mean. Um, as I said, you could personalise them. I mean, what about, because um, I know we're, we're sort of going, thinking mainly down the food route, but also what about a lovely hamper? Um, with some, you know, some shampoos um, and conditioners and get a bit of cellophane and wrap that up. Wouldn't that be nice? Or what about filling them with gift, with bath chocolates? Bombs. So they think bath bombs? Yeah. Nice idea. That would be really good. Oh, go on, Charlotte's got an idea with the dog one. Dog treats. Of course, keep the doggy biscuits in there. Exactly. Like that idea. It's only nine ninety nine, and you've got that ten pound saving. Item number is five six five seven three one. Now we do have cues on the phone lines. You've, I know because we've got so many gift ideas, haven't we? Um, so we do have cues on the phone lines. The fastest way to order is online at tachanda.com. My personal favourite, I think, I really like the dragon. But then again, you know me, I like things that are like fantasy and all of that sort of thing. Right then. Oh, the owl. Frenchie, he's flown off. Well, they're gone. Yeah. <sighs> Sold out. Where is he? Where is he? Where he's is off he? at the lead where the piggy wig stood. He is. Sorry. There you go. See, this is how busy we are um, today. So I'll pop him under there. 
Again, just to stress, we are selling out of items rapidly. Please do check out your baskets. Um, we have got a fabulous pick and mix on our polo ponchos. This is incredible because you're getting three for the price of two. Just to show you the colour options, and I'll, then I'll hand over to Frenchie. Okay, now the plum is limited, This, so please check out if you like that colour. That's the colour that I have got, um, and I love it. It's a very classy um, colour. Oh, Charlotte said, people are copying me. Good taste, thank you very much. Um, so very stylish. Uh, okay, right, without further ado then, um, Frenchie, for anybody who's maybe new to the channel, hasn't seen Paula Poncha, can you tell us the background and what we do? Okay, it's a New Zealand idea. It was invented by a motorcyclist, um, brilliant around helmets. Um, he went skiing one day, so he took it along and discovered he could make loads of different hats with it. Um, and over the years, that was over 20 years ago, they've just become super popular anywhere where it's really cold. They are the, a New Zealand idea, but these ones are made in the United Kingdom, which is fantastic. If you can buy, buy made in the UK, especially after everything that's going on, please do so. Now, all you do with it, it's made of thermal fleece. It's very warm and soft. I'm, I'm demonstrating with the chocolate one now, this time. It's very popular with woodsy people, that sort of thing, farmers. Roll it down twice, put it on over the top of the head, as you would a jumper. Mm -hmm. Now, the chest is nice and warm, the back's nice and warm, but your arms are free, so it's great for throwing a fishing rod. Uh, I play a lot of golf, so it's great for the golf. That was a pretty good swing, wasn't it? Very good. Uh, and if you get cold here, think about it, when you're cold, you start doing this. And that's because you're getting extra cold around here. It's an extra layer where you need it. Now, if you get cold, you feel it on the ears. It feels like they're going to crystallise and drop off. Bring it up one roll to the chin, over the back of the head, and there's the ears warm and toasty. Fabulous for walking the dog, because if your ears are really cold and you're running along with dog leads, you can't hold your scarf up. That's not going to fall down and have cold spots. If it gets colder, you go over the nose. The breathing now warms the chest area. And what do you have to do when you go into a shop? You've got to put a mask on. Well, there you go. There's your cover up to go into a shop. Yep. Brilliant. Now, if I put my helmet on now, this is fabulous, because if you have a fitted riding hat, you don't want to put a scarf underneath it. Right, so now you can put the fitted riding hat on, do up the strap, your nose, the chin, the ears are lovely and warm while out riding on a cold day. If you don't have a fitted riding hat, there's room inside, go up again, and now you have the full balaclava. Mm -hmm. Don't go into a bank like that. Now this is fabulous anywhere where you wear a hat still, and you can open the face if you wish. It's actually six ways of wearing it from scarf through to full balaclava. When you're wearing a jumper, Underneath the coat, mm -hmm. got to take the coat off, take the jumper off, find somewhere to put the um, jumper. With this, you just slip that off while wearing the coat, roll it up, that'll go into a coat pocket, small bag, rather than carrying around a bulky jumper. Now the same thing makes over 20 different hats. I'm going to do a zany hat this time. This one's called the helicopter. Mm -hmm. So I've got the two rolls down there, for, as you would for the scarf, turned it upside down, and I'm just going to tie that in a knot, just like that. And there you've got the helicopter. Now that is very cool because you've got four layers of fleece over your ears again, and that is very cool. <laughs> Made in the UK, lots of fun. Now if I bring a more sensible hat into the picture on my model here, think about this. If you went onto the high street and bought a Made in the UK thermal fleece hat like that, you'd be spending around £15. What you've got to consider is with this deal today, it's the best price we've ever done in over 20 years. You're not getting one for 1997. You're not getting two for 19. You're getting three. That works out to £6.65 each. What a bargain. That's why we're selling out of colours. That's why we've got limited stock on colours, because uh -huh. it's an incredible price. What a fabulous Crimbo gift idea. Fab, and I think we've got some more pictures, actually. Is this right? Oh, it's a video, is it? OK, let's take a little look of uh, some of the different styles.
styles and I bet when you get yours you'll have a play and I'm sure you'll probably find more now let's run through the color 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 options because we have had another sellout first off though we're going to start with the black and you know what they say black goes with absolutely everything so if you're buying this for a gift then black's probably a good one to go for because it's nice neutral uh, then we've got our fabulous navy which I always think is very classy now because it's Christmas time what about a nice bright red I think that would look lovely um, and then we've also got our fabulous purple it's like a nice royal purple now this has sold out you've all got very good taste let me try and color uh, cover the gap up uh, so the plum that one has also sold out extremely busy show what about a bit of camouflage I quite like this because it's bright normally you see your camouflage is in sort of um, beiges and browns but I do like that in the greens looks really good uh, we've got our, what I'm going to call our tiger print here this was a nice one this one's if a bit funky and stylish get moving on we've got our wonderful I kind of call that racing green then we've got our brown lovely chocolate color and then we move on to a nice bright pink should you wish to go for that we've got our baby pink we've got our baby blue and we have got our fabulous white now with each one when you get them at home you're going to get a little instruction sheet just helping you out with some different ways that you can wear it also like I said incredible incredible value three for the price of two I thoroughly recommend it a personal testament I wear it every winter I love them um, and as, as we've seen earlier on on the website we've got some amazing reviews 19 pounds and 97 pence nine two four six nine three now we're going to come on to our uh, wrenches these are not just any wrench are they Frenchie no they're the hawk's beak wrench from New Zealand absolutely brilliant the thing about this is there's no winding of screws there's no squeezing of handles all you do it's sprung loaded so you just hook that top drawer open yep. slip it over and away you go as fast as a socket ratchet on anything you turn. Now you may, may notice there that on the top jaw it's on the flat and on the bottom jaw it's inside the corner. So you're not working on the corners with this tool so you don't round the nut off. Any six sided nut, so it's metric, it's imperial, it's AF, it's Whitworth, it's American Standard Fine, all the different sorts, right? Uh, and it just drops on and turns out easily, right? The next job you might have to turn it could be an old square nut. It could be a bit of box section that you need to put a brace on. Right? With this, you can drop that onto the flats of the square. Again, it's on the flats up the top. It's inside the corner at the bottom. So you're not working on the corners. You don't round them off. The next job might be an old eight-sided nut. Drop straight on and turns there too. Absolutely anything. If it's really soft, just use a bit of protection. Bit of leather, bit of cloth, bit of tape. Drop straight on and turns there as well. Now, if it's rounded off, Fantastic, it'll drop straight on and turn there too. Um, if you consider though, if you look at the old types, this, this is a very old tool, been around a long time, called a shifter, because it mm -hmm. shifts the bark off your knuckles. That's what they say Ooh. in Australia anyway. In New Zealand, it's called a sailing wrench, because it wears out there, and then when you put it on the work, it rounds off the nut, slips off, and you smack yeah. yourself in the knuckles. Oh, it hurts, right? Um, but if you got one of these with a lifetime guarantee like the Hawk's Beak, you could spend 50 pounds on one tool. The next one I'm going to show you is the pipe wrench. Uh, two hands to adjust them again. If you get a pipe up against the wall, the handle's in the way. So now you either got to get a revolving house, expensive, or you kick a hole in the wall. With the hawk's beak, notice I'm using it with one hand, right? So often with tools, you lose a hand because you're holding two bits together, as I'm doing here. Right? With this, when you've only got one hand, it's doing jobs that no other tool will do. Absolutely brilliant for the awkward stuff. The next one to compare it to is the slip joint pliers. They're called that, of course, because when you squeeze the handle, they slip. There's so many different tools out there like this. When you squeeze the handle, they can slip, you whack your knuckles. Uh. If you don't squeeze hard enough, you're chewing up the work. This is just one handle. So you can use the full length of the handle for reach. You just hook it open and away you go. Simple, easy and effective. Now, the last one to compare it to is the mole grips or the vice grips. Absolutely brilliant they are. You've got to wind that screw and squeeze the handle. Rewind the screw, squeeze the handle again. When you squeeze the handle, it can trap on your hand. By Cory, that hurts. With this one, you don't even need to see what you're doing. You just hook it open, pull back, it's on there. Now, with the hawk speak, the more you turn, the more it locks on. With this other tool, if you haven't adjusted it perfectly, it's going to slip. And when a tool slips, like that one's just slipped there, you damage the work, the tool, and yourself. And when it's 
finished, it's hard to get off because it can weld itself on there. This is on a spring, so you just give it a twist. Simple, easy, and effective. Now, just to give you an idea, I did say the saving was incredible. Have a quick look at this. If you were to buy a Hawk's Beak individually, you could spend $14.95 on the little one, $19.95 on the 6-inch, $29.95 on the 8-inch, and $39.95 on the 10-inch. If you add that all up, £104.80. This is where we show off the product, get people to understand why it's a great tool, and we give you a fantastic deal. If you go to an exhibition, you might have seen it there, two for 40, two for 30, or you can get the set for 50. Look at that price. All four lifetime guarantee tools for £31.50, a fantastic deal. Now, the little one, brilliant for when the handle's missing on the tap, Stud extraction, fantastic for pulling out the studs. I'm going a bit quick for the uh, cameras here, but there you go, brilliant little tool. The next size up, also in with the deal, brilliant if you snap the head off a bolt. I'll let them catch up with this. Think about it, if you snap the head off a bolt, most people will take a look at a job like that and go, too hard, I'll pay someone. Just to get a professional to come and have a look at the mm. job will cost you more than this set of wrenches. One awkward job you do yourself rather than pay someone else to do it, and that has paid for the set. Right? So the next size up, we're very proud of the lifetime warranty. If ever it fails, we replace it within 72 hours, as most often. Um, it says on here, do not extend the handle more than three times the handle length. So think about this. It's a lifetime guarantee adjustable where you are allowed to extend the handle. This one, with a lifetime guarantee, could cost you 50 pounds. Right? 50 pounds is a lot of money, but uh, if you extend the handle, you can negate the warranty. Right? This one, when you've extended the handle, it's the only adjustable I've seen that you can still reach and get the job done. Yep. Last thing to show you now is I'm gonna hang myself off the tool. <laughs> We're coming over to you. We're coming over. I tell you what, yep. I've been doing this since 1993. I've done more pull-ups than any other man alive. With every <laughs> left-handed one, you get a right-handed one free. <laughs> With every metric one, you get an imperial one free. Instantly it locks when it's on there. It does not let go. Don't ask me to do more than one at a time, okay? Now, if I was to hang 16 stone of kiwi flab off the 10-inch, that would be impressive. But a big fat kiwi hanging just off the 8 inch, look at this, right? it's going up there without even looking. That is a round bar, there's no flats for it to hang on to, right? and when it's on there, yeah. it does not fail! Wow, friendly. That is why we've sold so many. That is why we get cues on the phone with this product. Fantastic, you're getting the whole set. All four, by the way, will fit under the seat of the motorbike in a glove box. That's how they're boxed, oh, easy great. to post, right? Yeah. Um, and you get all four in a, a easy area, a smaller area. Yep. And our brilliant price, and they're all guaranteed, backed up with that lifetime guarantee. Amazing, and easy to wrap as well. £31.95, as Frenchie has said, 020337. Now, we do have an 18-inch one. That's under a different item number. What would we use this for, Frenchie? Okay, so th this is for the, <coughs> for the plumber, the farmer, the big machinery operator. Um, to give you an idea, this one will do all your inside plumbing. It goes up to um, 35 mil, so that'll do your 22 mil compression fitting. Uh -huh. The next size compression fitting in your plumbing game after that is a 28 mil, and that's where you'll need to jump up to this one. But this one goes up to 60 millimeters, over two inch. So irrigation fittings, I tell you what, anyone who's got the small set and they're using it, there'll come a time when they wish they had the one bigger. And at this price, don't think about it, just do it. Mm -hmm. That's an unbelievable bargain price, that. Lovely. Does this also get a guarantee, this one? That's got yep. the same lifetime guarantee. Amazing. In fact, if you think about it, I said three times the length of the handle on that one is guaranteed for life. Three times the handle length on this one, it's like a metre and a half. It's wow. like four and a half feet. So that's still guaranteed for life with that much extension on the handle. It's so strong, so brilliantly made. And again, so easy. You just hook it open and away you go. Right? Full length of the handle for each. Brilliant. Excellent. Thank you, Frenchie. Um, as he said, only £15.95 pence for the 18-inch Hawks Beak Wrench. It's 248006. Listen, we're all looking... I don't know about you, but I like to obviously get um, Christmas presents that are extremely useful as well as, you know, pretty to look at. I mean, with these wrenches, I know my dad would be so joyous to get them. And especially, you know, like um, Frenchie has said about, you know, the other um, uh, uh, 
um, wrenches that you can get. They're just not as effective. Um, so please do check out your baskets on these. If you've got any questions at all, send your questions to studio at tachanda.com or pop them onto Facebook. Um, now, we're coming back to these bowls. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about them? I can, but do I hear yes. that we're in trouble with one? I think we are. Is that one gone? Yeah, the owl has gone. Yes, that's right. Yes, I, I do believe he's flown off to the land where the piggy wig stood. He has. Right. He can fly over to me and I'll eat one of the mince pies in <laughs> there. You can't <laughs> have a mince pie. They're my tribe home <laughs> <laughs> food. Okay. Well, the wooden pop-ups are brilliant. Right? Okay. So when they're flat, you can use that as a cutting board. You can use that as a pot stand, a placemat, anything mm -hmm. like that. Right? It'll, take, it'll withstand a fair amount of heat. Um, when you want to use it as a bowl, all you do is turn it 90 degrees, push down to the little pin, swing it round at the base, and there's your bowl. Wow. When you're looking for a bowl, you can't get enough of them. When you're done with the bowl, there's nowhere to put them. Right? And then it's very easy to store. They used to be made all over the world out of hardwoods. In New Zealand, I saw them made out of a hardwood called Rimu. Very expensive because it's a slow-growing hardwood. Um, you could spend well over 30 pounds on one made out of a hardwood. Mm -hmm. But these are made of cross-laminated bamboo, and they're from a farm, not a forest, so they are sustainable. Turn it over, drop that into soapy water. Because it's so flexible, you couldn't do this with a brittle um, hardwood because it would snap, but this okay. is very, very well made. See that? Very right. Durable. So drop that into soapy water, very easy to clean. Now, under 10 pounds, what a fabulous gift idea mm -hmm. for the person who's got everything. Right? We've all got them in the family, haven't we? Yes. Right, so the one with the most appeal would be the apple. Mm -hmm. right? And then the next one, it's going to stuff my jokes up, this running out of that other one, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it This is. one this morning um, in the 7 o'clock hour was one of the busiest uh, ones. That's the bunny. Yeah. It's not a rabbit, it's a bunny, because I like to put buns in the bunny. Right? And then this one's perfect, right? Mm -hmm. um, he was going to run off to um, sea with his other mate we sold out of, the owl, um, and end up in the land where the piggy wig stood. There he is. There. Very popular um, for... Pork scratchings. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> Here's um, the dragon, mm -hmm. right? And very, st very nice um, uh, facial features on the dragon. He's my I like favorite. the dragon. He's mm -hmm. lovely. That when when we take the bowl to a show in Wales, yeah. we don't come back with dragons. They love the dragon there. <laughs> so he's he's fantastic. And then we have the elephant there. Yeah. He's got a deep bowl on him, so he can actually hold quite a lot. Mm. Um, and then his trunk is pointing up, so he's nice and happy. Um, good place to put your phone and your keys because the elephant never forgets. And then we have the chicken, right? Um, you can get up to a dozen half eggs. You, you can actually get over a thousand eggs in there. Have to, have to be either frog spawn or fish eggs. Um, <laughs> if they're chicken <laughs> eggs, about say. a dozen and a half, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so cracking. Right. Uh, and now you can put all your eggs in one basket. Right. Then we've got the puppy dog there. Right. Uh, I know my jokes are a little bit rough. He's very cool. Right. And then we're finishing off with Cyril the squirrel. Very, very popular at Christmas because he looks stunning with the Christmas nuts. And I like your idea as well about using them as to, to, to plant your herbs in. I think that's Yeah, fabulous. they make a fantastic herb garden. I've done that several times. Yep. I like a bit of mint with the lamb. So I've got, and, and the smell of mint when you chop it up too. Yep. Yep. Yeah, fresh mint's lovely. Um, and then bay, bay leaves or anything, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Um, it, it, that's, the apple's got the biggest bowl, so that one is actually the most popular one. Oh, right? is it? Yeah. Very nice to know. Okie dokie. Um, again, have a little look behind me. See which one you would like. Um, and I'm thinking, uh, like we just said, like a little herb garden, or it could be for um, popping in. I like the keys thing, actually. You know, when you come through the front door and you just pop the bits and bobs that you, you need. Um, here we are having another look at all of these different designs made out of bamboo, which I think is fab. Um, Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. I'm going to ask Charlotte. Charlotte, what would you? Which one would you go for? And which one? What would you pop in it? She's deciding. Ah, she'd get one for her dad, the elephant, because he's got because <laughs> he's got big ears. Charlotte said that, not me. Um, Joe, Joe, who's our director, what would you going to get? Lovely. The chicken, uh, would you do the obvious thing and put eggs in? Obviously, yeah. 
going to pop the eggs in. Um, but brilliant gifts again. They'll come flat packed to you in a very, very wrappable box. Uh, it's just so useful, isn't it? £9.95, a £10 saving. Um, item number is 565731. Just having a last look at the rest of the designs. Lovely. Um, now, we have five minutes remaining to talk about the polo poncho. The polo poncho has gone mad today um, because it's cold outside, it's just before Christmas, and this is the best price we've, after over 20 years on Shopping Channel TV, three for 19.97 is the best price we've ever done. So that's why it's gone mad today. Um, it's a New Zealand idea. It's made of thermal fleece, which is really soft and warm, and they wash and wear, wash and wear. They're, um, they're almost dry out of the spin cycle, so you don't need to put them in the dryer. Right? All you do is roll it down once, twice from the top, put it on over the head as you would a jumper. Now that way the chest is nice and warm, the back's nice and warm, Many times I, I've looked at this and gone, I can't, have, I can't say I've ever seen a better scarf ah, because there's lovely. no cold spots, it's nice and warm. Um, the next place you feel the cold is on the ears, mm -hmm. right? To bring it up to the chin, over the back of the head, and there's the ears warm and toasty. Yeah. Let's say you're out walking the dog, right? And you're walking along with a standard scarf and you're forever pushing it up, but you can't do that when your hands full of dog lead, right? So with this, you can be having all the warmth, you could be horse riding, anything like that, and it won't fall down. If it gets colder, I tell you what, it's brilliant to do this. Go over the nose, now the breathing warms the chest. If you're walking along and you breathe in from the nose, out through the mouth, and breathe downwards, I tell you what, it gets all that neck and face area nice and warm. If you're riding, Horse riding, they're brilliant because you can put the fitted riding hat on now. Absolutely fabulous. There is no better scarf in the world for horse riding, in my opinion. Up again, you've got the full balaclava. Do not go into a bank like that. Right. <laughs> Hood of the coat can go on over the top of that. Hats or helmets, they're brilliant. Right. Now, if I bring that down, you can open the face from here so you don't have to have the mouth covered. Right. And that way, if you wear glasses, you can have a balaclava with, without um, fogging up the glasses. Bring it down. Slip it off. You can take this off without taking the coat off. You can roll that up. That'll go into a coat pocket, small bag, without carrying around a bulky jumper. The same thing makes over 20 different styles of hats. I'm just going to quickly do my favourite hat. Which I one's tail that? through the hole. Have we got enough time for me to do a quick hat? Yep. All right, have. over the top of the head. Pull it tight at the back. And that one's called the chic. That's <laughs> C-H-I-C, chic. Now, that looks wild on a windy day, right? Indeed. Now, you do get a full list of instructions. And if you look in that corner there, I don't know whether you can see on the camera, that's the Union Jack. Oh. They're made in the United Kingdom. Yep. They're invented in New Zealand. They still make them in New Zealand for the Southern Hemisphere, but for the Northern Hemisphere, they're made right here in the UK. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Mr. French. We've got just enough time then to get to go through the colour options that are left. Remember, we've had sellouts here. We are extremely busy. Queues on the phone lines. Please do check out on the website if you can. Right then, so we have the black, uh, which is a great neutral if you're thinking of buying for a gift because, it, you know, as we often say, it goes with everything, don't you think? It's the most popular colour. Is it? The black, <coughs> yeah. OK. Um, then we've also got the navy. That one's really nice and stylish. It's very, very classy indeed. Then we have got the red. Lovely. Nice and bright. You might want to get this to wear, especially in December, we're all feeling nice and Christmassy. Uh, then we've also got the purple. It's a lovely royal purple. Um, moving on, we've got the camouflage. There it is, with that nice green. <laughs> I'm rushing too much for poor Joe. Then we have got the, um, I'm going to call it like a tiger print. A racing green. There's your brown. Let's pop that that side. You've got a nice bright pink here. Uh, you have got the lovely baby pink, baby blue, and also the white. As Frenchy said, it will come to you with um, your instructions just to give you some ideas of how you might want to wear yours. But they really do. I cannot express enough because I have one, uh, one of the ones that sold out actually. It keeps me so warm because I have to walk here in the morning and at the moment it's freezing and I literally, I've got it, I wear it over my head. So not literally over my head, you know what I'm saying. Now, um, through um, basically you're getting three for the price of two. It's just 90 19 pounds and 97 pence a great gift 924693 is your item number Okie dokie thank you Mr French No worries It's been a really busy busy hour Are you in tomorrow as well 
Uh, yes, yeah, 7 o'clock tomorrow. Oh. Okay, yeah. I did not realise. Lovely stuff, so we'll see you bright and early. Please check out your baskets. As I said, uh, fastest way to order is online at hachanda.com. Do you know what? I might even go and put mine on right now uh, because it is so snuggly and warm. Uh, Nikki is back with our Heartfelt Creations. It is a black tag event on the one day special. Then we're back with Clarity. And after that, we've got another Cricket Hour. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time I want Craftoscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops, and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hochanda. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection. And this was down to Josie, using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hachanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range.
On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. Hello there and welcome. Well, of course, it's midday, so it's a fabulous time for us to have a look at our one-day special. But, oops, it's sold out. But don't worry, we have got some very similar items. We've got a wild stock slash that I will tell you about in just a few moments. You'll still be getting those gorgeous dyes, those beautiful stamps, and, of course, loads and loads of inspiration, as you can see there, from the design team. A wonderful deal, but as it says on your screen, it is for while stocks last. So your key thing is getting nice and early. So we've got your flexi buy on this one, as you can see there, so you can spread the cost over two pounds, and you will get hold of all of those fabulous goodies so as you can get crafty. Now, of course, Heartfelt Creations being here, of course, we know lovely Nikki is going to be here too. How are you doing, Nikki? Hello. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it's a bit of a stir with you. It's one of those special selling items. Oh, oh, stocks last. I know, but do you know the great thing? Mm -hmm. You can still create absolutely stunning, elegant, gorgeous cards very, using the dies. Very true. Now, talking about the dies, I love this. We've got that kind of archway look with these. Yes, ones. so they look beautiful. All of them have that featured in them. Okay. And what's really nice about them as well is, Hayley, they all kind of mix and match together. Oh. Okay, right. So it isn't actually until you get them all out and start die cutting them, and that's what I would suggest everyone does at home. Get some white cardstock and just start die cutting it because you realise that will work with that one. I can do this. And it's honestly, you can spend hours just playing with the different combinations of how those, how those dies work. Well, this is it. I've actually got the dies here, and they are big size dies. I didn't realise they are. Quite so as they big are as intended for like five by seven cards. Okay, wonderful. And you can see with these, you've kind of got your innies and outs. It's a little bit tricky to see on some of these, but you will have outside frames, which I'm guessing you could use to cut your card bases yeah. if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, fall away sections in the middle there. So if you want, you can have your sentiment thinking of you um, it being this, the one within this particular one. But then, of course, you've got all those other archways, and again, lots of different details: innies, outies, combinations that you can be able to take significant parts of those away and create a whole host of different combinations, which is something that. I love, I love the versatility that we've got with this. Now, talking about versatility, it doesn't just stop with your dies, because, of course, you are going to get your stamps as well. And these, again, I love the size of these stamps. They're huge, aren't they? So you've Not got so. two really nice floral-like sentiment stamps. However, you can use them on the front of your card, on the inside of your card. You can use them as a tag, create a tag for the inside of your card. So many different ways of using those. Also, you can cut them up and just use certain words out of them. Good point. And then you've also got the, and I can never remember what this says this okay. morning. It was like, I've stamped this so many times. And the, 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 the smaller, there. yeah. Oh, no, it's, it, it's, there is plenty of cards there that I've stamped it on. It's There it is, friend. that one there, look. Is it the You're Amazing that's one? That's the one. Okay, you're so an amazing you're, friend. You're an amazing friend. That's, oh, that's nice. And that's isn't lovely. It? Isn't that lovely? And again here, you can see where the card base has been created using the die. And then, of course, the sentiment being used there. And I love this. You've kind of got those overlays that because you've got the in and the outy, they just match beautifully with the outside. Um, of course, you could be making your own cards um, with a different kind of archway feature within these and like you say the inside and the outside and there is one of those beautiful stamps there yeah Gorgeous. you can create um, little pockets in there use your tags and the nice thing about when you've got dies like this that all coordinate together and with so many diff different combinations you can the, the, it's endless on what you can actually do with it and what you can actually create with it beautiful use your Floral um, cardstock, use your plain, like on this one, just white and silver. And it's amazing to think that you can just have literally basic cardstock within your, your stash yes. and make something so absolutely incredible so here. beautiful. Look at this with the mirror card. Overlaid again. What a beautiful design. And, of course, many of us will have those uh, dies that will allow us to create the beautiful flowers. In fact, we have got a beautiful array of flower dies and stamps on the show for you today, so you might want to check those out. I've just realised we've got a Freedom Members discounted price on this one. My goodness. 
This is a good price. Now, everybody's going to save at least £39 with this one, but Freedom members, you are going to save that little bit more because it's kind of what we do. And, of course, it's a black tag event, so we've got more savings to be had on the website as well. Now, 433864 is the all-important item number. Freedom members, you can see they're £33.73. And and I mean, the saving that you've got from this is phenomenal because have a look at one of these dies. One of these dies would normally set you back £24.99. You can see at the bottom of the screen there it's mentioning there. But if you are going for your Flexi buy and you're a Freedom member, you can see for less than a ton or more, you are going to get not just another set of dies, another three set of dies and the stamps as well. So it does make sense. And you've only got two Flexi buys on this one. Now, I know it is a considered purchase and because you have got those Flexi buys, you've got more than one payment. But doesn't it make sense to go for the complete set with the four dies sets because it's not one single die? And then, of course, the stamps to work alongside. Now, nearly 30% of our wild stocks uh, last stock has gone. Obviously, we would normally be showing you the one-day special, but sadly, we can't. That one has gone. But this is an amazing deal, and this is something that we're bringing to you, especially kind of to say sorry for the fact that the one-day special didn't last. 433-864 if you're wanting to get hold of that. We are very, very busy, and lots of you are jumping ahead and having a little look. You're in the mood for a bargain, I can tell. Well, have a look at these. I can understand why, because these are beautiful. And this is something that we think of instantly, isn't it, Nikki, with heartfelt creations? Three-dimensional flowers and the beautiful classic stars of the stamps yeah um you know i don't th I, th I think to be honest there's not many heartfelt um cards that you see without a flower That's on there true, at actually, least yeah. a flower <laughs> but one thing what i really love about what heartfelt have done is they've given us the dies and the stamps that coordinate together with this is so it. then you can create absolutely stunning dimensional flowers like you can see on there using Beautiful. those decorative dies that we've just seen. And this is sometimes you have to kind of do a double take because I was just looking at the flowers there and I think, yeah, mm. that's a classic rose. And I'm looking at this thinking, we well, don't know if How? that looks very rose-like, <laughs> um, to be honest. But, of course, it doesn't have to be a rose. You're going to be able to manipulate these pe um, petals so it does certainly look like a rose. And certainly loads of layers within there. Lots of layers on there. As I say, it says that you're getting, is it four stamps in there? But when you actually look at what you're getting, you're getting six individual petals oh, actually, on well, the bottom one, three two on the, on the middle one. You just say three on the screen. I was just thinking to myself. Yeah, you're, you're actually getting five. And yeah. then you've got your one with the three petals. And then you've got your leaves there as well. Yeah. So you are getting a lot more. Um, again, a brilliant value. You've got a £3 saving with this one. And again, you've got the stamps there. We have got the die coming up in a few moments. And they're kind of being separated up. We're not presuming that you're wanting two to, the both of them together. But, of course, if you do want to cut out those elements. Um, and we have, have also got the um, flower shaping mould as well, which I'll tell you about. So don't go checking out your basket just yet because we will give you the ability to get hold of the die that will allow you to cut out those stamps. But just to let you know, with regards to the stamps, nearly 60% of the stock has gone it's a classic style we love to see roses don't they? they're gorgeous i mean they're the flower of love but they're flower of any occasion to be honest details on your screen there if you fancy those four three five nine five zero now the next one that we've got is the die that I was just talking about and again each one of those dies lines up beautifully with the stamped it image does, that you're yeah. creating <clears throat> so you always stamp your image first then you use that die to die cut out your image and that goes for any of heartfelt stamps and dies and the thing with the die is it saves any fussy cutting it's yes. easy and it's quick and it does fit absolutely perfectly with those stamps I love it. There you go. And you can see, again, you've got £4 saving with this. So if you go for the two together, the combination is, was it a £3 saving on that one and a four on this one? So we're looking at about £7 saving overall, which I think is brilliant value for money. At the full price, 19 99 that is worth going for anyway. Um, but um, teaming it up with the stamps and then getting the two together, I think, makes perfect sense. Not mentioned extended delivery. Apologies for that. Heartfelt being an overseas company. Um, I forgot to mention, it's just eight days. And to be honest, that has come down a lot at one point it used to be two weeks but of course the thing is you're not going to have to worry about any import duty any additional taxes the price you see on the screen is the price that you're paying and if you're a freedom member then you're not even paying that post and packing either so there you go if you want yours 955 356 definitely a fabulous combination but as i say we've kind of got more components that will work with those lovely roses and this is the mold now with the mold this is something that kind of gives you a bit of a head start with the actual realism of these flowers um, and it is a mould that you do need a, a, a die cutting machine to work with this yes, one, you don't do. you? Yes, you do. And you need a die cutting machine that's got the wider mouth. So if your machine 
has what I call a, a thick plate with it, you know it will work with your mould. But if you're not sure, then you can go onto Heartfelt website and there is a full list of dye machines with all the um, different plates that you need with those die cutting machines on their website. I love it. Thank you for that, Nikki. And it's brilliant because it does give you a little bit of a head start with these it and allows does, you to definitely. start shaping multiple petals at the same time. So if you want to put a lot of flowers on a card, then it's going to save you time. It saves you time. It's easy and it's quick. And it's one of the best things that Heartfelt have ever created, in my opinion. <laughs> I love it. So your flower shaping mould, £17.49. and pence. You can see you've got your recesses there for all of those gorgeous roses. Just look at those. If you imagine all of those being filled with your paper or your card and then maybe a couple of extras because dependent on the way to the cardstock you're working with you can actually put through two maybe three layers at a time with these so you can see how it's really going to save you time with regards to this one and I'm sure we'll see that one in action um, nearly 70 nearly 70% of the stock. Well, you're taking advantage of those black tag savings, aren't you? It makes sense. So with this one, if you fancy getting hold of it, you are saving £20. Bring that price down to £17.49. So again, those three last items, they're a must-have. If you're going for one of those items, I would seriously consider going for the other two because it makes that finished result look just that little bit better. Um, details on your screen for your flower shaping mould. Now, something to share with you. is something that is always popular. Every show, we get lots of you ordering your heart creations storage binder and this is perfect because you've got plenty of room in there to house a particular range a particular collection and it could be the stamps that you put in there it could be the dies that you're putting in there it's entirely up to you you've got a nice indexing system on the spine of it as well so if it's going to be sitting on your craft shelf you can instantly see what the contents are so and um, the three seven four four one eight another thing we see Nikki regularly using those fabulous daubers and these are so clever little tiny triangles which mean you can really get into the nitty-gritty and you're getting 12 of this for these for a fabulous price of £13.99. They are a wonderful bundle to get hold of and always something that you'll use, not just with your heartfelt creation stamps, but with everything else in your crafty room as well. So 069154 if you are wanting those. Pop those into your basket alongside anything else, especially if you're going for the wild stocks last. Because you've got your flexi buy on this one, you can spread the cost of any of those additional items. So not only are you taking advantage of the saving, you're only having to pay half of that payment today as well so again something else worth thinking about so nikki what are we up to in this right. hour so we're going to use the scallop flourish gateway die set i might even add another one of the die sets in as well as we go along in this one there is 11 dies my goodness that is a lot of dies isn't it so well, you've got get over the whole set then gosh that's just one right We'll have 11, to do, we'll have 14, to take the shoes and 20, socks off to count that 24. one. 24. 24 over all right? of them. My goodness, that's a lot of dyes. I think so. Is that right? 24 yeah. dyes in wow. total. And as I say, they all work together. So you can mix and match each set. So there you've got your outer edge, which I am going to use. I'm also going to use my scalloped edge. Beautiful. There. And then... Oh, I like this wavy got, one this way well then you've got the smaller oh, inner right. okay yeah and then you've got your wavy one That's which you can one. cut on its By own itself, yeah you can cut it with this decorative one inside or you can cut the decorative one within your paper stock so uh, probably the best way of me showing you what to do See, is I just love take that, those dies out of the way. That you just shown there with the smooth edge. I think that's a brilliant one to go around jars or bottles and things Was like that as this well. This one? No, they're the smooth edge one that you just popped over by the arched ones. Over to the left. Oh. That one there. That no, one. You just put down. It's almost like a bottle yes, label, that it one. Yes, it is. It's that one, look. Yeah. Yeah, you could use that quite a easy. Vase. Just, yeah. Oh, a I'm vase. seeing a vase. Oh, well, yeah. So with that one... And when you die cut it out, what I found was, if I was using a, sort of like a half decent cardstock, okay. like a Heartfelt Creations one, lovely, which I'm going to just grab a piece so I can just show you what you get when you die cut them all out together. 
And of course, heartfelt creation, we've got the brand section. We've not got any paper pads to share with you on this hour, but if you jump onto the website and look at the brand section, there's a whole host there. Uh, you'll find all sorts of fabulous goodies from Heartfelt on there. And it's actually really nice that we haven't got a paper pad. Yeah. Because it's meant that I've been able to go through all of my craft paper and I've got weddings, so I've done wedding cards, I've done Christmas cards, I've done anniversary cards, birthday cards. All with the same dies, sir. All with the same dies, but all different collections. Lovely. So you've got your outer edge, which I'm not going to put on, okay? Because if I put the outer edge on, it would give me, if I cut that, it would actually give me a nice scalloped frame. Now I do have lots cut out and I don't have the scalloped frame. Every other frame. <laughs> so bless you. if I show you, say if that was one of the decorative ones from one of the other collections, it would give you like a straight edged oh, frame. Oh, I see, yes. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, yeah it does make sense. Yeah. So that's that one. Then you've got your next one, which will obviously, if you took the outer edge out, mm -hmm. would cut again very similar but smaller so you've got layers there yeah. already come in but then you've got these bits as well so if you take that smaller one and you pop these onto your paper I mean the thing is as well you can choose where you put it so you could keep those um, bells in there okay. okay so let's just have a look so That's then you pop point. that yeah, one can slide up on the down, top can there and then you've got the bottom one. So this will cut these elements out of your paper. I'm guessing when you get these home, Nick, is it a good idea perhaps to just get some cardstock? Just get some white cardstock and okay. just play. And that's what I did. I just okay. cut loads out, all different combinations in these outies. Um, I used my decorative dies in there as well. So if I did that, that would cut all of these panels out. So I'd end up with that kind of thing. So three panels out of my wedding paper, but, but then I can start layering it up when I put the card together. Lovely. Okay, but what I've done is, so I'm going to go back to my card now that I am going to do. Wonderful, thank so you. So this is a pretty colour to you're working with. create my card blank, because as I say, we have sold out of the one day special. But do not fret, because honestly, it's so much more. That's just a very, very small part of the one-day special. I'm going to cut two of those larger arches out, okay? And, and I'm what's just going to take that down. Do you right, so this? this is 220 okay. GSM. So I'm putting two sheets through, because I know my die-cutting machine will take it, which is like 440 that's, in total, yeah, and it will die-cut through really easy if you are going for thicker I would probably say um, put them through separate okay. but this will go through my die cutting machine do you need to consider the size of your die cutting machine Two. with regard to these dies because some of them are quite large right so they will go through a an A5 die cutting machine okay. however because you've got lots of dies in there that are quite intricate you will find that you'll end up taking it through quite a few times. Okay. So I tend to use my A4 because then you can turn them and get the most out of the pressure right. from your machine. Okay. Good but tip. again, it is all trying to The smallest you would go for would be your A5 okay, die cutting you. machine. So I'm taking that. So I'm now going to create my card blank. So I'm going to do a tent style. And the reason I'm doing it in two is because the cardstock that I've got with me that I would normally do is I would normally just score down my card and create my blank that way. Oh, okay, right. But my card, my paper isn't big enough, my card that I've got. So I if you wanted to make a shorter but card. But you could you make could a short, do. you could. Yeah. yeah, I never even thought of that. But then what you'd do is you'd just sit your die, just overlap that mm -hmm. slightly, and then that gives you your card blank. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. But I find that I need bigger card stock for that, and then yes. I end up wasting a lot of card. No, that's fair So enough. what I've done with this one is then I'm going just about... It's about a third down. See, that makes a nice little handbag card now. 
Uh, what, sorry? A little handbag almost little that handbag. you created there with <laughs> yeah. the flap going over the top there, or a little envelope. A little envelope. <laughs> so I've folded that. Normally I would use a scoreboard. Then I'm going to put them face so that the bad side is basically facing each other. Fold that down. Add some glue at the top here. If it will come out. And then I will pop that on the top so that it lines up with that bottom. Lovely. Make sure that nice and steady. And that gives me my tent fold card. That's fabulous. Oh my God, it's okay. a blackboard as well. Love it. It's good, isn't so many it? uses with these shapes. Um, yeah. I must tell you as well, while we've been all kind of focusing on Nikki, though, we haven't realised we've been very, very busy with regards to this Wild Stocks last. We've jumped from, I think I told you, 30% just at the beginning of the show. It's only 20 minutes in, and we're now looking at what was the update again? Half the stock. My goodness. In just that short amount of time, wow, this is a popular one. I'm not surprised though. I mean, look at the price there. You are saving £46.49. It's a phenomenal deal. If you're a Freedom member, you're saving a little bit more. Um, you can see it's still £39 saving if you're not a Freedom member. But the difference is actually more of a saving than the cost of becoming a Freedom member. So it might be worth considering to become a Freedom member at the same time. But the details are there on your screen, as you can see. And of course, you can get all those lovely dyes that Nikki's working with. So what's the next stage, Nikki? Right, so the next stage is I've cut another one out. You using that same outer edge die which was that one and I've used my mirror card for this one and again just gluing that down onto my front of my card like so and then I'm going to pop that to one side and I'm going to bring some cardstock over. I've already prepped one, but I want to show you how I did it. So I'm taking that smaller inner gateway die with that straight edge, just making sure that that does stay down. You'd almost be cutting out a whole stash of these components and then kind of just putting them together. And the play with them. Stage. If you have a look, yeah. see what I've got in my drawer. I've got black cardstock, craft card, white cardstock, just all in different match, yeah. combinations so I can go to them any time I want. It's a very useful set, even just for those simple lines, let alone all the decorative detail. It's, yeah, I mean, and the, as I say, it's the combinations that's great. You can really play with these. So with this one, if I used the outer edge, it would cut it out of my card. So make like a little aperture. But what I want is, I want the bottom one and the top one within my card. Okay. Okay, so just take that down again, making sure that that doesn't move. And I'm going to take that through my die cutting machine. Wonderful. Very much. You're getting 11 dies within one of those die sets. So um, obviously the combination that you can be able to create with these, I mean, there's loads, but that's within that one die set. Start adding in the additional dies that you've got. because You've got four sets of dies in this one and the stamps as well. So you're going to have loads of different combinations, not just for your card making, things like your memory albums and your books, because these would make nice little pockets as well. They would they, make Nikki? lovely, yeah, you can make pockets out of these, like you say, with your journaling. Then, that did actually move slightly so it isn't quite square, but when you poke that out, can you see how that is within my cardstock? That is lovely. Okay, so that's how I did that. Okay. But I've actually already prepped one. Wonderful. So I put some glitter around the edge and some pearls down the bottom. And then I cut out one of the outer edges from that middle bit that looks a bit like a vase if you did it that way up and I've cut it out of silver. But then I've just stood here and I've just thought, oh, I can do something else with that now. I'm <laughs> actually this going is what to. Happens with these dies. It's almost like you're doodling with dies. <laughs> Honestly, it was um, quite mad, to be fair. When I was making my cards, not one of them came out the same as I had envisioned it. To start with. <laughs> so with this Love one, it. I'm popping that down. I'm going to tape it down on to my mat because there's not a lot to tape it onto. 
So Sometimes with these dies, it's difficult to see um, the intricacy that you're going to get because obviously when you're looking at the back of the die, you can't necessarily see it. Also, can't wait to see how this looks when it comes out. And then I'm going to pop that on and take that through. Now, because this is mirror card and it is quite a decorative die, I'm going to take it back and forth twice. So it's gone through the machine four times in total. That's just to be on the safe side. That's just to be on the safe side. And the reason I say that is because then when you take it out, it's better to do it a little bit more than a bit less because then whoops, it saves you time that later. You can yeah. just flick it or poke it if you don't want to make a mess on the floor. I think it's a bit late for that, like Nikki. That. There's a, quite a mess on the floor <laughs> over there already. Can you imagine what my craft room <laughs> looks like? <laughs> Look at that. And that then it just so detailed. Out. Got some of those little curly bits, haven't you? So sometimes they kind of get intertwined. Get it's not that they're not in cut there, out. don't they? It's, yeah. I'll do that one last. So that will just Quite therapeutic fall out. doing that little, popping those pieces out. It is. I find it very <laughs> therapeutic. I'd rather do that than it's stuck in the die and then I'm trying to get yes. it out of the die. But look at that. That, that is, is just, just getting caught on there, look. Try not to tear it. Sure. And they want then to be together, those two bits. Didn't want to come out. That one's just poked out, look. But you can see how pretty that is. And they all coordinate together. So when I put this on the card, it will coordinate with the top and the bottom. And it's going to fit beautifully. Nice thing is that you've put the two kind of decorative elements in your, your arch, but you don't have to. It could be the top or the bottom or none of them shape. at all. And exactly. As I say, the, loads of it's combos. endless, really, on the amount of combinations that you actually have. So well, while you're just doing I'm just going to take that out. Shall I just... Oh, you, you all sorted now? Um, no, I've still got a couple more oh, here, okay. so well, you're I'll fine. Let you do that to save you putting you under the pressure, let me just very quickly tell everybody about these dies, and then we'll go back to Nikki when she's got those little pieces out. Because, of course, we had a one-day special that we were sharing with you up until the last hour. That has sold out now, and we have got a while stocks to last. It's very similar to the one-day special. It's just the card bases that aren't included with this one. But you can see it's an amazing deal. We've still got a phenomenal deal with this one. You've got two flexi buys, each of which being £37.48 if you're not a Freedom member. And as you can see when you're looking at the price for just one of those die sets it makes perfect sense to go for them as part of the bundle especially if you're a freedom member because you can see there 24 pounds and 99 pence is what you pay for any of those gorgeous dies that we're looking at there but then when you start looking at the flexi buy you're looking at probably about nine pounds more something like that i haven't done the maths particularly but it's not that much more and it means that you are going to get all for eight pounds and 74 pence that's not even nine pounds and what that means is you will get all four of those dies sets not just the 11 set or just the four set the three set um, you will get all of those and you will get the stamps that work alongside them it's been a very popular one day special we've had a very busy hour with this one so the details are on your screen I called it a one day special then I do apologize it's because we normally would be telling you that but it is a while stocks last it's an amazing deal as you can see there it is almost like a one day special price and I love the fact that some heartfelt creations have been able to allow us to bring this to you so 433864 we're getting busier and busier for this one over half the stock has gone there so if you're wanting it with those gorgeous um, stamps there please 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 do get hold of it as soon as you can nikki i can see that you've popped all those little bits out now i've popped them all out and now i'm actually going to put my card together so i'm going to glue that on flat so this is the one that i've already glittered up and and i've actually used the I think it was the is it the wild rose collection for this it's gorgeous paper I like that kind of pink but vintage it's gorgeous it's like a dusky it. pink isn't yeah, it yeah nice obviously i've got some mess on there so what you do is just damp a piece of tissue and that will clean off that's a good tip because i'm always doing that always get the glue mirror card it just it doesn't it's not very forgiving it just tells all their tales on you it does, does. <laughs> but yeah just a, a damp piece of tissue will clean that off lovely and then i've got that piece that is going to go in the middle but you could even lift that up add dimension to it yeah gorgeous can you see 
how that's added the dimension there look if i just lift that up so, so you could pretty. pop it down like that look yeah well, i don't know what to do now i think i'm going Spoiled to do that <laughs> i'm going to do that i'm going to lift it up I love this, the way this is twisted and turning as we go so i'm gonna pop it down there down there and just lift it up look that's nice yeah i've used my glue gun because it was quicker but i would normally just use my PVA glue. That looks so elegant. Wipe that off there. And then I've got a sentiment somewhere. I have somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> it's in a safe place. Oh, it's here. <coughs> I've moved Excuse it. Me. So this was using You're an Amazing Friend. That's a lovely phrase And as well. then I'm going, oh, it's a shame now because it's. I've changed the <laughs> the demo. I don't want to hide could that. Could that go on the inside but of it, the card, perhaps? It could, go on, it could go in the inside. Oh, I don't know now. Because I was going to put a rose there, which we were going to make in a minute. I'll tell you what. We'll go on to make the rose, and I'll okay. make the rose, then we'll make a decision. Perfect. I love yes. it. We'll, we'll, we'll have a little survey. We'll see what everybody thinks. Um, Nikki, I'm going to let you get ready to make your gorgeous little flowers. But I need to tell you about our wall stocks last. It's been flying out. Lots of you taking advantage of this. I think you realise the urgency of this one. We've seen a one-day special already go today. We do not want to miss out on this wall stocks last. So you can see there, £39 saving is if you're not a Freedom member. It's a phenomenal saving. Um, uh, so many of you are taking advantage of that but even more so as freedom members because you are saving a whopping great 46 pounds and 49 pence it's not often that we can tell you that really when we're looking at a one day special deal let alone a while stocks last so that's why it's a phenomenal deal and two flexi buys I just need to clear my throat my throat I just had a sudden little tickle come so have a look at some of these finished samples and I'll be back with you in just a few <laughs> I don't know what that was. All of a sudden, my throat just dried up, so I do apologise. So, yeah, there you go. You've got those gorgeous archways. You've got all those multiple dies in there. So you can see some of them have got 11 dies in there. Some of them have got six, but you are getting all of those, giving you a total of 24. 24 dies. Amazing. And you've got the stamps as well. So when it comes to putting your sentiment on there, you've got those large stamps. Um, let me show you, because it's a beautiful stamp to actually sit on the inside. I don't know where the card's gone that um, had it on the inside, but um, re there you go. Absolutely beautiful, because it fits within that arch perfectly. And then, of course, you can use your dies to kind of cut around it, to create a gorgeous frame, as you can see with this one, embosses to perfection. And, of course, the beauty is, I mean, thinking of you today, is such a lovely phrase, because it can be used for any occasion, really, couldn't it? Whether it's a happy um, situation, whether it's a birthday, an anniversary, or whether it is one of those sadder situations that, sadly, we do have to make cards for. But I think you will agree, when you're building up those designs, creating those wonderful elements, maybe you using the stamp as a sentiment there as you can see there you're an amazing friend and you can see that that's coming across and it's a lovely size to sit within those archways and it just sits so so beautifully lots of you taking advantage um, as you can see with these ones so uh, yeah a really pretty design but of course perfect for you to use with lots of other things that you've got in your stash as well that's a little bit of a racy one going on there i um, thinking of you I bet you are the sauce pot um, and uh, you can see all these gorgeous cards all created lots of different combinations and of course the floral accents are key with these I will be telling you how you can create some gorgeous roses in just a few moments and Nikki's going to be showing you uh, that as well but for the time being the details are there on your screen as you can see there 433864 will get you those four die sets and the stamps that we've just been looking at for a phenomenal deal price but only while stocks last now those roses and roses just look so beautiful on a card don't they but in the past perhaps you've been buying your roses pre-made well if you have done well you will know that you're usually quite frugal when you're putting those because on your cards because you might only get half a dozen when you're buying a pack of those well with this one you can be using all of your cardstock having an endless supply of your roses whether it's a full bloom that you're creating whether you're just cutting back on those layers making much smaller roses or whether potentially you're making other 
stars of flowers because the beauty of this is the stamp itself gives you those opportunities that you don't necessarily have to make a full rose you could be making something that looks like a kind of a artistic flower of your own making a bit of crafter's license now you're going to get all of these stamps so you've actually got four stamps in total giving you not only all your different layers you can see they're going from the largest one there right the way through to these little tiny ones here um, and over here you've got even smaller ones as well and then of course you've got your leaves as well now there is a way for you to actually cut these out without using scissors we've got a die coming up in a few moments but for the time being the um, stamps there um, come do they come on the storage sheet as well they do don't they I think yeah so if you put that into your binder they're all ready to go um, £10.99 pence being your price on that one so lots of you taking advantage of that one and of course I mentioned the die now this die will allow you um, to stamp and cut out to perfection that's something that Nikki's going to explain to us as well because of course it's getting that fussy cut kind of done away with I'm not one that likes to pick up my scissors and sit there merrily cutting away making it an hour or so to make a fabulous rose I like those instant gratifications with these now the die if you want in the die by itself I'm just going to mention to you that 70% of the stock has gone of course you could be using the die without the use of the stamp or maybe you've already got the stamp and at the time um, you, the affordability wasn't there perhaps to go for the die well this is a perfect opportunity for you to take advantage of that 20% saving but as I say if you wanted to make your flowers just using the dies then you can do. obviously you won't have the stamp detail that we're looking at there so do consider it and of course at 10.99 for that additional stamp I don't think it's a lot more to add into your basket to get that really amazing professional finish and there you go you can see all your dies there relating spot on if I bring in the die there you'll be able to see with those they actually combine and combine it perfectly with regards to those so if you're wanting to get hold of those then do pop them into your basket and check your basket out timely you might want to add this in as well because this is your flower sh shaping mold and lots of you are adding these in now this is something that you might think well it's a bit of a treat to get hold of this one well it's even more of a treat when it has uh, got a saving on it four pounds and fifty pence seventeen pounds and forty nine pence lots of you adding this one in three quarters of the stock has gone and as you've seen with this one I can see Nikki's got hers ready to explain to you you have got a two-part mold and this will kind of get that flower shaping underway it's going to cut down on your time and if you are making those gorgeous rows is, then you won't mind using them over and over again because it's a beautiful rose but you might think oh I'd love to do like a, a wreath of roses with this one but the time that it's going to take for me to make up all those roses this is going to save you the time and the chore sometimes of putting those together when you're making a lot of them and that means that you can create over and over and make loads of these fabulous your own bouquet and here you go you can see how they all come together on a card there as well so 908310 £17.49 is your price don't forget to add in things like your storage binder which you can do as well storage binder comes separate to um, the mold there but it is available on the website as are those little daubers and all the other lovely things that we see Nikki working with talking of which and Nikki what are you up to next right so just go back to sort of like pretty basics when you're stamping and die cutting with heartfelt dies and stamps you will stamp your image first then you take your coordinating die and that will fit absolutely perfectly over your stamped image. The reason being, they've made that die just a smidgen bigger, which means that when you die cut that out, you're not going to lose any of that outer edge. It is all die cut perfectly. So once you've put it through your machine and you've die cut it, you're going to want to colour them up. So when it comes to colouring, I'll just have a look to see if I've got one here that I can colour. Oh, a tiny one. There you go. There's a tiny one that I've die cut out. Using your daubers, really easy. Now, the ones that I'm going to put together, I've kind of like put some green in the centre. I mean, can you imagine cutting these out with scissors, Nikki? I wouldn't. Especially the little <laughs> tiny the one. answer to that one. The little Which tiny is... one certainly wouldn't end up with five petals on it if I was cutting it out. When I first started crafting, I used to buy those packs of roses, yeah. you know the ones? Oh yeah, I do, yeah. About two pounds, two pounds Easily. fifty for six yeah. roses. Yeah. Didn't, they did, well, they were pretty, but I mean, these, you can do any colour you like, using cardstock, using your own colours, and you can make as many as you like, when you like. It's the like having a, a, a flower any. shop at your fingertips. It's, good. it's very true. The daubers are good for getting into that nitty gritty I saw there as well. You get those corners. Yes, yeah, so right you can see in. that I just literally 
went in there with my dauber and I've just blended from the center. It looks like I'm flat, but actually I had it at a tilt. Okay. So I'm tilting it up so it's not going right to the end. And it just blends that ink. And then with the pink, I don't think this is the same pink as I used there, but it doesn't matter. Again, taking some ink on there and then just catching the tip of those roses. And you can even go in with a second colour if you want. So if you wanted a darker colour on the real tip, so say, I mean, I'm only using a really tiny rose here, so I'll probably pick the most difficult one. So I'm <laughs> going to pick, I'm going to go in with my same dauber, just pick up some dark, like burgundy. And then, can you see where that's blending now, but you can still see that paler pink so it goes from dark to the paler pink to the green lovely really pretty and as I say I wouldn't there's a lot of things that I wouldn't be without and if I had to be on a desert island I would be happy to make flowers day in day out so I'd want paper stock I'd want stamps and dies my mold my die cutting machine and my daubers <laughs> and that's just about it I'm not asking a lot really am I <laughs> <clears throat> So once you've coloured those in, I've coloured the back as well because when you put your rows together you're going to want to colour the back because you will see the back of some of them. My goodness, Nikia, and I don't know if you just heard that. Mark is just telling us we've got 15 minutes left. Where's that hour gone? I have no idea where that hour's gone. It's absolutely, to be honest, all of these shows have. Um, and that's because I think when you've got dyes like this, there's so many combinations. I could just stand and talk. I mean, I'd happily do all day if you like. <laughs> um, probably wouldn't be very popular with the viewers, but oh, <laughs> there all. is so many different combinations that you can do with them. And with these, I mean, we were talking about roses. Obviously, that's the title of, of this one. But if you wanted to use just a few of those layers, could you make a different style of flower? You could. And if we have a few minutes at the end, I have got some already prepped so oh, okay. I can have a look. And I can show you. So what I've done is I've stamped, die cut, coloured. Put them through the die cutting machine, obviously. But then I've put them into my mould face down. That one I haven't coloured, so I'm not going to bother putting that one in. <laughs> I just realised <laughs> that was the, the one side. I just, just... That one could go to the side. And then you've got your leaf as well. Now, I'm not too worried about colouring the back of my leaf because I know you're not going to see it. OK. OK, so that's going to fit in there. But you can layer more than one layer up okay. with it. What about different floral dyes? So say if you, you, you've got other flowers, mm -hmm. could you actually put those petals there? I know they're not yes. going to line up perfectly, but would you but still But you get can, the if they've got smaller petals, definitely you can. Okay. Experiment with what you've got at home. I've spent actually a few hours the other day having a look at some of the combinations and different mm -hmm. flowers. So there's a lot of heartfelt flowers. That will f they've probably got their own dye, um, sorry, their, their own mould, yeah. but then when you put it in a different mould, you get a completely different effect. That's good sort, yeah. So it isn't just for your roses, definitely not. So I'm going to take my large plate out, which will leave me my two clear plates. So I'm going to put one just in my machine. I'm going to take my mould and pop that on there, and then I'm going to pop the clear one on top. Again, it's the same as when you're die cutting. Your machine may be different. You may need a shim of cardstock in there. You may find that if you're putting two or three different layers of roses inside your mould, it's quite tight. So just go through quite gently. But, are you ready? I say that because every, every, I do this and it even blows my mind away. And I've done it hundreds and hundreds of times. I'm going to find oh, one wow. that yes. hasn't been... No, I haven't got... Oh, I have actually got a rose. Let me show you. Because that's really when you see the difference. Let me take this one out. Okay. Right, so... So this is one that hasn't been through the This one hasn't mold. been through the die-cutting machine. Okay. It's okay. very pretty. Pretty. But this one has Oh, wow, uh, yeah. And that oh. was just one pass. Look at that, if I just lay that, you can just see all the dimension on there. And that hasn't even 
been it hasn't touched my flower shaping mat yet. Well, this is it. You can still go in and you can do more of that shaping, but you it kind can. of gets you on the way with it. Yeah. <clears throat> it, it, it's a starting point. I mean, with the leaves, I think it's amazing with the leaves because you really don't have to do anything to it at all. You've got your rose leaf there, look. Look at that, look. Beautiful. I love those little tendrils. Look at that. The detail on that. So I don't have to touch that. So just quite quickly on how to make a just a basic rose okay so i'm going to go with a slightly bigger bud normally if you want to go for a smaller bud and a smaller flower you would start off with two small ones and then you'd kind of work your way up until you've got the size that you want okay but for this one i'm going to start with this size and I'm going to take like a medium size i think this is about a, a six mil for my flower shaping tool and of course the flower the deluxe and um, flower shaping um, toolkit I mean it's still something that is worth having in your stash because it's that finer detail as you can see there obviously that the first stage has been cre um, created but by getting in there and adding even more depth and detail gives even more realism with these flowers yes yeah, so what I basically did I brought the tip from the tip of my petal down and it's just brought them in to create a bit of a dome then on my first one, I'm just going in and squeezing together each petal, just a little bit, not too much. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add some glue. Every, I mean, again, you can make lots of different types of roses. If you think about your garden, no rose is exactly the same. No rose grows the same. They're all different and all, all different varieties, kind of the petals, um, uh, a shape differently as well so there's my bud so really ju it's just about having a play and see what you can come up with and then I'm going to pop that in the middle there and just bring that up and cup that in there now I could if I wanted if I wanted to make a tight bud glue each of those petals but I want this one to be a little bit looser okay so I'm going to do this one oops, face down again and I'm going to bring that in just slightly, take my glue gun and pop that in the middle and that's when I'm going to decide what I want to do. So I have now decided that needs a little bit of glue right at the bottom of the base of each of those petals. I'm going to bring that up. Now I could leave that oh and that my. could be a bud. Okay. But then you can start adding. So this one, I'm now not going to touch the petals. All I'm going to do is the center. And I'm putting this one face upwards. And the same with this one. So I'm going in sizes. I tend to work in two sizes, so I use two of each. Do you rotate them <clears throat> as you pop in the yes. place? Yes, so if you can see, I'm putting the petals in between each other. Okay. And then another one. You can just keep going. And, and as I oh, I've got hair everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's really stringy. Really stringy bit. It, as I say, so many, it's the same as with the dies. So many different ways, so many different um, designs that you can create with that. And then if you wanted to add a little bit more detail, and I don't think I've got my, I have got my tweezers. You can take your tweezers. Bear in mind your mould has done 95% of the work. But you can take your tweezers then and just fold a few of those petals, just go in the other way to make that even more realistic. So only a few. And I can take that one, bring that one down even more. It's so easy, but it's weird because that was just paper, okay? Yes. It was actually heartfelt um, flower pa sh shaping paper that I've used. But then when you spritz it, you put it through your mold completely transforms it feels a lot lot thicker than it actually is as I say just have a play with those petals until you are happy 
just bring that one out look look at that look at that that is beautiful Oh, Nikki, that looks amazing. Isn't that easy? I love it. Um, now, shall I show finish some? You could, could I just literally oh, yeah, just because yes, you know we said about yes. the sentiment, yeah, and I, I wasn't that, sure yeah. what I wanted to do. <clears throat> well, I actually cut my sentiment down. Oh, okay. Okay. So I took some out, and this is within those um, sentiments that you will get in the collection. Lovely. And I'm bringing that down. Now, this is something, actually, that I don't normally do at this angle, but just recently... <laughs> started doing it. I've started time. doing it. We've been busy for those roses, incidentally, as well. I'll give you a little bit of a recap in a moment, but if you've got those rose and dyes, the stamps, and the flower shaping mould as well, all, all of those three, we're busy for all of them. So check your baskets out to ensure you are going to get hold of those, because there's a lot of you that are going to be checking out at the same time. So don't want anybody missing out. Look at that. So I've got gorgeous. my rose. Make sure it. And then using sentiment as well. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? And the thing is, when you're making your own flowers, you coordinate the colour of that flower to the colour of the paper that you're so using. True, yeah. You can't really change the colour of the paper that you've got in your stash. <coughs> It might be you can ink the edges and you can ink it up slightly, but then you can use your flowers to really add a touch of colour to. I love it. And that's the key thing. I mean, Nikki, thank you so much for taking us through that. But I think once you realise just how effective those dyes and stamps are when they're working together, and then you start thinking about your colour combinations. I mean, here, look at this one. I know we've not even got Christmas out of the way, but if you think about red roses with Valentine's Day, then there you go. You can see those gorgeous roses there. Um, again, your different sizes. So if you wanted to make your little bud-like ones, and you don't have to build up as many layers. And then, of course, team them up with other flowers that you've got within your style as well so if you have taken advantage of uh, other deals that uh, the heartfelt have brought to us then it certainly is a good idea to go for those gorgeous roses and there you go that's a very similar card to the one that Nikki's just created but on this particular occasion it's been created as a trifold there with a lovely little pocket using one of those dies that we've seen there um, featuring as well so really lovely combinations with regards to these and then of course when you are going for your wild stocks last you can create cards and you don't necessarily have to add those roses if you don't want to so the roses themselves are give you a recap on those in a few moments but the dyes the layers that we're looking at are all from that wild stocks last collection that we've got on the screen then of course that's the one that nikki used to create that basic um, uh, card to start with and then obviously the multiple layers four three three eight six four so within your wild stocks last you are getting your four die sets so with this one you've got your multiple dies in there giving you 24 dies in total um do we see 24 23 24, it was 24. Um, so you've got 11 dies in one set, to be honest, as well. So, I mean, that is a bumper combination with regards to that. So, uh, yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of these, all four of those coming to you alongside the stamps as well. Now, of course, we've got a fabulous deal because it's to say, well, sorry that the one-day special didn't last. So with this one, you've got a £46 saving, £46.49 and 49 pence to be precise, and two flexi buys, £33.73. And pence. Now, 433864 will get that bundle on its way to you and it opens up your flexi order now freedom members lots of you taking advantage of this as freedom members as well don't forget if you're not a freedom member already you can tick that box as you come to check out your order you'll see your post and packing disappear and you'll see that savings appear and as you can see there at 46 pounds and 49 pence saving on this bundle is certainly worth considering so 433864 if you're wanting to get hold of this now the flexi order means that you've opened up your flexi basket so you can add any of those other elements in and spread the cost of those as well and i know lots of you you're doing exactly that with regards to the roses so if you're thinking of getting the roses just look how beautiful they work alongside those gorgeous archways that we've been working with today so do consider getting hold of those at the same time and the mold at the bottom of the screen is popular as well but let me tell you about the wild stocks last nearly 60 percent of the stock has gone my goodness, we have been busy for this one. Lots of you taking advantage. So you can see there, 433864. Please do not leave it too long before you take advantage of these. Now, we've only got a couple of minutes left, so we're going to do a little bit of a recap on the roses. Nikki's going to be back at 4 o'clock, and, of course, she'll, she'll show us other combinations of using these if we've got any left. But this stock is incredibly vulnerable. It's flying out at the moment, so need to give you some updates on these. So the stamps. 
It's done surrounding the detail. So within here, you have got, where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven different flowers within here with your roses and your different layers. And of course, you've got the little tendrils and the gorgeous leaves with that one as well. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Brilliant value um, for money. So four, three, five, nine, five, zero. Popping that in alongside your wild stocks last, it works out at five pounds and fifty pence extra. It makes sense. But just be warned that nearly 80% of the stock has gone. You could potentially be missing out on this one. You can understand why I need to tell you about this one because you've got that saving, the black tag event saving on there. Once these have gone, that's it. So take advantage while you've got the opportunity. Now, if you are going for the stamps, please do consider the dies. The dies will allow you to cut these out. So these are going to cut to perfection. So all of those 11 petals that we, or combinations of petals, they will be cut out using the die, as will the leaves and the tendrils as well. This one's £15.99, pence, but with this one, just to let you know, rapidly approaching limited stock with this one. So some of you might be going with this, going for this one without the stamp, which is fine, you can do. But if you're wanting to get hold of it with or without the stamp, you need to be quick. As we rapidly approach limited stock, as we go out of a show, you can pretty much guarantee that in the gaps between the show, a lot more of that stock will go. So get in your basket, but get your baskets checked out. And then finally, that mould, that flower shaping mould. This is something that you definitely need to add in alongside those stamps and dies and it is now officially limited in stock i think that demonstration from nikki there just reiterated how amazing this is to start you on that path of creating those real estate flowers nikki thank you so much thank you. i'm really glad that i got that rose in i know you might not have had a chance at four o'clock but she will be back at four doing what i don't know Now, I'm back with you straight after the break and a lovely black tag event from Clarity. We were very busy earlier on. Then Emma's back with Cricket, looking forward to that one. And then we've got Fabric Street with some fabulous deals on that show too. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowing Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me, Achanda and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hi, 
Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hello again. Oh, it's so good to have your company. Now, I'm sure you were here earlier on this morning when we were showing you these amazing deals that we've got for you from Clarity. And we've got some amazing deals to be had. So if you didn't join us then, well, where were you? We had loads of fun. I was here with a lovely Barbara and um, she was showing us loads of different techniques. And of course, Barbara is joining us again on Skype during this hour. So looking forward to even more inspiration from you, Barbara. How are you doing? Oh, good, Hayley. Can you hear me okay? I can indeed. I can indeed. And we were saying, I mean, the deals that you brought to us in this Black Tag event, absolutely phenomenal. And brand new items as well. That's right. I mean, these um, these beautiful, uh, the frames, the deconstructed mandala, as we could call it, um, we actually, we all doodled it in the shack shack. So it will be dear to a lot of people's hearts. I think that's why it's so popular, because people feel like they are the co-artist, you know. We drew this a layer at a time, um, a ring at a time, and that's why I had the idea to then deconstruct it into ring frames. So it's so lovely to use. It's really a pleasure. There you go. So now you can see how we, clever Lucy at work, how she deconstructed the individual rings. Just as we drew them, that's how they've been uh, separated out from the main mandala. And I love the fact that we've got those centerpieces instantly within this bundle. But of course, that area that you've got, it's just a perfect size for so many other things that we're already having our stash. Exactly. And also the stencils that we're going to be highlighting uh, in this hour, these rings and these, you know, obviously the circles, they work beautifully with the stencils. So that's worth bearing in mind. It certainly is. And then, of course, it's what you do with those gorgeous pieces. So whether you're just simply taking a couple of layers and putting them onto a tag. Um, I mean, these are amazing. I mean, the different combinations the design team have come up with these, Clearly. Barbara. There's a particularly attractive sample, and I keep seeing it on the counter. Ooh, if you one? go uh, to the front, okay. have a look. There's one with a per look lower right hand, right in the corner. Oh gosh, Barbara, um, do you remember Bernie the Bolt? Left a bit right, a bit. It's over uh, underneath the on the wedding day one on your left. Oh, on I your left, that one down end. here. That one, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness! Yes, yes. look. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. What a fabulous sentiment with that one as well. That is beautiful. I love that. Yes. Now, of course, you're instantly yeah. drawn to the circular shape of these. But, of course, what you've done is you've added in those additional bits, the borders and the corners, which stands alone. I mean, you can use those. I mean, this is a lovely idea of framing up with the little poppets. Oh, isn't that beautiful? 
Yeah, <laughs> see, so that's just stamped exactly what I did at the beginning this this morning, except um, it, two of the corners have been inverted. Doesn't Isn't that, that smashing? It's a lovely different look with mm. that. And, of course, using those in loads of different ways. Don't forget, you're not only getting those stamps, but you are getting those masks nice. as well. And, of course, as Barbara showed us earlier on today, having those masks in that collection really does give you the ability to come up with some absolutely amazing results time and time again. And, of course, Barbara's... Isn't it lovely? They're gorgeous. Mm. Every one of these, I mean, you just love the detail. And it's the fine detail, that almost lace-like effect that you're getting, which, of course, all started yeah. off, as you say, with those lovely little doodles isn't that gorgeous gold embossed as well Beautiful. Mm. classic look so just to let you guys know 80 percent of the stock has gone did i mention how busy we were earlier on well we were lots of you are taking advantage of that um that deal that's on your screen and again you're doing it in this hour you can see at the bottom of your screen we are busy on the phone lines again so urgency is the key thing with this one because you have got a 50 percent saving in fact you're saving more than you're spending with this one because you're saving 30 pounds giving you a price point there as you can see of 20 29 pounds and 97 pence absolutely brilliant deal lots of you taking advantage of those so two six seven four seven nine we will revisit this later but of course we've got other deals for you other black tag event savings and again these are 50 percent savings as well now many of you will have jumped ahead i am sure and had a little look on the website but we saw barbara working with these in the last hour as well and these are such a clever idea because you've got your texture stamps with these um, and barbara was explaining earlier on the next item that we're going to you is going to be some wonderful um stencils but i just wanted to illustrate as barbara was explained in the last hour that these stencils coming up are perfect to work alongside these stamps so you can see there any one of these you can actually create your multi layers and we've got all sorts of different shapes coming up in a few moments but there's a lot of thought gone into the combination of these and Barbara again you were explaining to us how you can multi stamp this and indeed you showed us earlier on yeah, that's right. So you can take, for example, the lines at the top there and you just turn them 90 degrees, stamp them once, turn them 90 degrees, stamp them again. And you've got your lovely, um, you've got a, a, a square, you know, you, you can change it, can't you? Um, they're, they're very, very useful. And, and I found specifically when you, um, when you mount them on acetate, they're just perfect for that little grungy, little kind of flash of uh, detail on like I was showing you at the end of the last hour on the on the designer paper it looks oh, so yes. cool yeah and this is it whether it's a little touch or whether you're using it in its entirety but you are getting all of those all 12 of those half price saving there 20 percent and 20 pounds saving and 60 percent of the stock has gone of that oh my goodness 19 pounds and 98 pence um at 392 I didn't realize just how busy we'd been this morning lots of you got involved now the stencils these were popular as well and I love this because you've got not only the stencils but you've got the masks as well I mean this is something Barbara you've put everything in there so we're covered for all eventualities with these. And of course, as we saw a few moments ago, they're going to work with those textures as well. Um, and with it, I've just been told with these, once they've gone, they've gone, Barbara. They are. I'm afraid we can't make any more this weekend. We're we're a bit we're we're backed up at uh, uh, Clarity. But you you see the thing about them is that they've been designed to fit within one another. So they're almost like nested shapes. They really work so well. I've got a uh, I've got one piece here Ooh, that I'd like okay. to show you if yeah. I may. Yeah. Um, and it's a piece of artwork from Jane Telford. And you'll see exactly if I if I sh let humour me for a minute. Yeah. Please if carry I, on. If I show Show you, for example, ah. right. So we've, she's used a square, okay. and she's got that light blue, right? This is I'm going to be using these soon, and then she's used the circle over the top, and you'll Rather. see that it sits exactly inside. And then while it's still being covered up, she's gone back in and stamped the textures. Look, two different textures Rather. over the top. And while the stencil's been in place, she's also added a little bit of shadow around there. And that's how you end up with something so cool. Isn't that lovely? I love that. Yeah, and that's just simply mm. taking those last two products. This is the thing that's phenomenal. What Barbara's showing you there is just utilising the stencils that we've got and the stamps that we've just looked at. So that is amazing. You can see there you've got the, both of the items on your screen. The bottom of your screen, you've got those stamps, £19.98. And, and then, of course, on the side of your screen there, the stencils and the masks, £14.88. 031511. But 60% of the stock has gone. And again, there you've got 50% saving with regards to these as well. So, yeah, any of those goodies that you've got, 
in your basket please do check your baskets out and apologies if you are on the phone waiting to place your order we will get to you as soon as we possibly can now before we just head over to Barbara can I just um, show you these as well because this is something that lots of you've been taking advantage of Barbara's mandalas these are now limited in stock my goodness who'd have thought we'd be getting to this situation so early in the show you've been loving these 29 pounds and 98 pence such an affordable way of getting so many beautiful stamps 19 stamps you're getting mentioning three masks there but of course you've got your multiple masks within each one of those so you can break those down and use them individually but two six seven four seven nine if you wanted to take advantage of those now i think are we ready to go to barbara what are we up to barbara in this hour well, first of all, I thought we'd have a little recap on the first hour okay. to, to have another look at those mandala stamps, if that's all right. Yeah. And we kind of finished, um, I finished a demo, but I didn't finish it. I wanted to sort of show you something else. And many of you will be aware that we, we, we were looking at these beautiful um, mandalas. And what we did, if you'll recall, I borrowed Andy Duggan's idea. You did. And I stamped it. Do you remember? I stamped I it onto a piece of, And then we took... Do you remember we took the the mat, this and we we took our brushes our water brushes this is talking a demo through here and then I just swished over the archival black which doesn't bleed and that's how we got that fantastic color very Do you effective. remember I did it was a fabulous demo yeah I love that one now so that shows first of all it shows this beautiful it shows that beautiful mandala stamp, huge, see? Now, also a word about mounts. Now, this is a five by seven mount. So that tells you that this mandala is five inches in diameter. The large, the, the large one, that's what we drew as well. Um, so if you're looking for the largest, if you're looking for a, a mount, the mega mount that will fit it will be a five by five or a five by seven, depending on, yeah. And then all the smaller ones, they all sit on the four by fours. And I think they're on the counter as well, the four by fours. And they are superb also, if you're gonna get the mini gel press, Get a set of six of these well, and then you're good to go. I think it comes Excellent. with, I think that each of those little mini, um, mini gel presses comes with one of those four by fours in there. But we have got the mega mounts as well available for people. I know lots of you have been taking advantage of those. So you'll find all of those goodies on the website. But there you go. You've got your um, your petites there, as you can see there. We might show you those in a little while. Very quickly, let me just show you this, just so as you know what I'm talking about. There these you are go. your petites. Now, I'm guessing, do these work well with the stencils as well? Oh, they were fantastic with the stencils because you literally just you mount one of those little gel presses on one of those four by fours and then you you just squish it straight through the stencil Perfect. shape and that's how you get beautiful prints it works really well really well so, now Barbara yeah, I'm definitely. sorry I'm sorry to interrupt again I just you'll understand why when you hear the news that I'm telling people technically that bundle has now sold out so thank you to everybody that's placed your order with regards to these now we have managed to um, to get hold of more stuff of these but there is going to be on an extended delivery so anybody who's placed your order already well done it's going to be on its way to you straight away but the 4th of December next week which I think is about Thursday next week something like that then these will be dispatched to you so it's a week today so uh, yeah you can still get hold of them with the amazing deal the black target event will have finished at that stage but if you're ordering now you will still get the saving that we're talking about with the details there Barbara forgive me please continue no, not at all. I'm really glad. I'm really glad that, that our, our friends at home are enjoying these these stamps. They really are fantastic. And with the delayed dispatch, you know, the only reason that we do that is so that we can we can deliver what we promise. And so I'd already spoken to Jason at work and I'd already warned him uh, heads up. I think we're going to need some extra stock because they've <laughs> flown out the door. And therefore, they they may even get there sooner than 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 we've said. Oh, okay. So yeah. That, yeah, we're on top of it. We're on top of it, Haley. <laughs> Fabulous. I wanted to show you though, because if you're doing this kind of work and you're using your water brushes, of course, you've got at the end of it, you've done your project and you've got a blending mat full of ink. Now, I haven't done anything with this since. Um, since we, we spoke last time. Which I think so about I nine o'clock, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. So let's have a look. I want to show you a little trick, just a finishing trick. This is a poly bag. You know, like when you, when you oh, get like a delivery or something. Wrapping. Yeah. A cellophane, yeah. But all this is, is I've split the side 
and I've cut the top and the bottom so it's like an envelope. And then what I'm going to do now is pop that in there like so. So I'm popping the blending mat in there. And then I need to reactivate this because it might be a little bit dried out by now. In fact, rather than spritz the whole counter, what I'll do is I'll just lift it up. Let me just get my, this is just water. Okay. Right. Add a little bit of water. Because it's water-based, dye-based ink, this should reactivate it. Let's have a look. So now I've spritzed it, and when I do this, yeah, you'll see, see how it starts Ooh, to move. Ooh, okay. But your yeah. fingers aren't getting so dirty now, because they're I inside. Wanted... Yeah, ah. so it's sandwiched, see? Clever. So I can move it around, lift it up, bring it down, and look how lovely that's going to be now, if we could just transfer that. So I've done that loads. Okay. So now let me take, we've got card blanks. So this is an eight by eight. You could take a piece of stencil card. It's the same stuff. It's really absorbent. It's good for this kind of work. Wonderful. And let's say, all right, that I've put a smear on that one. So I'm going to I'm going to pop that on there like so, and I'm just going to lay that down on there. So we're using the ink that we've wasted. We're not going to waste the ink. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, now at the bottom so of the screen, we've this. got those stencil cards that you use in there as well, Barbara. You're getting a hundred of those. Nice. Look, Ooh. how fabulous is that? I know. And the thing is, I've got more than that. See, because when I lay that down again, what was on there goes back down and I can start to pull more. So I've got another one and another one and another one. You see, so you pull in your prints like this and they, they make fantastic backgrounds. So and that's using that all of those ink pads that you used earlier on. And the thing is, exactly. And the thing is, I could leave that now for a, for a month, forever, right? As soon as I open that up and spritz it, the water reactivates and off I go again. Fabulous. So, so this is like a palette, like a wet ink palette. It's really clever, right? And then once you've got these bits, this, let's go back to this again. And you remember this one we mounted, but we cut it up, didn't we? So we've got like that bit there. Okay, so I, I made that like Andy's card, lovely, with the peace, love and understanding. What's so strange about, what's so funny about peace, love and understanding? Do you remember that song? Oh gosh, yes I do. Do you remember? Yeah. You remember? Yeah, Those do. are the days. But then you see, I can take what I've just pulled and those two scraps that I've just lined, look, it just makes a superb background. Do you see what I mean? Lovely. For art. Yes, I like that. It is. It's so good. You know, when they're dry, this one's still a bit wet, but there's the top. So that's the top or that's the side. And then it, because it, it fits beautifully, Hayley, because it's exactly the same colours exactly. as we've used in the yeah. concentrate. That's it. Absolutely so, beautiful. So I just wanted to kind of show that because... If I know a lot of people will be intrigued using the blending mat and water, and then they'll get to the end of their lovely project, that one, and they'll think, well, what about all that lot? Yeah. That's that how you'd use it. Okay. okay. And you know what? Oh, I feel you know what, happier. Barbara? I find it's a, kind of, it's a lazy way of tidying up by using it in that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what a waste of ink it would be if you just wiped it all exactly. away, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, um, so there you go. That's that one. On the screen there, we have got the details of those um, fabulous tools that Barbara was working with a few moments ago. She's going to go straight into her next demonstration. But if you do want your blending mat that Barbara got those gorgeous inks on, then the details are on your screen there. It's a nice little bundle. And you can see here, you're getting loads within there. So you're going to get your blending tool there with, obviously, your interchangeable um, pads. And then, of course, you're getting that very usable blending mat. Bit tricky to see that there, but it is A4 in size. And you've got some kind of wavy edges there, which, you, again, you can create some lovely backdrops with your project. So six nine seven four three eight if you are wanting those so barbara we're going to go straight into the next demonstration i believe we are and what i want to do is show you i'm going to use the stamps and i'm going to use them on stamp board because one of the other things it's worth flagging up let's show let's have a look at these two pieces of artwork for example so this is one i did and this is the one that deb mcmullen did and i want to show them to you because what they flag up first of all is the different layers so you'll see on debbie's she's used stamp board 
But what's interesting, and this is where the deconstructed mandala comes into play, because she's used different colors for different elements. And I thought that was worth pointing out, you see. On a solid mandala, it would be next to impossible to change the color on the different elements. But when you deconstruct it, then you can use um, a, that color for one piece, um, a different color for that piece, you see? And so that's how you can completely change it. Very and then clever. with the marks, you can see how you can create an, an illusion of depth. This has depth. This is all on one layer, the one I did. But you can create an illusion of depth just by covering up and brushing in a background, which is, you know, we all know how we do that. So, so I wanted to look at this one, if I may. Okay, and it's it's really easy, easy, easy. But there are a couple of little tricks um, that I want to show you. First of all, we'll look at these stamp boards. This is really, uh, they're fantastic. For, well, the clue's in the name. They're stamping boards, aren't they? So they're beautiful surface for stamping on. And they're like the mount board, what we use um, to mount our pictures, for example. And we've got them in... They come in heart shapes, squares, circles, and triangles. When I say triangles, I think of bunting. You oh, see, yes. they come in large sizes as well. So you get three different sizes of each shape. So you'll get a large, medium, and uh, let me show you, for example, with the circles. You get large, medium, and small. And then you get um, five of each size within each shape. So it's a bumper bundle, really, because you get all four shapes, three sizes, five of each size. Shall we show everybody, Barbara, the, the set? Because we've got a, a fabulous picture. I'd love you to. I'd love you to, because it's 60, really good to do. 60 pieces in there for 11 99 and it has been a very popular bundle. So you've got your different shapes there, three sizes of Barbara quite well, um, well explained there as well. So they're going to work perfect with those mandalas, 971682. And, of course, if you're adding that into a basket that's got a value of £60 or more, you can spread the cost of the entire contents. And to be honest, in this show, it's very easy for you to be adding up to £60 because we've got so many gorgeous things and some brilliant savings um, and uh, we're going to go straight back to Barbara and see how she's getting on. There so my my findings you know when I put these things through their paces and I work out the sequence that's really what I do and I found that it was there is lots of different ways to do this if I want to make this one and this one right what I found was on this one it was it was easier for me to put the black in place first so if I for example we're talking about splitting the color now aren't we mm -hmm. so if I if I ink up this particular stamp, I love this one. Right, I've got different choices. I link this one up with a with a permanent ink pad, and then when I I come over, can you see this? Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So then I'm going to hover over the top, press down, and then press into the center of the stamp, and then just gently bring the edge round, and I should get a really good sharp image. Right, then that one. Oh, is that layer. Wow. Okay. So I've got that layer done. Now this layer is going to sit over the top like that. Okay. So what we're going to do now, I found, I found it, um, you've got to get your eye in to get the, the balance right, get, get the, it perfectly in the middle. But that's where the masks come in. Ah. So this time, let's take the smaller one and let's put the... Let's put the green one. I'm just using a different ink pad. I'm going with a Distress Oxide, okay. a Peacock Feathers, just because it's nice, right? And so that you can see that we want to change the colour. So let's use a Peacock Feather. Well, this, this is something up. I hadn't thought what about I'll changing do. the colour of the elements. Like you say, when you've got the individual stamps, so easy. So if I come to here, I'm just going to hover over the... See, the other thing is I can take my time a little bit, and I'm just going to hover over the top until I'm happy with the position, and then down I go. So, if it's not bang in the middle, it's really not important. It's just good enough, right? So now that's that's just, that's pretty well. It's it's on the disc. That will do for me at this point <laughs> in my life. I'm happy that it's even on the disc. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Oh, I do. I do. I just blame very right. vocals, but I don't own any. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now, this is where this mask comes in. If I just cover up the edge like so, this is where the masks come into the into play. So we're just going to pop that down, 
And now I want to put something in the middle, say. So I've covered up that edge with a mask. And now let's pretend I want to put my picture in. Okay. So I'm going to go black again now. I want to change the color of the picture. Lovely. So I'm, if I went with green, it's easy because then it's all one color. Same as if you do black, it's, you know, you, you, they blend into one another. Mm -hmm. But when you're using two com contrasting colors, then positioning is is more more important. For me, it's more important that the, let me just come in there like that, that will do. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. It's more important that the little dots are in the right place around the outside. I think that's what draws your eye in more. But of course the mask. lift this off. There you go. There you go. And the mask I has come away. It was, it was well, magic. that's handy. <laughs> I thought, where's the mask gone? Oh, I just thought right, to myself, good. where's the it's mask? Then I can replace it and it's ready for next time as well, which is great. Lovely. Okay, so that sits perfectly in position, and that's ready now to go. Um, so I'll put that one to dry because the green takes a little while to dry. Okay. And now this one sits on there. Gorgeous. So now comes the next stage. So this one here is actually the inside of that one. Do you see? Oh, I'm just yes. leaving that one there so you can see it. So it looks beautiful on its own. And that's the thing, I think, Hayley. They all look lovely on their own, but they look beautiful put together. They do. So now let's take our green then. And I'm going to get, I'm going to try it without a mask. Okay. Ooh. You could, of course, take the mask and put it straight over there. Mm -hmm. I wanted to point out as well, I got a little bit excited and I pulled off one of the dots. Okay. So all you've got to do is just don't pull so hard. Okay. <laughs> don't tug. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then hang on to the little bits because you could just take a pokey tool and just re reload it. It's fine. But it's easier if you just don't pull in the first place, Barbara. Right. <laughs> You got a bit excited So we'll add there. a little bit of green. Yeah, I did. See, so what we're going to do now is you're going to hover over the top. Let me come into this camera so that I can get my head over the top. That's the thing. I need to just, so I'm going to come in like so, and I'm hovering over the, and I'm just looking at two, two registration points. I'm looking up here and down here. Okay. Is my head in the way? Um, it was, but we don't mind. It's beautiful hair. Let me just let me just put it down so you understand what I'm doing. Perfect. I've got one I did earlier that's perfect, okay? Because I can feel I'm touching the card to get it right, and it's it's always a bit of a challenge when it's live, isn't it? Oh gosh, yes. Oh wow. Good enough. That's good enough. Good. So you see, but when it's exactly right, it's beautiful. It's just bang on. So you can see that that then sits on there. And that's how you end up with um, this layering, which I thought was really clever. Now, what, what Debbie's done is she's, used, look how professional this is. Look, she gives me all the instructions. She's used the Antarctica card. So I went into the Antarctica card too, and I found a different color. And what I did was I stamped onto it because I thought, I wonder if you could just stamp straight onto it. Oh. It looks so beautiful. Look. That's very effective. So I've done exactly the same, the same design like this, but instead of on craft cut on stamp board I've gone straight onto the designer paper completely different look and this then I've used Posca pens on the white but for example if I stick that down on there and then pop that on there then I've got that there beautiful isn't that lovely just a different different flavor I different love it. colors I love it and I have to say those gorgeous um, scenes that you've got there for the seasons Every time I look at these, I see a little bit more detail. There, I've just seen the little bunny rabbits at the base there. But I didn't see them before in the yeah, winter the one. Bunny rabbits. Well, we it, drew all these things, you know. I know. When we were, when we were in the shadows, there's a little bird in the picture. Look, let me show you up close. There's a little bird. Of oh, the nest. There's a nest. Yeah. In fact, when you look at the four, it's the same tree and the same picket fence all four seasons and oh. we literally just take it through the seasons it's really nice i love it now that one that i did oh I... yeah look at the winter one. Oh yeah oh with the little robins it's the same same tree but with little robins now instead of they've, they've That's hatched lovely. you're almost creating a story aren't you with those i love it barbara shall we let you get ready no. for your next demo 
Smashing. Yeah, Lovely. give me two minutes. Okay, we'll be back with you in a moment then. So just to let you know, of course, if you have just joined us, we are now on extended delivery with regards to this fabulous bundle. But it's good news to let you know that it's only the 4th of December. And as Barbara said there, they kind of got a little bit of a heads up. They kind of figured that it would go that way. So don't be surprised if it does arrive a little sooner than that. Now, the details on your screen will show you that you're going to get your 19 stamps. So all these beautiful stamps that you can see at the front there. Um, you've got your three stamp plates, 19 stamps in total and your three mask sets as well and I call them mask sets because as Barbara showed you there you've got multiple layers within those masks to kind of cover the different designs that you've got and so many different variations and ways that you can work with these because not only have you got those mandalas but you've also got the fabulous corners you've got wonderful borders to work with these and of course that incredible detail that you can see within here and of course Barbara said there um, that these are um, I mean you may well have been involved with the actual drawing and the doodling of these um, through the Facebook group but of course to do that over and over again it's going to take time and it's going to be something that you're not necessarily going to be able to do when you're creating your cards this shows you using that center point that we saw Barbara working with just a few moments ago but then the corners inverting them rather than having them perhaps a traditional way then you can see with that now this has got the illusion that you've got three dimension there but it is completely flat so it just shows you the way that you kind of encapsulating that square it does look as if you've got something that's been matte and layered you could just go in with the largest of those stamps there giving you all of those layers joining together or of course picking out the different elements that you want taking the elements of the frames taking those wonderful um, seasonal stamps that you've got in there and creating with them and of course when you start using your different techniques then you're going to get some incredible results very busy for these if you're wanting to get hold of these you've got half price saving in fact it's a little more than half price because you're saving 30 pounds but just spending £29.97 and and of that extended delivery stock 20% of the stock has gone 267479 I think is this the last show that we've got with Barbara today with this so yeah lots of you taking advantage during this hour so it's good to have your company now of course Barbara has arranged for some fabulous black tag event deals for you so we've got another 50% saving with the next item being those lovely texture stamps and as Barbara explained to you earlier on she was just recapping from the previous hour showing how incredible useful and versatile these are lots of you've been adding these into your basket and I don't blame you because you've got the versatility and the usability of these that they're going to team up so so well not only with the stencils but obviously with your mandala there's so many ways you're going to be working with these ones and of course the little gel presses that we saw uh, we we're talking about earlier on they'll work with these as well so 392742 you are getting all 12 of those good sizes with regards to these and of course when we start talking about the stencils and the masks and those fabulous techniques that Barbara shared with us then you can see that just having those two elements these stencil uh, not sorry these stamps and the stencils I'll show you, you will give you absolutely loads of combinations so do consider these so 392742 rapidly approaching 70% of the stock and as you can see there are 50% saving with regards to those so do add those into your basket and of course the stencils the stencils these are so affordable 80% of the stock has gone with these and of course when the stock has gone the stock has gone as Barbara said there the way that things are at the moment they can't actually ever get any more of these for us to have on an extended delivery so if you're wanting them now is your last opportunity um, as you can see seven by sevens there you've got your six different stencils there you've also got your little innies and your outies with these so you have got the fall away the mask with these if I can just suggest that you add in your 7x7 seven seven stencil card as well because that is perfectly sized to work alongside these and let's face it we're going to be making a flexi order with all of these fabulous goodies that we're buying during this hour and again that's just 15 99 for you to get hold of that 250 GSM so uh, 031511 if you want your stencils and at the bottom of your screen fabulous card stock Barbara's been working with talking of which Barbara are you ready for us? I am love. <laughs> Are you ready for me? <laughs> you could have been doing anything, then it came straight to you. Well, now you know. You wait. Now you'll see why I'm wearing an apron. Oh, I mean, say, yeah, I the aprons come on. For this one. Are we going to get messy? We're getting messy. Um, I just think the jelly plate, the gel press plate, is 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 just a delightful piece of kit. And on the show, I think because it's 
grow for us Black Friday and I think we've got them on a, a superb price. Um, these are the gel press plates and you can see here I'm using the largest one on its mega mount. When they come to you in the packet, I mean this is a little bit well loved mine, they come really beautiful see-through and clear. Right, mine's it just goes to show there's a lot of life in this old gel press. Well, this is it. Now, this is the largest is, one, isn't it, that you're working with here? This is the largest one. Which is this 8 is by the, 10? Um, 8 by 10. And it's got its own mega mount. See, because by putting it on the mega mount, you're able to use it as a stamp. And often that is so important, especially with the small ones. And also, with this, these particular stencils that we've got, you see, I want to make art that I'm going to chop up. So you'll see that just on an aside now, with the stencils, I'm going to use these two, but you'll see that all the ones that we've, if I can show you, if I take the heart, um, and maybe if I put it on the dark background, you'll see it better. Can you see how it sits exactly oh, in the hexagon? Oh, yes, hexagon? yes. Right? Yeah, you can just and see the hexagon. And in the same way, the heart will sit inside the square or the heart will sit inside the circle. The circle will sit inside the Clever. square. Um, the diamond sits in, this is, the diamond sits brilliantly inside the square. That's nice, look. yeah. Uh, not the diamond, the triangle. The I'm just saying yes, I'm just watching well. what's going on and not registering, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so cool, look, you see Ooh, how they yes. all sit within one another? Yeah. So you can get some fantastic, this kind of artwork. This is just using brushes. Yeah. This is, I love this. I love this. this now, this Barbara, is, um, obviously, you, we, we can carry yeah. on with these, but just to let you know, they are limited in stock now. We've got queues on the phone lines. Lots of you going for these. Some of you could potentially miss out on these. So if you've got them in your basket, please do not leave it to the end of Barbara's demonstration to check your basket out because you may suddenly find that they're no longer available. So if you've got them in your basket, check your basket out. You can always go back and watch the demonstration on Rewind. And if you're on the phone lines, I just hope that by the time we get to the front of the, the queue with you, that you still are able to get hold of these. So, yeah, website is the urgency with this one. So if you can order on the website, please do get hold of those. We're into single figures with these now as well, Barbara. Um, yeah, we need to get into that demo. Oh, Sorry, okay. Barbara. No, don't apologise. What you need is the gel press. What you need is the gel press. Let me show you, for example, what we're going to do. If I show you where we're headed, okay. like this is a really pretty little piece of artwork. Lovely. Right? And, and all it's doing, all I've done is chopped up the artwork from the gel press. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So, so when you, what we're aiming to get is this. This. Now you could do this with any of the shapes. You could do this. What the trick I'm going to show you? You could do this with any of the. Um, look. Any, of, any of the shapes. Shape. Yeah. yeah you know, I talk about the unpredictability of art. Look, you Beautiful. you can't guarantee what you're going to get. What you do get though is you 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 don't. I didn't start out getting that color. I started out. And I'm going to show you really bright like that. Oh, wow. You know, like white, orange and red. And then you just keep adding colors until you get what you're in love with. Do you, do you see? So it, what yeah. I'm going to do is show you how to use the stencils to get these beautiful blends. And, and the other thing is that for every positive, for every positive, you get a negative. That's a good you point. And I'll show you how we're going to do this now. I'm hanging on to that one, though, because that's my favourite. <laughs> you end up with your favourites. Right, so let me show you how this works. It's really, really... Um it's freeing. It's a kind of okay. artwork. Um, we just, just need to sell out those stencils, Barbara. Just uh, literally a few moments okay. of your time for this one. They have gone now. So I'm sure we will see stencils back in the future, but not at the moment. So we're going to have to say goodbye to those. Thank you to everybody that took advantage. But of course, Barbara is going to be working with that gel press. So we are going to bring that up for you. And this is a fabulous deal as well, as you can see on your screen there. Um, sorry, Barbara, please carry on. 
No, 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 no. And also, may I say, um, these paints are on the show as well. Oh, okay. These are um, just acrylic paint. Yeah, yeah, you got them on there. Lovely. And so these are the colours that, w the way they work, see, they kind of go in a sequence. I'm going to put down the yellow, then I'll add a bit of red, then I'll add um, a bit of blue and green to get a bit, and eventually I'll end up with this really beautiful, the colour that we all want, that Gorgeous. one. Gorgeous, okay. And then the white, is it lifts off the whole lot at the end. So let me show you how we do this. It's all about the stencil um, sitting on the, on the paint. So I'm going to stick to the square one, and we'll just add a little bit of yellow, and I'm using it on the mat. Can you see that okay? Yes, yeah, perfect. Let me come out a little bit. Let me come out a little bit. Oh, yes, that that's better? better. It is. So... Yeah? Yeah, lovely. That's better, isn't it? It is. Okay, so what we're going to do is use a brown craft mat, and then I'm just going to add a bit of yellow, like this, on there, right? Just to get an undercoat going. This is the undercoat. Then I'll take my, just to get the, my eye in, I'm going to take my stencil and drop it onto the wet paint. Right, and then I'm going to blot it with a piece of copy paper. You don't have to use copy paper. You could use card if you thought that this was going to be nice. I think it's just going to be a blotter, right? Then when I lift this off, obviously I've got an amazing print for silver or whatever, right? This is where you start to really get prints. Now, when I lift this off, right, this is the key here. When I lift this off, it's what's underneath ah. that we're in you see so when I pull this this is going to be a real subtle print but this is how it starts to work you see now where did the red come from yeah. I don't know it must have been on the print already because okay. I certainly didn't have the red but you see how the yellow now breaks the red down yeah so I've got some I've got some yellow on there now this time let's take a bit of red and you'll see how this works. It's, it's crazy. So I'll add a bit of, let's add a bit of red now, actually up there as well. Okay. So this I'm turning into a more of an orange, mm -hmm. right? Now we'll add a bit, just randomly. Okay. We'll add the red. Okay, let's do that now. Right, so when I do that, I'm going to take my stencil. It's all about the, the paint that's still on the stencil. Mm -hmm. If I pop that on there now, like so. Yeah. I'll do another, I'll pull another copy paper print. Okay. Right, just to get rid of the stuff in, oh, the stuff in the middle, right? And then what we'll start finding is, as we start to lift this off, we're starting to leave color down. We're starting to leave color down on here. Okay. Let me pull one more. The thing about this is, when you do this, it doesn't look very nice until you start to, you have to do two or three to warm up, Hayley. Okay. Right, so now we're getting there. Lovely. So we'll put that off to one side, because what, what you're going to do is you're going to start putting layers back on, right? So now we've got this one. Now let's go to a different colour. Let's, let's bring in a different colour now. I think I'm going to add a bit more. I've shaken these well, and I'm going to add some, some two, diff two different colours on here. And I've got a bit of red going as well. So now let's add a bit of colour like this. Right, so we've got some red going and we've got blue. And now we've added a bit more paint than before. So we'll pop this down on there like that. Right, this looks a bit dark and grungy, mm -hmm. but that's okay. So we'll take our copy paper and all the time we're looking for layers. Right, so this there was more paint on this this time. So when I lift this off, Ooh. you can see you're going to start getting more different blends. Now, what I'm interested in, and this is the point. Now we're starting, and now it's going to start getting interesting. What's under the stencil stays wet. That's the point. Okay. That's that's the whole point of this exercise. If you just think about that, whatever is under the stencil is what stays wet right. and that's what gives us the print okay See, so now if i lift this off and now i pull a print what what we're going to get is what was under the stencil mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit of a ridge 
See, now I've got choices. If I wanted to, because I've got it on the Mega Mount, I can turn it over. Of course, and I can yes. I'm placing it. Okay, so now you understand why we've got the Mega Mount. And you'll see, when you, when you do this, you can actually see what you're going to get. We're going to get a little bit of red. We're going to get a bit more of that echo outside. But you see, it takes a couple of runs, a couple of prints. Now we're cooking Ooh, the gas. Oh, yes. You see how you... St so what we're getting now is we're building up the area inside as well. And the more you do this the more you'll start to get those areas coming as well. At the moment, it's still quite um, blue and red. If I want it to go more into the greens, I'm going to have to start adding a little bit more. Let's go back to a bit of yellow again. So I just want to do one more layer, and then I think you get the picture. You, you understand do, how it works. We do indeed. Now, just while you're adding those paints, Barbara, uh, I just need to do a little bit of an announcement with regards to the mandalas because we have been very, very busy with regards to those. We are going to come back to Barbara, so don't worry about that. But the details on your screen are for those fabulous stamps that we've been talking about, the amazing deal that we've been sharing with you. Of course, we were talking about extended delivery with regards to this one, and we are now on extended delivery where these are going to be dispatched. We're saying the 4th of uh, December, um, but they they could well be dispatched prior to that, but just to give you an outside with that one. But 60% of the stock has gone. Now we've had it confirmed. I'm not going to tell you what Paul Church said when we emailed him, but we've had it confirmed that we certainly do not have any more of these um, that we can bring to you. So once they've gone, they have gone. So please do bear that in mind. We've probably got about eight minutes or so left within this hour. I'm um, going to go back to Barbara, but if you are thinking about getting hold of these at the end of the show, can you please take my advice, check your baskets out with them now, because I would hate for you to miss out on these, because we are not going to be getting any more of these. So there you go, 267-479 if you're wanting them, but get them while you've got the chance i.e. now. Barbara, apologies again. How are you getting on with that paint there? Come back now because I'm just about to pull Ooh. this wonderful print and this is where you see what I'm talking about. Yeah. So look, you, yeah. So what you end up with, see that was the one I pulled. So I put more yellow on than I probably should have. But, but where the, where the stencil was, you get this beautiful, see, and what's interesting is what was on there four or five prints ago starts to come loose. Yes, and so yeah. you end up with these really beautiful frames. Now, you may look at that and think, well, that looks like a holy mess to me. Not at all. And you've got to look beyond that. You've got to look beyond that. And then what you'll see is that you, you're starting to chop your artwork up. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. It needs to be dry. I mean, this acrylic paint dries quite quickly. So it's not going to be... It's, I'm not going to be too concerned about, you know, you can wait five minutes and it'll be done. Now, you've just shown the us paint the, on here. you just shown us that one that you pulled off your gel plate there um, uh, uh, just a few moments ago. Prior to that one, there was another one that you did where you kind of got the squares that were more filled in. Um, is it, that's the that one. one. I was just looking at that. It almost looks like a scene through a window, I thought, that one. You've got your sky oh, and your fields. It. Yeah, yes, absolutely. It looks like, so if, wow, yeah, Hayley. If you, you could quite easily you cut me, yeah. There, it's a proper scene, isn't it? Yeah. Look, if I put that down. Yeah, there, very like much. That. Oh, isn't that lovely? And that's almost accidental because you don't know how you're going to get those results when you're working with them. No, so this one, which is just a bit of copy paper, you see, um, yeah, so I've got bins of this stuff because I just get so, it's like you just go for a play. And when you, when you start out, these ones, you've got to build up the layers on the stencil because that's where the colour is on these ones, you see. And, and don't wash your stencil, just keep going with it, keep going with it. And you'll see, for example, here we go. With the round ones, they're gorgeous as well. If I show you, this is this is a gorgeous one. Do you know what was really interesting? I must have used the uh, backdrop stamp on that gel press oh weeks ago, and then out of nowhere, I was pulling the prints and look, it, it came so off. It starts appearing again. And was, I never saw that coming. I love right? it. So, and this one here, 
this is beautiful. This one um, is the last, the last one. When this is dry, see, I don't know if it will work. Let me just. It's worth a try. Okay. I think the thing with um, the thing with the gel press is that you've got to play. It's all about play. So I reckon that's pretty dry now. Let's Barbara, just put a bit of white on there. Can I, can I just ask yeah. as well? Obviously, you're working with that larger um, gel plate there. Could you do what you're doing yeah. there with the, the smaller gel presses? I mean, is this a similar technique that can be relayed through? Because I know that we've got um, a fabulous deal with regard to the smaller ones as well. Um, and uh, the petite, yes. should I say. And they come with the little mounts, the mega mounts, should I say, the 4x4 mega mounts. So I'm guessing everything that you're teaching us here, we could actually replicate with those smaller gel plates. Um, absolutely. The only the only reason I'm using the large one is because of the size of the stencil. Yeah. I wanted the stencil to sit within the within the gel press, but the the little ones are superb as well. Absolutely. So now, now just for example, just, watching, if, you, if you're about to look at those stencils that Barbara's referring to, sadly they have sold out, so you can't get a hold of those anymore. But of course, everything that she's teaching us here, we can use with those stencils if you already got them, or other stencils you might have in your stash. So now all I've done, Haley, I've cleaned my jelly plate, my gel press, with a bit of white. You saw at the end when it was what you would consider to be dry, I just put a layer of white paint on there, white acrylic paint. White's always it's your best friend, really. And then, but look Ooh. at that for a background. Love it. So you, I've cleaned off all those generations of paint and I've got myself a smashing background now. Love it. So, this is really good play, good play, healthy play. And and then the other thing is, you see, let me just move that out of the way for a minute. The last thing, of course, is that you, you chop this up. So when you start cutting it up, now where's that piece of lovely artwork that I did? I had it here. You know that piece that, it's in, I'm buried under this lot. <laughs> there is a, a really nice piece of artwork that I did. Well, tell you what, Barbara, while you're just well, looking for... While you're just Look looking for, for that, um, I need to give everybody an update on these mandalas. 80% um, of the stock has gone. I did warn you that once they've gone, they have gone. And you have heeded my advice there. Lots of you have been taking advantage of these and checking your baskets out. So there you go. The details on your screen there. We've got um, a little over five minutes left with the, regards to the show. Whether we'll have enough stock to see us right the way through. But is it still is it approaching limited stock? Oh, my goodness. Rapidly approaching limited stock now. £30 saving on these ones. £29.97. You're getting your three stamp sets, as you can see there, giving you 19 stamps. You're getting your 13 masks, sorry, not your 13, your three masks there. But of course, you've got your multiple masks within those, the way that they're configured. Um, and of course, you are getting all of that with that price because of it being our black black tag event 267479 barbara i think you found it if i from i understand rightly i have i have i'm just looking i'm just showing you some finishing tricks now because people the good people at home go well so we've had an hour of fun we've gone through loads of paint we're covered in it now what this is a magnificent stash for cutting and chopping up you see and you'll see now for example even that light one those bringing it full circle if you use those because this is acrylic paint though you do need to use an archival ink pad but you'll see that they sit as if by magic they sit exactly let me just ink that up on the edge there but they sit beautifully in this grungy background this would look so pretty let me just show you up close. Oh. It just looks so nice. And then all I've done here is added a little pencil drop shadow. And straight away, it looks as if you could put your finger underneath it. You see? Amazing. So, so that's the first thing. And then the other one I wanted to show you was this one. My oh. mum and dad. Always end, end with my mum and dad. Oh. And you'll see here that what I've done is I've just chopped up one of those nice pieces. You know, the like that, like the one that we just did, mm -hmm. except it was this one, right? And rather than, I didn't, I didn't, um, this is lovely. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut that off. That is art there, yes. like that. 
you see what I mean? You 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 have to you have to look at it, get a frame, get a hole in a in a piece of copy paper, and move it around. Like you said, look what you saw. You saw all the landscape in there. You know, this is this turns me on. This stuff turns me on. And if you take again, I need an archival ink pad. I could go black, or I can go the color that's in here, like a bit of brown, right? And I'll just ink up my mum and dad on the bench. Now I can decide, depending on how I want to make my card, do I want to set them like that or like that? You know, these little wee folk are just de delightful. Let me just make sure that it's right, yeah. So I test it, check where I want to set it. And these little people, I mean, they just speak volumes. It just speaks, it just says everything you need it to say. Don't need words, you know. And when you, and when you, you take your stickers and you, you look, maybe don't worry, let it go. Don't worry. That's, my mum and dad are really worried at the moment, you know. Yes, yeah. You know, and so, look, you just cut them up. There you go. Don't worry. Oh. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. Is it two words? That's all you need, isn't it? Those two words, those little kind of words of comfort. Yeah. And it's exactly as you say there, don't worry. And then you just pop that. And the background is actually the bit that you pull the print off. You know, the this stuff, it's this, it's the, the paper background. It's this one that you put on the background, you see, and that's how you end up with the, so they mix and match. You use the, the, the scrap that you've, the print scrap that you've, I've got so many bits of paper on this. Look at this bit. <laughs> Can I show this everybody those little wee folk? I mean, I adore the little cup. Oh, look at all of this. Um, I adore the little couple on the bench there. I mean, you, you call them mum and dad, but they could be any, they could be uh, brother and sister. Yeah. They could be any family scenario. Absolutely. And you can see with those wee folk, just as Barbara showed us there, you can be putting any of these fabulous little images. But you can see the little couple up on the bench there. Um, there. You've got obviously all these different characters here don't forget we have got a fabulous saving on these the details are on your screen we have also got your christmas set now barbara did work with these ones earlier on so if you wanted to get hold of these ones we have got a nice deal on these ones where again you are saving another five pounds oh, nice. but of course barbara we're going to just come back to you because you've given us so much inspiration during this hour you really have been amazing and there you go with her arms open <laughs> i love it there you go love it isn't it Love it. Be happy. Don't worry. Exactly. Barbara, thank you so much. When are we seeing you back on our screens again? Uh, but, Paul will be on next Thursday with the Pergamano show. Of course. We've got some fantastic stockings from Linda Williams, a, a beautiful kit. And then on Sunday, two to four, that's not this Sunday, the following Sunday, uh, I'll Sunday. be having my big Sunday with two to four and the ODS. Love it. Can't wait. Thank you, Barbara. Um, limited stock now with you, that Hayley. bundle. Always um, a pleasure. Get it while you can. My goodness, we're right up to the wire, but what a fabulous hour. We're going to have another lovely hour with cricket in the next hour. Emma is all red and ready to go. Can't wait. Fabric Street after that before back with the one day special. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. 
For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hello everybody, a warm welcome. We got the music back. That's only because Emma was rocking the moves. Hello Emma. <laughs> Hello. What, what happened to the moves? Oh, there you go. You got a fa oh, we need internet. to get you on Strictly, I tell you. Start <gasps> That's there. my life goal, to be famous enough that they ask me to go on Strictly. But oh, only let's... for that reason. Can we just stop there? You are more than famous enough to be on Strictly. <laughs> so if imagine? anyone is watching, I can imagine you on Strictly. That'd be good. <gasps> but I have a degree in dance, mm -hmm. so I think I'd be... No, no one would want me to win, don't, they? Don't say that. Say, I've never done it Keep before. It secret, I don't understand yeah. why I'm so good. Never uh, asked it now, before. we have got uh, more goodies from our Black Tag event. The, the price on this has blown me away. It is the lowest we've ever seen the Cricut Maker. And this is the first time we've seen the rose option, so the colorway with this beautiful rose option. What I'd say to you, and look, I know I'm a presenter here at Hochanda, but I'm also a consumer, and I've been looking at Black Friday deals, um, thing is, a lot of the time, Emma, you see a Black Friday deal and you're kind of like, meh. It's, you yeah. kind of see that price throughout the whole year and you're like, yeah. genuinely, we know the Cricket Maker, and this is what I love about this show, the whole year we've been featuring the Cricket Maker, it was 379 yeah. 
I, I even said I went into a department. I went into a department shop, a department store. It was three hundred and seventy-nine. It was just that is the regular retail price. So then you know you can shop with confidence that that thirty-four pound saving is an absolutely staggeringly good saving. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, if you want a machine, I think this this is the week to buy one. Definitely. <laughs> if you've been waiting, and we, you did have a really busy show earlier yes, on. Yes, we did. Yeah. And look, I get it because that is. It's a considered purchase. So what I would absolutely be doing, especially getting near to a big event like Black Friday, I would wait. And now we are officially on Black Friday. Yes. And I think, all right, now's the time. And you are here at Hochanda. There is a £34 saving. But what is it for just anybody who uh, may be new to cricket? Yep. Why? And you love. Can we just behind Emma? <laughs> when we say someone who loves her cricket machine, Look at everything that you have made, and it just keeps yeah. getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, because there's so many things you can that make with massive it. Massive stocking. Yeah, I made that earlier on the show this morning. That's... Um, if, if it's, you can probably personalise it with cricket, whatever it yeah. is. If it's clothing, if it's, you know, you want to, we're talking Christmas, if you want to personalise decorations, things like that. It just takes, for me, it takes my craft into another level. Yeah. And I can have exactly the things I want to make. Make your earrings with it? I didn't today, ah. but they're my Christmas earrings. Oh, they're very nice. <laughs> okay. Literally the one and only thing. One and only, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but t-shirt, um, yeah, I've made uh -huh. the t-shirt. And then some of these things are actually just from my house, like oh, from my Christmas decorations that I bought. This is amazing. Um, Let's well, get um, jolly. You've got hampers, you've got yeah. baby clothes there. You've got, yes. uh, well, everything. Cards, advent calendar, wreaths. The whole lot. I mean, the possibilities are so endless with cricket, and there's so many things you can make. Nice. It's really exciting. So, let me just tell you what you're getting here with the machine. So, brand new colorway. We've not a Ho Chanda ever featured the rose uh, option before. It's a beautiful. Let me just let me just show you there so you get to see it. And you have it's to show It's a lovely, the lovely colorway, and I will. I'm going to open that up. But it's a beautiful colorway. Yes. Now. This is what I'm about to show you, a statement of intent, the quality and engineering. I know that sounds very silly telly but you will see it for your own eyes. Look how smooth this is when I open this up. It just glides open, welcoming you to possibilities with your Cricut machine. So you are going to get both blades. So you're going to get your rotary blade. Now that allows you to cut your fabrics. Uh, and then you also get your other fine point blade as well. I'm right in saying fine point blade? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Fine, well, fine point blade that you get for your paper. You're getting both cutting mats, so you get your pink cutting mat for your fabrics, you get your blue cutting mat for your paper. Uh, you also get a few little samples, it's just a nice little touch if you just want to have uh, a little bit of play and get familiar with your machine. Just a few samples uh, in there as well. It is a core essential though. With your Cricut Maker, it's got Bluetooth capability. What I would say right now, the best thing you could do if you have got your eye on this, if you want to get hold of it, how can we access the library, Emma? Yep, so Cricut Design Space is the app or software mm -hmm. you want to download either to your smartphone or tablet or onto your computer or laptop. Um, it's free to download, free to use, and you can get playing right now um, and designing. You'll see a fabulous image library in there yeah. of over 100, I think it's now 170,000 images. Ooh. It goes up every week. <laughs> 170,000 <000 laughs> yeah. images. Uh, remember, you can upload your own images as well. So yeah. if you're a designer or you know, you've got a, a picture of your, your child's done, you can yeah. upload that and cut it out in vinyl and pop it on a t-shirt. Uh, you've also got hundreds of fonts on there and hundreds and hundreds of projects as well to get you started so, so you're ready to go but definitely download that now so you're ready when your machine arrives. Cricket Design Space, so what I would say to you if you're watching right now, even if you're not going to buy this machine today, if you've got a smartphone or a tablet handy, close to you, go on to, just download the Cricket Design Space app, have a little look. Just see the possibilities because what you can do with this machine, this is a professional machine. I've done lots of shows with Emma uh, and we've talked in the past, Emma, about the fact that a lot of uh, customers with a cricket have started businesses with this very machine. Yes, exactly. Starts as a hobby and then it's perfect for um, small business owners and mm -hmm. lots of small business owners are using it to either cut pieces for something that they make to mm -hmm. make it a much quicker and you know more money friendly yeah um, make it more economic exactly mm -hmm. um, 
or you can use it to, you know, personalise with iron on or add an added touch that you wouldn't have been able to do before because you'd have had to order a hundred of something, whereas you can just make one for somebody, which is really That's cool. That's the key, and I've never seen Emma wear the same top twice on TV, <laughs> and she always personalises, <laughs> and that's the beauty of the maker. Yeah. Because think about if you were to make sell or for yourself now, we've got a lot of us, we're spending a lot more time at home, yeah. so being able to buy just a, a very plain, say, T-shirt, yeah. And then personalising it and making it special, putting a quote on there, an image, you've got thousands to choose from. Yeah, exactly. It's a phenomenal machine. I've been doing a lot of trying to make things fun at home with my machine. So uh, last week, me and my boyfriend had a bowling night at home. So I made us bowling t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> and then I like made little labels for water bottles to be our bowling bits. I made a bowling a winner's badge. I didn't win, which was not fair. Uh, um, but yeah, and even made computer. like... Um, no, we pl we've rolled actually... juggling balls, yeah, to hit water bottles, and it was very high tech. <laughs> it was probably more skittles than bowling. <laughs> I am very impressed. But that's the key. You are going to be that friend that everyone comes up to and says, "Could you do this?" Yeah. Uh, okay. I just want to speak to you right now, and I, I will say this, but we've got a lot of you, and I really do mean a lot of you, who've got the cricket maker right now in your basket. All I will say, if you're a regular Taho Chanda. And I can say this with uh, complete confidence. The price we have on the show right now is the lowest price we have ever, ever fin uh, uh, featured the Cricket Maker. Also, we've got brand new colorway in the form of the rose and the real unique selling point with Hochanda, whereas elsewhere you might have to pay everything right now, you can split the price. So 115.33 today, and you can spread that cost over. This really is an incredible machine, and I guarantee you know I'll never say this lightly. Anyone who purchases this, you will never look back, and I know that from just experience here at Hochanda. How many of the team have got the Cricket Maker? It is a special machine. Right, we're going to move on uh, now. We've got exactly the same machine, but different colorway. This is your champagne option there. So I'm just going to show you the. Uh, I just tilt that forward, you can see that champagne detailing. So the only difference between the rose and the champagne is the finish here. So it's got a beautiful uh, champagne. It's kind of like a warm silver to the top there. And let's give it an open. Whoop, there you go. Do you know how Emma, and we've got to be really careful with branding, yeah. but there's a very well-known mobile phone. Yeah. And the minute you get it out of the box and you feel it, just everything about it, <clears> from the packaging, the styling, the touch, it feels like it's expensive? Yes. <laughs> that's how I kind of associate the Cricut machine as well. Yes, exactly. That's very important to Cricut. The whole, um, the design and the usability of how it comes, how you even open the box when it arrives. The box it's in is beautiful. Um, so yeah, that whole experience, that's really important. Yeah. And I think you can tell that from the quality of the machine. And no, there's nothing there is flimsy yeah. or... Everything about it, just the smoothness. And uh, look, once you start using it, again, I'm just... In, I apologize, I know I'm sounding a bit repetitive here, but we are very, very busy. A lot of you have got this in your basket right now. So if you have got this machine in your basket, what I will say to you, the best thing you can do, I understand this, consider purchase, just download, if you've got a smartphone or a tablet, download the Cricut Design Space, and it's kind of the best way to try before you buy, because you're going to be able to see all the different images, 170,000 uh, images on there. What I will say, Test yourself, so think about the kind of things you craft, uh, so type in the big ones, Easter, Christmas, or be random. If you know somebody, Sean, our floor manager, loves dinosaurs, just type in dinosaurs. Or if you know somebody who loves dancing and uh, yeah. loves to dance, so just <laughs> type in dancing. See the kind of so uh, different designs that you're going to get. Uh, do you need to point out that this is going to be uh, on extended delivery, it's just the time it takes to come to us, so everything we've got featured on the show will be dispatched on the 10th of December, but we do guarantee it will get to you before Christmas. So do not worry, you will have it before Christmas. Right, we're going to move on to, this is the Cricket Maker's little, little brother and sister. Yeah. It is the Joy. Tiny baby. And I think this is the first time we've offered the Joy by itself, just as a machine. Yeah, I think so too. Now, um, this is a very nifty little machine, 179.99. How, for the Joy, I mean, why do Cricket want to bring out the Joy, Emma? What, what hole does it fill? Um, for this, this machine, for me, is for everyone. So right. my brother-in-law, not a maker, he's, he's making t-shirts on there, he's making stuff for my niece, bit of it, ah. it's just for everyone. It's also portable, um, perfect for carrying around the house so that you can do projects on the go. Um, 
and great for kind of quick let's go to your phone it's got yeah, its own exactly. app as well. it has its own really simple app so you can yeah. use design space but it's also got its own app for really kind of oh yeah that's the label i'd like um type in what it's for and then cut it out and go um, but you can do your more advanced projects on there too it's great for vinyl and iron on um, great for card makers as well but it really is a machine for everyone it's a great little machine and it was immensely popular uh, when we first brought it to you not that long ago was it about march march it came yeah, out yeah march uh, right, 179.99 your price there. 155 814 your item number now. Another fantastic saving courtesy of our Black Tag event. This, all I will say, if you're going to be doing a lot, especially using the vinyl with your Cricut Maker, this is a must-have because what you are getting here is to edge to edge consistent heat. Uh, it's a the, the Easy Press is a phenomenal machine. Why, in your view, Emma? Why would, because you kind of, this changes how you work. You kind yes. of say this is more of an essential, really? Yes. Um, you're going to get really great results with this. Um, long lasting results and really quick, much quicker than using your home iron, which just doesn't heat up to the temperature and you have no idea what your home iron temperature is. So you can be really specific depending on which iron on vinyl you're using and which material you're popping it onto. Um, so you've got that kind of you know that it's going to work for your project yeah. um, and it's just really simple generally in under 30 seconds you can have your iron on adhered to your project so you're good so to go. thing is you can use an iron obviously with the iron on uh, vinyls but the problem with your iron just basic home iron is you don't get you get hot spots you won't get that consistent heat on the whole of the plate here the, what I will say with your easy press it is that reassuring weight don't don't feel that you can't lift it but it has got that reassuring weight if I just show you this digital element up here so you put in the heat that you want it to go up to so you know you're being precise there and that heat is consistent across the full plate edge to edge everywhere there you've got that consistent heat and it will also time you down as well so you put on you leave it and then it's got that weight as well which does make a difference and then it will bleep when it's ready and you lift off so it will give you that professional finish we got three flexi payments of 63.33 so today 63.33 uh, and obviously when this is dispatched it won't be today it will be the 10th of December uh, there and then obviously next month your second payment there as well now we have got lots of accessories and add-ons on our website as well do have a little look uh, you've got uh, lots of goodies. Have a look. What are you going to be popping into your basket? Uh, maybe you want your weeding tools. You want different blades. Uh, we've got lots of vinyl bundles as well. So if you do want to stock up, that is a consumable. Uh, we've also got options for the Joy as well. So do have a little look there. And there are all the Maker ones. Now, Maker bundles are very busy. Set 2 uh, has been very popular as well. It's nice because the amount of people who are going for the vinyl options just shows how big a fan base we have and community we have here at Ho Chanda with regard to our cricket maker. Uh, so it's, it is a community, Emma, isn't it? Yes, totally. Um, we do joke sometimes it's a bit of a cult <laughs> because yeah. everyone loves their cricket so much. In a good way. Yeah, <laughs> in a fabulous way. I mean, it's such a yeah, lovely, like friendly, helpful community. Everyone's there for each other, sharing their, each other's makes. And uh, yeah, it's just you've fabulous. Got your own, you've got your own group as well? I do, you? yeah. You it's called it the show? Cricket Club. Um, oh. But if you want any help, I'm there okay. <laughs> answering questions. And Brilliant. everyone in there is lovely. So, so what are we going to make, Anna? Well, I've got some little Christmas super pajamas. Oh, this How is cute. cute are these? I know. Um, so I thought we would put a little something on the front of these. Um, with iron on vinyl so that we can use the maker and the easy press. This is the way and what I love about the Cricut machine and at some point in my future I will be investing in the Cricut machine. <laughs> Thinking about Chanda, we do so many different crafts and busy and just life's got very busy at the moment but I want it in the machine just to be able to personalize and what I do like if you have kids you're going to be suddenly that parent or if you don't have to be a parent you could be uh, auntie, uncle, you know when it's like National Book Day Yes. And you have that kid that turns up to school and looks amazing. Yeah. That's going to be your kid. And they've only just told you like the night yeah. before, like, oh, I forgot World Book Day tomorrow. And you think, what? oh, no, grab a plain T-shirt out of the drawer, pop something on it, and you look like you've spent loads of money mm -hmm. and your kid is the best dressed in the playground. There's that poor little kid that's <laughs> gone to school with a bin bag. Mom, yeah. Mum and Dad didn't remember. <laughs> or the one that went in their school uniform. That's yeah. the worst, isn't it? Because <laughs> they forgot. So I've popped my iron on face down onto the mat, onto my sticky mat. Um, I've just used my brayer to make sure it's beautifully stuck. Uh -huh. And I'm going to load that into the machine. Yeah. There we go. 
And I'm just going to pick the material that I'm using um, on Cricut Design Space. I'm using foil iron-on, so I'm just going to click that. Um, and then it knows the perfect setting for foil iron-on, so okay. we don't need to faff around with any dials or anything. And we're ready to go. So I'm going to press the go button. Right. Let that do its thing. Whilst that's happening, I'm going to heat up my easy press. Okay. And this is how simple it is to work. I, I say something, Emma, that this looks like such an appealing setup to have at home. Your Cricut maker, yeah. your easy press, yes. special things can happen. <laughs> yeah, and you've got everything you need in the maker as well. You know, somewhere to put your phone or your tablet. You've got a little tool set, um, tool pot. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word there. Caddy, caddy. Yeah. Exactly, and you've also got, I call this the snack drawer, um, but it is to actually to hold tools, but sometimes I, yeah. I pop put sweets in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that's quite handy too, so it's everything's like there that you need. Yeah, so we've done our first layer already, that quick. Wow, um, that so quick. I know, I didn't even have time to talk Let's about this. Yeah. But that's okay, we'll pop the next one in whilst we're... Okay. Okay. What's setting up the easy press? Some impressive makes that you've seen that you've you've seen maybe in part of your cricket club community, and you thought, wow, that okay, that's really good. Oh, so many things daily. There's anything, something new. <laughs> anything that sticks that sticks out in your mind? Oh, um, all sorts. You know, there's like makeup artists that use it to make body stencils to paint people's bodies, or wow. for like you know. 3D pieces for magazine shoots, things like that. Uh, there's incredible, there's sewers. Didn't expect you to say that. So wait, we can make, yeah. we can make our own stencils? Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Love that. This is what I mean, it's so endless and there's so many different people using it for so many different things. You can um, also get paper cut detail as well. So when you think about the Cricut Maker, I know we're working with the vinyl, but look at this cut detail that you are getting. That's all achieved, so it will cut paper, it works through vinyl as well, you can get different blades too. Uh, it's the pressure that you get with the maker as well, and that's a big selling point. Yeah. Uh, and that professional finish. How, I mean, with regard, if anyone's worried that they're using the right blade, or will the machine tell us? How it will indeed. So all of that information is on the screen mm -hmm. um, when you pick your material, so it tells you which blade to pop in, or if you need to pop in a pen, anything like that. It's going to tell you, and then it actually ch double checks for you, so it can read a little sensor on the blade. And if you've popped the wrong one in, it's going to say, no, this won't do. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything else until you pop the right one in. So you really can't go wrong. Right, I've just cut around the um, vinyl that I just cut so that I can use that piece another time. Okay. And now I'm just going to weed this piece with my weeding tool. Lovely. Um, this is what we call the process of removing um, any excess vinyl. So yeah. this is a nice simple shape, so nice and easy to weed. Nice. A nice little tree. Okay. And get that piece there. So the weeding tool is one of my couldn't live without tools, yeah, yeah definitely. Because you just would spend hours trying to pick away at pieces else. Uh, we have got the tool starter kit at the bottom of your screen, so if you do invest in the Cricut Maker, it's well worth considering the $11.99 going for the tool starter kit. You can split that price, so if you've got the Cricut Maker in your basket, if you put that in as well, then it will split the, uh, split the price over three ways as well. And there's lots of other accessories on our website too. Okay, right. Oh, this is cute. So I'm popping a kind of base layer down, and then I've mm -hmm. got some wording to go on top because it's already got a lot going on here. Um, so my easy press is heated up to 160 degrees centigrade. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to change the time. So I just press the clock, and then the down button, and I got to 30 seconds. How do you know the time? Is it all yeah. standard 30 so seconds? Or will it change? Search for, it will change depending on which iron on you've got and what you're pressing onto. Okay. Um, so it would be a different temperature for, say, denim and glitter iron on than it would for cotton with normal iron on. But we can find all that information yeah, on the website. Just search the Cricut heat guide and you just pop in exactly what you've got and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. Perfect. So I'm going to press this one right now. So we'll pop our easy press straight down. We don't need to move it, we just keep it still. Press the green button to go. Um, you don't need to add pressure, just a gentle stand kind of lean will do. And it will count down for you and then when it gets to zero it will bleep. Okay. So we're almost there. So it's nice and easy. You know how long you've got. Nice. Just as we're waiting for that to count down, 
the amount you can do with the Cricut Maker it is phenomenal. I mean, it will change how you craft. I know that's a big statement, but just being able to personalize. So front of albums, done, there. Actually, speaking of done, I've just heard it bleep, so I'll yeah. head back to you. Yeah, <laughs> that was good timing, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm actually going to let this cool a little bit before we peel it off. Thing. Yeah, we like a little waft. Yeah. Um, Make sure you take it off of your mat because remember your easy press mat is pushing the heat back up into away from your surface. So this is nice and cool. Nice. Um, but if we leave it on there, it's going to stay warm. Okay. Let's take this piece out whilst we wait for that to cool, and we'll weed away this one. Now, as I say, with regard to the maker, if you're considering buying the maker this show, maybe even wait for the right opportunity. All I will say, just from a personal stance as a presenter, throughout the whole year, uh, I've been fortunate enough to work with them on a number of occasions. We've always featured the Cricut Maker, three hundred and seventy-nine ninety-nine, and that is the regular retail price just for the machine. So, and I get this because you know when you look sometimes and you see prices and then. Some some items they kind of up and down, up and down, but stable throughout the whole year. Cricket maker, you know that's how much you would pay. So this is a genuine Black Friday deal. Do take advantage. Three hundred and forty-five ninety-nine. The odds are, next time we feature the Cricket maker, it will be back up to three hundred and seventy-nine ninety-nine, which is what we normally feature it for. Do take advantage of the flexi payments as well, and that's another big aspect of shopping at Hochanda. You do not have to fork out uh, the full price up front. You can pay a uh, third now, and then you've got three, uh, two more flexi payments. So £115.33 pence today, we will send it all out to you. Just a reminder that everything on the show is on extended dispatch. It will be on the, 15th, uh, sorry, the 10th of December, but it will get to you before Christmas, so rest assured. What a present for Christmas if Santa <gasps> Santa is going to give you a present. Scream. I mean, if, any year you wanted to treat yourself, this is the year. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And it's a gift that keeps on giving because there's so much you can do with it. You know, I started as a paper crafter and now, you know, nothing is safe in my house from vinyl or iron on or yeah. we just use it for so many things at home. I have to say, first time seeing the rose, I really like it. It's a very... Um, I just tilt this forward just so you can see. I want to show you the rose just like that. It's hard to see the actual colorway, but let me just tilt it forward and you can see that there. It's a really nice, I bet, sorry, so it's open. But it's a very, very nice, um, it's kind of a supple rose. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, not It's an too elegant pink. color. I like it. It's not like a garish pink, is what no. I'm trying to say. I screamed when mine got delivered last week. Screamed ha with happiness? Yeah. My yeah. boyfriend thought I'd hurt myself. That's how <laughs> loudly I screamed. <laughs> I can imagine. You, you are uh, an absolute cricket super fan. Yeah, an addict, you could say, like obsessed. And I've been after the pink one for a while because oh. it just, you know, matches my hair. Yeah. So why not? Um, <laughs> I think this machine sums you up perfectly. Yeah. Is it? I think it would be the option I'd go for as well. I like it. I, this one is, I, and I know sometimes you sort of think pink uh, is associated typically for uh, maybe more of the girls, but not at all. This one is just an elegant refiner. I'm going to just keep that shot. Try and show you. There you go. It's really classy. And I do like it when you discover different colorways that are a little bit yes. different. Yes. And this one's quite rare. Not everywhere sells the pink one. So, yeah, yeah if that's the one you're after, then. Great. No, definitely go for it. Right. So I've weeded out my wording, so that's ready to go on next. Um, so I'm going to peel away. Now this is cooled, we can peel away. And you can see that's perfectly adhered to the front. Oh, yes. <gasps> How lovely is that? Is that professional finishing? Can we wash that? We can wash that over and over again. Yeah, Amazing. definitely. And, you know, I'm put, popping this on a child's top because it would withstand them running around and <laughs> doing everything that they get Cute. up to. Okay, I'm going to pop this over the oh, top. Oh, that's sweet. So it says Santa's, Santa's little, little helper. helper. And then I've got a little star as well, which I'm going to pop at the top of the tree. And um, to protect this layer that I've already done, I'm just going to pop the piece I just took okay. off back over the top of that. And I suppose when we would iron it, once you turn it inside out. Yeah, exactly, yeah. like you would with your normal T-shirts yeah. with anything on that you've got from the shops. Mm -hmm. So again, we go down on top, same amount of time. It's funny you say from the shops, because the only way I can describe making something, especially using the Easy Press, 
it's like it's shop bought, the professional yeah. finish. Yes. Because in the past, I bought like stag do's years ago. I remember I was best man, and I'm going somewhere with this. I had to make stag do t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. So I put them on. It was very hit and miss. Some worked, some didn't work so well. Yeah. But by the end of like a night out, they're peeling off, and <laughs> yeah. just, it was very, very yeah. poor quality. Yeah, exactly. Whereas this is the quality that you would buy, definitely, yeah. because it's the way that these things are made in the shops. But for for us to make at home on our own, market, yeah. yeah, exactly, which is really cool. All right, I'm just going to peel that carefully, and then with glitter iron on, I can peel straight away because that's a hot peel, so I don't have to wait for that one to cool. There we go, nice. and there we go. That's that one done. Oh, I always do that. Turn it around. There you go, Santa's little helper. Oh, how that's cute is that? Very cute. And of course, Santa. you could pop a name on there on the. Oh, how cute would a, like a family name on the back be, oh. and everyone in matching? <gasps> it would be adorable. That's so cute. Yeah. So, being able to personalise, having that professional finish as well. Do you know what would be nice? Some point this hour, maybe we'll challenge. Uh, we'll challenge Emma. We'll have a look at Design Space, and we'll give you a random yeah, theme or subject, course. and we'll see what we can yeah, discover. Yeah, we can Should do, we that? do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, we're going to show you the Rose Maker. This is the first time we have ever brought you the Cricut Maker in the Rose option. So the only difference being the color option, if I just tilt that forward and just show you. So there you can see that is your Rose. It is a beautiful, elegant and distinguished color. Really, really nice. Got a lovely metallic sort of finish to it. It's subtle. But then when you see the Maker, now what you're getting here, you are getting the Maker it comes with two blades, so you've got everything you need to get going in the sense that you're getting both cutting mats. The blue mat is for your fine point blade, which cuts your papers, and then the pink mat is with your rotary cutter, and what the rotary cutter allows you to do is to cut your fabric. So if you are a soft crafter, you're covered. You can start creating your own blocks. The maker will cut them all out for you. So imagine that. Imagine customizing and creating your own blocks or applique designs. Equally, the blue mat allowing you to cut papers so then you can design your own beautiful, uh, having a look here, your cards. If you want to find a design, you've got 170,000 options to choose from, roughly. So when you think about that, you're going to find the design you want. It's like having a massive library of designs. Uh, you can also, can you make your own designs too? Yeah. yeah. And upload your own images if, you've, if you're a designer or you can digitally draw or scan something in. Yeah, of course, or take a photo of it even and you can upload it and then, yeah. Yes, the, genuinely so much you can do with this. So, Cricut Maker, all I will tell you is the lowest price we have ever featured this. I've done shows with Emma throughout the year and it's always been $379.99. So rest assured, this is a genuine, genuine black uh, tag event. You've also got three flexi payments, $115.33. So everything I've shown you here applies to our champagne option. The only difference being the actual colorway with your champagne. So we're still featuring this phenomenal Cricut Maker at a fantastic price, $345.99 there. So I will just tilt forward and show you the difference between the, uh, the rose and your champagne. So there we go. You've got more silver tones coming through here, equally as elegant and stylish as the rose. And we'll open that up. Ooh, yeah. It's so smooth. Uh, 091641, your item number if you want to go for the champagne. So, here's the thing, you've gone for your Cricut Maker, now you're going to want some vinyl to have some fun with. We're just going to show you details for set number one. Come back here and we will have a little look. So, seeing up here, this is your set number one. You've got, now that is swanky. <gasps> These are new, those two Ooh, in the middle. How cool are they? Those. So, seeing all the options here, with our iron-on vinyls, uh, we've just seen how easy it is to use. So, just taking a little look. So there we go, uh, you've got your blues. It's kind of like an iridescence to that as well. So yeah. that's your set number one. I've got something in my throat, it's a peanut. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna cough. It's nothing Emma to worry about. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm good. It's, you only feel you got something, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna move on to set number two. Down here? No, along here, sorry, along here. There we go. So set number two, this is a bit jazzier. So we've got uh, sort of golds in there, we've got purples, Emma, silver. Yes, this amazing ones. Would, I, I think, coordinate with your hair beautifully. Yes, definitely. I love that um, 
the rose bubbles, that new one. Yes, that one. This oh, is nice. new and I am obsessed with it. Whoa. It looks so cool. Imagine that with your rose machine. <gasps> yes. Uh, Colour coordinating. Okay. <laughs> uh, now we're going to go to set number three which we're having a look at here. So beautiful red. You've got your sort of shimmer metallics in there as well. Now, there are savings across every bundle. Uh, black tag savings as well. So good savings. Saving seven pounds here. That's set number three. Uh, this is set number four. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's your shimmer gold. Uh, you've got your seasonal Christmas vinyl in there as well. So that's your set number four. Uh, OK, now as we go back, along here. I will be quick, uh, but it's just nice to see the options live. This is your set number five. There's holographic crystal elegance in there too. Yeah, so really, those really nice. are new. They're cool. Really you know, crystally. Each, each set has something appealing. And I'm looking at Emma and her eyes are just lit up as she's looking at the vinyl. You can see this. <laughs> you, you won't get your hands on it. Uh, let's move on to set number six. <laughs> set number six. So nice green. I mean, look at the holographic on that. Ooh. And here as well. You've also got textured metallic. That is so elegant. Look at ah! Oh, imagine that on a T-shirt. Okay, that's set number six. Then we've got set number seven. All have savings. What I would say, I know we're whipping through these, but go onto our website, use the Hachanda app, and you'll be able to see all the options uh, at your own leisure. So there we go. Set number uh, seven, and then we've got set number eight. This is your final set. Wow. Look at that. That's a neon and a half. So there we go. This is your set number eight. You're getting all of that that you're seeing on your screen. Saving uh, eight pounds, 406, 932, your item number. Do you go onto our uh, website? On the website, you'll be able to see all the different options that we have with regard to the vinyls. They all have savings on them. Just going to move on to the Joy. So the Joy is a great access point, or you can use it as a secondary machine as well. It's the first time that we featured the Joy by itself. Just showing you the details on your screen, 179.99. Three flexi payments of £60. I mean, £60 today, your first flexi payment, and you can look forward to this winging its way to you. 155814, your item number. Now, something else to uh, show you. If you do want to get the carry case for the Joy as well, uh, we've got that on your screen. £34.99 the price, saving £5.295490 your item number. Also have the Joy starter kit for you. Just going to have a little look there. Uh, that's your spatula, your weeder and your scraper. 11.99 the price. 973823 your item number. Uh, now we've got the Easy Press for you. Let's have a little look. So Easy Press we've seen in action. The Easy Press gives you such a professional finish. Yes, you can use your iron at home, but it's really hard to get it to the right temperature. With the Easy Press, you've got that digital display. There is the heat guide on the Cricut website. So the Cricut website will tell you, depending on the vinyl you're using, the fabric that you're adhering it to, it will tell you the precise temperature and also how long to leave it on for. You also get that edge-to-edge -edge heat as well. So it's that consistent heat across the whole plate. I know this sounds, and I, I just, when I joined Hochanda, one thing I didn't want to do is become one of these selly telly presenters and hear all the things, but genuinely these are important points that you need to know. Having that edge-to-edge -edge heat is really important because what it does, it enables you to get that professional finish. And you can see here, nothing's going to be peeling off. This is in my size, it's perfect. There we go. Uh, oh, naughty nice I tried. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is jokes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't see what was written on there. I love that. I'll totally rock that. Uh, okay, we're going to uh, just tell you a few more uh, options as we head back to Emma. There is the uh, mat for your Easy Press as well. So if you do want to get it, so the Easy Press too does not come with the mat. You need to get that mat. Uh, Thirty-four ninety-nine the price. If you want to get a hold of your mat, saving five pounds zero six eight four one six your item number. We also have a self-healing mat for you. This is a big boy, twenty-four by thirty-six inches. Woo! Uh, now we've only got the blue uh, option there. Six eight five six nine eight your item number. Uh, what we're going to do is head to Emma. I just want to remind everybody uh, that everything we have on the show, it's on extended dispatch. It will be dispatched on the 10th of December, but it will get to you in time for Christmas. What are we going to do next? <gasps> I thought we would use um, Joy, Joy. Yeah, to make some uh, 
Christmas gift tags, okay. some sticky ones. Um, because one of the great things about Joy is that there's lots of these smart materials that don't need a mat. So we can just pop them in as they are and we're good to go. Um, which is really cool and makes it really quick and easy to make a project. So I'm going to use the pens. Nice. And this is the uh, writable adhesive paper. Um, no, writable label. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> writable, yeah, label paper. That's right. Um, so this is great for labelling everything at home, but also um, a nice, quick and easy way to make gift tags. So I'm just checking my screen because it's going to tell me which pen to pop in first. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop in the black pen. So all I'm going to do is take out the blade and pop in the pen into that same port and just close that clamp. Now it's ready to go and I can click go on the computer. Mm -hmm. Um, it connects wi um, by Bluetooth, so there's no wires or anything like that. Um, you can cut from your smartphone or tablet if you want, or the laptop. And you can see it's set off on its way. It's drawing some bits and pieces, oh, and yeah. then we'll change the pen, and then we're going to cut out as well. So see okay. a nice, quick, kind of lovely design. And it's nice hearing the story you were saying. Your, is it your brother-in-law? Yes. Uh, uses the joy all the time. Yes, so my sister-in-law bought the joy for herself, mm -hmm. um, but my brother-in-law got so bored of waiting for her to be free to make him some t-shirts, he just downloaded Design Space himself, connected it to the machine, That's and it. Yeah, made, it makes his own t-shirts. So you yeah. could be sat in the living room, Yeah. literally you've got your phone, your tablet, find the right designs, now yep. think about this, being able to, it's like what you're saying, with you and your boyfriend, you had a, uh, genius by the way, you had a bowling night, <laughs> yeah. and when you said bowling night, I thought you liked doing it on the computer, but you actually no, no. made your own yeah. skittles. Yeah, and put labels on them with the cricket, we had bowling t-shirts, all made extra touches with the machine, because it's so quick and easy to do. Okay, crafting wise, think about how much you spend on presents, and I'm just off the top of my head, so I've got lots of nephews and nieces, uh, friends, whose families are growing, so being able, not just getting a present, but suddenly this is Mia's present, or Taylor's present, yeah. uh, or Thomas's present, you're personalising everything. Yeah. Yeah. And with Christmas this year, we want it to be extra, extra special, right? So if you can personalise all of the bits on the Christmas table for everyone, you know, my, why not put um, iron-on onto serviettes with people's initials, or, oh, um, you know, nice. all those little bits, little touches that just make it extra special and extra lovely. Well, do you know what, I'm just showing you, just picked up, and if you if you're a card maker, you're covered. If you're a soft crafter, you've got your rotary blade which will cut fabric, so now we can cut out our blocks, and you've got lots of 3D makes on the website using the Cricut Design Space. That's a cool card. I was thinking about Marcus, our director, because he's known here at Hochanda. He's a very distinguished man. He likes to have his mono monogram on everything he wears, on a, on a handkerchief. So yep. being able to do that, yes. I think it's nice. He's, yeah. he's, He's one of those classy guys. <laughs> Walks around with a cane. Yeah. <laughs> well, he could put vinyl monogram on the cane. Could do. Yeah. Marcus, we could do that. <laughs> you can. Yeah. He doesn't need it. He just likes to walk around with it. I think it makes him look distinguished. <laughs> yeah, you really have got everyone covered in the family and I'm finding my family are all getting machines now even my brother who's been like oh whatever Emma I don't know what this cricket thing is he actually calls it cry cut to annoy me and um, which is <laughs> because well, it's not right it is cricket the um, first time I <laughs> read it so when I joined Hochanda we have to do a menu yeah. I literally just joined Hochanda. I said, so coming up, we've got cry cut. You know, so it, <laughs> yeah. people do fall into the trap. Yeah, and know. it's especially with our accent, but yeah. no, it is cricket. Yeah. But yeah, he's getting a machine this week, so I'm going to be 24 hour cricket support to him, no doubt. Amazing. He's decided he's got tons of projects to be making with it. So That's yeah, great. it really is. Um, everyone. Everyone I know now is, <laughs> now, is we, being infiltrated. We do have some vinyl bundles for the Joy as well. So if you do want to get some vinyl, and obviously once you get your Joy, you want to play with it. Uh, so twenty nine ninety five your price. This is your white and gold collection. Nice, classy. Five one zero eight two four your item number. If uh, black and silver, and maybe more up your street, we've got that for you as well. Twenty nine ninety five your price, saving six pounds. Five four zero eight seven zero your item number. Also got the basics for you. Nothing basic about this though. It's more like an essential colorway. Uh, so your basics collection, twenty eight ninety five your price, one hundred three eight two your item number. If you like a bit of glitz and glam. It sums up our Emma. There we go. Uh, Forty-one ninety-four. Your price saving eight pounds. Eight eight three four three zero. And we also have a red collection for you. Finally, uh, this is the red collection. Very quickly. 
Here it is. So thirty-one ninety-five your price for your red collection. One eight one one two seven your item number. Nice mix. How are we getting on it? Good. I've just changed the pen to the red pen. So now I'm going to tell it I'm ready to go again. Nice. We'll just finish off the writing. Okay. So I've done all of the design in black, and now I'm just writing the names for my labels. So um, to cool. Holly, my best friend from Emma. Um, with the pen. Look at this right. There is no way I could write this beautifully <laughs> or it would take a lot of time and concentration oh, <laughs> but the machine nice. has got me covered and how lovely. That looks like I've got a professional lettering artist to <laughs> write that for me. Everyone needs a Cricut machine in their life. They Whether do. it's the maker or the joy, they, they, are, they are amazing. Yeah. There's just so many areas, you know, everyone in the family will have some use for it. Um, my boyfriend's into Warhammer, which yeah, is a yeah. you know tabletop gaming, yeah. um, and you have the small models have pieces of scenery, and so last weekend um, I was tasked with using the maker to create um, kind of Egyptian pyramid thing that we cut from balsa wood, and it was wow, yeah because you can cut different materials. <laughs> yeah, you can. You yeah. are like the perfect girlfriend. No. <laughs> Don't know about that. Uh, we had <laughs> a question. We had a question in from Sue, and she just wanted to know with regard to the t-shirts, um, yeah. does it need a certain material? What do we need to work with? No, with iron on, you're good to go with any material. Um, just as long as it's not going to melt. So yeah. just double check that. But most t-shirts, your jumpers, you know, we've used felt. The, the stock in there is felt. Denim, so it will work. Denim, yeah. yep, all of those things. Okay. Even soft toys with a short kind of um, fur, yeah. um, they, that will work too. Oh, yep. okay, cool. Definitely. Okay, I've popped the blade in, so now we're just going to cut out our labels. Right. Um, this is nice. After this, shall we, we test you and have a look at some different yeah, themes on the design space? Yeah, and I'd like to show you some of the projects on there as well, because mm. we've got some great stuff on there at the moment. And see and the beauty is, once it's going, we can walk away, make a cup yep. of tea, come back. Exactly. Yeah. I really like the joy for um, crafting in front of the telly because my Perfect. maker's a bit big to drag yeah. all the way downstairs every time I want to just do a little something, whereas the joy is perfect for, you know, on the coffee table, yeah. good to go. Oh, do you know, there's going to be a lot of envious people watching right now <laughs> thinking of you at home with your maker, with your, your joy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Your easy press. It is my job. <laughs> so here we go. We've got these lovely labels. Uh, let's pick this one. So this is adhesive paper. Oh, then so all we good. need to do, we can just pop it on top of a gift box. And, oh, let me go. Okay. Emma. How cute is that? That is so good. Let me so show you good. the other ones too. So, so I could have done a whole page of those, peeled them off, popped them on. And same principle with either the maker or the joy. Yeah. I absolutely love that. Yeah. Right, I tell you what we're going to do, Emma. We're going to test you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go into our Cricut Design Space. And this is the thing, it's the best way, because Design Space, it's free to download. So just go use your app, your computer, your tablet, uh, open it up, download it. Uh, open it up and just explore because you don't have to purchase a machine to see the possibilities. If it captures you, then you know you're onto a winner. So I'm going to test you. The first thing, this we look at the design space. Yeah, we're in there. I love. What's that one with the face? Is that a corgi? Yeah, it says miss your face. <laughs> oh, okay. Now instantly, <laughs> I'd be using that. I mean, that's <laughs> funny. I love it. I want. I want to make something with that. Uh, you've got look. Okay, so dogs. Just type in dog. Oh, we've definitely got thousands for dogs. Any dog lovers? I just do dog. Um, 1,318 dogs. Okay, so we're, we're well covered there. A fair few dogs. <laughs> what about what about cats? Because I know we've got cat lovers out there. Let's put cat in. Oh, slightly less cats, but still lots of cats. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> How about superheroes? So let's say you oh. know somebody who loves their superheroes. Um. We've got lots of like superhero quotes. We've got, um, you've got figures in there as yeah, well. Yeah, masks. Now, you've got 3D projects because you can, I remember you showing, yeah. you actually made uh, masks, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Well, let's type in 3D and you'll see okay. some of the gift boxes and these are a bit trickier to see because they're flat. But, but you've got like your 3D flowers, your bows, things that can slot together. Um, some of these pieces are intricate you know, glue all your pieces to make Brilliant. 3D sleighs, things like that. Okay, so paper crafting recovered. What yep. about soft crafters? If I like to make quilts, have we got any blocks oh, yeah. and stuff we Tell can Tell you make? what, let me show you in projects, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, let me just change my machine to maker. Yeah. And let's go 
Oops, sewing. Um, these are some of the sewing projects. Oh, what's I... that dog up there? Just there, yeah. <laughs> a Christmas wreath for your dog. This it's is common. incredible. That's what you've always Can we just like... click on that just to see We it can make bigger. it bigger, yeah. Look! Oh, come <laughs> just on! Just see if there's any... <laughs> don't know how happy the dog is, but that's just genius. I love it. Um, here's, like, here's please a... don't take a picture and show the world. <laughs> here's a quilt, for example. All yeah. the pieces um, there. I'm sure it will show us. Will it let me see the pieces? No. So that, that would have been that's all cut out for you? Yep, all the pieces, and it's even telling you here in the project uh, what fabric you need and how to pop it all together. So that how cool is that? It's amazing. Um, so if see... we look up here as well, uh -huh. we actually um, have some famous, a famous face on our... Uh, oh. Zoe Deschanel has some projects in design space that she's designed, so yeah. um, that's quite cool. Nice. But you'll see there's all sorts of really lovely um, Christmas projects, all sorts of bits for everyone. So if okay. you want a starter base, then you're good to go. Or if you want to start your project from scratch, you're, yeah, nice. good right, what's to the, search on that. What other projects have we got then? What other things can we discover? Oh my discover? goodness, all sorts. Uh, let me see. <laughs> there's so much. Uh, oh, so many things. Let me find. Where's the home one? It says lots of cool cushions. Yeah. Just chill. Yeah. You've got dinosaur cushion there as yeah. well. Yeah, pop your bits on. Um, you know, even like intricate clocks and all sorts of things. These are cut out of balsa wood, glued together, but all of the pieces. What kind of things can we cut, Emma? Because we talked about yeah. fabrics and paper, balsa wood, yeah. leather. Yep, leather. Uh, so, yep, the maker, if I go through the list, I'll so I forget. <laughs> your papers, your cards, your vellums, um, card stocks, as in your mirror cards, your glitter card stocks, yep. all those things. Uh, then, of course, your vinyls and irons, iron-ons, all of your fabrics. So, whether that be faux fur, your leathers, faux leathers, mm -hmm. um, felts, cottons, um, all sorts of things. Why do you say vellum? Because vellum's a hard one to cut. Yeah. You know, if we use a die cutting machine, yeah. a lot of the time we struggle and then we have to go in with a pair of scissors or parchment. Yeah, no, we can do. But because remember, the machine has the ability, if we popped two pieces of sticky tape, clear yeah. sticky tape, on top of each other on the mat, it would own, we could tell it to only cut the top piece of tape. That's the precision that the machine what? has. Yeah. That's, uh, I <laughs> yeah. can't get my head around no, that. No, I can't. That's but ridiculous. It's <laughs> yeah. You will only cut the top yeah. piece of tape. Yeah. Wow. Can you just just behind? I'm just conscious you've made some beautiful things. So we we start some picking things. them up and showing. Yeah, of course. Let me grab. And this is what you could be um, doing at home. So we've got like mugs, nice. Oh, yeah. um, also advent can, calendars. Can we put that in the dishwasher? Um, we can't because we can't test every single dishwasher and every single yeah. detergent with every single vinyl. Enough, yeah. We don't advise it. Um, hand washing, it will definitely stay on. Okay. But I have a few that have been through the dishwasher and are fine. So just use your own discretion. Okay. That Love one. that. Okay. So um, yeah, advent calendars are nice and easy. Um, just to grab some. You know, we've not got many days left until yeah. advent starts. So you know, grab your blanks, pop your numbers on, and then fill with gifts. Perfect. Uh, what else can I grab? Uh, these are cards made on the joy, um, and these oh, are really cool because you fold the pieces back on themselves, so you can see it's got Looks that like it's been woven. lovely dimension, yeah. Can you see that big stocking that you made? Did you make yeah. that earlier on today? <laughs> yeah, let me grab that down. Yeah, that's what I made in the first show. I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. I'd be so pleased if this was my stocking. Whose size is that? It says, exclusive, nice list only. <laughs> Uh, so you've got your glitter iron-on and your holographic sparkle as well on that one. This, and this is the thing that makes the iron-on so special when you yeah. start going through it. So, and you can put onto wood, I'm seeing in there. You can make yeah. your own decorations. You can make your own advent. We see the baby clothes. That's sweet. Yeah. So if you know anyone, maybe. I'm sorry, this does say 2019, one. but... <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, baby's first Christmas. So how oh. cute to be able to personalise that. And literally, as soon as you hear the news and you hear the name, you can yeah. pop a name on. Done. Um, again, glitter. And oh. they're, they're going to wash and be perfect for babies to wear, That's too. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. And I'll tell you, so um, I was telling everyone yesterday that, so we're expecting, my wife and I, and we were talking about this, expecting a baby. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I was told everyone yesterday, so we, we kind of announced <laughs> it. And uh, during a couple of weeks, 
But we, we looked, so some friends gave a present and they uh, sent us a little baby grow and it just said Baby Morgan on there. <laughs> but, you know, you personalise that. You're paying yeah. serious money. Being yeah. able to do it exactly. yourself is so nice And that have. quick, you know, if you can arrive, well, when you can arrive at the hospital with a, that gift or arrive yeah. at the house when, once that's possible or send it in the post with that name on to be that speedy. You know, you've not got to send away for it or order it online or anything like that. You've just got it there as you're we, running out the door. We all love that personalization. I mean, it's not just for kids. I mean, big kids. You put someone's name on the back, you love it. If you've got a nickname, if yeah. you play sports, it's yes. brilliant to be able to personalize uh, sports t-shirts as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, right, so just going to give you a quick update. Uh, we are busy on our makers. So we've got the rose option. This is the first time we've ever offered you the rose option. So it's new to Hochanda, just going to show you here, that's your rose option, so there's the rose colour in there. You're getting the fantastic Cricut Maker at the best price I've ever seen it featured on Hochanda. So if you, Jenny, if you tuned in today, I know so many of us are looking for Black Friday deals, this is the lowest price we've ever featured it. Here at Hochandra as well, you can spread the cost over three months too, so your first flexi payment is £115, is it? Just work around. Uh, 115 pounds and 33 pence. So you pay that now and then you've got two remaining payments. Spreading it across three months, saving 34 pounds. You're getting your uh, rotary cutter for your fabrics, you're getting your fine point cutter for your papers in there as well, and both mats. Uh, we also have the champagne option, so maybe you prefer the silver tone with the champagne option, just to show you here. So that's your champagne option. There we go. It's like looking at it, it's hard on uh, to see with the cameras, but it's like a warm silver. That's how I describe that. So there we go. Uh, 345.99 your price, 34 pounds savings, 091. And uh, you find out. Uh, 641. Uh, just moving on, we've got the Joy. Uh, first time we've offered the Joy at uh, just as a, on itself as a single machine. Just using it, seeing Emma use it, the possibilities here. 179.99 your price. Again, we have got those three flexi payments as well, so do take your advantage. Flexi payments really do help because, you know, £60 today is a lot more digestible than paying it all in one go. They're interest free as well. Uh, 155 814, your item number. And then we have our Easy Press. And what the Easy Press does, it gives you that finishing touch. If you want to make something look like it's been shop bought, uh, the finish you get with the Easy Press, it really does make a difference. So if you've ever tried to make uh, clothes or use sort of iron-on products before in the past and it's not worked, I think a lot of it is adhering to the right heat. So with the Easy Press, two things. You can go onto the website, the uh, Cricut website, and there's a heat guide. So you just type in the vinyl that you're using and the fabric, and it will tell you the temperature and how long to put it on for. You can be precise with that. Uh, and also, it is that consistent heat that you're getting. So it is edge to edge going in. So it is, look, it is a great machine. You leave it, it does the job and gives you that professional finish. And there's a 30 pound saving and you've got the flexi payments in the mix as well. All I can say is hand on heart, anybody who's made a purchase sound, we have been so busy. You are not, and I really do mean this and I would never say it unless I meant it, you won't be disappointed. And I can, I'm excited for you. The Cricut Maker, at some point in my future, I will be purchasing one. Just to personalize, uh, I just think the possibilities are incredible. And it's funny listening to the team, and so many of the team do have a Cricut Maker, and those who don't want one. Emma, it's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, thank you Should so much for having me. I mentioned to your group as well, if anyone's gone for the machine and want to join your group or got one, how yeah. do we find you? Um, the Cricket Club, and but also there's tons of groups, especially uh, if you're in, I wanted to give a shout out to Cricket Island group and the Cricket Scotland group, if you're in those areas yeah. and want to find close to you friends <laughs> of Cricket, right. but yeah. You genuinely, you've made a lot of friends in the groups just with your Cricket yes, machine. Yes, loads, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes a difference. Emma, thank you so much. Oh, I've really thank you for it. having me. Uh, have a great Christmas. I think thank I'm going you, to see and you. And I'll see you in 2021. Yeah, Hopefully and good luck year. with your baby. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, so, thank you so much for joining us. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. Uh, we've got plenty more coming up. Don't forget, we're currently in the midst of our Black Tag event. So many goodies at great prices, so do not miss out. See you in a bit. Oh, Fabric Street Black Tag event with the lovely Paola. Don't miss that. After there, we have Heartfelt Creations. Uh, and then we've got Paper Crafting Black Tag Bonanza. Lots to enjoy here at Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? 
It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a channel. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop and we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on Hachanda.
Good afternoon. How are you doing? We have got the Black Tech event uh, running through, and of course, uh, that means that we have got amazing deals to be had from from Fabric Freedom. And of course, we have got Haley here to tell us a bit more about all these well, amazing fabrics. We've got a lot of stuff. We've got a lot we of stuff. Um, we've actually got two shows, and we've kind of split everything over two shows. So it's definitely worth having a little sneaky look on the website because there might be some stuff that's coming next hour. You might just be able to sneak in now. So you can have a sneak peek and put it in your baskets and check out and get a bargain. And we are going to start with a massive, massive bargain. Look at that saving of £25. It's a, it's, well, it's 50% off of it. Now, of course, well, it's more than 50. Is I, I mean, am I right to thinking that's more than 50% off because £44 and you're only paying 20 pounds, that is more than, that definitely is more than 50%. I mean, my maths are horrendous, but even I know that this is actually more than 50% off. Right, what you are getting here is a choice of, so you, first of all, you need to decide which sort of colorway you have. And we here, here, like and that. So you have got, let's start with the first option that we have got, which is the winter wonderland, uh, winter, Winter warmers. warmers, and this is the maroon option. You're getting both. You're getting both the strip roll, which um, is, is it 20 pieces on there? Because oh, that strippers. one that you've got there actually looks like a 40 strip roll. It looks a bit larger, that one. Oh. Just checking the controversialness on that. Um, hang on, I'm trying to work out what the prices would be. Oh. All right. Hang on, we're just doing some... We're just doing some checking. Okay, we are going to double check on that. <laughs> well, let's, let's have What can I just say? They love it when we make a mistake. That, if that is the 40 roll that is on there, that looks to me like a mistake. So <laughs> Four, It contains 40 hand roll printed. Uh, it's not what's on the sticker. Okay. It's what's on the screen that I'm uh, uh, querying. Oh, That's okay. all. All right, so, uh, yeah, because it says 20, and here you have getting 40. That's what it is. So uh, we are going to double-check on that. Shall we move on to the next yeah, one? Yeah, maybe. The, oh, the colour. Let's go in through the colours. So we have got the first option, which is the maroon. Uh, then we have got the second option, which is the gorgeous, beautiful grey. Then we have got the uh, Christmas characters green. And then we have got the Christmas characters in the gorgeous uh, blue here, turquoise blue. Uh, and you can see the different options. The colors will be the same, and the charm packs will be five inches, and the strips will be uh, two and a half inches. The in easiest way to see the patterns on each of those is actually just to kind of have a look through the charm squares, because the charm squares will show you kind of a, a, a more representative size of what's in each of the, the patterns that you're going to get okay. within there. So you are going to get 20 of the strips rather than 40. That's what I wanted to make for, uh, sure that you could get that. 19 pounds and 99 pence. 831-889 is your item number. Then we have got uh, the, oh, Madras Fat Corsia. Look at that. This, I have got permission these to open it up. <laughs> These have got a beautiful little uh, sparkle in them as well. They're absolutely lovely. Um, what exactly I is had a, Madras? I had a little fiddle with these before. Um, and these, I believe, have got some kind of viscose mix in them. <gasps> Might be a cotton viscose mix, actually. Um, but they, they are beautifully soft. So, are. so soft. And there's a lovely little kind of thread of sparkle running through they these do. ones as well. They do have got this as well. And, of course, I, I, lo I love the way that it has got... Uh, Let's, let's have a look at the sparkle here, and you can see it there, there like this. And look, I'm going to show you another one that has got a beautiful sparkle. So they're all well. a black and white, either check or stripe, and then they have um, just these odd little strands of silver running through them, which just give them a beautiful sparkle. Still really easy to sew with, just because it's a, um, a nice uh, soft fabric, so it's really easy to sew with, and you don't need to worry about sewing those well if you want to go for it includes eight pieces so that you have got that it's a hundred percent cotton 
Is it? Yeah, well, there you it's go. Just, I it's thought it's it felt softer than that. When I felt them, I thought it felt almost like it had a viscose in it because it was so soft. Yeah, it says there it is 100% cotton, 18 by 21. Uh, Rauch, so you are getting £15. 999 is the price. It's an amazing saving. Grab your 662242. Uh, right, we have got some confirmation from what we had, uh, we started the show with. It will be a 40 piece. Ooh, well, I so think I think what's happened is because we've physically shown you the forty piece the forty piece one, we now have to give you the forty piece one. So okay. um, well. you're getting the forty piece strip roll. They're usually at least kind of. Uh, more than 20 pounds are usually yeah, 25 usually. to 30 pounds on their own 32 pounds for one yeah uh, so now we need to tell you that the great option has now sold out so that uh, now that's a technical sellout uh, the maroon option is limited to stock so if you want to go for that one i love it when we make a mistake don't they yes. <laughs> well that's every day of my life but you know moving on from that if you want the maroon it's of course it's uh, limited stock so please make sure to check out uh, that one as well and now of course uh, remember that you are saving 25 pounds and you are getting 40 of the two and a half inches strip and of course 42 of the five inch uh, charm pack right moving on to the next item that we want to see show is the Tropica and it is rolls as well two and a half inches of strips now here we have got three options uh, so we have got first of all uh, this beautiful option so I'm that, good, I cannot, uh, <laughs> yes you can open them yes. all <laughs> as long as you roll them back up <laughs> well I mean I can roll them all back up whether I do them well or there's not there's three different color options in this there's and um, that's the brightest one which I think is called lime. Oh, there's actually only two left already. Um, so that one is the lime. You can see beautiful, bright, punchy colours in here. And still um, enough pattern on there that you could easily use those as bindings or borders and yes. still have enough um, kind of interest showing through them. Absolutely. And then, of course, we are going to have... Uh, yours so will this be... This is grey. This is the other option. Uh, A lot more subtle, this one. Okay, let's just open. Well, you know what? This one says, I don't want to be open, so I'm going to respect <laughs> its wishes. It's, a, and yeah, I'm it's all the it same patterns, and, you know, uh, just it. in a kind of slightly softer, more subtle colorway. So you can see that here, the blues. Oh, I can do like this. A little bit of a, you know, hint, a discreet hint of the colors you are getting. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. So, of course, the, oh, this is this is tropical in a little bit of kind of a sophisticated Yeah, resort. or a kind of vintage kind of way oh, where those yeah. kind of colours have just yeah. softened off a little bit. Absolutely. It's more a kind of the, you, you think, the 1950s yeah. sort of colourway yeah. rather than this is more 1970s. That's more Magnum P.I. now, yes. like the remake one, and that's more kind of Magnum P.I. older okay. one. That's, yeah. that's a good way to put it. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence. You're saving 10 pounds, which makes it a third of the price. 640667 is your item number. Choosing lime or grey. Then uh, we have got oh, there with love. Uh, so these are 20 those. strip rolls, and uh, these are super cute. These are all kind of sewing themed. So you've got your little kind of labels and tags on there. You've got one that's all buttons. You've got a paste print one that you can just see there, that kind of pinky peachy one. Yeah. As you roll it further around, you've got all your little crosses, like little cross stitches. Absolutely. And then right around the other side, this would be another one with sewing machines on. And then, oh, this mm. one, uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go, sewing machines and all kind of sewing bits and bobs. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I can see that. And then, of course, the other one, the pink option here, you can see it. Uh, I, love now, I did go looking for these quilts because these do quilt up beautifully because um, what you're getting with Fabric Freedom is you're getting a full collection. And sometimes when you get uh, either Freedom Rolls, Swiss Rolls, uh, Jelly Rolls, what you'll find is it's um, a larger collection that's then broken down a little bit and maybe you've only got one or two strips of each. With the Fabric Freedom Rolls, what you're getting is you're getting their full collection, which was five or sometimes six fabrics, and you're getting repeats of each of them so you can actually work them together and, and make a really nice cohesive project. And I, I, I like that because I also uh, kind of these strips, for a beginner, I think they are phenomenal. Yeah, the strips and the charm squares are a great point if you're a complete beginner to sewing because everything's cut up ready for you to go and you can literally just get it straight to the sewing machine. 
Absolutely. I, mean, I, I found that that's how my first quilting piece was actually using a straight roll because it was just so easy and it's so pleasing to just sew and sew a straight yeah. line. And it's an instant, instant results. Absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah. And you don't have to do any cutting and you can get a fabulous uh, result. Uh, now you have got a saving of £3, £16.99 is your price. 062117 is your item number. Now we have got a, a Tropica a Swiss roll uh, shopping ahead for this one. One, it's already limited to stock. 9.99 is the price, saving eight pounds. Please check out, check out your baskets for it. Rolls. This is just the black. Is it the black version that we've got? The black option. It's the yeah. black option that we've got. So if you want to get this to go with either of those other 40-piece rolls that Paula was just showing you, then this is a, a perfect partner to go with them. Right, and of course, uh, that's so oh, great. Uh, now you can see them in, in, <laughs> in action or how they look uh, quilted. They're perfect. Now we have got one of my favorites. Anything to do with Japan is always one of my favorites. And of course, we have got Japanese uh, gilding, gilded uh, quilting cotton here. It's a pick and mix here. You choose any four of these fat quarters. Uh, shall we run through the options? Because they are absolutely gorgeous. And I love how you have got the Sakura blossom in different sizes with some whether it's chrysanthemums Yeah, you've or essentially got two different prints there. You've got the, the first one, which has got the larger flowers on, and just as you're seeing them now, there's another five colours in the kind of smaller, more cherry blossom style ones. So you've got two, two different prints, and uh, I know Paula's going to take you through all those different colours. Yeah. So we have got the gorgeous, this one I guess is a kind of an orange tone to it with the gorgeous, beautiful blues and yellows and pinks coming through. And it's just so nice to see the Geldic, uh, go, you know, kind of printing, which the gold. It reminds me so much of the washi paper that they have got these beautiful papers there. Then you have got the same print into the nar dark blue or navy. I love that, that contrast with the lightness in there as well. Then we have got also for, and remember you are choosing any four that you want and then we have got the lighter blue which probably is sort of a sky blue uh, it has got like a duskiness to it then we have got this one would be I would, I would say that this is like a tea, sage yeah that sage could be because it has got like it's a green but with a turn of blue um, it's a, it's a light heel uh, they are going very quickly oh that, that's already sold out then we have got uh, this one is petrol the flower petrol then we have got the green with the this garden green I so love the garden the refers to the kind of the the, the smaller print. Yeah, it's a smaller flower, but it's kind of a bigger overall print, yeah. if you know what I mean, because they kind of go into each other, and there's a kind of swirly pattern going on in the background of these I ones know. as well. I think I have got washi paper, Japanese washi paper uh, like this, and it's just such a rich, beautiful color. Then we have got this one, which is actually a navy. I wouldn't say it's a, a yeah navy garden that is limited to stock as well single figure so please be quick to check out your baskets then we have got the is this the garden as well in yellow yes yeah the wow. last ones that you've got there are all the same garden pattern um, you've just got different yeah. background colors uh, I believe the last two have been sold out already but you can see that we are incredibly busy so please do check out your baskets as soon as you make your mind up uh, you can choose any four that are in stock for nine seven four six seven three is your item number 11 pounds and 99 pence with the four pounds uh, uh, saving now we are extremely busy as I said uh, amazing savings so there are queues on the phone so just shop ahead on the website and you can see everything that we have got there uh, you have got amazing savings like we uh, like Haley was saying we will have uh, different items in the second hour so please shop ahead if you do not want to miss out right Haley hello hello Hello. <laughs> you know all the over way there. over there <laughs> uh, so I've got a few more of the uh, strip rolls here and some of these are so beautiful. I, I had to rewrap this one unfortunately because we did have a little bit of a play with it and now it's a little bit of a mess but we shall start over here and this one is a beautiful one if you're just looking for a stash builder because it's the same pattern I'm just trying to move these apart so you can see a little bit. It's actually the same print all the way through but it's just a different background colour and you're getting five different colours within there so you're getting the kind of minty green colour you're getting that kind of mid, almost a, a royal blue, the dusky pink, the dusky purple, and then that kind of almost sagey green background as well. Oh, and these are um, five different prints. You're getting 40 strips on the roll, so you're getting eight of each. Is that right, Maths? Yes, uh, it is. Yes. 
um, yes, you're getting eight of each. So you can really use those for, you know, a project. You could separate them all out, put them all with a different project if you wanted to. So, Mrs. Paula, please could you do me some numbers? Uh, numbers, yes, of course, uh, six, uh, one, eight, uh, six, two, six. And you are, of course, uh, having that for, with a ten pounds saving. Right, so moving on to the yes, next one. Yes, sorry, I, I've not had the number training. So uh, you have to do my numbers for me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one that we kind of had opened and was having a bit of play with. Because for that kind of vintage themed Christmas, this one is absolutely beautiful. So you've got your spots. You've got stripes there. You've got the ones that look like little tags oh, on peasants and that. things. You've got the little mini stars and you've got the mini trees there as well. These are all nice small patterns. So would work incredibly well on those smaller projects and even in English paper piecing if you're doing really oh, yeah, super small that, things. That's a good point. You've got lots of lovely patterns. I'm going to fold them the other way so we can see as well. There you go. Like so you've got five different patterns in there eight strips of each and they're all in that two and a half inch width uh, sorry yeah yeah two inch strip so um also beautiful please may i have some numbers oh uh, yes you can have some number six one eight six two six is the item number 19.99 is the price and you are saving 10 pounds all right it worth uh, getting one or right, multi-buy if you okay. want to multi-buy it right what are we gonna I'm, look I'm, next I'm, I'm crashing into the next one as well so this one i think is absolutely stunning and i think that definitely have to open this out one this one out to see the best of it because it's got these beautiful kind of almost marbled style flourishes in here let me see if i can get through a few more of these just imagine those on um you know as even just bought just trimming a maybe a shirt or something oh, a cuff, like just a adding cuff. a little uh, yeah. cuff to something with these because you've got or or if you're doing like a kimono jacket to do that as the yeah the edge, binding the velo, yeah, yeah the perfect kind of and you so can you're do getting double sided so yes. one from one side and the other one absolutely i'm just double they're all mixed up so i'm not entirely sure how many different patterns are in here i'm trying to find out it doesn't tell me on the label that doesn't help me either let's have a little count so we have that one looks like the same one so we'll count that as one Ooh. we've got red and then the Chains. kind of opposite way with the light background red so we'll count those as two and three We've got the one there with the floral, and there's lots of gilding in that one. Four. That one is five, six, uh, seven. That one looks the same as the previous one. Eight. I'm going to say there's eight different ones in there. Yeah. Yeah, eight different. So if you've got eight different, there's 40 strips, that means you're going to get five of each. Perfect I think. maths. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maths isn't... Um, Usually my maths is quite good. Yeah, you're, today, you're, you know, it's, today it's like blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, I mean, I cannot be of much help, but if you want to okay. at least... But can you read the numbers? Yes, I can okay, read the then. numbers. I mean, I'll try. <laughs> Two three 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 nine zero. Did I say it correctly? I think so. Uh, Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, and you're saving five pounds for that one. All right. Okay, now, I'm just tidying up. Tidying yeah, up. Moving. So. <laughs> the jungle safari. So we've got loads of colour in here, and this is the jungle safari collection. You have um, kind of different. You've got four different patterns, and you've got three different colour options in each. Is this? Are these sets of fat quarters? Yes, they are. Yes. Excellent. So you're getting one, two, three different colour options. So they obviously pink, your blue, and is it is it yellow or green? Yellow. Okay. And um, on the back, we've got some of the quilts that are made wow. up with this. They, um, we did have a show previously with a, a big panel that went in the middle. Obviously, you can see the big panel up there. But have a look around those borders. That's where you're going to see all of these really, really punchy colours. And something like a, a quilt that size, using that similar sized block, you could easily create a, a border sized piece That's really with four cool. fat horses. That's cool. They're and quite uh, fun, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, which one is your favourite animal? Um, the animal or yeah. the, the well, animal and then the prince. Okay. Um, I quite like the monkey. The monkey. Yeah. The yeah. bike that he's chasing after his one. banana. Yeah. And now, which one would be your favourite colour-wise? Uh, I, mm, I think the pink one. Oh, the pink one. Yeah. I quite like the pink one. 
Now, uh, well, if I was you, I would go for it because it's over 50% <laughs> saving. It uh, it's actually, uh, well, if you buy two, you will, if you will pay less than you would pay for one of them usually because, of course, you can see that you are saving 12 pounds and you are just paying 9.99. So in actual fact, you will be saving actually more if you buy two you would save much more than you would be paying for one single one anyway um two zero one i know where you're going huh? i know where you're going yeah you know yeah. You, you understand me you get me you get me it's better than two for one yeah it's much better uh definitely it's just 9.99 uh, right moving on we have got brush cotton and i always think when the first option it's some of my favorites. I love Native American imagery, but I also like that kind of Californian as well. Uh, we have got the brush cotton winter bears. Uh, you which have. Is so this one's the winter bears, and that one really easily kind of cut into strips, this one. So maybe um, you want to use it for, for a binding or an edging on a quilt, then yeah. that's it's really nice to actually mix up your materials when, when you're quilting and maybe add a bit of texture yeah. to the edge. Because it's all cotton, it will all wash at the same temperature and it'll be absolutely fine. What I wouldn't do is mix a polyester with a cotton, yeah. but if you're mixing a brushed cotton with an all cotton, then you'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Um, what I will say is also backing quilts. These okay. are a lovely thing to back quilts with because it makes the back of the quilt quite nice and snugly. So this is your California Bears okay. option. And then next, oh, it's... Oh, they're all different uh, yeah. item numbers. So I'm gonna oh, give you do the, the numbers. I, I, I will say, I call it that one the Californian flag because, of course, they have the Californian flag has got the bear and the uh, pine. Uh, 071151 is your item number. Uh, 999 is the price you are getting. That's two meters for, and you're saving again more than you are spending, better than half price because you are saving 12 pounds. Amazing prices. Please do check out your baskets as soon as you make ma your mind up. Next up, we have got another <gasps> The teepees and cactus are next so these are uh, super cute now you're getting two meter pieces of these it's two meters wide um, or two meters long and 44 inches or 112 centimeters wide now I know from experience that that is about the right amount to make a um, pair of let's just call them comfy pants like uh, pajama bottoms yeah pajamas but for, pajama an, bottoms. Adult. for, for an, an adult yes yeah, we need to clarify because this. I made some out of the shark fabric so I, I know for a fact that you can get a pair I mean, we of cannot John reassure buttons. you if you are an NBA player, you know, like okay, a very, very yes. tall man, uh, you probably, I mean, we cannot... They'd be like three-quarter length if yeah, you were a basketball exactly. player. For us, it would be oh, one... Oh, two pairs, two pairs each. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go for these gorgeous, I love the tippies and the cactuses. Uh, 9.99 is the price, saving 12 pounds. Again, better than half price. 994-027 is the now, item number. I must just clarify on all of these, they say on the uh, side of the label, not suitable for children's or not intended for children's sleepwear. Um, that is just because there is no uh, fire retardant treatment on any of these uh, you would need to do that if you were going to go ahead and use it for children's wear just do need to clarify that on all of them the next one we've got are the giraffe Oh, you know, I can I see our producer uh, came away, rocking this brand because it's monochromatic, first of all, and it has got that geometric nature. See, my brother loves giraffes. He really loves giraffes. It's a long neck, I think. It, is that what it is? Mm. He, he, and I got him a little, um, after his 40th birthday, I got him a present to go and feed them, but then it was all cancelled because of COVID. Oh. So we're in giraffe limbo at the oh, minute. Well. Maybe I should get this this time and make yeah. him a pair of giraffe. Lounging uh, pants. I think that would be lovely. I've <laughs> not got the time. Or a suit, like a proper suit. <laughs> Can you imagine full going? brushed cotton giraffe suit. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, I mean, Zoom calls or Skype calls, yeah. or, you know, it kind of work. Uh, 380680 <laughs> is your item number. 999 is the price. You are saving £12. Again, better than half price. Grab it, grab any, and check out those baskets if you want to grab a bargain. The last, this is the last one we have, and it is so nice. It's called the Delft option, and that kind of thing is because it's inspired by the, uh, the blue and white pottery. Yeah, of course. So, um, really pottery. nice large pattern on this one as well, and really kind of super fine detail around those outlines. So, a really good option, I think, if you are maybe dressing gowns and things like that. Really nice kind of Ooh, option. I love it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks. Like you get up and you, in the cold morning and you want something warm to put over what yourself. What you can do, or, uh, or if you want something a bit thicker, then um, go for 
um, lining it with some fleece <gasps> first. So you've oh, got the brush cotton on the yeah. reversible. Reversible. Ooh. Ooh. reversible. So you have got one. Fleece one side. Yeah. And, and brush cotton the other side. Mm, Reverse well, you're we're, we're all over it today, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh, one nine eight five one three is your item number. Again, saving twelve pounds, better than half price. And nine ninety nine is your price. And please check out your baskets because we are extremely busy. So please check out your baskets to grab those bargains. And if you want to save even more money, well, we have got freedom. Here is Leonie to tell you more about it. Have you heard of a chanda freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Yes, it's a new one. Oh, very nice. It's a very Check nice one. Your new Now, uh, we are very, very busy. Uh, we have got some news. Uh, we have got some, the Marbled Magic Freedom Roll has now sold out. It's a technical oh. sellout. Uh, if you have it in your baskets, please check out. When I keep repeating checking out your baskets, it's because we are very busy. So if you don't want to miss on a bargain, it now is the time to check out your baskets. Uh, we have limited stock, I believe, in the maroon one that we have got. Oh, no, now it's sold out as well. So please do check out your baskets. I'm not saying it just so you, you know, just to speak. It's just actually because otherwise you will miss out. We have got the Christmas characters in green and turquoise. Uh, those ones are still available. Remember that you have got, you have got an amazing £25 savings, which is... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to work it out how much the percentage is, but my math certainly do not. 55%. 55%. Now, if you want to go for this, remember that you are getting the charm pack, 40 of those ones. So I'm going to show you some of the characters. Uh, 42, yeah. Kind of show you little bits on the uh, roll. It's a lot easier to see them. Um, and they're a super bargain now because they were going to be 20 uh, piece charm rolls. Now they're 40 piece charm rolls. So get stuck in. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, look at that. I love the snowman. Now, again, charm packs, 5 by 5 inches. Yeah, 5 by um, 5. Really useful size um, and a really nice way to, to start quilting so maybe you're buying these for somebody who you know is getting a sewing machine for Christmas this is a great way to start them off there are loads of books out there that use pre-cut um, packs as their inspiration so it's a lovely way to start somebody off sewing yeah absolutely I love how uh, you can then do just sew them together and then we have got of course the gorgeous turquoise here uh, the Christmas characters so you can see them I, I, I also always think that this would make if you if you just sew all the pieces together again as a beginner it's fabulous to create just a quilt cover because yeah, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just as a beginner this is a lovely way to start somebody off now if you went and sewed all of them together um, I think it's roughly it's just over a meter square that you'd end up with there's 42 uh, pieces in there and I'm 99% sure that if you just went ahead and, and sewed them all together it's roughly a meter square that you'd end up well, with. Well yeah I would say to check out your baskets quickly because the, uh, we already had two sellouts uh, from the other uh, the um, uh, options that you had so we have a very incredibly busy uh, I think so if you're yeah 42 by 5 inches that would be uh, 210 inches it's I think that would be it. Anyway, don't, okay. don't, 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 yeah. What? Sorry, <laughs> I was, I was lost then. I just, I just got a right. bit lost. 8031889 is your item number. I was trying to work out the area that you would sew together, but I think today we are not in our no, best I'm, maths. No, I'm not in my math, I'm not in my maths head this morning. Usually, I'm Usually, quite good with it. Yeah. And I'm like, pink, maths. Yeah. And but today, no. You know what? Mm. We were, yeah. No, I had a little bit of a lie in this morning. I think that might be it. Oh, mm. maybe you, yeah, maybe that's yeah, too maybe much that sleep. Did, it. <laughs> did you have too much sleep? Anyway, I thought that, anyway. Uh, I just, 
you have got the Madras check. Uh, you are getting eight pieces, fat quarters, 100% cotton. They do fill. Can I just check, are they all different or are you getting repeats? You are of getting any of them? repeats, I think. Okay, so you get four different ones yes. and repeats of them. Okay, I just like to know. Because so effectively, I have seen you're getting kind of half a meter of. Of yeah, each two of, of each design because you oh, can lovely. see these one, for instance. I mean, these the are same. instant kind of you know cushions or bag fronts or you know whatever you you want them to be because they are the beautiful fabric, beautifully soft. And I, when I first, because um, I hadn't seen the details, <laughs> when I first touched them, I thought they were viscose. Um, I thought they were I, I a never much checking softer. because the sample I have got here has got <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, seven, but then there is another one of that one, which is so, oh no, maybe it's, no, it's, it's slightly no, different. Actually, I think. you are right. There are eight different ones. Oh, there you go. Because I think are, some of the some of the, the checks look quite similar. Because if you don't fold the thing, them right yeah. out, they just look like a normal check. But then when you've got them folded right the way out, like you have, you can see there's a difference in the lines going yeah. across there. Because. You can see some of them have got, like this one here, you can see that the, the weave is slightly different. It's very similar, but it's a slightly different. Because you can because see here the all black Because it's on the same kind of base. It's the same black and white base that's got the little, um, little elements of sparkle running through them. Then they would work beautifully together. So I would, if I was going to... Um, work with these I'd probably add either a plain black or a plain white because when you're trying to work either checks or stripes next to each other it can get a little bit busy and if you haven't sewn them absolutely perfectly they can really look like they're quite wonky and quite okay. off so I'd probably use a plain black or a plain white with those and make them go even further. Perfect. Uh, 99 is your, the price you're saving 15 pounds 662242 is your item number. Now we are going to the Tropica. Uh, the, now the Tropica we have got two different options here we have got the lime and the gray here next to each other they are limited stock both of them so if you want to grab 40 strips of uh, two and a half inches 100% cotton please check out your baskets now and look I adore some of these prints because it's just you know yeah, the sunshine the, yeah <laughs> we're all missing the sunshine at the minute <laughs> oh, and funny. these are like sunshine in a roll oh yes they are and also, I like the, they are bright colours, but they are not garish colours. Yes, it's, they are bright, and, but you could easily, again, work with a plain white or pick any of those colours, like the, that royal blue in there, you could add that in, or the purple you could add in. You can add in any kind of plain colour to that, and again, just start to tone it back down a little Absolutely. bit. So you've got, that's your um, really bright lime option, but then you've got a grey option, which is kind of much more okay. vintage looking. And I think just Can makes, I open it just do it. We're, we're down the just rabbit hole now, Paula. We're down the rabbit hole. Okay, okay. Oh, that was a tight one. Anyway, um, let's. Oh, look at that! Extremely limited stock. This I actually. I th you know what? I would go for this one. Because, I prefer that one. Yeah. I think it's just it's quite. Um, oh, but the lime has already simple. sold out, so I'm going to put it aside. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, because you <laughs> just yeah. I was going to be a nice and neat, but since <laughs> when I have been that, you know. <laughs> Very yeah, nice. both beautiful options, and uh, remember, there's that 20-piece black roll as well available, which will go with oh, either of these. But look at that! I adore this. This is like more subtle. It's a little bit more. Yeah, you it's know, like those kind of vintage yeah. Hawaiian posters where they I were really bright colours, but they've kind of just faded yeah, down faded a little away. bit. I was thinking as well, like kind of the Al Amalfi Coast in Italy, yeah, the yeah, yeah. sorts of tones as well. I really like it. Uh, well, the grey is the only option available. Ten pounds. Oh, that's also technical sellout. So if you have it in your baskets, check out your baskets. Incredibly busy show. Please, please, please shop ahead. Now we have got. Then the 20 piece uh, as well, the two and a half inches wide, uh, the Tropica 9.99 is the price. Again, a massive saving of eight pounds. Uh, it is again a technical sellout. Please do check out. We have got not much left of anything, so please, please shop ahead and of course check out your baskets to make sure that you get your bargains. Right? Uh, shall we have a look at the? Oh, look, they made with love. I adore these ones. Have you opened that one as well now? Have you just opened all of them? 
No, I haven't. Op- I haven't opened one. Oh, you got one left. Yay! Um, this one is really kind of so inspired. I haven't inspired. opened those two. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I haven't opened them all. So what? We're about a fifty percent uh, hit rate on opening stuff today. Fifty percent. <laughs> well, it's Merry Christmas. Say, Let's just go know, for it. Yeah. Not your nice. Yeah. Probably not him or something. Are you on the naughty list? Mm, absolutely. <laughs> so this is the pink option, and you've got five different prints in there. You've got four strips of each. So they're all sewing inspired. So that top one, like a kind of cross stitch kind of theme. Oh, I love that. And then you've got all your little tags and your kind of, you know, the things that you would put in, in handmade things. So it's like made with love. It's and that, that. You can read it made with love. It's not just a, um, you know, just fa look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Made with love. Oh, I love that. And, and this one's a paste print, so it's a solid color background and then a white print over the top. I love that. I absolutely adore it. It's just so, I don't know, it's quite sophisticated. And then we have got the buttons. Yep, you've got all your kind of different, and these are all quite nice little prints as well. So think about these, maybe using them for your binding, your edging, your smaller projects as well. And then we have got uh, this one. This is, is the so largest cool. print. So this would be the feature fabric out of this collection. Um, and that's got your biggest images on. So you've got your sewing machines, your mannequins, your coat hangers, your scissors, your bobbins, your thread, oh, all, your, all your sewing bits and bobs. Uh, so this one is the pink option. And then we have got the pink and blue, which I'm not going to open so it. What I would say is you can absolutely use these two together because if you have a look, there are lots of very similar colors running through both of them because when Fabric Freedom design their collections, they do kind of design them so you can kind of cross over like between you. colorways as like well. Not twins like sisters. Yes, exactly. That's so if good. you want to go for uh, the pink and blue, I would go and check on my baskets straight away because it is now limited to stock. 062117 is the item number, £16.99 pence with a saving of £3. Now, uh, of course, we do have got some beautiful Japanese uh, fabrics here for you. Now, it's gilded, uh, quilt, quilted, gilded quilting cotton. Yeah. Yeah, and of course it has got that gorgeous gold in here. Now we have had so many sellouts of these pick and mix. We still have got the coral here. You can see it, and you can see it here, gorgeous with the gold uh, ink here and the gorgeous. Then we have got the Dawes uh, has sold out chambray. Yeah, that probably is the chambray. So that one I'm going to put it away. Uh, we have got this one would be the sage green. Uh, that's gone again. Oh, let's put them out. <laughs> this rail is going to be looking pretty sad. <laughs> and then we have got the petrol. We still hey. have got the petrol. We, well, that's good news. <laughs> uh, we have a still got well, petrol. What's, what's quite have... good, though, is the petrol and the coral actually oh, go yeah. quite nicely together. So it's quite yeah. lucky that you've got those two left because they do actually work quite nicely Absolutely. together. Absolutely. I love those ones. And then we have got, of course, the garden green. We still got that one. We have got a navy garden. Gone. Let me put gone, 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 gone. So let's put it away. And then we have got garden green, a uh, garden green, garden yellow, but we are limited stock. So if that's the one that you wanted, uh, you know, please make sure that you check out your baskets. It's a pick and mix, so you choose any four. Of course, and there is four options left, so you could have one of the four, or you could have two of the same options if you wanted to. All right, if you want to check out your baskets have for to this have one. two or three of the same. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think two of, of two of this one and two of that, yeah. that gives a, a really nice option. Yeah, you've still got really nice options left there. I mean, yeah. there are no bad options at all. No. Um, but luckily, those two match really uh, nicely together. Now, aside from the obvious quilt and, and kind of things like that, what else we would use for this fabric for? So anything that um, involves cotton, really. So you can use it for your bag projects. You can use it for any of your kind of... Um, any project that uses cotton, basically. Obviously, because they're fat quarters, you need to bear that in mind in terms of size. So sometimes um, you might not have you know, enough for the fat quarters. Now, to I do have it. a question. Um, somebody suggested a pillowcase. Yeah. Uh, but of course, then the question was well, is sometimes the gold printing is a bit scratchy. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is, um, I don't know how Fabric Freedom do it, but they've, they've got it off to a fine art by putting gilding on things. These are super soft. You will kind of, you can, when you're feeling it, you kind of don't even know it's there. 
Yeah, it is absolutely soft and really, I mean, I cannot, if I close my eyes or I look away, I will not see it, be able to see, to you notice kind of, the difference. You know, running your finger over it, sometimes you can tell there's yeah. a different type of print on there, but running your hand over that, you'll not even tell that the gilding's there. No, absolutely. Now, if you want to go for uh, the uh, for Pick and Mix, uh, 974-6373 is your item number, 1199 is the price. And with that, let's join Haley as well, well to show I've us. Been having a little box and look in the box down here just to see what's for seven o'clock in case we need it. Oh, <laughs> I think you're a little more. Right, what are, have you got in your hands now? Okay, so I've got, um, this is a really lovely floral roll. There's 40 strips on this one. Okay. It's called a floral, a floral blender roll. Um, it's exactly the same print, but you've got five different colorways in that print. So you could split these out and use them separately. You could use them all together. So you've got your sage green, kind of a minty green in there. You've got your yeah. blue. We are Oops. limited to you've stock for this one. Dusky kind of pink coral color and then your dusky purple as well. So you've got um, five different ones in there and you're getting eight repeats of each. Uh, well, I would urge everybody to check out their baskets because you know what? It is limited stock, exceptionally busy show, so please make sure that you grab yours by checking those baskets. Remember, £19 or 99 pence is the price with the saving of £10. Moving on to the next uh, roll that you See, have got I, I love this one. I think it's so cute. So this one is called Beige Pink Scandi. However, I think it's got more of a vintage feel than a, a Scandinavian feel to well, it. You know what? I think it's a vintage Scandi. Okay, of. split the difference. Yeah, exactly. Okay, fine, fair enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, have, so you, have you ever watched those TV series that is like a Scandi, but in the 1960s, 1950s, and it's that sort of colouring? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Um, so you've got your little Christmas trees. You've got two really nice ditzy prints with the stars and also the spots, which are coming a little bit later. These ones look like the little tags you put on your presents. And that's one's like... It's a great jumper, isn't it? It's jumper that, yeah. all day long, that one. <laughs> I, I, so beautiful options in these, and I think this would so easily make a quilt. And it's nothing more nice than having a kind of a beautiful quilt uh, for Christmas. We do have got some pictures from uh, one of you. Uh, this is from Pat, and using, uh, of course, this candy collection, using the Dresden uh, templates as well, and creating the beautiful, uh, I, I don't know, maybe a, it could be a placemat or it could be a cushion, a round You could cushion. put it into a, you know, you can use that Dresden plate and then put it within another larger project, absolutely. Oh, so there's lots of different things you can do with that, and I can see the scan Andy Fabric is one of the uh, petals. Absolutely, yeah. £19 <laughs> and 99 pence is the price. You are saving £10, a 618626. A a Actually, a technical sellout. So if you wanted the Scandi Christmas, well, uh, if you have it in your baskets and you check out now, you will be get it. Otherwise, it will bounce back and somebody else will come and get it. Right, if you want to avoid that, you know what to do. Check out properly. Right, uh, we have got also the Jungle Safari. Yes, this one is so cute. So yeah. it's sets of fuck waters. You're kind of looking at this set here, which is the blue, uh, the one in the middle there that is pink, or the one up this side which is your yellow. So um, you can absolutely work these together or you can mix and match a couple of sets of them together as well because they've all got, obviously the bananas are all the same colour and then you're matching different colours within them. So you can easily mix and match any of these together and they will work beautifully. So we've got a couple of quilts hanging up at the back that have used all of these patterns within them. And you can see, even from uh, Fat Quarters, you can do quite a lot with these because if you think about it, four Fat Quarters is a metre of fabric. So you could easily see that that would do um, a really nice kind of little patched border if you wanted it to be, or do bigger projects with them. I, now, I believe... Could you open these, one of them? Can I, could you I open, can. Could you open one of the bananas? Uh, you want bananas? Okay. I want bananas. Uh, pink bananas? The, I'll take the pink bananas. You'll take the pink bananas. Okay, excellent. <laughs> so, now, when you say uh, fat quarter, the American fat quarters are the same size as the ones that you've got on the little roll there, which is 18 inches by 20 inches. Uh, these are actually cut from a quarter, uh, a quarter of a square meter. So these, you're getting 50 centimeters by 22. Okay. So that's, slightly, that's slightly bigger. Oh, slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. I think it's uh, about an inch bigger that way okay. than the American ones. 
Of course, because, uh, yeah, in, in well, so anyway. It's still a, a good size. You could, I mean, you can see, if you're having a look at the quilts behind, they're using tiny, tiny squares. So you could cut these into strips and get loads of little squares within there. And you could do all sorts with them. I'm sure when we did the, um, I'm trying to fold them back so they look nice again. Um, I'm sure when we did demonstrations on the actual quilt panels themselves, we did a bit of free motion and a bit of bubble quilting on these. So we took some of the animals and kind of just stuffed them so they were a little bit more pronounced Is than the rest of the quilt. Is that what bubble quilting means? Yes, yeah, it's where you're just sewing around and then adding extra wadding to yeah. certain areas. Like, to like just make all it, the soft making balls. Making it 3D. Uh, yeah. Soft. <laughs> soft. <laughs> Book toys. Do yes. You know book toys? Yes. So something like that, but then you're adding extra wadding in. So say that monkey's banana. If we sewed round that and then just added a little bit of extra stuffing in. Right. <laughs> exactly. You're having a moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm having many moments. <laughs> many moments in one. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you want to go for it, and remember, you have got those choices of, of colorways. Uh, you'll have the same prints, but in yellow, blue, or pink. Your choice is 201821 is your item number. 999 is your pr your price, as you have got a £12 saving there. Right. Moving on to. Okay. Oh, like so um, these are f uh, four different item numbers, so I need your assistance on this okay. one. Yeah. Uh, so you've got your winter bears. Now, are this, the, I don't know if these are the full pieces, actually. Let me have a little look here. They are 2 metres by yeah, uh, these are, 44 inches wide. Yes, so these will be big pieces. I'm actually going to turn it the other way around, because this is the way that this one comes. So the stripes will go kind of yeah. left to right on your piece of fabric. So just bear that in mind if you are going to be making clothing with it. You can absolutely make clothing from this. We do just need to uh, give you the little caveat of it's not advised for children's sleepwear. Yeah just because it's not had any kind of fire retardant treating on it. But uh, there are different sprays you can get on the market that would do that for you, so yeah. you, c you can use them as long as you treat them. And um, I think but for things, like, for things like dressing gowns, yeah. that's fine. It's really just a legislation about what they're physically actually going to sleep in overnight, and it's more for, you know, worst case scenario, if there was some yeah. kind of thing happening in the house yeah, and you absolutely. needed to get out quickly in a and fire, that's what it's to do with. And also, when I kind of look at it, also thinking that this would be make a lovely a lumberjack uh, shirt or something like this. Oh, yeah, maybe uh, a jacket. Yeah. Maybe a jacket, Lumberjack, maybe you know, line when, it with some kind of nice chunky wadding or something. Yeah, I think it would look... I have just have this, this in, my, in, my, in vision in my head of, you know, in the Wild West and just having like a nice <laughs> yeah, rugged I know what you jacket. Mean. Yeah. Like a big chunky, big chunky one. You're going to go and chop some logs up. Yeah, it was just, I don't know, it's just something very... <laughs> anyway, uh, 071 and 151. <laughs> Paula. That's not you, it's them people it's in our heads. Uh, <laughs> now you, you hear the people. I'm just trying to keep a straight face with what they are saying. Uh, They're so making th jokes about logs, and it's not helpful. It's it not is, really. No. It's not really helpful. Um, so I'm going to move on. I'm going to uh, move on to cactuses yeah. and teepees. Oh, yes. <laughs> have you ever slept in a teepee? I have never slept in a teepee. Have you? Oh, many times. Have you? My parents have got a teepee. My father painted one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, there you so, go. And, uh, he did it traditionally as the uh, tribe from the Crow in, in or Apsaroka uh, from Montana. Oh. So he had the pattern. There you go. This is, this is excellent power based yeah. knowledge. Absolutely. And also, I have a slab one in, in Wyoming, but that's a different story. But, okay. Yeah. yeah. In Wyoming. Well, yeah, but it, they are fun, phenomenal. If you have got the chance, These people please, in our it's ears amazing. It's so much better to, than I mean, a tent because you have got so much more space in the center. So okay. you can actually make a fire, obviously following regulations and following everything yeah. in the middle of it. Oh, that's why they're so tall. See, because they have got an opening at the very top. Yeah, so the smoke, smoke out. Go, yeah, you make the fire right in the oh. middle. And then also you can have got the, how the structure is, the rain really cannot hit in because the, the, the poles are bearing in such way that it's very... I mean, obviously, if it is a tornado, then you would. But, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, but it's a, yeah, they are fascinating. This is, this is, this is good information. I, I never knew you who was such a wealth of knowledge on teepees. I, I wouldn't have, if I was going to pick anybody from the team to have that level of TP knowledge, it wouldn't, I, have, it wouldn't have been you. Not, not that I don't love you, but just that you I wouldn't have been so my first choice for knowledge. excessive TP knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there's TPs on the fabric. There's also some cactuses. Back to you.
Yeah. Anyway, we have got uh, tipis here, and uh, then we have got the cactus. I don't have any yes. knowledge about cactus. Okay, then I don't have any idea. I mean, they retain a lot of water. Are they the same? That do they retain as much water as the human body has got? Or like they are like. Uh, I'm not willing to comment on that, that cactus fact. I will wait to get it checked know. out. I have no idea. Uh, I, 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 are you at 7 o'clock with me as it, well? Uh, no, it's uh, Yanis. We could have, Yanis we could have, will be the expert in okay. cactuses. Right. Okay, he can be the cactus expert yeah. and you can be the TP expert. Absolutely. Totally covered. <laughs> but we're having different stuff on in the next hour. <laughs> oh, no. I won't work for Well, it. if there's anything left, we are. Um, and then we've got the giraffes. Did we do the numbers on the TP? Oh, no, no, did not oh. uh, That's a good point. And 994027 is your item number for the TPs. Uh, my fault entirely. I kind of wax lyrical about the TPs. But 999 is the price, 12, saving £12. Of course, you are getting two metres by a hundred and 12 centimeters or 44 inches and 994027 so yeah that two meters really important because that is big enough to make quite a lot of projects with because um, I have actually made um, adult kind of pajama trousers out of these without any problems so um, you've got your giraffes here so you've got monochrome giraffes little gray print on them as well and all the kind of giraffe type pattern coming in in between so very, very cute on this one. Please, may I have some numbers? Uh, yes, Mrs. of course. Uh, 380680 is your item number. 999 is the price. You are saving £12. And the final option we've got is the Delft option. So that's kind of inspired by all of that kind of blue and white pottery. And nice big print on here. And just really quite nice and subtle. And I think it kind of it looks soft before you touch it, if you know what I mean. It is. I, I, you know, if you open it up, because it's, it's a two meter piece, so sometimes it's hard to see it uh, or imagine. Oh. Right. So piece. that's your, your meter. Yeah. And then we've got the same again. Well, oh, oh dear, it's so big. I, I mean, know. we always mention that we are both <laughs> one meter and a half in height. <laughs> so this is a half a meter extra than our yeah, height. Yeah. Look, there's me extra. Yeah. <laughs> that's the extra. Yeah. Also, backing up a quilt. I just yes. think it's just I mean, this lovely. kind of thing is perfect for backing a quilt. So if your quilt was kind of all blue and white inspired, um, then this is a lovely way to back a quilt because it does give you that little kind of snuggly feeling, but it, with it still being 100% cotton and um, easily sewable. Amazing. If you want to uh, go for the brush cut on the fabric Delft inspired, 198513 is your item number, saving that £12. Now, uh, 7 o'clock, of course, we are going to have another different products. Uh, and so, but you can shop ahead. Uh, of course, that will be with Yanis, so it will be a professional show, unlike my, this one with me. Anyway, but Hayley will be back to give you all the guidance of what you can do with these fabulous uh, products. Of course, it will. you will have amazing bargains, so stay tuned for that one. Have a good, a good look. And the website oh god let's have a oh i like this geometric triangles they are gorgeous and oh i like the stars as well stars in your brushed cotton as well now Ooh, i look know at the limited edition that we have some i was gonna say that limited edition fabrics and we also have some of these scarves and things as well in the next hour Ooh, so gorgeous. um yeah there's definitely whatever you've seen already there's still a whole load more to come Absolutely. At 7 o'clock. Well, uh, do check out your baskets for it, uh, because uh, anything that we have got in the shower hour, well, it's been a, an absolutely busy show. We have got, <laughs> I don't know how many sellouts. I mean, we have but, got, it's very bare. The, the, yeah, it is a bit sparse now, because this has technically gone as well. So. And there are so many sellouts from the pick and mix. <gasps> just camouflage uh, it in my jumper. We have had eight sellouts. And also, from the pick and mix, have we got to sell the options? Ooh, let's see. Oh. We six sellouts in that one as well. So look at that. I mean, imagine that. This is what is left. They look rather sad. Don't you want to give them a home? I think. <laughs> yeah, I just think I want to bring them together. Can I bring them together? It just makes me a little oh, bit. Oh, so they can all be friends because little oh, yellow, yeah. little yellow sitting out. No, I cannot. Own. They are. Is it too tight? Yeah, but. This one, oh, there you go. Like this. Just, this yeah, one. evenly space them then. Yeah. Socially distanced. Yeah, fat absolutely. Uh, now, if, uh, of course, if you want the Christmas characters, uh, the charm pack and the uh, beautiful, well, here it says strippers. Uh, you, you are getting, of course, you are getting 40 of uh, the, the uh, two yeah, and a half I, inches. I had a word with Fabric Freedom about that name. Yeah, I think I mean, it, it sends the wrong message, doesn't it? <laughs> 
it's, it's what like Natasha said, does say, like, you know, the, he, he, she has got her team of uh, strippers, what she means is strippology, so, you know. Yeah. Whatever. You know. Anyway, uh, so uh, you have got the turquoise, very busy for that one, I believe is approaching uh, limited stock, uh, the uh, turquoise, yeah it is, uh, you're saving £25, it's an amazing 55 pound, uh, 50 percent off, uh, £19.99 £19 and of course you are getting 42 charm pa charms and of course the 40 of the strippers in here. Please do check out your baskets, uh, Hayley you will be back at yes, 7 I'm with Yanis. Yes, back at 7 o'clock with Yanis and uh, I'll have a a sneaky look in the box see what else we got oh well fabulous I, I just want to remind you to check out your baskets do not miss out on any of these bargains and stay tuned for another look at the one day special and also stay tuned at seven of course because uh Haley is back then check out your baskets and i'll see you then after in a couple of hours as well uh with what oh well so you have to see Another look at Heartfelt Creations Black Tag event, a one day special. Then paper crafting Black Tag bonus. Oh, I'm guessing that one. That's it. Is. And then Visorology, one day special at six. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase, and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craftoscope products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftscope. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chander shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chander.
Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Well, hello, everybody. Let's take a moment as a collective to just breathe in, soak in all of these beautiful cards. They are the kind of cards that you can see a mile away and it speaks to you. They are heartfelt creation cards. And this is what you could be making uh, today on the show. We've got the dies, the stamps, the goodies to achieve beautiful cards like this. It's a special show. It's going to be the final call. If you watched our launch show yesterday, I made a bold statement. So I said to you, I really don't think the one day special is going to last the full duration. Well, you know, what? I don't want to blow my own trumpet, Nikki, but we were right. I Hello. think we were. <laughs> Hi. We were right because when we had that very first meeting, yeah. I did say to you, I think this is going to fly. You caught, I have to say, Nikki, and, uh, Nikki also is passionate about heartfelt creations, but she said, this is a special one, guys. You really did. You were backing this one. I saw your passion. And then we were, for the launch show yesterday, for the, the whole hour, we were really, really busy. I think we called 60% at the end of one hour. And that's why I was confident to say I didn't think it would last. Anyway, long story short, it's sold out. So now what we're bringing you is a while stocks last. So uh, it's the only difference with this bundle is you're not getting the card blanks. That is it. You're still getting four sets of dies and you're getting the stamp, and look at that price as well, 67.46. But, and this is a big but, we are approaching, seven, <coughs> how much was it 70%? Oh, I got confused for a second, 40% <laughs> came into my head. Uh, you're approaching 70% of the stock for this option. Can I point something out? This one die, if I just wanna lift this up, this one die here, costs $24.99. Actually, all the dies, I could have picked up any of them, but all the dies cost $24.99 to buy this individually. That's how much you'd expect to buy. I mean, within this one die set, there are, how many dies? There's six. There's 11 dies here. So you know that that's what you're getting. Now, I've got to tell you, for your first flexi payment, for an extra £8.74, you're able to get the complete collection. Nikki, what do you think of this? Tell me about this collection. Right, so I'm going to just go through what I was just going through in my head. Does it matter if I haven't got those card blanks? And it really does not matter. Your card blanks will just extend your creativity. It will make your life easier and they will be available at some point again. However, using your dies, you can create your own card blanks with them. You can create decorative, interactive cards with them. You can use them. Um, you can use them, sorry. Um, Thank you for that. Uh, yeah. Nikki was spinning. <laughs> so we were, we were <laughs> Nikki, you ruined I, the illusion. You ruined the illusion. Uh, thank you for filling. I was no, basically... That's fine, but I wanted to tell everybody that anyway. I wanted yeah. to explain that just because you haven't got those card blanks there, yeah. don't sit there thinking, oh, I'm only getting half a one-day special. Uh -huh. I haven't got the card blanks. Because those dies will... We'll cut out, so we can make our own card blanks. You can cut out and you make your own card blanks. And I have, and so have the design team, used them in that way anyway. And we didn't know we were going to sell out. Well, okay. So, and that's a really good point that Nikki was making. Thank you for filling, by the way. You're welcome. I don't know what it is. Like, this happened to me now two shows on the trot, that 
I think it's dust in the back of my throat. Mm. But uh, Sean has gone to get my drink, so I'm fine. But you raise a really important point, mm -hmm. being able to make car blanks. Because the thing is, even if you were to get the one day special, and those car blanks are fantastic, but then, as crafters, we can make the trifold cards, and you can make can. them with your card blanks. So if you want to just, use specialty cards, yeah, you can. Exactly. The card blanks that we had in the one-day special was just going to make your life a lot, lot easier. And we do like that as crafters. However, when you look at all the versatility that you're getting within the dies, you're getting 24 dies in total. Okay. Yeah. So each die set will mix and match with other die sets. You can even... Um, like we, I was saying earlier on one of the earlier shows, you could die cut them out, you can stencil through them because they are so pretty. You can use them in your journaling. Oh, that's nice. You can make pockets with them. They are be beautiful. Any beautiful. occasion. Yeah. And that's what I love about this. Very often when Heartfelt bring a collection out, uh -huh. they bring a paper pad out. Yeah, yeah. So you look at the paper pad and I end up making 20, 30 cards uh -huh. with the paper pad. Yeah. This has enabled me to take all of my older cardstock, yeah. all my paper dip pads, and dip into my stash. Nice. I've made wedding cards, I've made Christmas cards with it. I've made some with just some silver mirror card yeah. and white, Ooh. some with gold mirror card. And it nice. just kind of, it, it's made me realize, actually, Nikki, you forgot you'd got that wedding paper yeah. in there. Get back deep in stash. I'm gonna play Let's a word association game with you, Nikki. Oh, okay. okay I'm gonna give you a word. <laughs> And I want you to tell me the first word that prompt jumps in your head that it oh, sounds no. like. Okay, so sounds like. What sounds like fizzy? Fizzy, busy. Yeah. Very good. We busy. are busy. <laughs> uh, we're very, very busy. Thank you for tuning in. We are at 70% of the stock. Look, jokes aside, this is a fantastic bundle. It is a brand, brand new release from Heartfelt Creations. And when you look, at the types of things you can make. And this is a beautiful box. Uh, Shalini, we were showing this yesterday, and Shalini made this. Lovely, How isn't it? exquisite is that? All the detail that you're getting. Or uh, <laughs> we are getting cues on our phone lines. How about here? Now, this is nice. This is using the card blank. That, unfortunately, we haven't got the card blanks, but Nikki was saying we can make our own. Oh, come on. That beautiful stamp, the dies that you're getting in there as well. I want to show you something actually. If I pop this down, the stamp that you are getting. So here you go. This is the stamp in the set. Now look at that red rubber, foam mounted, beautiful detail in there. That's included in the set. And then you get the dies. But when we talk about dies, this is what we mean. Nested dies, you've got panel detail, that's a die, that's a die, that's a die. You've got the scallop detail, that's another die. You're getting the outside cutting edge, that's a die in there. You've got this uh, edge here, so that's a separate die. Multiple, multiple dies on one set. And then we've got here another beautiful, ornate, intricate die from Craft, uh, Heartfelt Creations. So the price, when you break down all the elements that we have on the show, considering that one die set would normally cost you $24.99, I drop that down. The price you have on the show, when you consider your first flexi payment of two, is $33.73. And as a Freedom member, the saving is phenomenal. Actually, Freedom membership, the saving is $46.49. So it is a why not deal. You are better off becoming a Freedom member. I know I was saying this at launch, but the same applies to our Wild Stocks last. You're better off becoming a Freedom member uh, and taking advantage of that saving. All I will say is this set is exquisite. So if you can see yourself making inspirations or cards like this, then this is definitely a set worth considering. Uh, it is a final call. We're seven minutes into the show. We're over 70% of the stock. It's going to be another, another hour where... <laughs> oh, God, so clumsy. Uh, it's going to be another hour where it's going to be tight. What's going to go first, the stock or the clock? Because this is the last live hour that you can get hold of the while stocks last. But we really are busy. Uh, now, we've got some other sets. Now, I was watching you earlier on, Nikki. So uh, before I came to Hachanda, I know you had a few good shows. And this was very busy. So here we're offering you, it's all part of our Black Tag event, 20% saving, $10.99 for a red rubber stamp set stamp. from Heartfelt Creations is just off the chart good. With four stamps in there, 
I think you probably Shame. just did say that, so I've just probably completely repeated what Yanis has just no, said. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so you're getting four stamps in there, but you're actually getting more because you've actually got more petals on each stamp as well, so that you can stamp and create your absolutely stunning roses. And awesome. if you're looking at those ro rose roses and you think to yourself, hm, yeah, but Nick has been making them years, the design team have been making them forever. That isn't true because we have some people that have been on the design team and haven't been crafting for that long and they have been able to create this kind of flower. Wow. I know if I give you the stamp, the die and the mould, Yanis, yep. I'm oh. confident enough and I will one day get Yanis to do it, I'll make do it. a rose because Challenge it is accepted. honestly that easy. I would love to do that and you can do that at home. I've got to tell you we are 80% of the stock gone with the stamp set. 10.99 for beautiful stamps, uh, beautiful row stamps. Come on, that is an absolute bargain. 435950. Thing is, if you're going to go for the stamps, you're going to want to get the dies as well. We've got another 20% saving courtesy of our Black Tag event, and this is. <laughs> Nikki, we're busy. We're approaching limited stock. Already? You, no way. <laughs> you've just, I don't think you've had one hour where it hasn't been extremely We popular. haven't. Yeah. That right, is amazing. So you're getting the dies here, and you really do want the dies. If I just pop this in, because you can see, I'm going to put the stamps next to it. I've got to point out for any new viewers, we've just seen the stamps. You're not getting the stamps there at the bottom of your screen, but you do see how the stamps and the dies work together. Do you see how you've got uh, the cor corresponding? So everything designed, this is what Heartfelt Creations do so well. You've got all, I think I held that out the wrong way, but you can see. Let me just turn that around. There, you can see how they correspond. Better. Okay, so you're getting your dies there. Uh, oh. Fifteen ninety nine is your price, 955-356, your item number. And then finally, third layer of detail. So we've stamped, we've die cut. Now you want to shape and mold. Heartfelt Creations, they've got your back. Have a look at this. This is your mold. The mold, since we've been bringing the molds, they've always been popular. We are limited stock for your mold. Uh, all you need, and this is the important bit, you just need to ensure that you have a wide mouth die cutting machine. So a die cutting machine that can uh, take your thicker dies, so like your Biggs dies in there, your steel rule dies. So if you have that, then you'll be able to use the mold. 1794, sorry, 1749 rather, your price there. Saving £4.50, another 20% saving, courtesy of our Black Tag event. Do take advantage of all the savings. We're going to jump onto the website as we head to our first demonstration. Now, uh, lots to discover. Uh, so have a little look. Oh, the binder, by the way, binder, always busy. So if your folder, if you want to house your collection, twelve ninety nine. you cannot go wrong. Uh, and you've got 54 five-star reviews there. I mean, that is, that's saying something. You've also got your storage in there as well. So if you want to get your magnetic storage, good way to house your dies and your stamps in there. So another 58 uh, five-star reviews. And I know Nikki's a big fan of the Daubers, so if you want to uh, have a look at those, on that, look, shop by brand, explore, there's lots to discover. Nikki, what are we going to be doing? Right, so <clears throat> we're going to make a wedding card nice. using the scalloped flourish gateway, mm -hmm. but also I'm going to add in a couple of the other dies from the collection as well. So the card we're going to make is going to be very similar to this one. As you can see, look at those gorgeous roses oh, on there. Nice. Just finishes off the card. But Nikki, that's beautiful. I have created that card myself. Nice. As so in using the dies own... that come in the collection. Okay. Yes. So there's various ways you can do it. So I could, if I wanted, and I think I am going to go with this because I would like to see a little bit of white come through. Okay. So I'm going to take my white card and I've folded it in half, okay, and then I'm going to take my die. So if I wanted just a plain arched card, I would go for that one. If I wanted a decorative one, I could choose one, say, from the ornate flourish gateway, which would be that one. Oh, that's so pretty. then I would get a pattern design mm -hmm. on there and to be honest I'm gonna go for it yeah, I'll, let's so. go for a patterned one I like how you see this so, kind of good crafter being able to adjust it, it's adapt. the versatility sorry versatility of it all yeah. and it isn't until and I say this with any collection anyway it's not until you actually get it home you mm. realize 
what you can actually do with it. I know I've got that die upside down. <laughs> I know that um, yeah. there's a lot of crafters out there that are probably been, have probably watched all four shows, yeah. are watching this one, and you're already seeing other possibilities that I haven't even mentioned. Oh, nice. Nikki, can you just explain, because it's subtle, it, anyone just watching might not realise, but you can see your one cutting edge is just hanging over. Just over the edge there, I've just hung that die just yeah. over the edge. It's so that not one quite cut straight there. actually, it's quite mm. straight. So I'm just going to take it as near yeah. to the edge as I can, so it's going to catch the edge. Yeah. Like that. And then I'm going to turn it over, because it is such a delicate one, I just need to make sure it has caught a little bit yeah and then I'm going to put that through my die cutting machine right. so it's going through both parts so I am going to take it through the die cutting machine twice mm -hmm. and take a look at it to make sure it's gone through which I'm quite confident it has because yeah. I felt it look at that so then when I take that off I have now made my own Card blank. Perfect. How okay. interesting, Nikki. If we wanted to create a trifold, how do we do that? Right. You know, I was actually just thinking about that because obviously we've got the ones that are in the, mm -hmm. the were in the one day special. So if I was going to do that, would you cut, I cut would, that out again and then I stick would them actually, together? Yeah, I would do it again and then I would cut, stick the middle part on yeah. there. Okay. So it would then come out three times. So it reinforced that middle bit as yeah. well. Right. Okay. And that's how I would do it. In actual fact, I did think that I might do it on another demo, but you beat me to it. Sorry. <laughs> that's, okay. that's fine because your brain's like m like mine. I think you've been it. looking at it and you've been thinking, how can we do this? How can I do that? Mm. And that's good. So that's my card blank. And then I've taken the scalloped edge of this one. Okay. But because I've changed the demo slightly, you'll just have to bear with me for a few seconds. So I don't need that one now. It's this one I need. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take some pink cardstock mm -hmm. and I'm going to take from the Ornate Flourish. Okay, just sorry I didn't take and clean that out. Can I? Oh, there it is. Just pop these out. Can't see under the light. And I always get into good habits of cleaning your dies. We do. And um, I normally give it a little tap on the table, but it might just ring in everyone's ears so I will just pop them through. You can give it a little tap on the table if it's easier for you. It's okay, it's fine. Well, I think that's about it. Do you mind? There we go. That was easy. <laughs> it's a lot easier just to give it a tap and they are strong dies. I wouldn't recommend tapping too hard. Yeah. Don't go crazy with it else you might um, you don't want to buckle them, okay. end up buckling your die. So then I'm going to lay that onto my cardstock. Okay. Now, when I get my decorative dies, obviously you've got your packaging, mm. but one thing you want to look at is to see if that edge has got a die cutting edge all the way around the edge. Right. And I've noticed it hasn't, mm -hmm. it's got little gaps. So that means I would need to put that one on, but I would also need your outside cutting edge. the outside edge, which we've just used on the card. Yeah which would be this one and that would go on as well okay. and that will cut it because if not it would cut within my cardstock yeah. okay. and I want to cut it full. You can see these are well used now because I've got lots of tape stuck to them. They need a really good clean. Well, it's in, do you know one thing I, as a presenter, Nikki, I always pay attention when you can see when a guest is really being captured by a release, a die set. Because the minute you came in yesterday, you were so enthusiastic about this set. So I thought, we, we've got a good one here. It's one of those collections that I know, if you said to me, Nikki, you've got to do five shows a day for mm -hmm. seven days, I would not run out of things to show Massive and talk compliment. about. Yeah. I think we should make that happen, Nikki. I would what about love all to make next that week? Are you busy? All next week? No, nope, I can be okay. here. I can prep for my other shows in between. No problem. So that, I just need to catch it down the bottom a little bit because I am going through, uh, I think it's about 240 GSM and it is a very decorative die. Just want to make sure that that cuts through. And I always say anyway, rather put it through it one more time 
rather than wish that you had have done because it just makes it easier. You'll notice when I now take this out, uh -huh. oh, that's it so will pretty. literally fall out of that card. Nikki, that's so flick. pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. So that will now fit on like that look. And you've got the Ready. white showing through You've it. You've created something. Isn't and you've that got pretty? Things, a couple of passes through your die cutting machine. You just put a topper on that. Done. Got to tell you, we are very, very busy for our wild stocks last three quarters of the stock. It's going to be touch and go. But either way, as to whether we're going to uh, manage to hold on to stock for the whole of this hour, we will keep you updated. All I've got to say is we are busy. We've had queues on our phone lines. Don't miss out. And please become a Freedom member. You are saving money by becoming a Freedom member. Enjoy Freedom membership for the month and then opt out. There's no contract. You can opt out at the end of the month. You have to opt out. Our Freedom membership will carry on rolling. So you do have to uh, opt out. So I've money. just glued that down. Okay. On there. And now I'm just going to move all this that I didn't use mm -hmm. just to tidy up my workspace. This is where your magnetic sheets come in handy. Yeah. But mine are in the drawer. <laughs> right, so the next step is to cut out using, grab these, my elegant squirrel gateway die. And I'm going to go for the outer edge. I actually want this part, so I want the picture in there. So I've got some wedding paper from the Classic Wedding Collection. I'm thinking if you had any uh, sort of wood effect paper, you could make some nice little doors, wedding doors. Wedding door, yeah. yeah. That would like be good, yeah. To a church. In actual fact, I do have, and I was actually thinking of that earlier, something like that. There you go, look. That's uh, what you mean, isn't it? Yeah, sort of like exactly a wood effect, I mean. a grain effect. And that's from the Snowy Pine collection. Oh, that'd look nice. But yeah. there's so many different kind of um, looks that you could go for because you could distress it, you could make it really vintage, you could um, ink it up, you could do messy backgrounds with it. Just because I'm using nice, clean, and elegant look and style, there's lots of other styles that you could go for. So that's what I wanted there, the little dove, but in the process of cutting my dove out, I have got, just give it a little tap, look at that, I've now got an outer edge as well that one. I can use. Nice. And when you put that together, you could layer that up, you could put some little tight kind of dobs of um, uh, three-dimensional glue or some yeah. foam pads, lift that up, you could put little diamantes on each one of those, but you've still got your picture there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is going to go on here, but I've already got one, so I've only really just showed you how you could use that, because I'm going to use the wedding bells, because I've already prepped that, mm -hmm. so it'll be easier for me just to put that on. Mm -hmm. Okay, what did I do with the card that I did? There we go. Just so that I can remember what I've done. That's going to go on there. And then that outer that I just showed you, which I said I didn't want, I'm going to put, just make sure all those little dots mm -hmm. are poked out. Nice. I mean, there's so many elements that you can use because the die cut that you've got in your hand, you can just use that. By itself, you can layer it up with the mm -hmm. inner detail, then nest it into obviously the oh, card that we're making right wasn't now. Wasn't that one? It was this one. I've got one already prepped. Look, I'm getting ahead of myself now. So this one is going to go flat. Okay. Nice. We're playing with levels, and that's the layers are, as most of our viewers will already know, that's kind of the key to making a special card is having that interest, those different Just layers. Lay that down under there. You can see, when, because I've cut them out together, the picture actually follows on that image yeah, that's around nice. the edge. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then next, I'm going to die cut this 
gorgeous and it really is pretty just take those out and it's when you look at them myself and Haley were looking at these earlier mm. and we could see and I'm going to see what I'm going to ask you what you think you can see when I die cut it out okay okay so with this one I need that outer edge again oh. where's that outer edge die okay at the moment it just looks like obviously with the white nice snowy flutter uh, fl snowfall but I'm, I see a little reindeer there I, did, I, I can't say that I did actually, but okay. I will have a look in a minute as well and see what we can all come up with. Okay. So just pop that through the die cutting machine again. So again, this is about 220 GSM. So I will go through once more just to make sure you were saying yesterday, because they're so detailed, it's nice to go through a couple of times. It just makes it a lot easier. I am actually going to turn it because there's one bit at the bottom that it hasn't caught as well as around the others. And it means that when I take it out, instead of having to poke it all out, it should fall out. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And there it is, falling out. Oh, that's very so, pretty. No, you know what? I don't see any reindeer there now. It was just the, the dye. You can't see any reindeer. Now, now, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't see No, it's just I was looking at the actual dye. You know when you go down? Oh, obviously, when yes, it cuts yeah. out, you're going to see different stuff. So uh, We are approaching 80% of the stock for our while stocks last. It's going to be tight. Uh, there is a, genuinely, there is a possibility where, before the end of the show, we could be selling out of this. And, Obviously, as the name suggests, while stocks last, that is it. Our ro roses, our black tag event, also really busy there. You can get the stamps, you can get the dyes, and you can get the mold. They're all separate, but each one has a 20% saving. So Let there me have you a look go. at this, Nikki. Let's see what I can discover. Well, that's very what pretty. Can you see? Uh, do you see? Oh, no. Uh, Should I turn it that way? Don't see. Oh, what is it? Can you see it? Well, no. Is it like a bauble? Bauble. Oh, yeah. Christmas bauble. Then you put it the other way. You've got a little heart. Yeah. There. And then you've got the scrolls. I'm getting a bit of a peacock vibe there. Yeah. And if you st if you actually um, stencil through that as well, I think that would be really pretty. Nikki, that's so But ornate. you could cut around that and paper piece it up a bit. That, that Definitely. really is such an elegant, Isn't pretty, pretty dye. I like that a lot. So then I'm going to put this. So this is where it's going to, if I bring that there, it's going to transform my pretty card, I think, into a very elegant card. Mm -hmm. By popping that over there, because you can still see oh, we like that. the image, but it's behind that now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that, I would say, I finished. Yeah. But I would put some pearls around that one, oh, like this one. The roses would okay. look nice. Okay, and the roses. Yeah. So I have got a couple of roses, but I'm going to put them on in a second because I want okay. to do the inside. Yeah, okay. So it's just a little bit easier because I can lay that flat. Now, you can decorate both both the um, inside of the card. And I think that's what we tend to forget. And I think that's really what I've learned from this collection as well. Mm. That's made me realise actually you can decorate the inside of a card yeah. and it is well worth decorating it because yeah. in the inside I'm going to take what have we got in there? Just check. That's it. So I'm going to take that pink one with just those pearls around mm. the edge. And I'm actually only going to glue that part because I'm not too worried about thing. But if you remember, I cut that. So if I put that on there now, it's going to come over the edge a little bit. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Because I overlaid it slightly. So this would be slightly smaller. So I'm just going to take just a tiny bit off the edge right. of that so that when I pop it down, the actual card will close because you, you need it away that. from that side. Yeah. And you can't notice it, apart from the fact that I didn't quite cut it straight. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the inside, but then you can keep on going. You could, I've got here, this part. So you can really decorate it up and you can put them in there. You could put those that side. I could really go to town and do both sides. Oh, that now that's really pretty. That works. Uh, that does work, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, I like I that. I think we should. Yeah, I think we should. Let's do it. So, again, I would normally, to be honest, use a paper trimmer for this to make sure it's straight. Okay, live TV. But I am going to glue that down. But these, I think I'm going to put this side, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Because I've already pearled that. I should have yeah. pearled it after. I would normally, but because I was prepping, yeah. because that won't quite sit in there. Okay. So, we'll glue these. Now, we've got viewers watching us across the globe at the moment. So, uh, if you're watching us in the UK, Europe, or America, you are more than welcome. And you are That's absolutely... Lovely part of the Hoshanda family, so thank you for tuning in. So I know we, we talk about this a lot. I know, obviously, as a channel, we're based in the UK, but uh, we've got viewers and uh, fans of the show who watch from across the globe, and we are it's a true international platform. It is, isn't it? And it's really nice to think that we're not on our own. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's also nice to think that people actually take, you know, crafters out there, take their time out of their day not just to watch the show but to actually email in as well yeah i think crafting it just it, it unites us it's a, it's a language but you bond through crafting it, and it doesn't matter where you are we can all connect if you're a crafter it doesn't matter if you're in america australia france uk germany we can all sort of connect on a level with crafting there we go and then you can stamp in there. Now, I can't okay. stamp because I've put the um, mm -hmm. pearls around there, but you could use one of those stamps that we've got on the show Yeah, no, to stamp in there. Up. And then to finish it off, I will just add a few flowers. doesn't need a lot, mm. but I've That's got pretty. a rose there, and I'll just put a rosebud as well. Nice. And then you could put your sentiment across there like what happy wedding anniversary or congratulations so obviously i haven't finished it off just wanted to give you an idea an idea with what you can create but when you're at home you can actually finish it off a little bit more in depth like the one i have Gee, done that there. is such a pretty card and this is one thing i'm taking from this nikki that is achievable what you're showing there even if you just started crafting, this is the mm -hmm. kind of card you can make. And heartfelt creations, what you're seeing right now on your screens, these are the cards that you're going to become known for, and then your friends are going to, when they receive a card from you, when it's on the mantelpiece, they'll know, oh, that's a Nikki. That, that, yeah, Nikki <laughs> makes that. You know. Or it's a heartfelt card. Yeah. I think heartfelt of, of, of one company that you can actually, you know it's a heartfelt card. You really I do. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. It's the decorative style. dyes, it's the distinctive yeah. papers well, that they use, the flowers. Everything just works. And I've got to tell you, we sold out the one-day special. It sold out overnight. And that gives you a massive indication of how busy we are for this collection. I actually, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to Heartfelt Creations because they went above and beyond to give us more stock on a while stocks last because we had a huge amount of stock. This is the latest release from Heartfelt Creations. It's sold out in a day. It, today it's back with um, on a, a while stocks last. The only difference being to yesterday, you don't have the card blanks. But Nikki was showing you we can make our own card blanks. So that's absolutely fine. You've still got your flexi payments on there as well. You've still got your freedom discount as well. Freedom discount, I mean, just have a look at that freedom saving. As a freedom member, your saving goes up to £46.49. pence. You've covered your freedom price, so get freedom membership. That price is covered, and then you can take advantage of freedom membership for a month. Now, Nikki was discussing, she was saying that Heartfelt Creations, you know it's a Heartfelt Creations card when you see it. 
I mean, this could be anywhere, and you see it, and you're like, right, that's Heartfelt Creations. And that is a huge, I think, compliment to the design team at Heartfelt Creations. And actually, it's a massive compliment to this release as well, because of the possibilities, the directions you can go. You are getting four die sets and a stamp set today for 33.73. Now, I've got to tell you, because it's coming from America, it will be on extended dispatch. It's going to be dispatched from the 4th of December. Just having a little look. I want to point something out. Say, okay, this one here, this die set here, they're all the die sets are the same, but just point this one, $24.99, $24.99, $24.99. So when you consider you have a hundred pounds worth of dies just there, the stamps $13.99, so 113 pounds should be the price for, give or take a few pennies, uh, should be the price of this release. Look at what you are paying, 33.73, two flexi payments. I mean, 60 pounds, in the region of 60 pounds, for a brand new Heartfelt Creations release that should be over 100 pounds worth. And it is, every time we bring you Heartfelt Creations, and we were saying this yesterday, how often, or when, when have you ever seen a Heartfelt Creations, a brand new release? I understand we do sales shows bringing back releases that you might have seen two, three years ago. When have you ever, ever seen a Heartfelt Creation release for $74.95, brand, brand new release. And then I'll, I'll raise the stakes. When have you ever seen it for our freedom price? We just dropped that of $67.46. Nikki, I'm just, I'm hearing myself saying it, but $67.46 for a brand new release that should be £113 is just That's off the charts. That's an It is really an amazing price. And you get, as you said, you're getting 24 individual dies in there. You're getting three stamp sets. Two of those stamps are huge. I, I, it really, they really are. I'm excited by this, uh, and I'm so pleased that it's proven to be busy because this is a great, great buy. If you're looking to treat yourself, if you're a fan of Heartfelt Creations, or if you just want to have a go and see what all the buzz is about, this is the set for you. 433-864, your item number. We are at 80% of the stock, and we are busy. Uh, okay, so, Nikki, what else do you have for us? What right. are you going to do next? Oh, apologies. I think we're just oh. going to, that was me being ahead. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we're going to move That's on fine. down. Uh, we're just going to tell you about our Black Tag events, and then we'll get back to Nikki. I promise I'll be quick. So uh, we do have some roses for you. Uh, we got the stamps. We've also got the cor corresponding dies and the mold. Let's start with the stamps. You can see that we are over 80% of the stock. I'm going to change these around because I think that you kind of get more of a reflection of the detail that you're going to get with that stamp. Uh, so here, batch making, but you're going to be able to make the most beautiful, beautiful roses. Do you see that fine line detail that gives you that sense of realism? So just going to show you, with regard to the quality of the stamp, you can see that here. Sorry, Marcus, I'm just shoehorning that in. That's poor presenting. There we go. But you can see that you've got all these stamps for $10.99. I mean, that is just ridiculously good value for money. Typically, we would associate, and the thing is crafters, you, you come to appreciate what you would pay. So for a stamp set, normally for $10.99, you'd be looking at what? An A6 stamp set, clear stamp set, but red rubber, foam mounted, pre-cut, you'd normally pay a premium. I actually think $13.99 for this set is good value for money. $10.99, courtesy of our Black Tag event, just takes it to that next level. Uh, 435 950, your item number. If, if you're going for the stamps, m this is just my humble opinion, you really want to get the dies as well. So with regard to the dies, they're exactly the same designs that you get in the stamps, so no fussy cutting. But what the dies afford you is the possibility now of creating those 3D roses. So we've got our stamps. Uh, sorry, I, we've used our stamps. We've die cut. Now have a look at this. Look at that, beautiful. And that's a kind of realism that you can achieve with it. They are absolutely stunning. Okay, dies, $15.99. But if you want to achieve this, the final uh, layer of detail really is gonna be in our molds. So just gonna show you details for the molds. Um, here you're getting the 3D molds. 3D molds have been a revelation from Heartfelt Creations, immensely popular, 17.49 your price. Saving four pounds and 50 pence, you are gonna get, 
this fabulous mold and it is an absolutely fantastic mold so you're going to be getting your mold in there 908 310 is your item number four pounds fifty saving that is very very good now if you do want to add a little bit more detail to uh, the molds as well we have got a flower shaping uh, toolkit this has got uh, 10 tips and what you can do they sort of uh, they're magnetic and they're very quick to interchange you've got a quilling tip in there you've got different ball tips uh, in there too 29.99 also comes with the uh, mat as well 939385 your item number good news by the way we have got the art foam paper sheets in there as well foam sheets I say not paper uh, so 11.99 your price there very busy last time we brought it to you back in stock 675424 and if you do want a storage solution we have got the binder as well so half felt storage binder 12.99 your price 374418 your item number uh, we also have some stamp and die magnetic sheets for you to go into your storage. $12.99 your price there and you're getting six. 934723. Enough from me. I think we should continue the demonstration for Nikki. What are we going to do, Nikki? Get back into place. Well, this is okay. what I should do. <laughs> I'm, I'm over there because I've got two cards left that I've prepped. Right. Well, actually, I've got two more, but I think I'm going to see if i can make two christmas cards in the time we've got left we've got it okay we've got about 15 minutes right so the first one i'm going to use the whoops, lattice swirl gateway die set okay. it's got three dies in total on this one this is the one that the basket that shalina created mm -hmm. was made from so first of all i need to make my card blank exactly the same way i'm going to pop my die on there I've got my spine of my card just there I can actually just come over there a little tiny bit more and that will create my card blank so very easy bring that back As we're doing this, uh, you do have your own little heartfelt creations group. Do you want to give a little mention? I do. If you want to have a look, see what's going on in there, that's Nikki and Friends Crafting with Heartfelt and more. I'll be honest with you, I haven't been in there just lately. I've been really extremely busy yeah. with um, lots of things that's been going on. But I am planning on a Christmas giveaway. So in the next few days, there will be a giveaway on there with lots of goodies. Mm -hmm. And anyone can enter whether or not you join the group today, tomorrow, or you've been in there for two years. Okay, excellent. And if you want more inspiration, yeah. Heartfelt have their own Facebook page as well. And that's called the Heartfelt Official Facebook page page as well so there's amazing um, tutorials on there um, inspiration from the design team as well cool. okay right so there's my car blank so how easy was that yeah I mean it took minutes then I've die cut out another one but in red mm -hmm. and this is using the snowy pines collection which we launched this summer I say this summer, it was, it was July. <laughs> so I know many of you have got this collection. Where has this year gone? I don't know, don't ask. I really don't. I don't even know where the, what day it is half the time. Mm. Okay. And there is my card. And then I've taken my decorative die. Now, looking at the decorative die, like I said to you earlier, if you're not 100% sure, just check and you'll see whether or not there is any gaps in the actual um, die cutting edge. Mm. And there isn't on this one, so that means that will cut all the way around the edge for me. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to take this out. So this one says thinking of you, mm -hmm. but I don't want that in there. Okay. Okay, but it will still cut the image out. Now I've already cut it out and I want to use this one because I thought this was really actually quite clever of me. Uh, so that was the paper. Yeah. So I did it so that there was two of the red cardinals uh -huh. in there. And if you can see, that's how it looked when I cut it out. Nice. So I made sure that those birds were in the center there. You were so just when I with put it through the die cutting machine, it all flows 
but I've got my picture of my cardinals in there. I like that. And then all I need to do then, so this is a really nice, easy, quick Christmas card, but you can glitz it up with your glitter, your gems, your pearls. You can add a sentiment on here as well. for something a little bit different. And like you said, Janice, they are mantle police pleasers. You know, yeah. people that aren't going, the recipient will not want to put these cards away. These are the cards, and we all do that. You know when you get given a card, and the ones that you put to the forefront, you want everyone to see, these are the cards that get pride of place. And, and that, the, the other ones you kind of tuck away, no one can see. It's just die cutting that I've done so far. Okay. Obviously, I, I did it. Um, just before the show, not now, but look at that. That's I can then pop that in, okay. and that fits in perfectly. Would you ever raise that up with foam pads? You could raise that up, yes, like that look. That would look nice, and you could put pearls around it, glitter around the edges. Okay. Nice. And then to finish it off, you could put some flowers, and mm -hmm. you could put a sentiment on there. But I just wanted to show you another shaped card using those nice. elegant gateway dice. Brilliant. Nikki, we're on track. You going to do your right. second one? I know I haven't okay. finished it off, but I think you can say that I've made it. Okay. Now you've, got good, got you've got about 10 minutes, the so there. there's no, don't feel like you have to rush. But where you might have to rush is to get hold of this set because we are approaching limited stock. Oh, we're busy. So if you want to get all 10, oh, sorry, all 10, all four of these die sets and you're getting these stamps, 24 dies in total, you're getting three stamps, uh, one stamp set with three beautiful stamps in there. Just want to point out that to get the dies individually by themselves would set you back a hundred pounds, just shy of a hundred pounds. They're 24 99 each, so four pence shy. The stamp set, £13.99, so when you consider that this whole collection is 13, uh, sorry, 113.95, now look at the price as a Freedom member. So what would you rather pay, 113.95 or £67.46? Oh, £67.46 for a brand new release from Heartfelt Creations. That is why we're approaching, free, uh, we're approaching limited stock. And that is why we sold out in a day. We are busy. Okay. So another card blank. Okay. Yeah. So this time I'm using the, mm -hmm. I think it's this one, the Scalloped Flourish Gateway, uh -huh. I think. Let me just check. Just get it right, because there's two that are a little bit similar around the edge. No, I'm not, I'm not using that one at all. I'm not be using. There's another packet somewhere, or is it that one? Well, the beauty is, look. we're getting them all, so it doesn't matter. It's this one. Yeah, okay. you'll be getting them all, but I just want to get it right. Okay. Ornate Flourish Gateway. That's yeah. the one we use using. Okay. Okay. So you're getting six dies in total on that one. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm going to go over the edge. with my die, just catching that mm -hmm. there. Creating our card blank. And you can, as I say, mix and match the dies up. Mm -hmm. It is purely, that's where your imagination is going to, honestly, you're going to get these home and you're going to go wild because you're just going to be you know, when everyone's going to be saying, Mum, are we going to be putting the Christmas decorations up? Uh, in a minute. And mm -hmm. um, it's the day before Christmas because yeah. you've been playing with your <laughs> gateway dies. It's one of those collections where you will not stop. Yeah. Have you uh, got any Christmas decorations with, up yet? Um, mine are going up tomorrow. Oh. So I just need to get them all out. And probably maybe do a bit of online shopping as well, I think. Molly, our director, uh, sorry, producer, sorry, Miles. Uh, Molly, our producer, she um, she put up her decorations for Jack. Yes, it was a yesterday, Molly. Oh, did you? Yesterday. Oh, lovely. Caused a few arguments. Stuck up a tree. I mean, who puts it? Who puts the decorations? Was, were you actually on Jack's shoulders? At one point, she was sitting on Jack, her boyfriend's shoulders, both toppling away. True story, Nikki. This is true. This is what I never yesterday. know with you. Is this no, true? true. It's is true this really story, true? Yeah. 
So you use Jack as a ladder, basically. Basically. So right. Because she's saying the ladder scared her. So obviously it's safer to jump on your boyfriend's shoulders rather than climb a nice sturdy ladder. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. So no, this one uh -huh. I'm going to put on here. So I kind of just lost track of the train of thought then. I was yes. just thinking I could You're just imagine Molly, Molly toppling over. <laughs> over the tree, knocking the tree flying. So with this one, again, using the snowy pines, okay. I've chosen this design. So this was one of the 12 by 12s and it's just a corner of that design. You've got that lovely bird in there. I'm not sure what the bird is. And just pop that down on the front of my card. We need a one who's good with animals to tell us what the bird is. And then it looks maybe a finch. This one, this die here, huh? if I just grab the die, is that one there? Okay, so what I did was I oh, put nice. the decorative I'm getting a bit of a mess here now okay so I use the decorative die and then I pop this one in the center and put it through the die cutting machine which gave me that nice. okay but what I did do as well I mm -hmm. put all the elements so I tell you what because we've got a few minutes left yeah. right this is how I cut it out so I put all these back in can you see yeah. how I did it all in one go in one pass? Okay. Because then that picture it flows together, all yeah, the way that's nice. down. So I used that one, and then I used the middle bits, which I'm not sure. There we are. There, and that cut out mm -hmm. all of those bits. Lovely. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. But you get that really nice flow of a picture then. Mm. So I'll we'll take that off, okay. come back here, but I'm not going to use all of them, those pretty things. Those pretty things, those pretty die cuts. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, what am I like? So I'm just going to pop that on there, because I don't want to, I don't want to um, cover up um, the beautiful bird. The beautiful bird there, no. And just go around the edge a little bit so it catches mm -hmm. around the edge. Like that. And then, like that. Again, you can lift it up. You can use some foam pads around if you wanted to. Yeah. But then, you can either add those two like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to would keep the middle out. Put a flower there, a flower there, and a nice Christmas wishes or Merry Christmas here and then you've got the bird or you could I'm not sure if I've got time to do this I'm going to do it anyway cut out some gold card okay we got some news oh no we're limited stock so oh, for our wild brilliant. stocks last we oh, are limited stock well done no, i just love seeing how happy you are by that as well because it, this is Honestly, going to bring a lot of joy you to you are crafters. going to love it yeah it's a good set it really is and please please do share what you make on um social media i'm not going to have time to do this i wanted to cut it out in gold and put a gold bit there and a gold bit down oh, there that would have been pretty go on you can do it you can do we it reckon we believe in you right they believe in me it doesn't matter, we'll just roll over to the next show. Yeah, I'm sure okay. whoever's on next won't mind. Yeah. Well, just as so well, we don't have 45 pop minute shows. That through. What was that, sorry? Just as well, we don't have 45 minute shows. I know. No, I couldn't do it. I could not do it in 45 minutes. Yeah. As I say, I can really t uh, be honest and say that I'd be happy to do five shows a day mm -hmm. for a week. And would not run out of possibilities. There we go. And then just take those out. I only want these two, to be honest. Okay. You've got two minutes, Nikki. You can do that. I always find on the last show I try and get as much in and then end up rushing that last demo. Oh, that's okay. But look at that. 
comes out beautifully. And this was the gold cardstock um, that we had on the show a few weeks back. It's a good card. It's a good cardstock. And then. Yeah, this is going to be a nice card. So I haven't done any decorating, okay. but you can just get the gist of how you can use these dies, yeah. the versatility of them. Yeah, Got a minute. Any occasion, any colour. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. And obviously, you would clean yeah. that up. I've got two little bits in there. I can't see the poke at all. There we go. Got them out. And that one will go at the top. I'm really, really rushing this now. And that one will go in there. I'll well probably put done, some gold Nikki. glitter on there as well. And some gold poinsettias. It shows you where you could go, one possible direction. How pretty is that? But Nikki, thank you so much. Just to give you an idea. Oh, I'll stop. Okay. <laughs> what you can do with it. <laughs> Um, oh, that's pretty. That really is that, very look. pretty, Nikki. I'm glad we saw it. And with the gold, just that little accent. It does. Suddenly it looks like mm -hmm. uh, in the garden, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank Nikki. you. I've enjoyed it. When are you back? I will be back on the 7th of December. December. Yes, it will yeah. be December, yes, okay. with a brand new collection. Thank you so much. And thank you for your company. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. So coming up next, we have got Paper Crafting Black Tag Bonanza with the lovely Paola and she's got some great demos for you. After that, we got Black Tag with Bizarreology uh, and then we've got Fabric Street. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on her Chanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch her Chanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on the Chanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, Follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select move to front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Hachanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. 
I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etched that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Black Tech event continues here at Herchanda and we have got, well, one company that is very close to my heart because I work with them very closely in the past and in the present, of course, and we are talking about craft stash and practical publishing. It is a conglomerate. They kind of find these amazing crafters and, of course, they work very closely to bring you every single one of their amazing talents. They work as an independent or together, so we have got across the, the, the our beautiful products at amazing prices and I will be doing a little bit of demonstration so I'm excited and I can tell you yes it's a little bit of a secret well not not, not a secret but when I was like they asked me to do demonstrate as well I kind of oh yes yeah, yeah I love the product so I'm happy and then when the I saw open the box and I saw some of my favorites some dice that I was saying oh I want to buy that I, I want to that they were they are here so they are amazing so I feel very lucky to bring you all this amazing amazing uh, products. Now shop ahead on the website because there is a plethora of beautiful products. Now we have got Daisy May, we have got Pretty Quick, we have got Quick um American magic. We have got also simply made crafts. We have got as well uh, made to surprise. We have got so many different items. These ones I adore. The easel cards by Car Making Magic. That's going to be my first demonstration. If you want an alphabet die set that is incredibly affordable, we have got it for you. We have got also the ter terrific terrarium and ultimate gerbera from simply made crafts. Now remember that simply made crafts. Well. They are amazing dies and also they have got all tutorials. That's the other thing. All these amazing crafters that have inspired these brands have got amazing YouTube tutorials so you can catch up on their amazing demonstrations. Now, the first one we have got here for you is Daisy May. It's a brand new today for you here at Hoshanda. And what we have got is uh, Claire Rowland's amazing work. Claire Rowland is an amazing illustrator. She hand draws her the images herself. And then, of course, she builds, you can build an image with her uh, beautiful photopolymer stamps. Now, you are getting the woodland scene. You are getting the beautiful rabbits kind of playing around with the toadstool. You are also getting the squirrel and you are getting the hedgehogs kind of playing around. Does it have a Christmas theme? Well, a slightly, but you can use it all around, all year round. For instance, if you wanted to make it more Christmas, you can bring in and those hollies that are in there and bring them to life that snow. However, you know, this image, you can see it in here that yes, it is Christmas because there is a snow, but 
if you just use them like this, there is not necessarily. This could be, you can paint it grain and it's a moss growing into it there. So you don't have to use it as Christmas. And of course, a stamping and embossing. You have got a beautiful photo polymer stamps. Sixteen pounds and ninety-seven pence is the price. Saving eight pounds one eight nine five zero four is your item number. Now, a stamp and die to you are some of our favorite doers, aren't they? Because we have got the ability to stamp and die cut, so do not have to do all the fussy cutting. Now, this is a stamp that we have got in two different sizes. So we have got them, uh, this is the one, the wreath. Now, I'm gonna show you a sample that is using a slightly larger version, but it is exactly the same sort of a style that you could do. So you could do something like this. And you can see that how gorgeous does it look. But of course, the one that you are going to get here is slightly tiny, smaller, and this is just done as a prototype, so you cannot see see it that this is slightly different. But you have got the ability to paint it to this. You kind of use them uh, for your gorgeous and Christmas. Now you have got Christmas sentiments, merry and bright, happy Christmas, snowflake kisses, and Christmas wishes, and you have got the dies that will match perfectly. So easy, easy going. Now. You have got a seven pounds off this price. You are just paying twelve pounds and ninety nine pence, which means that a thirty percent off the price. Thirty five actually, that cheeky five percent. Never forget it. Um, you know, everything counts, doesn't it? A nine eight three a three four eight is your item number. Then we are moving on to pretty quick. Now I remember when I uh, started working with uh, with uh, the company, they kind of when when I started working with pretty quick, it really is what it says on the tin. It's pretty and quick uh, because it's all about dies that will cut one pass. You will have a perfect cut, and then you will have images that will deliver you this beautiful stack with the snow, uh, with the, the moon and the star. And this is what you can create. Simply and a striking cards quickly achieve. And one pass does it all. Then we have got also, I love the car with the, with the tree in there. Now, of course, the tree makes it Christmas, but you have a bunny there. So it could be for Easter. Maybe it could be that somebody's moving houses. Maybe, it, you know, and that could be a celebration of that. Maybe moving a new home for Christmas. Fingers crossed. And you have got here, and I love this card. I adore it. I think it's one of loose because it looks so, you know, cool. Die cutting it out of paper. And then, of course, this one, I adore it. So if we put it here, you can see the die beside it, and it has created a snow globe. So you can use it like that, or you can use it as a Christmas ornament, sort of thing that they can take it into your cars and hang it up. 24 pounds and 96 pence is the price. You are saving 14 pounds. 119, 498 is the item number for the, all four of them. Remember, 30% off in this one. Now, it, it's actually more than that. I would yeah, well, we are finding out exactly how much. 35 again, a cheeky 5% extra off. Now, then, made to surprise. Now, Sam Calcock is, um, you know, the creator or the conceptual creator of this collection. She, uh, Sam is an amazing creative person. And she likes a bold, beautiful, striking element, like she is herself. And with this set, you are getting some, I mean, as soon as I open again, this was one of those sets that was like, oh yes, I'm, I love that alphabet, I love these stamps, I love the panels as well. So you can use them in combination or on their own. Hopefully this will be one of my demos. Because I think for £32.97, pence, you are getting something that is so usable. The alphabets, I'm going to show you, they are, they come in individuals. So when you open it, it's a big pack. But this is so you can put on inside a magnetic sheet and then you can have all the alphabet letters. So you kind of just take it out and then you can see all the letters. Now, apologies for the noise. But you can see here the letter. So this is the W. You can see it there. So it is about an inch in height. So that you know that they are decent size letters, but they you can use in your car making, but also in your scrapbooking, mixed media, and so much more. The stamps, well, we have to talk about those beautiful stamps because look at that. Isn't that striking? 
I love the boldness of those birthday letters, and I love the happy in there as well. I love how you, of course, you can bring, no, that, I don't think this one goes in here, sorry, that's another set. And then you can see it here, the same sentiment, but how different it looks. You are getting 37 dice, 21 stamps, and of course, using the uh, alphabet, you can spell any word, including, of course, happy, then use glossy accents over it. And then we have got, hello, you did it. And then we have got, of course, the ability to glossy accents. I cut it as many times as you want to give some depth as well. 32 pounds and 97 pence is the price for it. Uh, 302889 is your item number. 11 pounds saving there. Well, 20%, over 20% off uh, in this bundle. Right, moving on to one of the stars uh, that is, of course, Christina Griffiths is the crafter that inspires car making magic. She comes with this concept, works across with different designers, and comes up with these amazing concepts. I adore the way that these, I call it tiles, because although they're semicircle perfect panels, they will work uh, as styly tiles. You have getting the embossing folder in which you can incorporate the die cut elements. Let me show you exactly the size of those dies because they are humongous. I mean, they are large. And of course, you look at the price, 18 pounds and 99 pence for all this metal. And as you can see in the image here now in the screens, very detailed indeed. And you can see the kind of how a stitch. Now, if you even close, look, look closely, you look at that, oh, for instance, here, you can see that this one is a scoring line and that is a cutting line. So that will create gateful cards. It will create as well, if you want flaps for maybe envelopes, it will create wraps around as well. So it's a very versatile set. Not only you are getting the semicircles, but you're getting the quarter of the circles. So those quarter of the circles, of course, they will work on the embossing folder. So you can die cut it or emboss it first and then do the next step practice because sometimes it's better to uh, I mean with this embossing folder usually I say die cut first and then emboss however for this embossing folder it will give you the placement so what I would do is emboss it first die cut it and then maybe a second time emboss it to make sure that the de definition of the embossed lines are it is showcases all right 18 pounds and 99 pence is is the price saving nine pounds as well now three five four uh, five three one is the item number now we have got a similar set to this one uh, now if you like more of angular shape we have got the rectangle set and here our triangle this is a triangle well I call it a rectangle because this is a rectangle but I'm wrong I'm very wrong this is a triangle so that's what it should be called again is the same concept so you have got the <laughs> triangles in there and you know, and you also have got the squares here, so there is that. Uh, you, of course, you will be able to use the corners in here, in there. And then if you put it like this, it's a, a square there. And then we have got uh, the uh, beautiful, look at that, how intricate those eyes are. Again, think about envelopes, think about flaps, think about, <laughs> think about the intricate detail in there. And of course, think about gay fold in there here. Look at that. And then you have the scallops uh, edges in here. 18 pounds and 99 pence is the price you're saving. And it's nine pounds, 339107 is your item number. Moving on to uh, the, uh, well, of course, we have got beautiful flowers here. We are going to move into the easels in a little bit, but here have got the gorgeous Christmas rose. Now, this is a Christmas rose that kind of works um, all year round. Yes, it is synonymous with Christmas, but it is a rose, or is this a flower? It is something that you can use all year round. Right, you can see it here, look at that. So we have got, you can stamp, and then you have got the dies to cut perfectly. So not having to fussy cut is always a good thing. Not only that, you also are getting season's greetings, peace, joy and love. I mean, not the, the actual thing, the dice that cut those words. I wish we could, you could buy peace, love and joy. Wouldn't it be wonderful? 
And then you can see the dies as well. And here you can see the dies, the metal dies, so they are nice, decent size. Now, thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence is the price that you are paying for nineteen dies and 14 stamps. That's all you're paying, saving six pounds and there. Six zero six two zero nine zero four is your item number. We have got another option as well, very similar, which is the poinsettia. So that also has got the set of the poinsettia stamps and the dice. In here for the poinsettia, we have got a slightly more Christmas words. So we have got have a happy or Merry Christmas with special and birthday and thinking of you. Now these words are independent of each other so you can die cut them separately so you could say have a merry christmas have a happy christmas or have a happy birthday or in my case have a merry christmas and a happy birthday now and for zero five nine four four is your item number and you're saving six pounds so just paying 13 pounds and 98 pence which makes it a steal because of course the dice are made out of steel right no, um, that's about, you know, sort of. Anyway, did, you, did I get away with that one? Uh, right, easel dice. So oh, this is one that as soon as I saw, uh, I think it was Luke Collins demonstrating a bag in uh, a couple of months ago, not that long ago. I was like, I want that dice. I want it because it's a little bit a different take on your easel cards. What you can do in here is it has got the dice of, it's a triple easel die. So you can put all three layers in here now you can do just one layer which is what I'm gonna do but you can do it all three and of course you can pull them all flat and it can be posted in completely uh, fine now stars are for Christmas but are also for any occasion like birthday uh, and also I think for a wedding would be quite nice if you kind of put an image of the bride and the groom and also you can find, so you have got somebody, uh, somebody who celebrates that kind of, like is into stars in the night, that would be very beautiful. But also you can put messages inside and create a shaker card. And it is a shaker card, shaking it. All right, here's hoping a birthday is full of delightful surprises. Now, we do have got another option. Well, this one has got a six pound saving. Again, 30% off, 13 pounds and 99 pounds is the price, 428910. Now, we have got two more options. We have got the, the Pentagon, and then we have got the round bubble. So whichever option you go for, 12 pounds 99, I believe it is. And it has got, this one is a single, um, easel card but you can see in here how gorgeous it will look once that you make it into shaker card or you can then go into again a shaker uh, easel card 717092 is your item number 12 pounds and 99 pence is a price and of course you put PAMP and you pay PMP on that but unless you're a freedom member if you're a freedom member you don't pay PMP now the Pentagon I adore it because it has got the stack, the music, and of course it has got that kind of geometric nature to it. It's a single, uh, you know, easel card again, but you can make it into a really special ornament for the tree because it has got that die at the top that you can use it. You have got the banner as a stopper and some foliage as well to this make it really special. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. You are saving six pounds three eight three three eight one zero one. And this is the card that you could be making, isn't it, cool? Gorgeous. Right, of course, you would be paying twelve pounds and ninety nine pence plus PMP if you are not a freedom member. Do you want to know more about freedom? Well, here is Leone to to, show, to tell you more about it. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just five pounds and ninety-seven a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways, and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. 
It makes sense to join the, fa the Freedom family here at Hochanda. Right, it also makes sense to put in your basket this amazing triple easel die. The way that you can use it is really easy. Now, all the dies come, and of course, they will work with a standard die cutting machine. So, uh, these ones will actually work. Uh, this is the largest one or the widest one. So, it will work on a, a A5 die cutting machine. So, you don't have to even have an A4 die cutting machine. Now, I have gone ahead because since I'm doing this show solo I didn't want you to be bored while me I'm just die cutting it right so I have done the head and I have die cut it and you can see now is it me or it looks like an old uh, milk bottle yeah you know that sort of yeah uh, you could do that as well uh, right so what you have got we it cuts and a score all the lines so I have done that and then if you just make sure that you ease the folds, maybe with a bone folder or a Teflon tool from the Cool Cut Scraps. I love their tools. And what you're going to do is also going to die cut the largest star. So the largest star, I'm going to die cut it out of cream paper or cards. Actually, this is about 250 GSM. So you can see it has cut beautifully. And then I'm using the next size down and you can see it here. It has got the stitching detail. And then I have gone ahead and taken that one and die cut it with the intricate one in here. And this is how gorgeous. By the way, if you want some gold mirror card, we have it as a seven day savers. So you can stock up as well onto that. So while I'm putting the glue on the back, we can give you the details for that. You are getting um, so gold and mirror, 60 uh, pieces, 250 GSM, which means it will die cut beautifully for nine pounds and 97 pence. Uh, ten, you're saving 10 pounds in there. So it's really nice. So anyway, we have got that and I'm gonna put it, I put glue on the back of my, on the back of the, the beautiful die cut. And then I'm kind of just gonna make sure that it's glued to get the card. And I think it has made contact. Now, this is the design which I love. The way that the star, can you see the lines in here that they match those elements, those lines perfectly there. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of glue in the back, try not to put as too much, and then uh, put in like, like this. So pressing down to make sure that it has made contact. And I'm using Colal glue, um, which dries it in a few seconds, so it takes a bit, bit more time than a tacky glue. You can see it there that it's standing. Now, a easel needs a stopper. Why? Because it tends to kind of flop a little bit like that. So you want to go like this. And of course, what you can do is take some of the stars that you have got in here as well. So I'm gonna take the smaller star, and again, I'm gonna use a little bit of glue on the back. I have done exactly the same as I have done here. Die cut uh, the outer one and then the inner one. The reason why it's such a good idea to have the inner one is because then you can cut apertures into the base of the card or you can create more of a kind of a window effect. Now for the stopper what we need is elevation because otherwise if we put this flap flat uh, it won't have enough of, of a height to stop the the, the element to, to stand up. So of course we are going to take some on pants that I have got here. Now you can put one layer or two layers. I could go with two layers. I always wanted more height and I got stuck with not having too much of a height. But you know what? Vertically challenged for life. Right? We have got this. Um, this is me I'm talking about. Anyway, so we are going to put this stuff. We are going to put that in here. In there so that's gonna stop it I have chosen to put two points in here to make sure that it's kind of holding it perfectly like this so you, if you see there it kind of sense now of course we want a sentiment don't we so the sentiment I have gone with the poinsettia sentiments um, by the way, I have got some news about the easel die. 20% uh, of the stock has gone. So I will be quick to check out those baskets to get it. So I'm going to have special. And then, oh, this one, it's kind of going. I should use the other glue, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I couldn't get, I, I couldn't find a... Um, a tool to pierce it through the nozzle so I, I'm, I'm just you know I couldn't get any glue out so I should have decanted 
shit. <laughs> And then we have got, but it still works. So look at that, a special birthday. And we have got the card that will go, as you can see, uh, you can see there. Right, I can show you another demo uh, if you want it. Now, uh, so we can uh, have, well, shall we do a pretty quick card? Because it's quick and easy. Now, so what I'm going to show you is... Uh, really the simplest card and I have got everything die cut so I just wanted to show you how you can do this one right so we have got here the of course we have got a pretty quick and I love this one now of course we have got as well the other one that I adore it so which one you prefer it I mean I have got both those here so you can see how Similar sizes, we can put an, over an inky background, you can see it here, we can place it over here, and it has got like a clearing effect in there. Or we can have it as well, you can see it here, on an acetate card, we can put them like here, or we can put it in here as well, you can see it perfect there. Or shall we show you as well how it would look? If you wanted to put a little bit of, let me grab another piece of card. Instead of a, 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 a black, let's die cut it out of bra a blue because that is a different kind of color contrast, isn't it? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to put with my uh, plates. Now, this is a silhouette uh, die, so it will always cut kind of a silhouette. However, being uh, blue, the question I have been put through my ear is, is it a silhouette? I think it is. It is the silhouette. The silhouette is the kind of, sh you know, shape around it. There is no definition in the front. It's just the outer. So it doesn't matter how much, how, what color you are getting. It's just, uh, it will be same, the same thing. So see, in one pass, I have got all the, all the, the things uh, boxed out. I'm going to get my pocket tool here and then poke the tool. And then, yeah, it always feels rather rude, right, doesn't it? To go in and with a sharp tool going in. And then go. And then we have got here the lighter blue. And we could offset a, a little bit of a drop shadow in here. Now, for instance, you're kind of thinking, oh, I want some darkness into it. Well, not, not, not darkness. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> but, you know, you want some little bit more kind of, you know, detail into it. So you could go in with a little bit of a black brush and kind of add some kind of definition just on here, just a tiny bit. So when I put it over, can you see? Yeah. And then kind of go in and add a little more going in and add us and it is a dry brush and i'm just dabbing it gently to add a little bit of a distressed look and then of course that kind of adds a bit now if i was clever which i'm not clearly uh what i could have done and i just had this idea sorry sorry to miss around but of course this oh look at this if i do it like this properly you know what will happen won't you you are saying i know because it will create like a beautiful stencil image. Now think about this, doing it with your favorite um, distracts oxides. Think about your beautiful, you know, kind of sunset colors, your yellows and your oranges and your grays to create like a sunset in the background. Think about doing it with maybe some pinks and purples or maybe greens and blues you know colors that are near to each other in the color wheel they always work well together so that will kind of blend them perfectly so when i would kind of have got that magical effect in here i like it i mean i haven't gone very heavy because i don't have a very you know a big brush but you could have more definition but also when you put it like these you have got more of a deep depth it's just not as kind of solid in them so what you can do as well is you have got a proper uh, hole at the top and then you can just put some baker swine, some ribbon or something like this and of course you can then make a knot. Now 
if you want it, um, I think it's a three and a half inches. Let me double check. Yes, exactly. Three and a half. Well, I would say more. No, actually four inches, just under four inches a uh, circle. So if you have got a die that is four inches, you could then put acetate in between and create a nat shaker card as well. So that would give a little some elevation. You could also put it into your card unless let me put it as if it was a you know an or ornament for the tree christmas tree so the pe person that is receiving that present uh, the, that card can then detach it and put it in the christmas tree now we have got them like this i like that opening here and you know what i did this years ago and I actually left this bit, bit blank. You know why? Because I was going to put matte and layer. So I didn't need that color in the center. And then when I was creating this card or planning this card, I had this piece lying around and I thought it's perfect. It just fits in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it like this and it kind of has got the opening in here. And I'm going to leave this one I know, so it kind of creates that kind of image in there. I kind of like it. Uh, so this is a quick and easy card. Now, of course, if you wanted to grab this uh, set, you are also getting the gorgeous, I love this one as well, the one with the, the, the moon and the star. And of course, you're getting the card and the Merry Christmas. 119498 is your item number. £24.96 is the price. Now, of course, you can see it there. So we have got a £14 saving as well there. Now, if you want it, well, check out those baskets. 119498 is your item number. Now grab it, grab all those bargains uh, courtesy of the Black Tag event. Grab them while they are in stock. Grab the crab dies that you're going to use all year round because that's a sack with the moon and the star well it's an all year round and that um, you know little deer with the, the hair well that's for easter that's for every day that's a beautiful meadow well meadow image as is the beautiful stamps that we are going to have a look at now daisy may designs well they are designed draw hand drawn by of course claire rollins a massive you know, it's, it's talent that she comes up with this beautiful imagery. There is something very homespun, very kind of, you immediately know that this has been hand drawn out of a whimsical imagination. It is the forest, friends, and woodlands and hideaways. It is that kind of countryside walk in which you discover wild animals, the hedgehog, the timid hedgehog hiding away, but so cute. You can see them here. You can see their personalities. You can see them like how they go. And I just adore that. But you have got also the rabbits in there having a little bit of fun, kind of cozying it around. And yes, do not think that because it says a Christmas sentiment, you cannot use them for Easter. Just draw some, yeah, just paint it green and it's moss. Put some flowers over the top and it's a perfect Easter image. £16.97 is the price. You are saving £8.189504 is your item number. Now, I, you know, I have to say, I remember, you know, Claire, Claire Rollins, I have known her artwork for many, many years. And one of the things that I love is the way that she has got this vision of making a wreath, but not just with, you know, just the traditional things. Oh, no, she has got a little bit of a different ideas. Look at that hot chocolate mug with a heart on it. Oh, I could do with a hot chocolate with some marshmallows on the top, maybe. Uh, then you can have, or may, yeah, Kirsty on the floor. She's agreeing with me. I might have a thick Spanish hot chocolate. You know that it's like melted chocolate. And this is the images that, the, you know, the, this is the power of these images by Claire Rollins that brings you that kind of homespun, the warmth of Christmas, the traditional elements, the, the quirkiness as well. You have got in there that gingerbread man, kind of a snowman as well. You can see it him here. There, here it is like that. It's just a little bit, you know, is it a gingerbread man that has had too, much, too many gingerbread men? Uh, you know, it has got there his shape very defined there the snowflakes beautifully hand drawn and of course the sentiments as well matching dies that means that you don't have to fussy cards so christmas cards made very quick at 12 pounds and 99 pence is the price seven pounds saving means 30 percent off nine eight three three four eight is your item number 
Moving on to, well, pretty quick. We want a pretty quick. This is one of the sets that I use. And I adore it. £24.96 is the price. You are getting all four sets for a saving of £14. And look at that. Merry Christmas. Isn't it gloriously large? Uh, right. 119498 is your item number. Now, uh, then you have got here the stars in there. Right. If you want it, check out your baskets right now. <laughs> Moving on to the alphabet die set from May to May to surprise. You should check out your baskets because you know what? You want to spell all sorts of words. So for instance, you can say, uh, maybe you could say, Kim, you are the best. Don't go. Uh, that's what you could say with this alphabet. Uh, I, you know, I'm very upset with this. But anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on from that. Woohoo! You did it. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Or maybe Joe, you who you know who you came back, uh, but you can say, oh hello, you did it, you really did it. You can say here happy birthday as well, and you can say many things like congratulations, you did it, uh, you are amazing, you did it, you really did it. Or happy birthday, you did it, <laughs> you got through the year, right? You did it. I did it, and everybody did it. And we got through this year. Three zero two eight eight nine is your item number. Thirty two pounds and ninety seven pence is the price. You are saving eleven pence. Let's move to Car Making Magic. Car Making Magic, this amazing brand that brings incredible concepts. Now, of course, the the Christina uh, Christina Griffiths is who develops these ideas as well. So it's amazing how concepts like uh, you know creating your own. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Kind of showing the wrong one. I'll kind of show you in the circle ones. It's me. I fold entirely. I'm kind of messing with my producer there. Uh, I did it. Yeah, she's saying you did it. Yes, I did it. Anyway, I did the messing up. Anyway, we have got here the perfect. I think I love doilies because I think when you need detail on the card, but you don't want necessarily want to have a specific theme, a doily will always add that, that it will add that lace-like effect, and you can see it here. Now, I love how you have got several layers, so you can mat in and layer it, or you can die cut it into the card, because that will cut into the card, this one will cut it out. But of course, you have got a scoring lines in here, and then you have got a cutting line on the outside. So you can create a semicircle card if you wanted to. You can create a card that is a uh, circle as well here. So you have got so many possibilities. Not forgetting that a lace, a kind of a doily sort of a card, will be also perfectly for mixed media, adding a stencil as well. The beautiful flowers as well, they kind of add a detail, uh, very beautiful detail. I could do a demonstration with this one if you are interested is studio at hotanda.com I say which one do you want me to demonstrate anyway uh, we will see what the responses are now this is the circle ones but we also have got the triangle uh, I badly call them rectangles I do apologize for my previous uh, you know mistake right we have got here the tri perfect tri panels uh, we have got the embossing folder and of course the dies I would say that for if you wanted to use them in combination, I would emboss first, which is against my own personal rules. But I would do that so then I would know exactly where to position my dies. And then I would emboss it probably a second time at the end to get the perfect deep embossing effect and all together. £18.99 is the price, saving £9 here. Uh, I do check out your baskets. 339107 is your item number. And yes, if you want me to demonstrate that one, I can whip up a very simple demo at the end of the show. Then we have got also beautiful flowers. We have got, you know, when you look at Christina's word, uh, her, her motto is always flowers, I think it's uh, flower, flourish flowers and um, pearls or something like that. Ribbons, ribbons flowers and, and pearls. She likes flowers, she likes to stamp. One of her specialties as well 
or special go-to techniques is a stamping onto vellum or parchment and embossing. Think about them, stamping and embossing onto parchment and then with embossing powder giving that the effect, the gorgeous effect. You have got a, a Christmas rose, but as you can see, a happy birthday, it does not have a Christmas character at all. A monochromatic with a hint of pink, and that is just very beautiful. Now, of course, you have got dyes like Season's Greetings as well as Peace, Joy, and Love. And you can see the, the, the size of the dyes I'm going to show you here. Oh something for that. nothing was harmed everything is fine and you can see that the sizes are, uh, are rather large substantial as my director just said uh, and then we have got of course a six pound saving here 13 pounds and 98 pence six two zero uh, nine zero four is your item number now that is, of course, the Christmas rose. But we have got also the poinsettia, don't we? And we like the poinsettia. Uh, and of course, um, here we have got the stamps and the dies. Now here again, quite substantial dies, may I add, because when you look at them, they're rather large. And if you are kind of happy in paying attention to my first demo, you will have noticed that I used these dies for my demo because a special birthday was there. I did indeed. And you can see it here, a special birthday, but they are separate dies, so you could say a special Christmas, have a special Christmas. Right, if you want to go for this bundle, 405944 is your item number, 13 pounds and 98 pence is your price, and again, you have got a saving there. Moving on to my first demo was, the, of course, the easel, triple easel card. I, I did a very simple demo, but of course, if you thought, um, if you, you know, if you saw how I did the first one, what you, need, you can do is repeat the same one with the middle one you can see there is exactly the same and then do the third one as well now the other thing is you could do something like this for um, a journal here and you can see that you have got three milk cards instead so you can do all three so you can have you know like half pint a pint and two pints Right, and you can see uh, 13 pounds and 99 pence is the price. You are saving six pounds, four, two, eight, nine, one, zero. Now that is the price for, of course, uh, the, the, well, the star. But we have got also from Simply Amazing Crafts, we have got Exploding Present. Actually, I do have got a demo for that. So if you wanted, I could always do that one. You know what to do at studio at hotchanda.com. All right, and of course, we have got them. If you wanted 26 pounds and 99 pence is the price of that. Now, now, of course, we have got also the terrarium as well in the sh in the bundle, uh, in a different bundle, sorry, that comes with the gerbera leaf doll as well. And it's a fabulous large flower and leaves that you can make three-dimensional as well. Now, have a look at those ones, saving 10 pounds as well. Now, we have got the London Post box. Now, this comes with the stamps as well, with the beautiful sentiments. £16.99. Now, I will say it, those sorts of dies are so useful because with the basic, you can see that you have got the kind of roller, the, the bottoms and the tops. You can mix and match and use them for other shapes as well. So, for instance, if you have got a circle or a heart that you're going to convert into a box, you can do. There are ways around it as well. Right, I have got here the Car Making Magic, the perfect panels and lovely layers here. So, you can see them here perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple card. Now, I am going to do this at live. So I haven't prepared properly, but I just wanted to just show you what you can do. So what you, shall we do? Flowers or the uh, lace one? Mm, decisions. Yeah, you can do. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I feel. Apparently, that's what I need to do. So I'm going to do the, shall I do the lace one first, and then we can see where we go up to. So I'm going to take that one here. And uh, this is when I just am um, literally inside of me praying to the crafting gods, whoever they might be, because... Um, this is kind of just it's the kind of thing that I told everybody do not ever just try something that you haven't prepared just be prepared and you will succeed but sometimes you know I take it a little bit to the risky sort of way now oh I could could I have Percy a trimmer 
a trimmer. Yeah, she's yeah, she's on it. Because then that will be a little bit helpful when I do it. Right, so what I'm going to do is um, kind of lift it up. And I kind of see that, of course, because I have put it that way, it needs a little bit of trimming, so I can die cut it that way as well. So I'm going to take my trimmer. Thank you, Kirsty. She's on it. She's on it. As soon as I said it, she was on it. So I'm going to, going to do. Uh, she was on it. She's on it. And then I'm going to take it. And I'm going to cut my card like this, and then that will go in out. Now, what I'm going to do is going to take the uh, scoring tool, which is the black one, and, and you're getting both in here. So, kind of going to like this, and then kind of follow like this. Well, I'm kind of going in. And then I'm going to thinking, I'm going to put it that one as like so. Okay, so fold in there. Oh, I haven't done it properly. Anyway, I'm going to put it like this. So remember what I have done. I put it like this, the die. And then I'm going to rotate it like this so the pressure is evenly distributed. So I've only gone through one time, so I'm going to go through this time. And then... And this is what always will happen with detailed eyes. Uh, I'm using an A4 die cutting machine. So this is something that you can do that or you can put a shim to add more pressure. Of course, the, the, um, the machine, the, the fact, oh, look at that, it has cut perfectly. You can see perfectly there. By the way, we are very busy. So please check, you know, there are one minute queues on the phone. So please, if you have got access to the internet, please do so. So you can see it hasn't cut that. It has cut the outside and gently, I'm going to just gently kind of rub it out in here. I do have got somewhere a tool to remove the bits in here. So that will kind of get rid of all those little details in there. You don't need this if you kind of, you know, you can just, just, just kind of take some time in here. Now it is important. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Isn't that nice? Just kind of, just kind of gently, gently pass it. Oh, look at it. Look how delicate is that? Now, this is a minute. I'm going to cut a little bit here. So what I'm going to do then is you could use the other one here. For instance, the, 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 the flower one. So I do the flower one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flower here. And then I'm going to use, where is it? There it is. So I'm going to use the semicircle, that one. So the, the one that is smooth, is smooth, well, it is smooth, but you know what I mean. Um, the, um, it's not a scallop. It's a kind of a straight edge, straight edge rather than a scallop. And there we have it. So what I'm going to do is place it there. I kind of just place some low tack tape in here, then open it up. And again, I'm opening it up now the first time. The second time I will pass it the other way around. Uh, it's always important to, well, not important, but it, it makes sense for, uh, for, by the laws of physics. It's not just my law. I mean, it's, it's the, the laws that, you know, that they make the, th the world f function. That the pressure, you know, the pressure you need in, in, in some things, of course, they are going to be a little bit more, less pressure in the center. So again, I'm going to place a fold, this one, fold it perfectly like so. And then rotate it. See, I haven't taken the die out because I don't want those cutting lines to be double cutting lines. I just want them to be single cutting lines. So I'm going to run it through again. And then we can have it like this. And then take that eye and then just gently again. Just pull it. Don't be forceful because trust me, if you are forceful, there's so much detail that you may tear a bit of this amazing design in here. And look at that. I mean, there is a couple of elements in here, but look at this. And look at that. So you could put then in this particular card, you could put a blank card. Look at that. 
So obviously I wouldn't put both, I, I would do uh, one or the other, but I just wanted to show you both designs. Isn't that, isn't it just beautiful? Think about it. Now, I just think it's so intricate. I just, I love it, this one. And of course you could then put a star on over the top or something like this. So uh, yeah, uh, we can do more demos if you want to do. So let me put this side one. Right, so we can see that and then we are going to, shall we do some stamping? Uh, all right, so let's see what you are getting. Uh, you are getting an embossing folder. I didn't emboss it because I didn't have the plates for embossing, but you can emboss first and then of course that means that you can then put your dice perfect position. I do apologize if you hear a little bit of noise. It's me tidying up as well as reading and trying to talk. All right, you have got a triangle as well there, 18 pence and 99 pence. Uh, did I say rectangle again? <laughs> oh, triangle. Anyway, whichever, uh, you know, 18 pounds and 99 pence is the price. 957-339-1007 is your item number. Now, of course, we are going to go and do some stamping. And we are going to go, you did it. This, you did it. Right, I'm going to do a very simple quick card. Uh, what we are going to do is, um, so we can say, right, so shall we do congratulations, you did it? Okay, so I just think it's a fun one. So, uh, so we have got here, I'm using a stamping platform, right? Not always, you you know, like no many of you may not have a stamping platform or may not like to use one. Personally, I love them. I think it's one of the best investments that you can do for your stamping. But of course, if you don't have it, an acrylic block will suffice. Uh, now, don't be like him that she has got one and she has never used it. Um, you know what? I gave her some beautiful stamps today as a present. So I'm hoping that... Right, so what you do is just fix the paper with the magnets and there's a magnetic, uh, magnetic, uh, um, magnetic base. Then you, you put uh, the stamp facing down, the stamping area. So you, if there is words, you need to read them, be able to read them. Press it down, you pick it up. And then I'm gonna do something that crafters will tell you always to do, not to do, which is prime, they, no, they tell you, prime your stamps, stamping first without stamping directly to the first time. Me, I'm rogue. I'm just going for it. You know, I'm a rebel with a cause. The, the, the cause is being time limited. And of course, what you are doing here is a stamping, inking it. And of course, I'm using Versifying Clay. The beauty of the stamping platform is I can lift, oh well, it's perfect. So who needs to prime their stamps when they come up so beautifully? Just look at that. I mean, I mean, of course it's upside down, but you can see perfectly in there. And it's just phenomenal, isn't it? There you can see like that ah right we can see beautiful stamps produce beautiful stamping of course photopolymer and they give you that right what i was thinking about is like oh we need you did it don't we we need you did it so of course this is an hour that we did it uh right so i'm gonna put here so then you choose where you want it now i would say of course i have got the other stamp over there um, oh no, not you are. You are, congratulations. In my head, that would have been funny, wouldn't it? Thank goodness I spotted it. Um, you did it. Here it is. You did it. And this is the be uh, shall I put it? Congratulations, you did it here at the bottom. There. I like it vertical because it's kind of a funny kind of, it's, I always think that if you want something for, uh, you know, uh, maybe a younger generation, a teenager, or you want something for somebody who doesn't like a flower, some butterfly, so basically a gentleman or a woman, uh, you know, or, or a lady that is not into pretty stuff, but more of a graphic, a strong, bolder design, having something like this is very attractive because it's just not about pretty, it's about design and how your eye travels about it and I always think that it's good to invest into stamps and dies that will give you this they will give you that possibility of going for something bold and striking now what I was thinking is you could when I mean, this ones are going I was thinking about I have made a little bit of a mess but 
you could add a star like this because it actually works. I mean, normally I would say, but you know, if you want those stars, from, this is from the easel, but don't you see that? It, I think it works. It has got that beauty and shiny and kind of, um, you know, interest in there. And then it has got that gorgeous. Or for instance, if you wanted a birthday card, you could have, uh, you can have the numbers from the die cut and the, uh, and you can say 48th, congratulations. You, what is my age? I left it somewhere, my age. What is my age? Oh, uh, yeah, right. So I don't have, what is, what is, what is, well, you know what? I have got all the those. So maybe I can go, I have got two and a half minutes. I can say, uh, right. What, what, what shall I say? Oh, H. Is this an H? This is the H. Well, Oh, I was going to say, this is why you need a magnet sheet, because it's easier to find it. But you know what? I found it pretty quickly. That has happened. You know, how that has happened? Never happens. That's like the first time that it find. Anyway, ah, it's so good. When it happens so quickly, you find exactly. I'm against the clock, apparently. So I'm just going to, oh, I have got two minutes, plenty of time. Maybe not. No platforms were harm in the making of this hour. So maybe you can maybe you can put here and then you can put it 48 48. Look at that. I like that because you have got the building blocks in here. So you can see that and of course you can glue it. Shall I glue it? Shall I glue it? The card? Yeah, apparently there's an instruction, so I follow instructions sometimes. And then I'm going to put, oh, seriously, now it's kind of, uh, that's kind of there. And then I kind of put that one in here. And then kind of glue that one there. Now, I'm, I'm not gluing them that well, but of course, please at home use better glue. Um, no, glue is fabulous. A better spreading of a glue uh, than I am because I'm kind of just trying to do these against the cloth. I have got seconds to go. And if I finish this card, I will be very pleased. But come on, T, stake down. And that's the T, not, not anybody that is their first name starts with a T. Right, let's say, uh, I've got 30 seconds, then we have got, oh, there it was, the H, hiding away, but I like. And then we have got the 48th, you did it, congratulations. Uh, you're right, if your birthday, you are being 48 this week, well, this is Think about it for you. Uh, I'll be seeing you in, a, uh, in about two hours. Yanis is next with a brand new one day special, Fabulous from Visorology. Stay tuned. Well, brand new, gorgeous one day special, Visorology is next. Then we have got Fabric Streak with, of course, Hayley and Yanis. And then I'm back with Visorology one day special. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody.
make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer shows on a Chandler. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hello everybody and welcome to the launch of our very, very special ODS. We're talking Bizarre Ology, the ultimate stand-up plaque collection. 20 beautiful plaques and beautiful opportunities for you to get creative. And that is what I absolutely love about Bizarre Ology. I have to doff my hat, if I was wearing one, to the samples here. They are incredible. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can achieve with these fabulous plaques. Speaking of fabulous, can I introduce you to the lovely Janie, who I have not worked with in ages. How are you? It's been a long time. Now, Janie, what's going on? Because you're telling me you're nervous. I am nervous. What's going on you nervous? It's like the launch of my new DVD ROM. Mm -hmm. we, I think we've gone crazy with this offer. To be completely it's a fair. great offer. <laughs> it is. But, um, really is, and I'm going to break it down for you. You've got nothing to be nervous about. Ben Floor Manager's there as well. He's he said if I get too nervous, he'll take over the demos and do it for me. He said he's watched me enough times, it'll be fine. He's a hero, that man. <laughs> You've got sturdy hands waiting, <laughs> waiting to help out. Uh, look, he's looking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> we're already busy. Look, genuinely, what I love about Janie is she is a crafter. She's passionate about what she brings you here with Bizarreology. Now, can I just explain something? This is uh, it's an important point. I was chatting to... Um, the team and we were kind of discussing how best to get this across because just real briefly there are rules you know when we say we we show a regular retail price we can never lie about that and what happens to a degree that when we show a saving sometimes you might hear the presenter say you've got a 12 pound saving but you're actually saving more 
because what we always have to do in the savings is feature the lowest price you could get a bundle. So I'll explain that because you could get this bundle by taking advantage of a pick and mix uh, where you get, uh, and you can find it on the website, so if you take advantage of pick and mix and then get one of the sets individually, that accounts for the £12 saving, okay? But here's the thing. If you were to get all of these sets individually, so forget the pick and mix because you've got a £4 saving on the pick and mix. If you were to get all of these individually, it would cost you £49. So I'm, I'm 95 pence. So I know we're saying a £12 saving, but you could spend a lot more uh, just buying these sets individually. It genuinely, when Jamie's saying it's a good price, it really is. But also, just going from the style merits of the set, Jamie, you've done such a good job. Look, <laughs> firstly, we've got the swinging door plaques. These are great. So we're getting a set of four there with those different, you've got sort of landscape and portrait. I'm oh, very careful yeah, nice. that that could have been bad. <laughs> it's kind of held out, so don't worry. I'll fix it. Don't worry. We're in firm. Don't worry. That could have been fun. really bad. It could, <laughs> it could have been bad, but the crafty gods are with us. It's fine. So you're getting a set of four there. Uh, down here, we've got twist plaques as well. I'm going to stop touching things. Uh, you've got twist plaques. Now, these are cool because they're kind of, rather than swinging, they're twisting. Yeah, so you can do both sides. Yeah. So uh, most of these samples, I've only decorated one side, but that's just for yeah. sample purposes. And I did make quite a few, so I think these I'm, are pretty cool. But with the twisty ones, yeah. you can obviously decorate both sides. And then once you twist it, you've almost got four pieces of art because you can have four look. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, it makes perfect yeah. sense. Thinking there, because you were talking about, unfortunately, this year you missed out celebrating it's a big anniversary, 20th anniversary. Yes, it was our 20th oh. wedding anniversary, but couldn't celebrate. So. Next year. 21st but you could have a picture one on each side there maybe one when you're getting married and one now yeah. <laughs> one looking happy one, one looking is, serious like 20, 20 years later, like, ah, 21 years <laughs> no we're kidding just say options uh, then, <laughs> you went in a whole different direction i thought you were going to Jenny. <laughs> then we have uh these are nice so these are your frames so we're getting the circles and the squares and then you've got down here the the shelf See, are they shelfies? Yeah, shelfies? Sh shelfies? Shelf I like it. <laughs> have I just made that up? Is that you might have done, yeah. Oh, okay. I think that's what they've been called. The shellfish. Uh, and then, <laughs> it's very apt for this day and age. Uh, and then we've got the plinth in there as well. So you've got your plinths down below. I just cannot believe all of these, Janie, for twenty nine ninety five. I know, it's crazy. It it's really is. One, okay, I'll tell you the best way to break this down. One pound fifty per plaque, one pound fifty per project, and it's something we say so often at Ho Chando as crafters. The hard thing is finding your next project. You've got twenty projects here. But I think at this time of year as well, even if you're not going to make them, I mean, they, they would last you quite a long time if you're making them for yourself. Mm -hmm. They're at a price point where you can make and sell and yeah. make money easily. Okay. But also looking towards Christmas. How many gift packs have you got there for other crafters, if you break it down, and That's making right. gifts for people? It's, you know... It's I like where your mind's at, and I also love the samples. I'm just going to pick up a couple. Like, here, with the frames, That's so good. Now, we have got, if you're looking for the papers used here, you can find them in the new compendium that we're going to be featuring, the new DVD. It's your fourth volume? Third. 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 Sorry, I knew that as well. I was thinking <laughs> three. I don't know why four came out of my mouth. It's a fourth. Uh, Third. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm not done that. It's going to be a good <laughs> show, yeah. <laughs> in my head, I'm thinking three and four's coming out of my mouth. I've never had this. Uh, all right, so it's been a long day. Uh, details are on your screen. It's a, it's a third. I knew you said fourth again. It's a third. $29.95. Look, going to a one day special, we are really busy for this. Uh, 742 431, your item number there. Uh, we, uh, we're going to move on and then we're going to see this in action. By the way, if you do have any questions, please get in touch. Studio at hochanda.com. Okay, so now this is interesting. This is a great bundle for you. Originally, I know this was going to be a standalone bundle uh, yep. or elements here. You can get them individually, but come as a bundle as well. This is what we were talking about. 
having a look here. Now, this is very special because every time in the past I've worked with Jamie and she's featured the two uh, previous editions, they've sold out. They've been immensely popular. So what you're getting is the DVD, which, volume three, so good as a pictorial compendium. We've actually got what strikes me, <laughs> Jamie, the amount that there is you a are lot. getting in as a resource. So as we start going through, everything I'm showing you here, you will find in your DVD. It is the endless stash. So as long as you have a printer, I mean, that's beautiful. And everything in there has only been printed once. So I'm not doubling up on anything. That is the complete DVD. I think that, well, there's over 100. I think it could be 117. Well, look at all of this. And as we go through, now you can get the DVD by itself. If you want that, that's at the bottom of your screen. But as the bundle, you are saving. I love that map. That yeah, actually, cool. the ones that you're flicking through at the moment are the, are the more boring background ones. But there you go. Now we get okay. there. I'll try. There's just so what many. I'll try, and, I'll try and flick through quicker. For it's... anyone who's got one and two, okay. there's a slight difference with this one. Yeah. In the, on the other two, we've had a section called layerables and a section called elements. What right. I've done on this one is put those two sections together to give an extra section of patterns because postcards. I felt like we needed more multi-directional patterns. Right. So we've got that additional section in there as well and it works well with the other two DVDs too. Is it a bit of a, a vintage vibe going on? You had uh, sentiments at the start, you had postcard elements, you got background papers. Uh, load, it's, look, beautiful detail. And I know how hard you work, Jamie, in compiling the compendium. That's, uh, that's not easy to say. But um, <laughs> now, you're not just getting the DVD in this bundle. That's your stash. You're also getting the plaques as well. So with this one, you're going to get the twisting plaques. And you're getting your shelfies in there as well. So we're getting those. And you're also going to be getting your ephemera. Just having a look there. Now, you're getting three packs of your ephemera, which is just a delight to work with. And then finally, you've got your stencils in the mix as well. So when you consider all of that, you are saving £7.49, 146, your item number. Uh, but again, it's another example where your actual saving is bigger because you can do this for yourself. If you were to buy all the elements individually, the savings that it's already factored into the price, so because there's a saving on the individual options, and that would already be factored in. One four uh, four one four one four six item number, and there is a freedom price there as well. Jenny, how are you feeling? <laughs> Feeling a little less nervous? Yeah, I'm okay. Good. I'm yeah. going to remind everybody of the DVD by itself as we head to our first demonstration. Uh, a lot of you are going for the DVD. Say, whenever Janie's brought you, oh, 10% of the stock's gone already. We're, we're 10 minutes into the show, so uh, there's a nice symmetry there. Uh, whenever we've brought these two, so we had two previous volumes and they sold out, it really is a great resource. And I know Janie and Bizarreology have so many fans out there. So you are saving 20% as part of our black tag event. Do take advantage. Uh, got one more to show you. If you do want to go for the ephemera by itself, we can do that as well. Uh, getting three packs, three of each, 11.97 your price, 784565. Uh, and once again, it is another black tag event where you're saving 20%. Janie. We start having some fun. We are good to go. What are we going to do? Um, if you want to grab, there's a sample down the end, the circle one. This one? Right in front of you, yeah. I'm going to do something very similar to that okay. one. I've put lights in that one. Oh, this is nice. Shall we, shall we dim the lights to see it? Shall we dim the lights? I'll just yes. show you here. Just that little hue. Oh, we like that. Janie, that's cool. So I've done it with like a vintage effect. You've got the map behind Love and the stained acetate behind. to kind of give the idea of, um, you know, like a, an antique sample almost. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working towards. Uh, and I'll hand over to you, Jane. So all I've done in preparation is put a little bit of gesso on because I thought, well, the other bits are more interesting rather than just watching yeah. me gesso. So I've made sure that I've gone in round the edges here um, because when they stack you see that inside bit. Okay. If I was gifting this to someone, I would do the back as well, so it's all nice and neat. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the backing paper, mm -hmm. and all the papers um, that I'm using are from the new DVD. 
So this is just one of the backing ones, which I thought was really handy, just to have an antique map I, that can go on loads of different I things. I love antique maps. I'll be using that all the time. So all I'm going to do is use the MDF as a template. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to say, as soon as I picked up my pencil, it made me think on it. So my flamingo pencil, yeah. I got told off after using it last time, Yanis. Why? I got told off by my niece. What did she say? So me and my niece have this thing where we call flamingos flingos. From That's when it. she was little, she yeah. couldn't say flamingo. Aww. So she told me off, I got home, she said, Auntie Janie, I can't believe you called it a flamingo. Mm. She nearly disowned me. So it's my flingo pencil. The flingo. <laughs> well, that will be the thing for this hour. You wouldn't think that she's almost 17 now. <laughs> Bless her. She'll appreciate this. What's, your name? What's the name? Shannon. Shannon. I'm sure she's watching. There we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so like I said, she almost disowned me over that. That's so flingo. all I'm doing is cutting around the outside. Uh -huh. um, cut the base off. Now, I've got a box by the side of me for all my scraps. Nice. So we may, at some point, just make something with scraps okay. of paper. Nice. Don't throw anything okay. away. So you've got the two notches here. Um, and when it goes into the stand, I know that I need those notches to be a little bit bigger. So all I'm going to do is two little slots okay. like that. Okay. And I know that when it slides in, I can cut off the excess so it fits nicely. Nice. So using our glue, I'm mm -hmm. just going to go around the outside. We do have the glue on the show if you want to get hold of the glue. It's very good glue. Details are on your screen right now. So 11.99, you're going to get three 50 mil acrylic glues from Plazarology 627-605. Yeah, so the ones you get are bigger than this one. This is just one of our um, sample pots, so yeah. Okay. They are bigger than the one that I'm using. Janie, speaking of travel, we've got the map there. You should be on a cruise right now teaching. I should be. Oh. should be my second of the year. Yes. It's been a funny but, old year, hasn't it? But I'm here with you, Yannis. Well, they're winning. What is there to complain they're about? winning. <laughs> 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 yes, I should be in the Canary Islands right now. Oh, that's a nice group. Well, look, something to look forward to next year. I'm just sanding round the edge, right. Give it nice just so that I get it nice and neat. You you miss the teaching, don't you? Jane? I do. I, I love teaching. We were saying before we went live that um, I work mainly from home anyway, mm. so with lockdown that that hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. But I do miss teaching because I love it. Yeah. So um, yeah, I do like a fortnightly craft club as well as I should have been doing a couple of retreats this year oh. and things like that. So yeah, I do miss that. At least you, you're getting to. I know you've been prolific with your crafting in lockdown. Yes. You've done a lot yes. Of crafting. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got exciting things. I won't say what, but we have got exciting <laughs> things coming in the new year as well. There are. You will see me again. <laughs> Watch this space. Right. All I've used there is some walnut stain just to distress the edges. Now, okay. you won't see much of that because obviously these are going to come inside, but yeah. if you see it from the edge, it, just, it, it makes a difference. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to, this is the back, so I'm going to, I'm not sure which angle we're at. I might be mm -hmm. completely in the way of what people can see, but if I lay it down like that, you can see what I meant about leaving these as flaps. I know that now I cut that off there yeah then that fits perfectly perfect rather than trying to snip around yeah. and get it get it the right shape okay right so the next bit this is where things could go wrong Yanis Never. because I have acetate which okay. I did think once I put it down I'm not gonna be able to find it yeah. again the idea is I'm gonna put the acetate behind here okay. and I'm gonna stain it down with some alcohol inks again mm. to give it that vintage look right. I'm kind of thinking, you know, when you see things in um, exhibitions, yeah. when you go to museums and things are kind of aged. Stain, yeah. Yeah, age look, yeah. Yeah. The reason this could go wrong is because I've already had an alcohol ink spillage <laughs> on the journey. Really? <laughs> on I the gotta, journey? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jane. I got here and I was like, it's everywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is uh -huh. take a few kind of grungy colours and a gold mixative right. and I'm just going to drop around the edge. Now we don't know what we're going to get, it's a bit unpredictable, but we'll go with it. 
I'll probably end up with it all over my fingers. <laughs> so just a few little drops. How many shows have, we, have you done this year? I've had less this year actually yeah, because yeah, of like lockdown, lockdown and you know I've got four hours to travel so it's oh, it's, a long it's, journey. it's not as yeah, easy as it is in, in normal times. But um, you're Bristol based, right? Yeah, well I'm I'm further down okay. than Bristol, yeah, South yeah. Somerset. I'm just putting on a bit of blending solution. Mm -hmm. now, this is looking cool. I'm gonna just yeah. stab it down and blend it out slightly it's before just, putting a bit more colour. I'll on. tell you something, Jamie, it's incredible crafting. You see something comes like you've instantly just <laughs> aged that <laughs> by ninety years. I'm putting a tiny bit of gold in. Actually, uh -huh. I think I need to mix that up a little bit more. You can see where <laughs> I uh, had spillages <laughs> on all of these. Happens. Uh, just as we're doing that, I've got a little update for you, and this is becoming a regular thing here at Hochanda. We're seeing the numbers and viewers growing and growing every day. 10% of the stock has gone. 10% of the stock? We're only 17 minutes into the launch show, so it gives an indication of how busy we are. Just want to put this into context. You are getting 20 beautiful, beautiful plaques. Each one has their own, uh, well, you're getting designs, so two of each design, so 10 designs, each one their own personality. So whether you wanted to go for the sweet, look at this one. It's one I'm gonna move because it's kind of nearest to me, but I love that. If you want to create, imagine like an old sort of puppy sign, putting a statement on there. So we've got the swinging uh, plaques. You're getting four of those, landscape and portrait. You're also got your frames here. So this is what we're working with. They're three tiered frames. It works out at £1.50 per frame. Now, I just want to remind you all, I know we're saying £12 saving, but we were talking about the fact that currently we've got a special price on the pick and mix where you're saving £4. If you were to go for all these options individually, because you can get, obviously, break this down individually, it would be £49.95 for all of this. You're paying twenty nine ninety five, so I just wanted to show you that twelve pound saving. It is actually that you're getting a better saving with it because the price already reflected. The savings reflected in the price there. Seven four two four three one. Your item number. Okay. Right. Okay. So we've got that stained down now. Okay. So just cool. the just the circle, just to make it look like there's been a bit of a bleed in there yeah. um, and then that will go on the back of here so I'm just going to put some of our glue round so the acrylic glue will stick pretty yeah. much everything right. so I'll pop that Jamie, down I love there. this technique there we go was it a conscious thought to because you, you can see that with this bundle you've worked really hard to give each of the sort of designs their own artistic merits yeah, well, I was working, obviously, with the plaques were dictating partially what I did. Okay. And then because I designed the DVD as well, and I wanted to really showcase that and, and work with that. So the two worked really well. I've got a lot of samples here, but I've n nowhere near exhausted the DVD. <laughs> what I'd be tempted to do, uh, just let you know, if you're going for the one day special, the DVD, now you can get the DVD separately. Uh, and I think that's what a lot of you are doing. We've actually got the bottom of the screen. I mean, 11.99 for the DVD with all those printable elements on there. And you saw, I'm not going to flick through them. I'm just going to show you the thickness. Look at the amount of elements that you are getting. It's the endless stash that you're going to be able to flick through uh, and print out anything that you want. So all of those in your compendium, this is the latest edition, volume three. So I would be very tempted to go for the one day special Add this into my order because Janie, and I know in speaking with Janie before the show, you, you really were inspired by the compendium, obviously, with this release as well. Yeah, definitely. They, they work really well together. And, um, Janice, you know what I'm like. Go on. I you... have come for demos and I haven't brought paint with me. What? Exactly. I'm just working with papers. Okay. It's what? not like me to not have paint. I've got some black gesso. I've never done a show with you where you haven't had paint. I know, exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Times are strange. <laughs> it's it's un uncharted territory. I'm going to leave it to you to pick which moth or um, butterfly you want. I've okay. used that one right. on the other one. I so think, you know, the one above, the large one. There this, we go. That one. I'm drawn to that one. That's the death's head moth. The d death head moth? Yeah. It's a name. <laughs> okay. 
So all over, sorry, I should have said. So I've stuck that one down. That's the one that I stained. Yeah. Okay. And then I've also just put a clear bit here. Mm -hmm. And this one is going to sit on. So it almost looks like it's floating. I'm sorry. In previous shows, obviously before all the current restrictions, I could have been here helping doing a bit of fussy cutting for you. I should say, we're even divided. It's weird I know. having the screen, isn't it? It is. It is strange. Yeah. Jenny and I were saying because you were, you're watching your first show here at Hochanda, and it, yeah. you're saying it's odd because you're working with Janice to see how close Janice was standing next to you. I was about to say it wasn't odd that I was working with Janice. No, it's not. It's <laughs> no, I just it was saved on um, you know where I'd recorded it because it was my first ever show, yeah. and it was with Janice, and I watched a bit of it back, and I just thought it's really strange that we we were stood so, so close. close. <laughs> I look forward to the time we can all get close again. Hugs. Miss hugs. Yeah, you do miss hugging yeah. people. Yeah. Okay, so I've cut that one out. And again, I'm just going to go around with the Distress Ink around the edge. So it just takes off one if you've not cut really close. It takes off that white edge. Uh -huh. But you always get that white edge yeah. from the paper. Well, we had a, was that uh, an email in? Who's it from? Gaz. I, <laughs> Gaz is saying he thinks I've got baby brain. I don't know if does that affect dads. <laughs> I think maybe so. That's just an excuse. I've I been think. Gaz. I've been very busy <laughs> at home. I've been uh, doing a lot of DIY. I think it's had its effect. But this is a good one. Now Gaz is saying uh, maybe we could use it as a drinking game. If I make a mistake, people have to drink. It doesn't have to be alcoholic. If it was alcoholic, I tell you what. Ten minutes into the show, everyone would be legless. <laughs> it could be an interesting that's a dangerous, show. dangerous <laughs> drinking game. <laughs> like they do. Thank you for the email, by the way. Right. So I've just stuck that into the center there uh -huh. so you can see he looks like he's floating now nice okay yeah like that so the next thing i'm gonna do before we finish up i've yeah. got our gleams here oh, these are nice so this is the new color okay which i love Ooh. cardinal now, Actually, anyone i'm kind of dressed to match if I? anyone hasn't worked with the gleams before t tell us about the mediums why are they so great well i think we should call them gilding mousse really because yeah, they are very they are very mousse like yeah. you can paint with them as well mm -hmm. so you can water them down and they are really heavy in mica so it, even if you water them down to paint yeah. you get a really nice they're sheet. rich they're luxurious they give you such good coverage and you, you'll see that now so you don't need much no. i normally i mean this is in the lid because of traveling it's kind yeah. of tipped up but I'd normally scrape off on the side i'm actually going to use a couple of different colors on okay. this great with your i've used them uh on bossing embossing folders they're great yeah the i mean these are just lovely they're they're a lovely texture to work with mm -hmm. the color is intense the mica is intense yeah. and like i said even watering them down to paint with you really get that come through still And then I'm going to go in with a bit of the gold. Okay. So again, this is the centre one, so I don't need to spend too much time on this one because you will only mm -hmm. see a little bit of it peeking through. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then we'll go on to this one. Nice. So and the greens are proving popular. Uh, details on your screen there. You are getting the brand new colour. Are they all brand new or no, it's the, just the, the sherbet? No, the gold and the green have been in other bundles. Okay. Um, but this one is brand new and obviously the collection together right. work really well, you know, for Christmas crafts yeah. as well as non-Christmas. Nice. So it was, uh, sorry, the Cardinal's a new colour. The lime sherbet new, and yeah. the gold are uh, the sort of favourites that we're bringing back. There we go. So I've done this in the different order. I've put the gold down first. Yeah. Well, this is looking great. And you can keep building this up as well. I might even put a bit of the green in with it. Why hey, not? This is the kind of thing you would discover in a wizarding school. <laughs> in some sort of dungeon so, I think you've said that before Have on I? samples I've done, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did say, I haven't even really? watched the film. Haven't you watched the film? <laughs> Read the books. Read the books. They're great. Then I was going in with the green as well, and I just think together mm -hmm. the colours work really well. Right. But yeah, you could say in that actually, this would lend itself to kind of a crystal ball kind of. Crystal ball. We had a good one from Emily, our producer, was saying, what about snow globe? Yes. Be really good. Good yeah. idea. So I'm well, happy with that. 
You can make it into a porthole. You could, and I did think about that. I couldn't sleep last night. I never sleep the night before a show. And I, I did think, oh, if you good. did it um, techniques. with this glue, yeah. if you would put dabs of glue all the way around it, leave it to dry, then black gesso over, and yeah. then put your gleam on the top, it would what, look rusted. like the rivets. Ah, rivets, on a, sorry, yeah. 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 Right. So I am putting these together in this order. So you've mm -hmm. got the backing plate. Yeah. We'll have this one, and we'll have this one. Now, there are other ways to do it as well. Right. Say you wanted more space in the middle and you wanted to do some fussy cutting, you yeah. could miss out the middle one and you could have one on the front. Nice, and then use the middle one on something else. Yeah. yeah. Or you could put this back plate in the centre, mm -hmm. have that one on the front and another one on the back, and then you've got two sides again. So you could decorate both sides differently uh, and turn it. Yeah. Or if you've got it in your window, they can see one side from outside the window and one side in. Oh, I like that. So that's th three examples, and I'm sure you'll discover more of how you can use just one of the frames, like this, or the plaque, sorry, the plaque with the frame. So that's that one put oh. together. And then, there we go. That, so you can see he kind of yeah, looks, looks like he's really floating. really good, yeah. Love that. And then the other thing that I'm going to do, do you want me to carry on, or do you need please to do, do a recap? Please do, or yeah. Like, yeah. No, carry on. So I'm just going to use, actually, I'll try and get, some of this gilding off my finger before I start using the, the if you papers. If you have any questions, if you want to see anything, we'd love to hear from you, studio at hochanda.com. It's the beauty of being a live show. Uh, and thank you so much for tuning in. We are really busy for our one-day special. I know, look, it's 6.30 on a Saturday. You could be, or is it Friday? Uh, you could be watching <laughs> anything right now. It's not going well, is it? Uh, but we appreciate the fact that you have tuned in. Why would you want to watch anything else? Well, yes. exactly. So I'm going to put a label on the front here, so I'm turning to our ephemera. Okay. So I probably, I would go with fly, but if you want to use a different one, you can choose. I think, no, fly stuck out to you. Yep. Let's go for that, yeah. So I'm actually going to, so this could go straight on, mm -hmm. and the backing is clear. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. But what I'm going to do is use, this is an off-cut of paper I had, so you can see the sheen on it. Uh -huh. So I'm going to put that down first. Oh look, I wiped my fingers and I've still got a gold fingerprint in oh. it. This is my life, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> you just added to the value. A yeah. Janie original with a, with a fingerprint yeah. will be worth a fortune. So then I'm going to use, I'll probably get more fingerprints on this. Uh -huh. Then this one is going to go over the top Okay. and I'm going to burnish it down. So yeah. you can see as soon as I start burnishing it down, the difference. Oh yeah. So it's clear and you'll be able to see the sheen yeah. coming through. So I'm yeah. just going to cut round that quite simply. Yeah, right. these the ephemera stickers are great with this because you know when you make things and you think just need something else. There's words, there. yeah, there's phrases, there's it, all yeah. sorts of things. That final final touch. However, I will admit, and if she's watching, please don't send an email in with the picture. But um, <laughs> there are some of these that, to me, looked a bit like a moustache. Okay. <laughs> so I sent a friend a picture where I... You're actually wearing them. That's <laughs> a moustache. Brilliant. Well, it's crazy times in lockdown. Who is the friend? I'm not saying... Because we need to see this picture. No. You need to email them in. You know oh, who no, you I've... are. Studio at Hochander. I've done that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> right. I'm going to bend this slightly. Yeah. So just putting my finger yeah. under there. Move we've, had a, we've had a great idea. <laughs> Have I you? think that should be the front of your new companion, the <laughs> volume four. <laughs> Bit of glue on either side. Yeah. So just think, just lifting it like that. Oh, look at that fingerprint right in the centre of it. And then, if they will fit mm -hmm. with more fingerprints, more ephemera just on the side there. Nice. And you do get such good use out of your ephemera, because I know in previous times when we worked together, if you were to trim down now, you'd obviously use those little bits you trim yeah. away and put them on something else. You don't waste anything, do, do you? It from the, let's do it from the back. I literally get fingerprints on everything. Mm -hmm. Like, is it just me? <laughs> no, no, not at all. So there. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. So you can see. Jamie, that looks yeah, so good. He looks like he's floating. I love and that. And I mean, diff using different papers, you'll get a very different look again. But I just thought, you know, with the old map, the aged effect. I love it. I see. I really yeah. do love that. I'm giggling because the team said, if you look in at the the moth, it, apparently it looked a, the middle bit looked a bit like me with the floppy hair. <laughs> I why, really wondered where you were going. That's, why, that's what I had in my <laughs> ear. The team were like, "There you are." Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is just have a quick recap as we let Janie reset. Uh, we're going to continue the fun. This is the launch of our brand new one day special. What we try and do with the one day special is bring you something that really does stand out and. Janie Bizarreology never disappoint. What you've got here, this is the set for crafters. If you love your mixed media, if you've got your different mediums, so think about your papers, think about your stencils, your stamps, your dies. These are a collection. You're getting 20 blank canvases, but they're in their own right. This, they, they really are going to stimulate you from a, a crafting standpoint. You are not going to be short of ideas. So I love the design. Now you're getting 10 designs, two of each. So great opportunity. So if you wanted to put something on a plinth, we've got that. You're seeing the two sets of plinths at the bottom. You've also got the twisted, um, the twisted frames in there as well, or plaques, I should say. And then this is the shelfies. So obviously they have a shelf, we can put something on display. You're coming up to see the frames, and then we've got the, uh, the twisted and the swing. So I'm just gonna show you, here's the swing, very carefully. You're getting a set of four there, and just down below you can see the twisted. So rather than swinging, they twist in the mix too. $29.95 is your price. You're saving 12 pounds, but just to reiterate, that 12 pound saving is based on our special deal we have with a pick and mix. You're actually getting further savings in. Just to put it into context, if you were to buy all of these individually, it would be $49.95. So great price, $29.95 here. It works out £1.50 per project. £1.50 for your swing, £1.50 for your twist. Uh, saving £12, 742-431, your item number. And putting these together with volume three of the compendium is an absolute win. And we're seeing all of these. Uh, by the way, the pick and mix are proving popular too. So you heard me mention it. I'm just going to show you. Uh, I did say there was a special price on the pick and mix. So you're saving £4. Uh, you can find those. Now, the most popular on the pick and mix is the frames, but I think that's kind of reflecting the fact, obviously, we were using them. I would use all of these. Genuinely, I would use all of these. And the thing is, once you've made one or two, you're going to want to do more. So I fully accept you can go for the pick and mix. Now, you're picking any two for 15.98, but when you see it like that, you can either get two for 15.98 or doubling up. So 15.98 for two. If you go for the one day special, now just saying with the, uh, with the two, you're getting eight in total because there's two on each. But then for the one day special, look at that. For $29.95, the price you would pay effectively for two of the pick and mixes, you're getting all of this. 742-431, uh, your item number. Uh, just to say, you can get uh, options individually as well. The swinging set's proving popular. We're just going to show you the details here. So $9.99, your price there, 479 907 your item number. Then we've got the twisting. This is nice actually because you get to see, you're getting all of these in the complete collection. You're getting uh, a set of four here. But you get to appreciate the uh, merits, the design merits of each. So you've got that twisting aspect there, perfect for, think about how you do your toppers, putting sentiments on that twisting aspect in there. And then we have our frames. This is proving popular. 20% of this stock individually for your frames is what we've been using, 663473. And then we have the plinths for you. I'm just gonna show you the plinths. There you go. 9.99 your price, 524988 your item number for the plinths. And then finally, the shelfie. So uh, the shelfie affording you that uh, shelf to put something on. $9.99 the price there, 616980. Okay, we're going to head back to Jamie and continue the fun. What are we going to do, Jamie? This is just a simple um, demo with a couple of print offs from the DVD. Okay. So I often have, you can see here, I keep little boxes of kind of homemade ephemera. Mm -hmm. So you can see with these, nice and glossy. 
but I tend not to, I mean, you could say, well, you could just print that onto a photo paper, high gloss yeah. photo paper. It's quite expensive and it uses quite a lot of ink. Yeah. I've just printed onto some normal paper. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to back and I'm going to put it in a laminator sheet. Okay. okay. Bear with me. <laughs> right. Let's pop the laminator up. Ah, I've got a very short doing. cable on this one, so yeah. I will try and do it in view. So what I want is one shiny side. Yeah. And then because sometimes, depending on what glue you're using, it could be quite difficult to stick on the back if it's also shiny. So we're doing one-sided lamination. Okay. So I've got a few samples dotted around where I have used this. Mm -hmm. It also gives the paper strength as well. So if you want something, say you're going to do some fussy cutting and you need, say, one of the birds to kind of stand up yeah. on its own, um, you know, you might not want to be putting expensive paper through if you're printing a lot. I mean, I print a lot, um, but laminating mm -hmm. it like this, just a cheap laminator, yeah. which at some point I'll show people how to do foiling with okay. as well, which we nice. can do again from the DVD. If you print off things like sentiments um, and then you can foil them. Bit of foil. Laminated, Just let you yeah. know, with regard to the compendium, 20% of the stock has gone. So uh, here's the compendium. It is volume three. Whenever we brought it to you in the past, so volumes one and two, they've sold out, always been popular. So if you're a fan of Zarology and Janie, I mean, for 11 .99, endless stash. You've also got, I love, mini Janie helping you through <laughs> every step of the way there. If I pop that down for a second, I will show you the amount you are getting. Now this is all the elements printed out. Look at all of this. All of this in your compendium. Are you able to see that? I mean all of, all of that. I'm not showing that very well at all. Let me try this way. <laughs> Let's try here. So you go through. I mean these are very cool images. We've got backing. Oh, look at that. So, and I like the fact, the actual tones as well, they, they've got a bit of a vintage sort of nostalgia. We've got old maps coming through. I'm just being very quick, just get you to the back. Uh, and then you've got your postcards, you've got your little stamp elements, you've got your words, all of those included in there. It's, it's very good. I've had a proper flick through and beautiful design. I, did, I really enjoyed designing them. Yeah. So I take original elements from mainly the 18th century. Okay. Um, no, sorry, 19th century, 1800s. Yeah. Um, and then there's a, I mean, there's a lot of time sourcing images mm -hmm. and then a lot of time cleaning them up, adjusting them, and then I start on the digital collage. So wow. there is a lot of work in it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you, when you laminate, you know how it kind of seals it all the way around the edge? Uh -huh. So I'm just going to cut that off, right. which parts the two, which means the fronts are laminated and the backs are plain paper. Uh, okay. So again, you've kind of got a twofer with one laminating uh, yeah. sheet as well. Okay. Um, another thing you can do is turn them into stickers if you want to. Okay. So I'll do half and half maybe. And this is just double-sided sticky sheet. Mm -hmm. And let's see if I can got no nails I might not be able to peel it off yeah. sing and dance while I'm doing this Janice <laughs> Jenny it's a rookie mistake there chopping your nails before the show <laughs> I never have nails because there's always paint under them oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> right so I normally stick one edge like that and then peel it back okay. perfect okay so now you could either keep it as a sheet like that or, you know, in the evenings when you're sat down watching telly, just start cutting them out and then you've made your own stickers then. Beautiful. They're ready to go. Uh -huh. um, this is one of the print-offs from the DVD. There's a couple of different postcards in there. So this echoes, um, I can't remember whether it was one or two on the DVD, where you've got the plain postcards yeah. and then these, obviously, I've put elements in there I for that. you. I really like that. So I'm going to, let's go for a simple one to cut out, just for if speed. If you do want to go for uh, volumes one or two of the compendiums, 
Uh, you can find those on our website, so we have got those as well. You should see as well, when I'm, even when I'm designing, how many prints I have to do. Because I'll design, I'll print it, look at it and think, mm, need to change that. Mm. change it print it again <laughs> so i've got a whole stack at home for my own projects oh. of um you know partially finished designs so i just want to do two to show you the difference in what you can get so imagine that this is on a finished piece or it's on a card because we're only sticking the center mm -hmm. we can pop the center down pull the wings up yeah. and because you've given it that extra body with the lamination nice. that will stay and okay. you've got the sheen with it as well perfect okay nice. then obviously the difference with this one and I'm not going to bother trying to cut the antenna out <laughs> no, fair enough. but you can draw that in if you want to just a fine yeah. line Do you like my very small, fussy cutting oh. scissors? <laughs> now, I know um, our pick and mix is proving popular as well. So if you do want to go for the pick and mix and have a little look, uh, there is still a saving there and details are on your screen, fifteen ninety eight, and you get to pick, uh, pick any two. But obviously in each set you're getting uh, two. So you're actually getting eight plaques in total by picking two. 028923, uh, your item number. I'm keeping an eye on the time, Janie. Okay, how long have we got? We've got, got about oh, just over 10 minutes, so we might okay. be able to squeeze another demo with the plaques. Yep, that'll be fine. Yep. And then, so I'll put that one down there. So two ways of using the same thing, but it just gives you, because of that sheen, it just gives you That's another good. element to it, Love another that. texture. Yeah. So yeah, I can set up to Great. do another demo. Yeah, should we do that? Yeah, okay, yeah. very quickly, I'll just let uh, Janie get set. You know should we have a look at some samples? Because have a look here, and it will give you, I mean, Janie's done such a good job with all of these. We're going to have a little look and show you just the tip of the iceberg. Are we up here? If we just, can I just come across here, Marcus? I'll tell you why. Because this is one of the twisters. So look, I mean, that is, that's very cool. You've got Adventure, the Frog, ah, Friendship there. So you can see how that works. You've got your frame here. So this one over here is the frame. You can put lights with the frame as well. I'll just try and flip that out. There you go. Well, oh, that's nice. And the frames, they really do work very well. And they give you that space to put the lights through. Now, you can imagine that in your mantelpiece. So each one of these has its own merit. We've got the frames, we've got the twists, you've got the swing, which we started with there. You've also got, and you're getting multiples of each as well, you've got your plinths. If we just scroll down, you'll be able to see the actual plinths as well, or the shelfies, sorry, which you can see here. Shelfies are great for putting little bottles, little details on there. Uh, and then we've got our uh, plinths in there as well. So lots and lots and lots. Tea lights, great as well. Battery operated tea lights, fantastic. Twenty nine ninety five your price. You're getting 20 MDF stand-ups. Seeing them all here, all of this in your home, that is 20 projects to do. I mean, if you are looking for your next project, and I, I guarantee you one thing, once you make one, you want to do more. So stocking up on those 20, uh, I think that is going to be a great way to really build up your stash of projects to do. 742-431, your item number. Uh, don't forget, there is a pick and mix option as well. So if you do want to go for pick and mix, you're picking any two, you get eight in total. Uh, they're $15.98, your price, 028923. Very, very quickly, we also have the compendium bundle. Let me just grab this here. So we also have the compendium. This is volume three of your compendium with the bundle. So you're getting your uh, plaques, you've got your twist and your shelfies in there as well. You're also getting the ephemera and you're getting the stencils. All that for 42.44. What we're noticing, and there is a freedom price there as well. What we are noticing a lot of viewers are actually adding the compendium individually into their orders. So if you're going for the one day special, it's well worth considering. I'm just, I mean, when you consider, 1910 for your first flex payment, everything you're getting. 
I'll just have a very, very quick flick through your compendium because Janie Kindly's printed out the complete compendium. I mean, look how thick that is. All of these elements, and each one, Janie's worked incredibly hard to bring you. So you've got elements from the uh, 19th century. This is cool. So as you go through, being able to have this as a resource, I mean, how beautiful is that? As a resource, at your fingertips, and I am skipping pages here, so that you're getting a lot uh, within it. You've got your maps, you've got your florals in there. There you go, all of that. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that you can buy individually or as part of our bundle. We're going to jump to the website as we head back to Janie. Uh, you can see there are lots of goodies to be had, so do have a look. Whether you want to go uh, for the plaques individually, if you want to go for the one-day special, if you want to go for the pick and mix, either way or any way you choose to shop, you will not be disappointed. And you never are. With Bizarreology, I know uh, Janie's got such a big fan base out there. The thing with Janie, I, I think what makes it so special every time you come here, you're a crafter and you bring us stuff that excites you. And I think if it excites you, it's going to excite everyone at home as well, Janie. Yeah, there's no point if I don't love it. Yeah, good. But, you know, I'm not going to sell it if I don't love yeah, it. I like that. <laughs> Right, what are we going to do? Right, okay, so I'm taking one of the standard plaques. Okay. So it's one of the square ones, and it pieces together like that. Mm -hmm. So all I've done, done while you're going down the counter is just cut out for the backing, like we did on the um, circle mm -hmm. one. Pop a little bit of glue around. Nice. Now, there's different ways of using these stand-ups. Um, they were designed with the idea, like I said, that they stand up and they've got the flat top, so you can pop a tea light on there if you want to. Um, you can pop another plaque on top of there, so you can stand it up. I think I've got one almost in front of you where I've put two plaques together just to the right of you. There's a circle on the top, right a bit there yeah. oh you put those two, the together. two on top of each other yeah ah. we just have a look here i'll show you it's that one there so popping the circle can we see that there you go that's very clever janie so you've got the giraffe sort of spanning across yeah. the two. <laughs> oh, i love that that's very clever it shows that you can use use different plaques together and with the DVD as well, it gives you the option to print at full size A4, mm -hmm. A5 and A6. So you get even more use out of it, like some of the um, sentiments and things like that. Mm. I can show you here these little labels that I've cut out. So that's full size. And then A5 would print them down at that size and then even smaller again. Mm. So depending on your project, you know, you can get real use out of them. Nice. Right, so just put the backing on like that. I'm going to keep this one quite simple. Pop a little bit of glue between the notches. Okay. Got about five minutes. Okay, and then that one goes in there. So what I did was when I cut the paper from the A4 sheet, I left a bit at the top and a bit at the bottom because when I fit that on there, it looked like it all joins up. Mm -hmm. So I'll just get rid of the excess bit of glue along the bottom so it's a bit of a funny angle to do it to um, 